Hi guys, I want to invite you to join the Patreon where you will get some benefits as well as audiobooks that will not be uploaded on YouTube. Chapter 1 This book is an alternate history, focusing on the monster world of Inuyasha. One summer night in June, a new little life was born in a small courtyard in the northern part of the peninsula. The little guy's name is Li Xiao. In his previous life, he was a member of China's Communist Youth League and a three good young man. In this life, he took the memories of his previous life and traveled across time to become a member of the peninsula. At first, Li Xia thought that his life would be ordinary. Until he was five years old, the family tested the talent of every child of appropriate age until he witnessed the bizarre and extraordinary ODs with his own eyes. He suddenly realized that he was not reborn in an ordinary world like his previous life, but in a magical world with monsters and witches and wizards. At that time, he saw several elders in the clan sealing ghostly things visible to the eye into several talismans. I witnessed the appearance of the majestic Shikigami, and saw the situation change with a wave of his hand. It's a magical s. In the past life, there were no ghosts or gods. At least he never encountered it. But in this world of this life, he was sure that there were ghosts and gods. Witness it with your own eyes. Because of this, his ambition sprouted. The originally Buddhist heart became restless. What does it mean to be extraordinary? Of course it is immortality. Although transcendence does not directly represent immortality, it has opened a door to that realm for mankind. Once you step into this door, you will have the opportunity and conditions to create eternal life. And eternal life represents infinite possibilities. Like, do whatever you want. However, his father Li Zhuan is a bit tricked. You must know that the blood in the body of a person who is able to practice is different from that of ordinary people. In order to maintain the characteristics of this blood, the family of practitioners usually adopts children who have shown spiritual talents since childhood as child brides or sons-in-law. Through this combination of bloodlines, one can maintain one's own advantages. Therefore, although there are examples of practitioners combining with ordinary people, they are rare. After all, this is not only responsible for oneself, but also for future generations and for the family. Few people commit this taboo. The cheap father Li Zhuan is one such exception. As a person with the talent for cultivation, the target he is looking for is not a mage with the same qualifications for cultivation, but an ordinary human being. This resulted in the bloodline qualifications, which were already low, becoming even more mediocre. It is true that Li Xia dislikes this cheating father a little bit, but at the same time, he is even more grateful to his father Li Zhuan. After all, if this guy hadn't messed up, how could he have reincarnated with the memories of his previous life? No matter how poor your qualifications are, it will always be better than those who have no cultivation qualifications. Besides, his parents were very good to him. I have to find ways to make up for my innate shortcomings. Here, it is necessary to mention the Li family in the northern part of the peninsula. The Li family, known as one of the three major magician families on the peninsula, has the responsibility of exorcising ghosts and punishing evil spirits. Mages, that is, those who have extraordinary means, can inhale the special energy factors between heaven and earth according to the procedures provided by the exercises. And then through careful polishing, convert these energy factors into mana and essence and store them in their own bodies. And as a basis for magical means such as magic spells. Among them, the Li family controls one of the side branches of Fu Zhuan. The principle of talisman is use special materials to make talisman pens, talisman paper, and spiritual ink that can carry mana. Then, with the help of talisman pens and spiritual ink as a medium, some of the spells you master can be imprinted on the talisman by outlining spiritual patterns. On paper. When you need to use it, just activate it and display it. It is equivalent to sealing the spell into a specific talisman in advance. A mage who majored in talismans greatly made up for the monk's shortcomings such as limited mana and slow spell casting. This inheritance originated from the Chinese mainland. It was spread from the kingdom of heaven a long time ago. At that time, demons and evil spirits were rampant on the earth, and human beings were the prey of evil spirits. Thanks to the heavenly kingdom, which was concerned about the sufferings of the world, the Taoism was spread to the peninsula. Unfortunately, this inheritance is not complete. 
It was just a small gift from his father to his godson when he was a vassal state of the mainland. Moreover, the Li family's Fu Tao is ultimately a branch of the side sect. However, despite this, the Li family, a practicing family in the peninsula, has also benefited from this for generations. Li Xia, as a member of the younger generation of the Li family of Fu Dao, originally had the opportunity to get in touch with a more advanced system of cultivation. However, due to his own bloodline qualifications, he was not valued by the highly respected elders in the family, and was even more contempt. No. Time flies and ten years pass. Li Xia, who did not escape the cold and heat and practiced hard for ten years, was still just a junior mage rookie with only some three-legged cat SS because he failed to enjoy the good systematic education that his family should have provided. This once made him depressed and even desperate. Zayanatsu, when do you leave for Tokyo? At a small family dinner, an elegant middle-aged man wearing glasses asked aloud. This person is Li Xia's father Li Jun. Wearing a Taoist priest's uniform and wearing elegant glasses, he feels a bit nondescript. They are a family of four, namely father Li Jun, eldest sister Li Qin, second brother Li Yang, and youngest Li Xia. As for Li Xia's mother? Unfortunately, he was ed in a ghost incident. That happened when Li Xia was more than six years old. There was nothing he could do at the time. And this is also a potential hidden danger that ordinary people and low-level practitioners must face. Father, can't you wait any longer? The boy with an immature face frowned slightly. The middle-aged man heard this and said softly. School has already started in the island country for more than half a month. If you delay for a few more days, it will be more troublesome to adapt later. Speaking of this, the middle-aged man paused. After pondering for a moment, he sighed again. Xiaoxia, let it go. I know you are very unwilling. You really want to be recognized by the main line, and you really want to practice advanced techniques and become a master. I remember you told me your ambition when you were a child, but we must be clear my own situation. Our family, with ordinary qualifications, is not suitable to follow the path of cultivation of the master's family which is to eliminate demons, defend the Tao, exorcise ghosts and punish evil spirits. Let's take care of some family property in an orderly manner. We will be rich and prosperous for a lifetime. There is really no need to be too persistent. To extraordinary power. Look, there are so many ordinary people in the world who are living happily without mastering extraordinary powers. We can do it too. As a member of a family of practitioners, you naturally have a sense of superiority. Cheap Daddy Li Jun is naturally not surprised. Practitioner families generally have multiple lines. Those with outstanding talents, talents. And outstanding cultivation aptitudes will be selected as the main branch the rest with mediocre qualifications and limited future achievements will be classified as side branches. The meaning of the existence of side branches is to serve the main vein. Because no matter how hard they practice, their talent limits their upper limit. Therefore, the family will arrange for them to manage the worldly industry, provide nutrients for the main line. And provide various cultivation materials, various channels for obtaining materials, and various services for the main line. The main line that controls strength and power provides a certain degree of protection to the many branch lines. For thousands of years, the Li family of the peninsula has inherited Fu Dao in this way. Other families have also inherited it this way. As for Li Xia, he originally hoped to become a member of the main line and gain the dual enjoyment of strength and power. Who doesn't want to have a halo? But his talent is limited. At present, among a family of four, the eldest sister and second brother, who have equally average qualifications, have been allocated some resources and will take on tasks issued by the family in the future. On the other hand, because he is still young, he will not be arranged by the family to run the industry for the time being. There are no other tasks arranged. The father in front of him wanted him to study abroad in Tokyo and become familiar with all aspects of the island country so that he could take over some of his family's businesses in the island country in the future. Father, you arranged for your eldest sister and second brother to go to the mainland, can't you arrange for me to go to the mainland too? The young man muttered. Although he was arranged by his family to learn some island Mandarin in the past few years, it was obviously not as friendly as the language on the mainland. Family education is different from exam-oriented institutional education. 
they learn things with a clear purpose. It is very clear what to study, what to major in and what to study as a minor. And learning those things was intended to facilitate communication with others, not for a test or a score therefore, his childhood was still very relaxed. At least it's much easier than fighting across the single plank bridge with thousands of troops in my previous life. You also want to go to the mainland? The middle-aged man raised his eyebrows. Of course. The mainland is rich in products, has many opportunities, and has a long history of inheritance the Moon Island side is too far behind. At least this is the case in this world of rebirth. No, your eldest sister and your second brother went to the mainland to study in order to get in touch with the young talents of China. To get to know those elites among their peers, and to see if they can improve the blood genes of our lineage. Your eldest sister and your second brother are not good at it. It won't be easy. If you are arranged to go to Tsukishima Tokyo, there will be no tasks to complete. Don't be cheap but still sell well. As the mainland is a kingdom of heaven, they naturally need to arrange for older and more capable tribesmen to go there. Otherwise, why should I be looked down upon by the young heroes of the country? Zayanatsu, you have the worst qualifications, so listen to your father and go to an ordinary junior high school junior high school on Tsukishima. After graduating in a few years, you can try to take over the industry there. It's good to live a rich life, isn't it? The cheap dad said sincerely. He rejected his younger son's request to go to the mainland. After the great changes in the environment of heaven and earth hundreds of years ago, practice became more and more difficult it is only now that there is a trend of gradual recovery. During the Dharma ending age that lasted for four to five hundred years, many shrines and temples in the island country had long since declined. Under such circumstances, he, as a father, did not expect his little boy to marry him any gifted daughter-in-law. The other end of the dining table is carved from blue jade. After hearing about their father's arrangement, the beautiful girl of eighteen or nineteen years old and another young man of similar age smiled brighter and brighter. Both of them were extremely satisfied with their father's arrangement. After all, they can go to the heavenly kingdom with outstanding people instead of going to a small overseas country like the younger brother. What else are they dissatisfied about? Brother, although China is good, Tsukishima is not bad either. The two of them laughed. His eyes were full of longing for the heaven. TSK. The corners of Li Xia's mouth curled up. He really didn't expect that this peninsula of time and space would have such a highly respected attitude towards the Chinese side of this world. It's hard to imagine how prosperous this parallel time and space is now without World War I and World War II. At the same time, I thought about a lot of things from my past life. In previous lives, people in the southern peninsula were not only always thinking about China's ancient celebrities, but also always thinking about China's various traditional festivals. Why? Okay, you can set off tomorrow. You can't delay it any longer. Otherwise, those old guys will make trouble for me again. After dinner, the middle-aged man drank a glass of wine. Which school in Tokyo? The two types of people, those who are ambitious and those who are content with the status quo, have different definitions of happiness. Li Xia, who had resurrected his life, did not want to be content with the status quo, but he had to face reality. Metasequoia Junior High School. I don't need to say more about where the northern part of the peninsula is, right? Chapter, 2. No other request, just if you can see the following, please give me a subscription. Thank you. Metasequoia Junior High School, an ordinary junior high school in Tokyo. Li Xia is in third grade. It is equivalent to the third grade of junior high school in China. It has been three days since he came here. In three days, I got to know many classmates in the class. But what was a bit strange was that there was a girl named Higarashi in the class who always asked for leave and skipped classes, which also prevented him from meeting her. And through the mouths of many classmates in the class, he even learned that this girl named Ali had been a member of the Higarashi shrine for generations. Somewhat similar to his situation. Are they descendants of cultivators? There are not many such people in Tsukishima today. If you have time, you can pay a visit. Having been in this world for more than ten years, many memories of past lives have become blurry. He didn't think too much about some sensitive people and things. So, another two dull days passed. Seeing that the first monthly exam for the third year of junior high school was approaching, 
he was ready to take the last place in the class. It was at this time that the girl named Higarashi returned to her ordinary campus life. The Gate of Metasequoia Junior High School the three female classmates in the class showed surprised and happy smiles towards a girl who looked both strange and familiar. For the girl named Higarashi, Li Xia always felt a sense of deja vu when he went to class. Ali, are you ready to come to school? Among the three female classmates, the girl with short black hair took the initiative to say hello. This girl's name is Yuka, she is an independent and strong girl. On the other side, a girl wearing a light yellow headband and long black shawl hair also added Ali, because you often take leave recently. We are very worried, so we called your home and asked about your grandfather he told us that you slipped to your waist again this time. Um, is your waist really okay? The girl's name is Ari, and she is the one with the most delicate thoughts among the best friends. This is not the end. Bumi, who has long black fluffy curly hair and a bit of a natural look, gave Ali a critical blow Ali. I remember that the last time you took leave was because you needed to be hospitalized for a checkup for diabetes. Are you okay? The girls are all slim and full of vitality. However, the words of the three best friends made Ali's head full of black lines. There was certainly a reason for her taking leave, but it was definitely not the reason given by the old man at home, such as diabetes or a broken waist. It is very likely that these problems would fall on her grandfather himself. At this moment, a sunny and handsome young man rode a bicycle to the school gate. After some distance, they started to say hello. Higarashi-san, are you feeling okay? When the four girls heard the sound, they all turned their heads to look. Ah, it's Hojo-san from Class B. He seems to care about Ali very much. The fire of gossip in the girl's heart burned quickly, getting stronger and stronger. Hojo Kun. Ali was stunned for a moment, then smiled politely back at his old classmate from elementary school I'm almost feeling better now, thank you. When the young man heard this, he breathed a sigh of relief. That's good. You're obviously still so young, so there's no need to work so hard. By the way, your grandpa said you have gout this time. As soon as these words came out, the smile on the girl's face froze. The corners of his mouth kept twitching. I have the urge to go home immediately and ask my grandfather for an explanation. Her grandfather was good at everything, but he couldn't find a nicer reason for her being forced to take leave. Flashed his waist. Got diabetes. Gout. What are these weird reasons for asking for leave? Do you want to be so unreliable? Oh, I almost forgot, Higarashi-san, please accept this. The boy named Hojo took off a carefully prepared small red gift bag from his bicycle and handed it to Ali this is a little bit of my thoughts. Although I can't help you much, I still hope you are healthy and happy. God knows how long the young man has treasured this feeling. When the three best friends saw this, they all looked in disbelief. Immediately afterwards, he retreated a few meters away, leaving enough space for the two of them to chat privately. Not far away. Seeing all this, Li Xia clicked his tongue and said the ignorant feelings of adolescence. Based on his experience of more than 10 or 20 years of internet baptism in the 21st century in his previous life, it is not difficult to see that the young man's heart is already ready to move. When the boy went to where the bicycle was parked, Higarashi's three best friends immediately surrounded him again. Wow, Ali, are you already dating Hojo-san? Eri stepped forward with the fire of gossip burning and asked. Ali shook his head hurriedly. How can it be? I am so exhausted from collecting the four soul fragments now, how can I have any spare time? He accidentally shot the demon-breaking arrow there and shattered the four soul jade, causing the jade to turn into dozens or hundreds of pieces. Monsters flock to those jade fragments, after all, they are a shortcut to quickly increase their monster power. If left unchecked, the humans over there would be in dire straits. Because the bloody storm caused by the four soul fragments will affect many innocent people. Out of responsibility, out of guilt, she must collect all the pieces as quickly as possible. After all, it was she who made the four souls jade reappear, and it was her who caused it to break into hundreds of pieces, thus expanding the scale of the incident. Four soul fragments? What is that? Ayumi asked in confusion. After Ali realized that he had let slip, he shook his head. Nothing. No more words will be said from now on. Next to them, Li Xia, 
who had just passed by the four girls, couldn't help but shrink his pupils sharply after hearing the name Four Souls Jade. His breathing, which was steady at first, became heavier at this moment. What did he hear? Four Soul Jade. Four Soul Fragments. Why does this thing sound so familiar? Wait a minute, Higarashi. Isn't that Kagom Higarashi? If I remember correctly, she's the E in Inuyasha's story, right? He wouldn't think much about a simple Higarashi. But Higarashi, the jade of the four souls, this world has traces of demons and ghosts' extraordinary system. He couldn't help but think about it. Bang bang. Bang bang. Li Xia felt that at this moment, his heartbeat was beating a little violently, and his little heart was beating a little too hard. He needs silence. He wanted to be quiet. When the four girls entered the teaching building, he, who had been holding his breath just now, let out a heavy breath the world I am reborn in, shouldn't it be in Yasha's world? If it is true, then. The more he thought about it, the more excited he became. Because it may be difficult to pursue immortality in Inuyasha's world but pursuing a thousand years of life and a transcendent world is not as difficult as imagined. If you operate it properly, it doesn't mean you can't live as long as heaven and earth, or even transcend the rules and do whatever you want. In the eyes of long-lived people, the beauties of the country and the like have no place at all. People who have power, wealth, status, and strength will always pursue longevity. No one would think that such a person would live long. Calm down, steady, calm down. The top priority is to determine whether this world is the Inuyasha anime world he remembers in his previous life. And the way to determine it is also very simple. That would be enough to go to the girl's Higarashi shrine. Inuyasha world, the story is set in two eras the modern island country in 1996 and the warring states period four to five hundred years ago. It mainly tells the story of Ari, a third-year junior high school girl, also known as Higarashi Kagom, who accidentally passed through the bone-eating well in her own shrine. And through the passage connecting the two worlds, traveled through time and space to the monster world. During the Warring States period the half-demon Inuyasha, who was mixed with a human demon, embarked on an adventure to find fragments of the four souls scattered throughout the island country. Just confirm the existence of that well. As long as the situation of Elise's family is confirmed. Naturally, it is not difficult to determine whether this world is Inuyasha's world. The Shirkan no Tama was formed by the fusion of the souls of Tsuezi, the strongest Miko in history, and the souls of most of the elite monsters in the island country at that time. It is a psychic gem with extremely powerful spiritual power. Even a fragment after being broken can greatly enhance the power of demons, bring people back to life, and make people's souls stay forever. As for the protagonist group, Including the male lead Inuyasha, the second male lead Mithraya Master, the female lead Ailey, the second female lead Coral, the little pets Micah and Chibao, etc. While everyone collects the four soul fragments, they fight against the big boss Naraku. In the end, Naraku was defeated and made the correct wish to the four souls Jade, successfully making this psychic gem disappear from the world. Ended all kinds of disputes surrounding Baoyu. Hey, Xia Jun, class is about to begin. Where are you going? At the school gate, a classmate said hello to Li Xia. Li Xia saw this and responded with a smile. I have sewing to deal with at home. While talking, I took a taxi. Master, take me to Higarashi Shrine, thank you. Chapter 3 Higarashi Shrine is located on a hill in downtown Tokyo. It has been passed down for at least three to four hundred years. It is the home of the E. A. Lee's family. When Li Xia arrived, among the courtyards of Higarashi Shrine, a wooden house seemed to be on fire, and black smoke was billowing at the moment. What happened? Li Xia was stunned for a moment, then hurriedly walked along the dozens of steps to the Higarashi Shrine on the hillside. The fire and everything else were secondary. He had to first determine whether this world was the Inuyasha world he knew. That was the most important thing. After climbing the hillside, Li Xia looked towards where the black smoke was rising. There, a wooden house with a corner collapsed was gradually being engulfed in flames. At the moment, the fire is still very small, but if left alone, the flames will soon engulf the wooden house and even spread to the entire Higarashi shrine. Upon seeing this, Li Xia shouted loudly, trying to attract the attention of the people in the shrine. 
However, Ali's family members seemed to be away from home, and no one responded at all. But he clearly saw that the door of the two-story building was not closed. Logically speaking, there should be people from the Higurashi family here. After all, there is no way to leave the door open when you go out. But limited by the current era. It was now 1996, and mobile phones, a lightweight and convenient communication tool, had not yet been born. Naturally, he could not solve the problem with a phone call. No cell phone, only landline. So, without much hesitation, Li Xia bypassed the wooden house where a well was sealed and a half-collapsed wooden house that was on fire. And rushed towards the two-story building of Higurashi's house. During this period, he passed a sacred tree more than twenty meters high. And on the trunk of the sacred tree, he clearly saw a scar that had not yet healed. After seeing the sacred tree and the basin-sized scar on the trunk of the sacred tree, he already understood that the world he was in now was indeed the Inuyasha world he knew. Because of this, he was filled with doubts. What's going on? If this is the Higurashi shrine in Inuyasha's world, why did it catch on fire for no reason? If the fire was not caused by man, was it caused by monsters? But it seems that in the comics and anime in the previous life, there were no incidents where Higurashi's house was burned down and the monsters destroyed it so much. In doubt, he had already entered the Higurashi family's residence through the open door. He quickly found a landline installed in the living room and made a fire call, briefly describing the situation here. After making the call, he soaked himself with cold water from top to bottom. And immediately ran towards the burning warehouse wooden house with an iron basin filled with water, intending to use this most primitive way to put out the fire. To be precise, it is to save people. As expected, the Higurashi family was not empty, but trapped in the burning wooden warehouse. And at this time, he probably also judged the time point. The Higurashi family had indeed been attacked by two monsters, the centipede witch and the reverse-haired Yura from another world. Simply through the bone-eating well, but that level of attack did not cause any substantial damage. With casualties. On the contrary, the monsters that exist in this modern world actually attacked Higurashi Shrine. That is, the human face in the flesh. Really. When Li Xia approached the burning wooden house and poured out a basin of water in his hand, a mask floated in the air in the light of the fire. Then it swayed slowly and gave up its original target, and instead came straight towards him. Give me your body, give me your body. This mask is the true form of the monster's human face. The face of the mask itself is stiff and gloomy, with a long knife mark on the right eye and a crack on the left mouth. It looked very strange. It's really this damn thing. Seeing this thing, Li Xia's expression suddenly became serious. In his previous childhood, when he was watching the Inuyasha anime, he was deeply troubled by the masked monster. As a result, he felt panicked when he saw the mask for a long time. Now, this childhood shadow is really attacking him. How can he calm down? If he remembered correctly, the ability of the masked monster with a human face is extremely lethal to ordinary people. First, this monster can control its body to fly freely. Having flexible flying ability means that you are invincible when fighting with ordinary people. Secondly, it can split in the middle of the face along the bridge of the nose, revealing sharp teeth, which is also its main means of attack. Third, it can attach to the face of a creature and then eat its brain, thereby controlling the target's body. After acquiring enough bodies, the human face can not only possess one person, but can also split and extend its slime-like body to swallow more creatures. It belongs to the type where the more you eat, the stronger you become. Fortunately, at this time, the masked demon did not have a body of its own, so it was naturally unable to split its body and devour living creatures. Therefore, the combat effectiveness is very limited and single. You can ignore the third point above. Be careful. Don't let that mask stick to your face. Through the corner of the wooden house, a weak old voice came. That's Ali's grandfather. The old man had noticed a fire in his warehouse before and hurried over to check the situation it turned out that the cause of the fire was the masked demon sealed by his ancestors. I don't know why the ancestors seal suddenly failed, and this monster escaped, and was even attacked by it. During a fight, his leg was pinned down by a broken beam and he could only wait for rescue. Speaking of which, he thought he was doomed. He never thought that someone would notice the fire and come here. 
although he couldn't see what was going on outside now, he could hear some movement. So I tried my best to remind them. Lysia didn't have the time or energy to respond. He only had time to take out the six talismans he had made before and put them on his body. These six talismans are the most basic powerful talisman, the quick and agile talisman, the evil proofing talisman, and the divine wind talisman. As the name suggests, the power talisman can greatly increase his strength. Attached to the right arm. The agility charm increases reaction power and shooting speed, and is attached to the left side of the face. The evil amulet can ward off evil spirits to a certain extent. One is attached to the right side of the face to prevent the person from accidentally being possessed by the human face. The other was posted on the iron basin. Once he was too weak and lost to the masked monster, he could only use the iron basin to hold his face in order to protect himself. There is no shame in being a coward or anything like that. The last two divine wind charms can greatly increase the movement speed and are attached to the legs. Consuming five talismans in one go showed how seriously Li Xia attached importance to the first monster he faced. At the same time, he was also secretly heartbroken. After all, he had been saving for nearly ten years, and he only had a hundred low-level talismans that could be used. Seeing that the real mask with the human face was about to him, he moved forward instead of retreating. Facing the human face flying straight towards his face, he picked up the iron basin and smashed it at it. Although he has not mastered the Fu Dao technique, his physical fitness is not low at all. On the one hand, the older generation of the Li family in Peninsula, in addition to cultivating their clansmen's talisman and Taoism, also pay attention to the physical training of their clansmen. On the other hand, there is Li Xia himself. He has understood the importance of physical fitness since he was a child and is very aware of the weaknesses of the mage. Therefore, he has never slacked off since he was five or six years old when he was building the foundation. He has always followed the Li family's body training OD. Build the foundation. At the age of twelve or thirteen, after the foundation has been basically laid, the amount can be increased appropriately. When it comes to magic, he is no match for the elites of his generation in the Li family but when it comes to physical strength, he is no match for those so-called family elites. Then. Just after being unblocked, he immediately had a battle with a Li's grandfather. Now that there is not much demon power left, the human face, which can be said to be the weakest, was directly hit by the iron basin. Bang! The gloomy mask was deformed by his heavy blow. The evil proof charm attached to the iron basin instantly burned into a ball of paper ash. However, the physical human face also felt uncomfortable, and it also let out a painful groan. Give me your body. After withstanding this wave, the human face struggled to fly back from the ground and pounced on Li Xia again. Li Xia was so frightened that the hair on his body stood up. A moment of crisis. He turned the iron basin over and pointed the mouth of the basin at the masked demon. Immediately afterwards, he slammed the iron basin to the ground. Then he gathered strength with his right arm and punched it forward, denting Taipan's butt. That's not all. He took out several evil proof charms and powerful charms from his pocket one after another. And pasted all the evil proof charms on the edge of the sunken iron basin, while the powerful charms were pasted on his legs. Then he stepped on the iron basin holding the human face and body with one foot, and stamped down wildly with the other foot. I'm so embarrassed. He was clearly panicking inside, but he was also indescribably excited. Chapter, 4 the evil proofing charms attached to the iron basin burned one after another and turned into ashes. But in the end, two of them didn't burn. The almost flat iron basin no longer showed any strength to struggle. But even so, even if the human face under the iron basin didn't make any more noise, Li Xia still didn't relax at all. On the contrary, he was still extremely vigilant and continued to output regardless of it for half a minute. He didn't stop until all the blessing talismans attached to his body lost their amplifying effects. Call. He exhaled a heavy breath, suppressed his impatience and excitement, and tried his best to calm his heartbeat and calm his mood. Immediately, he took out all the evil proof charms on his body. They all stuck to the iron basin. He knew very well that this monster had a four soul fragment embedded in its forehead. It was the reaction between this four soul fragment and several four soul fragments that Ali left at home that led to this incident. 
After all, a monster with four soul fragments that greatly enhances its monster power cannot be overemphasized. It should be stable now, right? But the next moment, two rows of imprints suddenly appeared on the iron basin that had been pressed by Li Xiao. Those were the two rows of sharp teeth that were exposed after the fleshy human face split along the bridge of the nose. Even a basin made of iron sheets can be torn. The two rows of clear and ferocious tooth marks at the bottom of the iron basin are proof of this. In addition, most of the evil proof charm originally attached to the iron basin burned instantly. What's even more weird is that the iron basin became extremely hot in a very short period of time, as if it had become a soldering iron. There is no doubt that the masked monster's previous silence was just an act. She wanted to trick him into moving the iron basin and then trick him. It's a pity that although Li Xia is just a new mage, he has a cautious mind. Why don't you pretend? Perhaps sensing that the plan had failed, or feeling the threat of ban brought by the many evil proofing charms. The fleshly human face did not have the slightest chance and simply made a final counterattack. Snort. Li Xia snorted coldly. Enduring the pain, he took out an ice charm from his arms. This ice talisman was not made by himself, but drawn by an elder of the Li family in the peninsula. He begged his old man to obtain it. The ice talisman has exceeded the level of the primary talisman, and he naturally cannot make it without practicing related techniques, so he has always been treasured by him. He only has four such intermediate talismans in his hand. Considering that he was about to harvest a fragment of the four souls, or even the first shikigami, he naturally couldn't pick at the ropes. Take action when it's time to take action. One is not enough to stick to. With the cooling of the ice talisman, the iron sheet heated by the human face using its own demonic power suddenly became extremely cold. Even the surrounding area of five or six meters was covered with a layer of frost. Then, the mask of suppression under the iron basin was ushered in another round of violent stampedes. 10. 20. 30. This round of trampling turned an iron basin into an irregular piece of iron sheet. He felt that the mask body of the human face that was pressed underneath was about to be flattened and shattered by him through this layer of iron. Low woo, low whimper. In the distance, the sound of fire truck sirens was heard. Li Xia frowned slightly after hearing the sound. He originally thought about smashing it for another three to five hours. But the firemen were approaching, and it was no longer suitable for him to stay here. So he quickly stopped insisting on smashing the iron sheet. However, even at this moment, he had no intention of moving the iron sheet directly. God knows how much strength is left in the human body. Then. Li Xia slowly moved away one-tenth of the iron sheet. For the first time, he did not see the mask itself with the human face, so he only moved a tenth of it away. This time, I saw a corner of the mask that was full of cracks. Probably the outline of the left side of the face. Seeing this, he took off two of the evil proof charms originally attached to the iron sheet and attached them to the exposed mask. Based on this corner, he quickly determined the approximate location of the mask that was pressed underneath. Now that the location has been determined, it is natural to try to remove the four soul fragments embedded inside the mask. If I remember correctly, the four soul fragment was embedded near the forehead where the scar was located. Therefore, he adjusted the direction of Ironhide's movement, only the forehead of the human face was exposed. The remaining parts continue to be pressed with iron sheets. In this way, the two evil proof talismans affixed to the mask can be used to suppress the masked monster and consume its demonic power on the other hand. If the talismans burn, it will indirectly warn him. As for Ironhide, it can assist him to suppress this evil monster to the greatest extent. A two-pronged approach is safer. Li Xia took out a small fruit knife from his pocket, and then started to scratch and pull on the forehead of the human body. With luck, he found the location where the four soul fragments were hidden with just a few blows. Feeling Li Xia's true purpose, the human face could no longer be calm. But no matter how hard it struggled, the pressure from above suppressed it as firmly as the Wuzishan mountain, making its resistance useless. Body, give me body. This is the last unwilling voice of the masked monster with a human face. Speaking of which, this masked demon, which has no body to drive, when it attacked Ali in the original work, could not even take down a little girl with little strength just by the power of the mask itself. 
let alone him at this time. If not, if he hadn't caught up with the weakest period when the human face had not yet acquired a physical body and had not yet grown up, he would not have succeeded so easily. After this demon obtained the bodies of many policemen. Li Xia said that when faced with the physical human face, he would hide as far as possible. Absolutely not going to mess with it. The first four soul fragment. After taking out the lavender fragment, he clearly felt that the demonic power of the mask he was pressing was suddenly reduced, and the strength of the struggle was instantly cleared. It seems like it has lost its vitality. But. Even at this time, Li Xia still carefully bent and deformed the iron sheet of the iron basin and wrapped it around the mask. Then he took off the evil-proof talisman from his face and put it on on the iron lump that is beyond recognition. Without the four soul fragments and being banned by such a combination of punches, if this masked demon can still escape from trouble and cause trouble, he can only express his powerlessness. He really doesn't have a very destructive talisman. It is really difficult for him to quickly and completely eliminate this guy in a short period of time. Low, low, low. As soon as the four soul fragments were put away, the loud siren of the fire truck stopped in one place and stopped moving. Apparently, the fire engines fighting the fire had arrived at the bottom of the hillside where Higarashi Shrine is located. It came so quickly, it only took four or five minutes. Although the fire station was not far away, the speed still moved Li Xiao. He knew that time was running out. Glancing at the burning wooden house, he took a deep breath and ran back to the two-story building where Ali's family lived. First, he quickly wet his clothes, covered his mouth and nose with a wet towel. And then ran towards the burning warehouse cabin with a large bucket of water filled by turning on the faucet of the sink in advance. Without the threat of the human face, he rushed in. After entering the wooden house where the fire was getting stronger, he quickly scanned the scene. With just one glance, he locked onto the old man in the corner whose leg was pinned down by a wooden beam. It was Ali's grandfather. Fortunately, this wooden beam, which was not too thick and was very rotten, was broken and pressed down from the middle. Otherwise, the old man would have smashed the entire wooden beam hard, and it would most likely be gone. The fire is getting bigger and bigger. Naturally, Li Xia would not sit idly by. After pouring a basin of cold water on the old man, he immediately lifted up the broken wooden beam, then carried the old man and ran out of the wooden house. The flames in the warehouse wooden house are already very fierce, and it is not suitable to stay here for a long time. After leaving the burning wooden house, several firefighters and a panicked beautiful woman also caught up. Come here and help me, I'll call an ambulance. There are injured people here. The moment he saw the beautiful woman, Li Xia chose to take the lead. Not surprisingly, this woman is the mother of Ali, the E of Inuyasha's world. Dad. When the beautiful woman saw the unconscious old man, she exclaimed and dropped the bag containing vegetables and meat in her hand to the ground. Then he stepped forward with an eager look and helped the old man. Dad, wake up. When Li Xia saw this, he secretly said that it was true. His figure slipped into Higarashi's small building. Calling an ambulance was one of them, and taking away the other seven four-soul fragments from Ali's bedroom was the main purpose. Wrong. He actually didn't take away all the four-soul fragments, he even left one for Ali. His conscience is very good. That's why he is a ghost. Before leaving, he glanced at the open window. If I hadn't come this time, would the human face have left the shrine honestly like in the original plot, and didn't care about the four-soul fragments in the room at first? His intuition told him that the situation would definitely change. For the fleshly human face, the temptation of these fragments is greater than anything else. If he hadn't come to Higarashi Shrine this time, the human face would definitely change the style of the original timeline and directly take away these jade fragments. He would never wait until Higarashi was at home in the evening to fight back. Logical Plot S will no longer exist. Chapter 5 Leave a little bit of care in your life so that we can meet each other easily in the future. We will meet again soon, Higarashi-san. A fragment lay silently at the foot of the bed. It's not that he doesn't despise this fragment, but looking at the entire Inuyasha plot, only Inuyasha. The male lead in the original plot, can ignore the restrictions of the bone-eating well and travel between the two worlds at will. You must know that even Higarashi, 
the number one female at this period, needs the power of the four souls jade to travel through the well and run in both directions. Every time he travels between the two realms, it is because he carries four soul fragments with him. This point is vividly reflected in the subsequent events of Monster Wild Wolf Gone. At that time, Ali, who had lost the four soul fragments, wanted to return to the Warring States period through his own bone-eating well, but failed. It wasn't until the little monster Chibao brought the four soul fragments into the bone-eating well at the other end of the Warring States period that Ali was able to return to the parallel world 500 years ago. Probably because the four soul fragments are near the bone-eating well, Ali can use this magical well to travel between two parallel worlds with completely different timelines. So, now that I have obtained the four soul fragments, can I also use the power of Baoyu to travel through that magical ancient well and go to the Warring States period in the parallel world? Li Xia thought in his mind. Do you want to leave now? He was still hesitating. As for how many four soul fragments were taken away? Let's find ways to compensate Ali in other ways in the future. In the original work, the human face was stimulated by the four soul fragments and awakened from the seal not only did it almost Mr. Higurashi. But it also directly ate a firefighter in several police cars, causing a lot of casualties. Today, he took away these fragments, which can be regarded as a small lesson to Ali. The four soul fragments cannot leave the body. After taking away the required four soul fragments, he quickly left quietly through the back door. Hello. Tsong Yunya and other things should be kept at Higurashi's house for the time being. He can't afford to mess with that thing now. Finally, Li Xia looked back at the cabin where the bone-eating well was located, and Li Xia was no longer nostalgic. Behind Higurashi Shrine is a forest, and opposite the forest is a small six- or seven-story western-style building. A cement road going up the mountain connects the side of the small western-style building to the bottom of the mountain. In other words, you can leave here. Speaking of which, Ailey's family is quite wealthy and can be called a hidden tycoon. After all, being able to own a shrine covering an area of thousands of square meters in Tokyo, where land is said to be extremely valuable, can even be said to belong to the Higurashi family. This is not a wealthy person, what is it? Of course, when it comes to wealth, the Lee family on the peninsula is even better. No, after leaving Higurashi shrine, Li Xia took a taxi and went directly to a small courtyard in the city. This small courtyard covering an area of several hundred square meters is one of the Lee family's properties in Tokyo. In the courtyard, there are pavilions, rockeries, flowing water, bamboo groves and flower beds, and a lotus pond with moonlight. On weekdays, it is managed by a few ordinary members of the Lee family, and there is no shortage of housekeepers and maids. In addition to this courtyard, there are two commercial streets and a food street around the courtyard, and the stores are also the Lee family's secular properties. It is these industries that make the Lee family, the former royal family of the peninsula, obviously not a plutocrat on the peninsula, but its status is far above those plutocrats. At the same time, it is these industries that allow the Lee family to have enough food and clothing, and the talented ones among them can concentrate on practicing Taoism. Xiaoxia, why are you back so early today? As soon as I got off the bus, a middle-aged man came up to me. Li Xia saw this and responded with a smile. I helped my classmates with some things in the morning, and I came right back when I felt a little tired. By the way, fourth uncle, please help me build some alloy safes. I'll be of great use. The middle-aged man is his father's younger brother. He was one of the unlucky ones of his father's generation who had no talent for cultivation. Therefore, he became the main figure in their lineage responsible for managing some secular industries in the Tokyo area. He is considered a steward in the secular world. It is certainly impossible to say that this fourth uncle is not envious of his family. After all, the tribesmen who can practice have a high starting point and there are too many ordinary people like them who cannot practice. Even if you do nothing, you can live a rich life. But the family system is there, no matter how unwilling the fourth uncle is, he can only be unwilling to accept it. He can only serve as a green leaf to provide nutrients produced by photosynthesis to the trunk. He neither dares nor will he do anything out of the ordinary out of his wits. Otherwise, what will greet him will be the boundless anger of the main vein. The people in the main line will not tolerate their authority being challenged. The family system prevents any ordinary tribesman from disobeying the wishes of the core tribesmen who are able to practice. 
Ordinary tribesmen have great success in the mortal world, but they are only qualified to be stewards. The core clan members, hidden behind the scenes, are the masters of the family. This is the iron rule and the foundation for the family of practitioners to be able to maintain its long-lasting existence. Of course Li Xia was happy about this. How could he go and start his own rebellion? How big of a safe do you need? Fourth uncle asked. Li Xia thought for a while and made three suggestions. Take two of each large, medium and small, and send them to my exclusive warehouse. Go back to your room. He took out a small glass bottle containing seven Shere Khan fragments from his chest. All seven were found from Ali's bedroom. Having said that, the physical human face was able to revive and escape from the seal of ancestor Ali, thanks to the power of these four soul fragments through the air. It is the four soul fragments on the forehead of the fleshly human face that resonate with these seven, thus stimulating the sleeping masked demon to wake up. Speaking of the fragment on the forehead of the human face, Li Xia fell into thinking for a long time. There is no doubt that the jade fragment held by the masked demon was definitely not formed after the explosion of the four souls jade that Ali shot to pieces with a demon-breaking arrow during the Warring States period. Because the four soul fragment held by the fleshly human face existed hundreds of years ago in modern times, and was sealed together with the mask by Ali's ancestors. It was stored in the burning warehouse of Higurashi Shrine. However, not long ago, Ali was attacked by the centipede which resurrected from the bone-eating well, and found the complete jade of four souls from the girl's body. How could a four-soul fragment and a complete four-soul gem exist on the same timeline? If there are two identical fragments at the same time, or there are two fragments representing the past and the present respectively then when the original work robs the precious jade fragment of Bao Xian Gui, the last four-soul fragment will not be used. Described and Naraku will definitely turn around and head towards the modern world, trying to get as many other jade fragments that represent different timelines as possible. Don't doubt the ability of the complete Shere Khan jade. It can help Naraku do it. The nature of a wolf pack mixed with an identical wolf is different from that of a husky. The complete Shere Khan no Tama wouldn't care about the husky getting mixed up. Because it had done this kind of thing a lot in the past 600 years. Those who have made a wish, after death, their souls will enter the inside of the four souls jade just like Naraku died. And the four soul imitation jade can also be blended into the real four soul jade. But mixed in is an identical wolf. Every fool knows that there is an identical jade in the world, and it is in the modern world. Therefore, the moment the big boss Naraku collected the four soul gems, the gems with independent will were born. In order to continue to exist, they will not sit still and wait for death. When it comes to causing trouble in the modern world, the protagonist group has no recourse. Because Seshomaru can't go there. Mithraya can't go there. Coral can't go there. It seems that other powerful beings in the monster world can't go there. Can Ali and Inuyasha alone threaten the Four Souls Jade? Don't make trouble. Therefore, the Four Soul Fragment held by the fleshly human face is definitely not the fragment that Ali shot and exploded. And through this, it can also be determined that there is another broken Shere Khan jade in the modern world. The existence form of the Four Souls jade is somewhat similar to the situation in the Avengers, when Iron Man and others went to the parallel world and obtained the six infinity stones in that world. In the Avengers, there are six infinity stones in both parallel worlds. By analogy with the world of Inuyasha, the world of monsters in the Warring States period and the modern world where Ali lives, there is a jade of four souls respectively. And they are two completely unrelated ones. The one pointed by the fleshly human face can be regarded as a four soul imitation jade. This assumption is bold. But it is the best explanation for why the four soul fragments held by the fleshly human face can resonate with the other four soul fragments that Ali placed in the room. Because they seem to be unrelated, but in fact they are closely related. In addition, it also explains why the four soul fragment held by the fleshly human face can be perfectly integrated with the other four soul fragments. It even explains why the psychic four soul jade that was born after the fusion in the finale of the original work can intervene in the bone eating well. Why it can make the bone eating well disappear, and why it can achieve the goal of breaking away from the jade and giving birth to an independent will. How can the height of spiritual intelligence directly affect the modern world where Ali lives? Everything is caused by the jade of four souls held by the human face. This fragment is truly a variable. 
similar to the Time Stone, Space Stone, Soul Stone, Power Stone, Reality Stone, and Mind Stone. The six original stones of the universe have become a combination of two Time Stones and the other five Infinity Stones. Originally, by combining the powers of the six gems, one could create the Infinity Gauntlet, and then half of all life in the universe with a snap of one's fingers. There is suddenly an extra one. What kind of qualitative changes will occur if they are added up? Well, those are too far away from me and are not things I should consider now. While he was pondering, he inlaid the seven four soul fragments on the talisman pens used to outline the talisman. The jade of the four souls has many incredible abilities. Even a small piece among dozens or hundreds of pieces has extremely powerful functions. Considering that embedding the fragments into the body will increase people's desires, distort their mind, and rewrite a person's will. Even big monsters like Boxiangui will be affected. Therefore, Li Xia valued its amplification power and materialization ability more. Through the talisman pen, Li Xia's spiritual power when drawing talismans is increased, making up for his lack of mana, thus greatly improving the quality of the talismans produced. Intermediate talismans that were originally impossible to make might be possible to make at this time. The talisman is the most important means for Li Xia to settle down now. At present, although I am not suitable to use the power of four soul fragments to simply and crudely increase my mana. I can increase the power of the finished talisman by improving the quality of the materials required to draw the talisman. Do whatever comes to your mind. Chapter, 6 The Jade of the Four Souls can not only greatly increase the demonic power of monsters and the mana of human monks. It can also strengthen foreign objects. For example, the giant dragon spear in the original work, or the iron broken teeth of the protagonist in Yuyasha. In order to prevent the four soul fragments from affecting his mind, distorting his will, or even directly controlling him. Li Xia carefully chose to use the power of the jade fragments to enhance the talisman pens and the spiritual ink needed to draw the talismans. Through this improvement in direction, the quality and power of the talismans you draw can be greatly enhanced. And try one or two without losing a piece of your flesh. Calm down for half an hour. Let your own state be at an optimal value. The next moment, Li Xia picked up the commonly used talisman pen on the desk. I don't know if it was his misunderstanding, but the moment he picked up the talisman pen, he felt that the talisman pen was a bit heavier than usual. After being stained with spiritual ink, it became clear that it had an indescribable weight. For soul fragments, don't let me down. Li Xia murmured a few words, then calmed down, and then tried his best to mobilize the little mana in his body, injecting most of it into the talisman pen in his hand. The mana followed the lines on the talisman pen and poured into the spiritual ink stained on the pen tip, causing the red cinnabar ink to sparkle with a bright brilliance. Seeing this scene, he was both surprised and delighted it really worked. Immediately, he danced the talisman pen, and the pen moved like a dragon and a snake, trying to draw a rudimentary powerful talisman in one go. But what disappointed him was that at one point in the process of outlining the talisman, the force exerted by the pen tip was unevenly distributed, causing the talisman to turn into a layer of fly ash before it even took shape. This is an inevitable mistake in the process of drawing symbols. What's more, the weight of today's talisman pens is different from that of the past, and it is a little uncomfortable to use, which further contributed to the failure of the first talisman. Putting down the talisman pen, Li Xia began to adjust his breath. In order to draw this powerful talisman, most of the mana in his body has been consumed. That's right. He is such a rookie now. His talent is so worth mentioning. If the cultivator has realm divisions such as qi refining and foundation building. He has practiced hard for ten years before, which is equivalent to reaching the level of half of the qi refining stage. It's not even the first level of qi refining. And it recovers very slowly, and it usually takes an hour or two to reach full status again. This is the main reason why he draws the lowest level powerful talisman, and no matter whether it is successful or not, he needs to adjust his breath immediately to restore his mana. This is also one of the important reasons why he has been studying the Li family's talismans for nearly ten years and has only accumulated a hundred or so talismans. This was also the reason why he didn't use magic to fight against the enemy when dealing with the human face in the flesh. It is also a major factor in his coveting the power of the four soul fragments. His goal in this extraordinary world is immortality and eternal life. However, 
How could he, who could only draw one pitiful low-level talisman every month on average, be able to live forever or even live forever? Since God has given me a chance to travel through time and be reborn, and since God has allowed me to come to this extraordinary world, I must experience the feeling of eternal life no matter what. Controlling the talismans is my first step towards immortality only when I hold many powerful talismans can I have the strength to protect myself. Reason with others with my fists, and compete for those that are beneficial to me. Thing. Therefore. In order to draw the talisman, I practiced calligraphy in painting for ten years. In order to draw the symbols, I kept repeating the strokes in my dreams. The talisman is his confidence. For him right now, it is the foundation of everything. While adjusting his breath, Li Xia drank a spiritual liquid secretly made by his family that can speed up the recovery of mana. This fragrant spiritual liquid is made from a spiritual spring water mixed with a variety of herbs. The spiritual spring water with related effects comes from a special spiritual spring. Looking at the entire peninsula, there are only four of this special spiritual spring that have been passed down for thousands of years. One of them is in the hands of the Fu Dao Li family. This is one of the main reasons why the Li family can survive. After all, in addition to refining the spiritual liquid that helps practitioners restore their mana, the water in the spiritual spring also has many magical effects. For example, long-term drinking of spiritual spring water can help the practitioner's body maintain its youthful and most energetic state. And can improve the practitioner's physique to a certain extent. And it is said that hundreds of years ago, before the end of the Dharma age, when the spiritual spring had not yet degraded. If someone could monopolize a special spiritual spring, there was a great hope of becoming an immortal. It is not a problem to become a mountain god or an immortal and live a long life. Unfortunately, the Dharma ending age ended that splendid era of spiritual practice. After taking a glass of spiritual fluid, Li Xia immediately felt that his recovery speed had been accelerated by 30%. Unfortunately, for low-level monks from my family, this kind of spiritual liquid prepared from spiritual spring water can only be supplied to three pots per month. Three pots, which is about six liters. Too little. You have to use it sparingly on weekdays. He felt sour when he thought back to the fact that those with outstanding talents in the main line were allocated half a square meter per month. I'm jealous. Wait a minute, the power of the four soul fragments can strengthen the quality of the cinnabar spiritual ink, then can it improve the quality of the spiritual fluid? Li Xia suddenly became excited when he thought of this. He has been suffering from headaches due to the problem of mana recovery. The recovery of mana after consumption was slow, which made it difficult for him to practice various spells with half the effort. After all, those with good talent for cultivation practice faster, have higher cultivation levels than him, have more mana, and recover much faster. In this way, people can cast dozens of spells a day, and they can accumulate experience and increase their proficiency through multiple casts. On the other hand, he was able to cast less than 10 low-level spells every day, even though he was working very hard and calculating. This makes him far inferior to other talented guys in terms of experience accumulation. In a short period of time, he could not change or improve his talent but he can use external objects to make up for the lack of his own mana reserves and mana recovery efficiency. Realizing this, Li Xia no longer hesitated. He took off several four-soul fragments from the talisman pen and then embedded them into a bamboo tube. What is contained in the bamboo tube is the spiritual liquid that helps restore mana. What needs to be added here is that the four-soul fragment he left to the girl A. Lee was the one on the forehead of the human body the seven that he took away were the clean fragments that had been purified by A. Lee for a long time. In other words, within the four-soul fragments at this time, the relatively kind straight spirit completely suppressed the absolutely evil bent spirit. As long as he doesn't greedily stuff the four-soul fragments directly into his body, there won't be too many hidden dangers. This can be seen from the psychic ink produced by the painter whose original work was called Ma Liang's magic pen. The initial psychic ink in the artist's hand did not have the intention of devouring the master, but instead actively protected the master many times. It wasn't until the painter got greedy and let the psychic ink absorb his own blood that he tricked himself to death. Same reason. The uncontaminated fragments of the four souls were embedded in Tai Sui Yang or the savage dragon spear, and there were no traces of backlash. Therefore, to be on the safe side, Li Xia still asked someone to find a few white mice and test them several times. 
He found that there were no bad changes in these mice, but that the mice had faintly undergone benign changes. Then I felt relieved and took a few bites. The fragrance in the spiritual liquid is much stronger than before. After taking a small sip of spiritual liquid, Li Xia's eyes suddenly widened. This. He stayed in place for a long time and silently marveled. Lost in trance. It turns out that the recovery effect of the spiritual liquid has undergone a qualitative change, and is 30 to 50 times better than the original one. One foresoul fragment can increase the demonic power of middle and lower level monsters several times in a short period of time. Unexpectedly, the effect of these seven fragments on improving low level spiritual liquid can reach dozens of times after superposition. It's posted. It's posted. If this kind of spiritual liquid is sold to the senior leaders of the clan. No, no, no. No one is guilty of carrying a treasure. This kind of good thing, until I don't have the matching strength, I can't take it out at all. Chapter, 7. What does it mean to increase the recovery speed by dozens of times? The intuitive data performance is. It used to take an hour or two to fully recover, but now it only takes a minute or two to recover. After returning to the full state, you can naturally continue to try to draw symbols. As a result, Lee's efficiency in drawing talismans increased dozens of times. In the future, the efficiency of practicing various spells can also be increased dozens of times. This is not sowing that the few core geniuses in the family can do with their cultivation talents. In the past, those with excellent cultivation talents could practice magic at a rate that was nearly ten times that of him. Whatever you do, you get twice the result with half the effort. Proficiency is accumulated very quickly. But starting today, the situation has reversed. He will surpass those so-called geniuses several times. The four soul fragments can not only strengthen the talisman brush and the cinnabar spirit ink required to draw the talisman. But also help me start from outlining the raw materials of the talisman to enhance the quality of the final talisman. It can also indirectly increase the power of my refining by improving the efficacy of the spiritual liquid. The speed of making talismans and practicing magic. Li Xia pondered. Very happy and excited about this. However, that's all. After all, the seven four soul fragments only improved the effectiveness of the spiritual liquid, and only changed the external objects. They did not directly enhance his talent and make him a peerless genius in one fell swoop. Therefore, the help for the growth of mana is still limited. If he wants to continue to improve his talents, he must take a long-term approach. Speaking of which, being able to continue on the path of cultivation in the Age of Ending Dharma actually shows that his talent for cultivation is not bad. In the era when cultivation civilization was at its peak 500 years ago, his talent would have been at least average. Because of his middle to lower qualifications, he is not even qualified to embark on the path of spiritual practice in the Age of Ending Dharma. How to solve the problem of cultivation qualifications? It's troublesome. Talent is innate. If there is no great opportunity or great fortune, then a person's qualifications basically determine the person's upper limit. For example, the female lead, Ali, is the reincarnation of Platycodon Grandiflorum. Another example is Platycodon itself. The two girls were born in Rome. The former, just because of the shrine maiden's talent, made the four souls jade afraid of it, so it secretly manipulated and sealed Ali's talent. Even so, the 15-year-old Ailey still had the confidence to face the big monster head-on. The latter, with residual health, can still easily disintegrate by Dongzi's high-level barrier with the help of the Shikigami puppet's hands with the demon-breaking arrow. It was a powerful barrier that even the red iron broken teeth, which were designed to break barriers, couldn't break it. People have won at the starting line since they were born. Or to be more precise, it is the starting point of this kind of evil genius, which is the end point that countless people long for but cannot reach. In addition to the qualification issue, there is another issue that is even more urgent. I don't have much spiritual fluid left in my body. In response, Li Xia frowned slightly. He is only a collateral descendant of the Li family on the peninsula, and the amount of spiritual fluid he can allocate is extremely limited. Previously, the slow mana recovery speed allowed him to draw only a few talismans every day, but this also helped him save the consumption of spiritual liquid. But now, with the convenience of high-quality spiritual fluid, his recovery speed has greatly increased, 
and he can draw up to four to five hundred talismans every day. Originally, this was a good thing. However, a small cup of high-quality spiritual liquid can help him recover three to five times at most. As a result, the amount of spiritual liquid he needed to consume increased sharply. From the original consumption of only three small cups per day, it has now become nearly a hundred cups per day. But there was only a little more than a pot of spiritual liquid left in his hand. There is still less than half a month until the family's next supply. A pot of two liters of spiritual fluid would probably only be enough for him to make do with for an afternoon. Once the spiritual liquid is exhausted, he will be knocked back to his original shape. After all, it's hard for a clever woman to make a meal without rice. How great would it be if I had a spiritual spring? In that case, I can prepare as much spiritual liquid as I need. Li Xia sighed. The next moment, he thought of the parallel world opposite the bone-eating well, and his breathing suddenly stagnated, and his mouth opened slightly. In the modern world, every spiritual spring basically has its own owner. There are often one or two big cultivation families guarding these spiritual springs. Taking food from the tiger's mouth from the hands of those big families is too long. During the Warring States period opposite the Well of Edible Bones, most of the spiritual springs were ownerless. And those spiritual springs that have not dried up until later generations, in the world of monsters. Most of them have not been affected by the so-called Age of Ending Law and have not deteriorated. This also means that the quality of those spiritual springs is quite high. If the spiritual spring water, which is already of high quality, continues to be improved with the help of multiple four soul fragments, what amazing changes will its efficacy have? If he occupies such a high quality spiritual spring. Thinking of this, he wished he could spread his wings and the monster world in the Warring States period. You need to prepare more firearms. You can try to equip some grenades, rockets, etc. High tech things must be enough. Even if you can't deal with powerful monsters, you can still deal with some miscellaneous monsters. Wait, maybe I can plan more. Li Xia, who thought of sewing again, became even more excited and excited. Since the two worlds are parallel worlds that are related to each other, apart from some variables. Most of the spiritual springs that are still alive in the modern world must have existed in the Warring States period 500 years ago. If I compare the spiritual springs that still exist in the modern world with find out the specific location of these spiritual springs and find out the relevant history of these spiritual springs. Then in turn, go to the monster world opposite the bone-eating well to search for them, and you will definitely get twice the result with half the effort. Maybe many of them are occupied by monsters and immortals among humans, but there's no guarantee that there won't be any fish that slipped through the net. In addition, since I already know the location of these spiritual springs, I can naturally visit them at fixed points to investigate the situation. When my strength reaches a certain level, I can seize most of them and use them to train my subordinates, or I can spread them and use these cultivation resources to strengthen my own lineage. Everything is possible. Originally, Traveling without a golden finger made him very irritated and tired. For fifteen years, I called the system day and night, called the sign-in panel, called the Lord God, and called Yao Lao, but I never got the slightest response. Now, with various advantages such as foresight and foresight, he is confident that he can go far and climb high even without resorting to those unreasonable golden fingers. After. Li Xia asked for two days leave from Meta Sequoia Junior High School. He devoted himself wholeheartedly to refining the talisman. What he wants to refine is the sealing talisman. This is a low-level talisman not commonly used by novice practitioners. It can help mages suppress monsters, or seal some monster remains and evil demon knives. Unlike the short-term expulsion of evil spirits, the sealing charm is used for long-term suppression. In the past, he didn't have the energy to study such basically useless talismans as sealing talismans. As a fifth spag who is on par with Grandpa Ailey, he is quite confident about his rank. What he relies on is more of a young and energetic body. Therefore, he put more thought into the five most commonly used low-level talismans, the powerful talisman. The quick and agile talisman, the evil-proof talisman, the divine wind talisman, and the light body talisman. The powerful talisman increases power output, the quick sensitivity talisman speeds up nerve reaction and attack speed, the evil repelling talisman can resist monster attacks. The divine wind talisman increases one's own mobility, 
and the last lightweight talisman reduces one's own weight and can be used in conjunction with the divine wind talisman. Increase escape efficiency. Attack, defense, and escape are all ensured. As for the sealing talisman or sewing. It is a talisman that can only be used after defeating the monster, or suppressing or even subduing the monster sword. Li Xia said that with his little weight, he could still protect himself against one or two miscellaneous monsters but if he was asked to deal with the demonic sword that devours the lord. Or to eliminate those powerful monsters and ghosts, he should just go to sleep. Only. The appearance of the human face changed this situation. The fleshly human face in its weakest period is no better than the monsters. Ali's grandfather has proved this. And as luck would have it, he was bumped into and caught when he was about to steal the house. The physical human face is not completely dead yet. Monsters cannot be judged by common sense. Haven't you seen that the centipede which has been resurrected many times? The masked demon with a fleshy human face is similar to the centipede witch, and it also just fell silent. It is possible to be resurrected. If I can control the physical human face and fully develop the potential of this monster, I may be able to become a god in another way. Speaking of which, using a monster as your own shikigami. There must be a legacy in the family. The spiritual liquid was only enough for one day, but he took two days off. The reason for this is naturally to go back to the peninsula and learn from the family. One day I draw talismans, and the other day I go home and shear wool. After struggling for a day, I finally managed to draw three sealing talismans. For these three sealing talismans, he first affixed one to the body of the mask with a human face then placed it into an alloy iron box and then affixed the other to the surface of the alloy iron box. As an insurance policy. The third one was posted on the outside of an iron box containing four soul fragments as an early warning. This thing is naturally useless against the four soul fragments. Once the four soul fragment exerts its power, the sealing talisman is just a decoration but if the sealing talisman burns. Wouldn't it just tell him that the four soul fragment is acting as a monster and there are dangerous monsters around? Xiaoxia, here is the ticket for tomorrow morning. By the way, what happened? Why are you in such a hurry to go back? During dinner in the evening, the middle-aged man handed me a brand new ticket. Li Xia took it. Thank you, Uncle Forth. As for why you are in a hurry to go back. He didn't say much. Chapter 8 the Li family of Peninsula has a long heritage. As early as the Qin and Han dynasties in Kyushu, we had contact with the mainland. The peninsula at that time was called Silla and belonged to the Park family. During the prosperous Tang dynasty in China, exchanges between the two sides became even more frequent. At this time, the peninsula was controlled by the Jin family. Later, during the Song and Ming dynasties, the exchanges between the two parties reached their peak. Li Qingui, the ancestor of the Li family, succeeded in seizing power. Build a dynasty. It was not until the 20th century that the influence of neighboring island countries and major kingdoms in the world infiltrated, and the dynasty came to an unsatisfactory end. It is now 1996, that is, at the end of the 20th century, the three major spiritual families, the Park family, the Kim family, and the Li family, have retired from the world. This has created a strange situation in which chables affect people's livelihood. Three major families. The Pu family is the most mysterious, the deepest hidden, and the secret is unfathomable. The Jin family has the strongest reputation and is full of talents. The Li family originally ruled the peninsula for the longest time, but due to the sudden arrival of the Dharma age around 1500 which greatly affected the family's accolation and accolation, it was the one with the shallowest background among the three families. After all, before the age of ending Dharma, it was a stage of accolation by the age of ending Dharma, it was no longer accolation, but resting on one's laurels. The Li family, which rose from the grassroots, only accolated 300 years of wealth the Pu family and the Jin family are different. These two families are truly millennium-old families in the spiritual world. The Jin family, in particular, ruled the peninsula for nearly a thousand years during the era when cultivation civilization was most prosperous. That was a real rule of nearly a thousand years. During this period, the cultivation resources that were searched and accolated and occupied were not comparable to those of the Li family who only started to exert their efforts in the later period. 
Fortunately, the ancestors of the Li family are quite reliable. Hugging Shenzhou's father's thigh tightly, it was with the help of this powerful external force that he was able to save the spiritual spring that still showed no sign of drying up. With this spiritual spring maintaining the lowest level of the cultivation system, the Li family's Taoism will not be cut off so easily. Li Xia returned to the clan, firstly to obtain the inheritance of refining Shikigami, and secondly to obtain more spiritual liquid. The Li family's land is located among green mountains and green waters near the sea. From the outside, this is a relatively remote and exclusive village. Many ordinary people who pass by this place never think twice about it. How could those who couldn't see the magic of this place imagine that this remote, poor and quite exclusive village actually hit a huge monster? Within the clan's territory. Father and son meet. What's the matter with you kid? It's only been a few days and you're running home. Father Li Zhuan, who was wearing a Taoist robe and a pair of elegant glasses, frowned. On the dining table, carved out of blue jade, Li Xia, who was immersed in eating rice, slowly raised his head. Then took out a small bottle from his pocket, and immediately handed it to the cheap father in front of him and said seriously. I found this on the island country. Check to see if there's anything wrong. Set off in the morning and arrive home at noon. This is exactly the distance between the island country and the peninsula. Father Li Jun was surprised at first after hearing this, then took the vial and started playing with it. When I took it, I shook the bottle gently to simply determine what was inside. Then I heard a rushing sound coming from it. Not surprisingly, most of the liquid contained inside it is some kind of liquid. At first, Cheap Daddy didn't take the liquid in the vial seriously. He opened the bottle cap nonchalantly, ready to check it out casually. He knew very well what level and rank his son was in, so he could still bring out sewing that moved him. Do not make jokes. As a result, when the bottle cap was opened, a rich fragrance spewed out directly from it. The next moment, the whole house was filled with this strange fragrance that made the whole body feel comfortable and the magic power in the body became active. Ha! Huh. This is it. The middle-aged Taoist priest's nose twitched and his eyelids twitched involuntarily. The casualness on his face disappeared, replaced by a look of surprise. Seeing his son on the other side of the jade table smiling without saying a word, with a meaningful smile in his eyes. The middle-aged man immediately calmed down and sniffed at the mouth of the bottle and sucked it in gently. After sniffing it twice, his expression became even weirder. Seeing this, Li Xia suggested. Dad, if you give it a try, you'll probably know why I came back in a hurry this time. The middle-aged man nodded, thinking that his son had no reason to harm him, and that he was indeed very interested in the liquid in the bottle, so he took a small peck. When the water in the bottle entered his mouth, he was refreshed by the familiar taste it was unmistakable, this was the secret spiritual liquid made by their Li family. But why is that unique fragrance dozens of times stronger? The originally sweet and cool taste seemed to be overly sweet and became extremely hot. The entire mouth and taste buds were stimulated like needles. With a mouthful of gurgling sounds, his entire esophagus and stomach were immediately convulsing and trembling, all hallelujah. A wonderful feeling of flying into the sky and shoulder to shoulder with the sun arises spontaneously. This was just about the taste. What shocked him even more was that the flow of mana in the body suddenly accelerated ten times. It felt like the tractor's speed suddenly increased to the speed of a railway train. There is no doubt that the spiritual liquid Li Xia took out was exactly the spiritual liquid he had strengthened with the four soul fragments. Xiao San, how come our spiritual liquid has become so delicious and magical? The effect of restoring mana has increased more than ten times. Cheap Daddy asked with surprise on his face. At this time, Li Xia also put down his chopsticks, and his face became more serious and solemn. That's what I want to say. Dad, the recipe for the spiritual liquid should only be known to the senior family members, right? But why did I find the same spiritual liquid on the island country? The key is that the spiritual liquid prepared by others is far more effective than our Li family prepares high-quality products by ourselves. Could it be that the top family officials have improved the formula? As soon as Li Xia said this, the cheap daddy's expression immediately changed. Impossible. If the top management improves the formula, we will definitely know sewing about it. 
Even if this high-quality spiritual fluid is scarce in quantity and is only used for the geniuses in the core main line, we side branches should receive some at least. News. The main line will not hide this kind of information. Wait a minute, are you suspecting that our family's spiritual liquid formula was leaked by some ripoff? That guy even improved the formula and sold it to the island country. Li Xuan's eyes gradually widened. The look of surprise and anger in his eyes was even worse. Dad, I only got so much here, and the clues were cut off when dealing with the ghost of a little girl. What should we do now? Do I need to report this matter? Li Xia asked deliberately. Li Xinan fell into deep thought for a long time. First of all, his son was able to produce this high-quality spiritual fluid and was sure that it was obtained by the island country. This intelligence must be taken seriously. And this information is very important and valuable to the family. Secondly, considering that this son was just a rookie and could not prepare such a high-quality spiritual fluid on his own, he spontaneously ruled out that the kid was misleading him. Finally, it's about how to avoid the person who leaked the formula and how to send the information to the top management without alerting the enemy. You just went to an island country to study in a junior high school. Why did you encounter such a big thing? The cheap old father was in a very complicated mood. Li Xia shrugged and told the prepared story. Dad, I met a monster on the island country. Oh. What monster? It is a monster that appears at night. Its body is golden, its tail is like an ear of wheat, and it looks like a balloon. When it is active at night, it always floats in the air with its eyes closed. By the way, there are always people around it. Accompanying the ghost of a child. Li Xia described. That was exactly the monster that Ali encountered in the modern world these two days. Although Li Xia didn't see it with his own eyes, it didn't stop him from using this monster to talk about things. After hearing his son's description of the monster, Li Xuan narrowed his eyes. What you encountered should be a demon-worshipping child spirit. What is a demon-worshipping child spirit? Li Xia pretended that he knew nothing. Seeing this, Li Xuan gave a few explanations. The demon-advocating child spirit is a kind of monster born from the soul of a child. It will play with the newly deceased children while playing the requiem flute, and at the same time protect these children from other monsters. Until those children ascend to heaven. Speaking of which, the demon-worshipping boy spirit is actually a very docile monster when he doesn't open his eyes. But if the souls of those children are too obsessed with negative emotions such as resentment and cannot rest in peace, and have never been able to ascend to heaven. The originally docile demon-worshipping child spirits will open their eyes and turn into ferocious and violent hell seducers. The lonely ghosts who are too heavy are sent to hell. That's it. That seemingly endless abyss leads to hell. Li Xia looked scared for a while. What? Have you ever seen the scene where the demon-worshipping child spirit opens the passage to hell? The cheap daddy raised his eyebrows. Li Xia nodded firmly. Well, I almost jumped down to save the kid. Silly boy, don't be so kind in the future. Dad said with emotion. Then dad, does it count as a great achievement for me to bring back this news? Forget it. Of course it does. You have made great contributions to the family this time. Whether it is this high-quality spiritual liquid or the news about the demon-worshipping child spirit, it is worthy of the clan elder's personal dispatch. Don't worry, the old guys above are indispensable. Your benefit. Your father and I will also benefit from it. Dad can benefit from this too. Certainly. Li Xia grinned immediately when he saw the elegant father's confident look. Isn't it that he took out such a small amount of spiritual liquid enhanced by the four soul fragments to use this false but absolutely important information to obtain a sufficient amount of spiritual liquid from the family's senior officials at once? With these spiritual fluids, he should be able to survive this most difficult period. He wanted to alert some powerful elders in the clan by revealing the information that there was a demon-worshipping child spirit in the island country. Today, monsters have almost disappeared, and powerful monsters are extremely rare. Although the demon-worshipping child spirit is not very dangerous, it has the ability to open the hell passage and restrain the target. This kind of monster, which is not very powerful but has very practical abilities, is the most suitable to be conquered and used as a shikigami. Some of the reclusive old guys in the clan will most likely come out to slay demons upon hearing the news. 
This kind of scene where he was taught on the spot how to subdue monsters and contract as a shikigami was undoubtedly extremely rare. A few pieces of news, some true and some false, can not only fulfill him, but also fulfill the clan elders, strengthen the family, and by the way, the cheap daddy will benefit to some extent. It can be said that one stone s many birds. There was no reason for him not to try such a good thing. Sure enough, in the afternoon of the day when the news was sent, three old antiques over eighty years old came to the door together. Is the news about the demon-worshipping child spirit true? The three elders all looked excited. In this apocalyptic era, it is really difficult to find a monster to surrender as your shikigami. There are too many monks but too little meat. Chapter, 9 Three clan elders, my son provided this important information. According to clan rules, should I be given a certain reward? Li Zhuan, the chief father, spoke out to argue. Hearing this, the three elders looked at each other, and their eyes fell on the young Li Xia. What do you want, little one? The elders of the three major clans have decided that as long as the conditions proposed by the junior in front of them are not too excessive, they can agree to them. Li Xia thought for a while. And then he first secured some benefits for his father to repay the kindness of his biological father in raising and teaching him over the years then he made a request to learn Shikishan arts and to practice with the aid of a large amount of spiritual liquid. The latter was the most suitable. The main purpose of Learn the contract OD of Shikigami One of the three elders frowned slightly. The Shikigami contract is another core inheritance of the family. It is an advanced shiki technique used in combination with talismans. Until now, only the geniuses of the main line could learn it. Side branches are not eligible to study. However, the other two people were very happy and broke this rule that originally only served the core executives. Yes. As long as you lead us to find the demon-worshipping child spirit, no matter whether the capture is successful or failed, we will teach you the shikigami contract OD. As for the spiritual liquid, we promise to provide you with a monthly supply of two square meters. Little one, what do you think? The reason why there are two parties. Naturally, it was because of Li Xia's biological father and the three young people under his knees. Between the four of them, father and son, the equal share is exactly half a cubic meter per person per month, which is equivalent to giving a small part of the mainline benefits to a family of four. This little effort is insignificant. Thank you three clan elders. Li Xia accepted happily. As an ordinary cultivator in the clan, he can only enjoy three pots of six liters of spiritual liquid every month. However, six liters of spiritual liquid, even if it was an enhanced version of high-quality spiritual liquid, and he tried his best to use it sparingly, he could only use it for a day and a half. This is still under the current situation where his mana is low and recovery is not that troublesome. After his mana increased greatly and his strength skyrocketed, six liters of spiritual fluid would have allowed him to last for half a day, let alone a day and a half of high-intensity training. Therefore, he had no intention of sharing any of the spiritual fluids between the two parties with anyone. To prevent long nights and long dreams, how about we set off to the island country now to find the demon-worshipping child spirit? Good boy. The three elders admired Li Xia even more for his lack of procrastination. Ever since, on the flight to the island country in the afternoon, there were four more figures, three old and one young. At the same time. Island country, Higarashi Shrine. Ali, who had just returned from the Warring States monster world opposite the bone-eating well, took his younger brother Suda and hurried directly to the home of his elementary school classmate Xiaowu where there was a fire. There used to be a family of three in this home. They are ten-year-old Mayu as the elder sister, eight-year-old Xiaowu as the younger brother, and the mother of the two children. The one who maintains this small family is naturally the mother who worked so hard to raise the two children. But a few months ago, there was a fire at home. My sister Mayu was burned alive in the fire and was burned to death in the closet of her brother Xiaowu's bedroom. This made her sister Jenyu still resentful after her death, and she deeply hated her frail and sick brother Xiaowu. And as time goes by, this resentment not only does not fade, but becomes thicker. This also further restricted Mayu, preventing him from ascending to heaven, and his ghost remained in the human world. During this period, a demon-worshipping child spirit found Mayu's dead soul. While playing the requiem flute to comfort him, 
trying to make the child put down his obsession and rest in peace. He also silently guarded the little guy and witnessed how the little girl walked to the edge of the abyss step by step. Suda, you asked your sister if she saw an evil spirit before, right? Ali pulled his younger brother Suda and asked. Hearing this, Xiao Jingtai nodded. Yes sister, I feel like Wu is haunted by an evil spirit. A Wu has been in a coma since the fire a few months ago. At the beginning, the classmates in the class often visited him, but some strange things happened. For example, some students fell down the stairs for no apparent reason after visiting him, and some were almost hit by a car after leaving the hospital. Once or twice, no one thought anything of it but similar things happened one after another, and even every classmate who visited a Wu would encounter it. Everyone was afraid that sewing bad would happen to them, so they no longer dared to go to the hospital to see A Wu. Suda recounted what he saw and heard. Because of him, he was almost hit by a car. This always made him frightened. So the memory is profound. Is that so? Ali was thoughtful when he heard the words. After pondering for a while, he asked again. Then do you know what happened to his sister Mayu? A few months ago, there was a fire in their house, and his sister was burned to death. I heard that the aunt only knew that a Wu was at home at that time, and she didn't know that a Wu's sister was actually hiding in the closet of a Wu's room. So after the house caught fire, the aunt rushed home at the risk of being burned by the flames, but only rescued a Wu who was fainted by the smoke on the bed. If the aunt knew that a Wu's sister was also at home, she would definitely save her. Come out. While talking, the siblings went downstairs to the room where the fire had occurred. Sister, that's right there. A Wu and his family are on the fifth floor. Um. Ali raised his head, his eyes flashing with worry. Then he became more determined. After she learned part of Mayu's situation, out of sympathy and pity, she had already had the idea of saving the little girl. Especially after getting information about the demon advocating child spirit from Grandpa Mingjia, an old flea who has lived in the world of monsters for more than 2,000 years. After knowing that this seemingly kind and harmless monster once opened her eyes from the closed eye mode, the little girl would not be unable to ascend to heaven. By then, they will definitely be taken to hell by the rampaging demon worshipping child spirit. This was not the result she wanted to see. Sister, that house is also very strange as long as you find someone to renovate that house, accidents will inevitably happen. So even now, that house is still full of traces of being burned by the fire. And it's the same as it was a few months ago, nothing has changed. Next moment. Accidents do happen. I saw a withered flower pot on the balcony suddenly floated out of the air, and then began to fall freely towards the two siblings. Danger! Ali exclaimed. Then he pulled his brother over, quickly dodged, and protected his brother under his body. Evil spirit! Higarashi Soda was so frightened that his face turned green. Then he rolled his eyes and fainted. In fact, this is his experience in dealing with such emergencies many times. Because as long as he pretends to be dead quickly, the evil spirit secretly who likes to cause accidents will not embarrass him. As witty as he is, he is the classmate who visits Ah Wu the most. How could he not have any experience? Ali didn't understand the details here, but he blamed himself for his recklessness. Suda. As she shook her brother lying on the ground, a little girl wearing a winter cotton coat appeared next to her. It's the truth. Why are you doing this? Chapter, 10. Aren't you Xiaowu's sister? Why do you resent him so much? Ali asked very angry. There may be hidden secrets in dealing with one's own family it can actively affect innocent people around, and even anger those children who are kind-hearted to visit their classmates. People were pushed to the center of the road. This kind of behavior is really bad. Such a child is not cute at all. Humph, I want you to take care of it. Anyway, I will definitely Xiao Wu, the one who took everything from me. My mother hates me, all because of Xiao Wu my mother only saved Xiao Wu but not me in the fire, must not like me. It's all Xiao Wu's fault. Mayu turned his back and said coldly. How could you do this? Ali really didn't understand this child. But she also realized that there must be some misunderstanding. Because the little girl's words were full of jealousy, vaguely carrying a child's desire for maternal love. It reminds me that every time the little girl plays a prank, she avoids her mother. 
maybe there is some misunderstanding between mother and daughter. Mayu, if you have any resentment or anything that is hard to let go, you can tell me and I will convey it to your mother. Your mother cannot see that you are now only a spirit body and cannot communicate with you, but sister, I can. Maybe after everything is said and done, everyone can understand each other. Ali said optimistically. Then he even more comforted. In addition, let go of your obsessions and never do evil and wrong things again otherwise, you will completely turn into an evil spirit. But these words made the little girl even more excited. There is no misunderstanding. I'm just an unwanted child. In the eyes of my mother, only Xiao Wu is the only one, not me at all. Mayu, your mother is very gentle. She has always cared about you. Don't make your mother sad anymore. Ali was anxious to explain. In her brief interaction with the mother, she could see the self-blame and pain of the mother to some extent. Such a gentle mother is unlikely to be a seriously partial mother. But Mayu became even more angry and impatient. Stop blabbering. Stop getting in my way, or I'll you too. As if to prove his strength, after Genyu disappeared from the spot, the big trees and shrubs in the surrounding flower beds were uprooted by invisible and immaterial forces. Flying tens of meters into the air, and then were blown away by a huge force. He fell heavily in front of Ali. Make shallow pits on the concrete floor. Ali was so shocked that he instinctively protected his younger brother Suda. And Suda on the ground was really frightened and fainted. Oh my god, there really is an evil spirit. She's still a Wu's sister. After the commotion subsided, Ali, who had always protected his brother Higurashi Suda with his own body, raised his head and opened his eyes and looked around. After seeing the devastated garden downstairs, she couldn't help but bite her lips and remain silent for a long time. Human beings are too insignificant in front of these ghosts and monsters. It was just an obsession formed after the death of a ten-year-old girl. After several months of precipitation, it was able to achieve this level and cause such intuitive damage. What kind of destructive power will those evil spirits with more serious obsessions have? Combined with the fact that two days ago, the monster sealed by the ancestors hundreds of years ago broke the seal and attacked Grandpa. And six of the four soul fragments left at home were inexplicably lost, leaving only one piece left at the foot of the bed. Combined with these monster incidents that happened around her, a seed was quietly planted in her heart. It seems that the modern world where I live is not as peaceful as it seems on the surface. After sending Suda back to Higurashi Shrine, she went to the hospital without stopping. Mayu's younger brother Xiao Wu has been in a coma in the hospital bed for several months and has not yet woken up. She didn't believe it if there was no element of truth in it. Moreover, this little girl with long-lasting resentment had made it clear that she wanted to Xiao Wu. She couldn't just watch this tragedy happen knowingly. I can't let Mayu continue to make such mistakes. Outside the hospital where Xiao Wu was staying. A small ghost invisible to ordinary people floats in the air. It's the truth. The little girl looked angrily at a certain ward in the hospital, her little brother lying on the bed, and her kind and gentle mother beside the bed. She couldn't help but murmur to herself. Tonight, after mom comes home, I will mom's favorite Xiaowu. Behind Mayu, there is a squinting child spirit who worships demons. After the little girl really decided to her brother, the eyes of the demon-worshipping child spirit behind her suddenly widened a lot and became half-narrowed. Before, Mayu used it as a prank to scare others. Although others were injured, no real deaths were caused. But things are different now. As her mind became darker and darker. The closed-eyed demon-worshipping child spirit that mainly guided and comforted her quickly transformed into the open-eyed demon-adoring child spirit that imprisoned and sanctioned her. Good and evil are only in a thought. Time flies. Night falls quickly. Oh's mother, are you going back? A familiar nurse asked with a smile. After hearing this, Mayu and Xiaowu's mother smiled and bowed to the kind nurse. Yeah, see you tomorrow. She lost her husband many years ago and lost her eldest daughter a few months ago. Now she relies on her only son in the hospital bed for spiritual support. She couldn't imagine how desperate she would be if her son also left her. When the mother was about to step out of the hospital, Ali arrived in time. Auntie, excuse me. Ali called to the mother who was about to leave. You are. Suda's sister. It's me. 
that. I'm sorry, auntie, could you tell me sewing about Jen Yu who has passed away? I know this is difficult, but auntie, please. It is rude to ask a mother about her deceased child's past. Not surprisingly, the mother in front of her was shocked when she heard this. But to Ali's expectation, instead of being angry because of the offense, the mother showed a hint of guilt and self-blame did you feel it too? Eh. Auntie, are you? I know. The evil spirit that everyone talks about that keeps causing accidents is actually Mayu. Although I can't see her, I'm pretty sure it's her. And I know that she is still lingering between me and Ah with resentment. Satori. By the way, I'm sorry for causing trouble and trouble to Suda and many classmates who came to visit Ao because of Mayu if you want to know anything. Just ask, as long as I know, I will tell you the truth. Now, Ali was shocked. Ghosts are existences that are invisible to mortals. But the mother said she could feel it. Mother's love is really magical sometimes. After this, Ali understood the whole story like a story. It turned out that because Mayu's younger brother Xiaowu suddenly had a high fever that day, the mother did not go to school to participate in Mayu's parent observation day as scheduled. Therefore, Mayu felt that her mother only liked Xiaowu, so she ran away from home in anger. The mother also thought that Mayu had gone out to relax as usual, so she didn't pay much attention. Unexpectedly, when the mother went out to buy groceries, Mayu returned home, and ignored her brother Xiaowu's advice and put the scarf on the stove to bake. He hid in the closet of his younger brother Xiaowu's bedroom, and even asked his younger brother not to tell his mother that he was hiding in the closet. I want my mother to worry. The scarf was set on fire. Mayu happened to be fast asleep in the closet. When Mayu woke up, the entire house was surrounded by fire. During this period, because the mother did not know that her daughter Mayu was still in the closet at home. Her hands were severely burned, and she could only save her son Xiaowu, who was bedridden with high fever and fainted. After the fire brigade put out the fire, they discovered the dead little girl in the closet. It turns out that there are indeed many misunderstandings between you mother and daughter. Thinking of the fact that Mayu's dead soul could not be comforted, she kept hating her, thinking that her mother only liked her younger brother and not her. That's why she didn't save herself and let herself be burned to death in the fire. Because of this, sabotage was carried out for several months. Don't let anyone get close to your younger brother Xiaowu. Recently, I have been thinking about ING Xiaowu. Thinking of this, Ali was both relieved and anxious. Just when she was thinking about going to Mayu to explain all this. On the sixth floor of the hospital, the lights in a ward suddenly sizzled, followed by a loud bang. The originally bright room suddenly fell into darkness. It's Xiao Wu's room. Xiao Wu's mother and Ali's expressions both changed. Hurry upstairs. The other end. The location of Xiao Wu's home. The three old men and one young man followed the clue and got here. The three clan elders are here. Chapter 11. Little guy, is this where you found the demon worshipping child spirit? A clan elder asked aloud. Li Xia shook his head. Seeing this, the three elders immediately cast a searching gaze. At this moment, invisible pressure rose up and fell on him immediately, giving him the illusion of a tight feeling in his heart. Feeling the oppressive and scrutinizing eyes of the three elders, Li Xia hurriedly explained. Three clan elders, it's like this. I found the golden and docile monster nearby. I followed it carefully and confirmed that the demon-worshipping child spirit would enter this house that had been on fire every night. So I brought the three of them here to wait and see. I see. The third elder nodded with satisfaction. Just as they were going upstairs, one of the three clan elders glanced at the messy garden downstairs in confusion. I saw that the garden was still in a mess at this moment. Although the big trees and shrubs that were uprooted by Mayu's ghost power were moved and cleaned. The shallow pits made by the cement pavement and the pits left by the disappearance of many vegetation are still there. What's wrong, boss? Nothing, let's go upstairs. After that, four people, three old and one young, entered the fire scene a few months ago. Everyone split up to investigate the situation. The moment one of the clan elders opened the closet where the little girl Mayu was burned to death in the fire, his originally calm face suddenly turned serious. 
The other two clan elders who were originally investigating the situation in the living room and other rooms also sensed sewing and gathered here. The three of them looked at each other, their eyes burning. There really is the lingering aura of monsters that were active here. Not only that, there is a very strong ghostly atmosphere lingering in this cabinet. Are you ghostly? Very rich indeed. Wait, since that ghost can attract the demon worshipping child spirit to follow, it can only be a little ghost. Moreover, the fire here occurred a few months ago. Doesn't it mean that the little ghost has been staying in this world for several months with the help and connivance of the demon worshipping child spirit? The three of them thought of sewing, and the excitement on their faces became even more intense. After staying in this world for several months, I must have developed and mastered some abilities unique to ghosts. Couldn't those traces in the garden downstairs have been made by this little ghost? This little ghost has great potential. Jia Jia, is it possible that on this trip to the island country, in addition to harvesting an extremely precious demon-loving child spirit, it is also possible to capture a little ghost with spiritual intelligence and independent personality who has developed many ghost abilities? You know, since entering the age of ending Dharma, it has become difficult for ghosts to stay in the human world for a long time. Usually they die and dissipate. It can exist for several months without disappearing, and it has never ascended to heaven or gone to hell. This all shows that the little girl Mayu has great potential. Over there at the hospital. The little girl has already used the power of ghosts to destroy the windows of the ward and the lamps and other facilities in the room. Ali and Mayu's mother hurried to the door of the ward. After the two pushed the door open, outside the window, the little girl's soul stood in the sky. Mayu, don't be like this. Ali spoke out to comfort him, and was about to explain sewing to Xiao Nizi, hoping to resolve the misunderstandings between mother and daughter, as well as between siblings. The mother saw her long dead daughter for the first time. Her eyes suddenly turned red and tears filled her eyes. And Mayu. Mother. Mom can actually see herself. The little girl was stunned. I feel a little happy, but also a little sad and unwilling. Then seeing her mother's sad and heartbroken look, she also showed some hesitation and intolerance. Mayu, why? Xiaowu is your younger brother. Why do those bad things? The mother wanted to step forward to stop her daughter from making repeated mistakes, but these words instantly ignited the child. Xiaowu, Xiaowu, Xiaowu again. I'm so annoyed. An air bomb transformed into a ghost's telekinesis hit her mother. Mayu, who regained her composure, completely ignored her mother as she flew out of the ward. After hearing her mother's back hit the wall of the corridor outside the room, she made a grunt of pain, and she flattened her lips and chose to be cruel to the end. Mom is biased. Mom only cares about her younger brother Xiao Wu and doesn't care about her at all. She is an unwanted child. Aunt. Ali was shocked. He turned to look at Mayu, trying to guide him. Mayu, think about it carefully. Did your mother really leave you alone? On the day of the fire, your mother didn't even know you were at home, right? Hearing this, the little girl paused for a moment. It occurred to her that she had put the towel on the stove, causing the ensuing fire. He also thought that it was because of his disobedience that his mother's hands were burned by the fire, and that his brother Xiao Wu is still in a coma. Incidentally, I remembered that I had always been angry with other classmates and friends who came here to visit Xiao Wu. And often played pranks in the park to tease those children who could get maternal love. I have known these things for a long time. Mayu said with nowhere to vent her childish anger. Of course she knew it was wrong, and she knew very well that everything was her own fault. But she has already missed it and lost everything, so what else can she not do? It's all Xiao Wu, it's all because of him. The ghost's telepathy was activated again, and the ground in the ward collapsed. The bed where her younger brother Xiao Wu was was thrown out of the window by her telepathy. This time, she was really us and determined to Xiao Wu. Jealousy makes people lost and ugly. Don't want. Ali exclaimed. But the hospital bed still fell from the sixth floor to the downstairs. Tragedy seems inevitable. Xiao Wu. Ali reached out to grab the hospital bed, trying to save the innocent Xiao Wu if Xiao Wu really died, she couldn't imagine what kind of impulsive things her aunt would do in the future. What kind of sadness will it look like? But at this moment, a heavenly voice came from the side. 
TCH. I really can't stand it anymore. The voice was very familiar. Ali looked intently and was overjoyed. Inuyasha. Are you here too? At this time, the half-demon Inuyasha was holding the iron broken tooth inserted into the wall with one hand, and the other hand was holding the sleeping Shao Satoru. The child appears to be fine. This made Ali completely relieved. I told you when I was there not to meddle in other people's business. You see, that brat has driven himself to a dead end. Even if you tell her all the truth, it will be impossible for her to ascend to heaven. Get up, if she had gone too far just now, you might have fallen downstairs with her. Falling from such a height would be dangerous even for you. Inuyasha was rude, but his words were full of concern for the girl. As he spoke, Inuyasha, who had long silver hair and held an iron broken tooth in his hand, quietly stood in front of Ali. And as his voice fell, behind Genyu, who was floating in the air, the figure of a demon-worshipping child spirit quickly condensed from virtual reality. At this time, the demon-worshipping child spirit's eyes had been fully opened and dyed with a gloomy dark red color. Before Gen Yu could react, many red chains emerged from the golden body surface of the demon-worshipping child spirit and wrapped around the little girl's body. Tie it up tightly. No matter how hard you try, it's useless. What's this? Wait, no. Haven't you always been with me, protected me, and helped me? Why are you restricting me and arresting me now? Mayu couldn't figure it out. His eyes were filled with fear. Under the solemn gazes of Inuyasha and Ali, the little girl was dragged by the demon-worshipping child spirit and flew straight in one direction. In that direction was the house that burned down where Mayu's family once lived. Inuyasha, we must help Mayu. There was a lot of movement here, and it had already alerted the angel in white who was on duty at night. So after Ali put Xiaowu next to his aunt and called a nurse to take care of him, he decisively asked Inuyasha to chase her on his back. I don't know how to deal with ghosts. You have to figure it out yourself. I know. Grandpa Mingjia said that as long as the children's souls are allowed to ascend to heaven before their souls are taken to hell, it will be fine. By the way, the hell passage that the demon-worshipping child spirit is about to open is usually the place where the child died before. So. Let's just go directly to the house where Mayu lived before. There, there were already four figures waiting so hard that the flowers were almost withered. Just when the three elders were about to lose their patience. Ha. Huh. They're sowing evil about it. The three people's eyes all turned to the direction of the hospital a few kilometers away. Naturally, the elders of the three major clans couldn't notice it was that far away. But the spirit of the demon child has already approached Mayu's ghost. When they saw the monster that looked like a big golden balloon, the three people's eyes brightened. It's true that he is a demon-worshipping child spirit. Okay, okay, you must not miss this opportunity. Chapter 12. This book is not a modern urban novel. These two plots exist in the original work. This book appears only as a transition. It's not difficult to get information about the school Higarashi Suda attends. Through Suda's classmates, it was even easier to follow the clues and learn about the house that burned down where Xiao Wu's family once lived. Considering that the demon worshipping child spirit would eventually return to this house with Mayu to open the passage to hell. And he did not want to expose the existence of the four soul fragments in front of Ali. Therefore, Li Xia brought the three elders here and waited. Really? The demon advocating child spirit returned to the scene of the incident with Mayu's soul just like when he watched anime and comics in his previous life. It's like throwing yourself into a trap. In just a blink of an eye, the two fell into the trap set by the three clan elders. Did you make it? Li Xia's eyes widened. I saw that the demon-worshipping child spirit that was restraining Mayu was now enveloped by a golden light curtain that suddenly rose up. This is an intermediate barrier light curtain constructed by the three elders with the help of prearranged intermediate talismans. The light curtain formed a cage, trying to trap the monster and the little girl. On the surface, the situation looks great. But the next moment. The demon-worshipping child spirit had a golden color on its body, and its whole body shone with purple light. Immediately afterwards, a purple light curtain ignored the golden barrier constructed by the three elders with the help of talismans, completing strong penetration and coverage. 
The surrounding environment then changed from the dilapidated scene after the fire to the scene during the fire a few months ago. The entire house was engulfed in flames. In just an instant, the four of them were pulled into the opponent's home court. How is this going? Li Xia was shocked. On the surface, the demon-worshipping child spirit, which looks harmless to humans and animals and is also kind-hearted by definition, actually has such incredible spatial ODs. Sewing's so wrong. I've lost contact with all the talismans that were previously placed inside and outside the room. I can't sense the existence of those talismans at all. There was a clan elder whose expression changed drastically. He felt that the space he was in now had been separated from the real world. The other person nearby also changed his face wildly, and his expression became solemn. We are probably being pulled into the dimensional space leading to hell by the demon advocating child spirits. Ancient books record that the demon advocating child spirits can open the passage to hell, but before opening the passage, they will have deep resentments and persistent obsessions. The child is brought back to the place of death for the final test. If the child's heart knot cannot be opened and the soul cannot ascend to heaven during this period, then this space will collapse. The passage to hell will appear. At this point, the clan elder couldn't help but let out a breath of cold air. Fortunately, the most senior and most powerful clan elder who led this action always looked calm. Don't worry. Even if the kid can't be saved in time, this dimensional space will not completely collapse. It will only crack a crack leading to hell. The demon-worshipping child spirit will pass through this crack and wrap up the chained world. The child's soul is dragged into hell. He will never be reincarnated again. The demon-worshipping child spirit only targets the souls of those children and will not affect us. As long as we walk out of the door of this house in time, the moment we step out of the door, we will return to the real world from this house between reality and reality. Obviously, this person has a very good understanding of the demon-worshipping child spirit. The facts are indeed as the old man said. The four of them are currently in a dimensional world between reality and illusion. Because they have nothing to do with the accident a few months ago, and are not the targets of the demon-worshipping child spirit. Therefore, they are all audiences and there is no danger at the moment. No, the flames burning around them did no harm to the four outsiders, as if they didn't exist. In addition, they just need to open the door and leave normally without any additional restrictions. Unless you forcibly interfere with the actions of the demon worshipping child spirit, you will be attacked by this demon. Okay, let's first find the kid with the lingering resentment. Once we find him, we can follow the chains on his body and find out the demon advocating child spirit behind him. The little kid the old man calls is naturally true. At this moment, Mayu was trapped in a closet in the room where his younger brother Xiao Wu was. At this time, the closet was pitch dark, and Mayu was hiding in it, shivering. Outside the closet, a fire was raging and quickly spread. However, for the four of them, they were not affected in the slightest by the extremely dangerous fire. The only person these flames can burn and ache seems to be the true master. Who will save me? Mom. Mayu was huddled in a corner of the closet, her eyes filled with fear. The red chains on her body were getting tighter and heavier, making her extremely uneasy. Just then, the closet door was opened with a clang from the outside. Outside the closet, there are three old people and one young man. The old man has a kind face. The young ones are even more friendly. Who are you? Mayu asked warily. It turns out to be a little female ghost. After the third elder saw Mayu, the smile on his face became more kind and full. Following the chains wrapped around Mayu's body, it is not difficult to force out the demon advocating child spirit behind him and the demon advocating child spirit's target is Mayu. And it is always undefended against the three clansmen. In other words, the three elders only need to pay the minimum price to worship the demon child spirit. Of course, this opportunity to take action comes only once. Once the Chongyao child spirit reacts, what awaits the four of them will be a counterattack from a space monster. You guys step back first and look at me next. The leader of the old man took out a thick stack of talismans while speaking. With just one glance, Li Xia could tell that they were precious intermediate spirit sealing talismans, and there were even several high level spirit sealing talismans among them. That is what the old man's lineage has accumulated from generation to generation. 
because it is rare to see ghosts and monsters in the Dharma ending age, this also means that before the predecessors pass away, there will always be some good things left. Not surprisingly, those high-level spirit-sealing talismans were left by the sages of the Li family. Li Xia took another look at this. What a good thing, he wants to have it too. Kid, don't move. I'm here to save you. The three clan elders comforted and led the demon-worshipping child spirit to appear. The moment this kind-hearted monster appeared, a high-level spirit-sealing talisman and a hundred intermediate spirit-sealing talismans fell on it. During this period, the leader of the old men drew talismans in the void, and used this as a guide to fully activate the power of many talismans. Little guy, watch carefully. How the spirit-sealing talisman is used together with the magic formula. The clan elder suggested. Every movement of this person was very smooth and silky, and the void in front of him was sketched out like a piece of talisman paper. As the old man exerted his strength, dazzling white arcs suddenly filled the entire room. The spirit sealing chain appears. As the voice fell, a large number of white electric arcs condensed into mana chains and wrapped around the body of the demon-worshipping child spirit. The powerful force of confinement erupted, catching the monster off guard as it was about to go berserk. Help me. Seal up. This sound was the unanimous voice of the three elders who were working together. The three of them worked together, as if forming a faint formation. Finally, the white chain pulled it into the high-level spirit sealing talisman, and the outline of the demon advocating child spirit appeared on the front of the talisman. Obviously, this demon failed to block the combined force of many chains and was sealed within the high-level talisman. The soft talisman's brilliance dimmed and turned into a cardboard-like illustrated card. The demon-worshipping child spirit has been captured. When the three elders saw this, they were very surprised. Original. Got here. Things should end. But the three clan elders turned around and immediately attacked Mayu, capturing the little girl with the spirit sealing talisman as well. Mayu was completely unprepared and was captured on the spot. Elder of the clan, you guys are. Li Xia raised his eyebrows. On the side, the third elder was too excited and did not notice the abnormality of his junior. Little guy, you have made great contributions to the family this time, and you will definitely be rewarded when you return. Don't you want to learn the Shikigami's contract OD? After that, I will teach you step by step. Yes, not only did you provide accurate information, but you also allowed us to catch a kid with great potential. It was a pretty unexpected surprise. The previous reward was naturally not enough. Hearing this, Li Xia fell silent. Chapter, 13 He had calculated everything, but he had not calculated that the three clan elders would be interested in the soul of Mayu, a little human girl, and would not let it go. Li Xia's heart became extremely complicated as he watched Mayu being dragged by the mana chain and sealed into the spirit sealing talisman. The talisman quickly turned into a cardboard card with the appearance of a little girl on it. His original intention was to use the intelligence of the demon-worshipping child spirit to obtain the OD of learning the contracted Shikigami from the family's senior officials. After all, there is no such thing as a free lunch. The OD of contract Shikigami is one of the core ODs that only members of the main line can practice. As a side branch, if he wants to contact him, he needs to make great achievements. Three clan elders, this little girl. Li Xia, who felt a little sorry, couldn't help but ask. The three elders seemed to have expected this. One of them patted Li Xia on the shoulder. It seems that you are still a kind-hearted little guy. However, you have to know that in today's Dharma ending era, this kind of ghost that can still exist for several months has great potential. If he is contracted and tamed as the family's Shikigami, the family will undoubtedly have another trump card. But when we reach our level, everything we do must be done at the level of the entire family. How can we miss this opportunity to help the family increase its heritage? Also, don't think that you have wronged this little girl by transforming her into a Shikigami. First of all, you need to understand that the reason why the ghost of this kind of imp can be maintained for a long time is mainly because it is protected by the demon advocating child spirit. Now that we have captured the demon advocating child spirit, this little girl has lost her long term support. Even if we don't capture her, she will quickly turn into nothingness and disappear completely. We capture her, contract her with the demon-worshipping child spirit, and tame her into a shikigami, 
which is equivalent to giving her a new life. This is exactly the hidden ability of the demon-worshipping child spirit. This is also the preciousness of the demon-worshipping child spirit. It can not only comfort the dead children. Help them resolve their grievances and ascend to heaven it can also protect the children from being attacked by other monsters and maintain their souls in a subtle way. Secondly, she was extremely resentful. Even though the demon-worshipping child spirit played requiem for several months to comfort her and help her ascend to heaven, she still had lingering resentment and could not ascend to heaven. In other words, she it has long since become an evil spirit, and it is already difficult to ascend to heaven. If you continue to let it go, you will definitely be in trouble. I'm afraid you don't know how destructive evil spirits can be, right? If you let this kind of evil spirit roam wild, even if it can last for only a short time, it can quickly destroy a town with a population of tens of thousands. Before, we could easily succeed, mainly because the chains of the demon child spirit sealed her power. Little guy from the side branch, do you want to watch a large area of the island country Tokyo be destroyed by this evil spirit before it dissipates? The explanation of the three elders left Li Xia speechless. Can he say that Gen Yu can resolve the knot in his heart with the help of Ali and ascend to heaven as in the original work? He cannot. He couldn't even guarantee that Jinyo, who had lost the restraint of the demon-worshipping child spirit and had greatly deviated from the original work, would obediently wait to dissipate after gaining short-term freedom. God knows whether this little girl will drag a bunch of innocent people along with her before she disappears. He is not a careless monster therefore, he is not willing to bear the consequences of his karma. While the three elders and one young man were talking, the room that was originally burned by the fire quickly changed back to the ruins it had been before. All visions disappeared. The four people who ended the hunt immediately returned by car the same way they came. The other end. Ali was being carried by Inuyasha, and the two were moving quickly between the roofs of the houses. The direction points directly to the house where Mayu once burned down. But just after the two of them got within a certain range of Li Xia and the others, Ali's expression on Inuyasha's back suddenly changed. What's wrong, Ali? Inuyasha noticed something strange about the girl and asked aloud. When Ali heard this, his face was full of surprise. Inuyasha, I sense the aura of the four soul fragments. Four soul fragments? There are also four soul fragments in the world where you are. Or are they the ones you lost? Inuyasha stopped on the roof of a building. After thinking for a while, Ali replied. The four soul fragments were shot by me with the demon-breaking arrow in the Warring States period across from the bone-eating well. It is impossible for them to appear in modern times on their own. Currently, the only ones who can travel through that well are you and me. Even Chibao and Granny Fong the other villagers can't use that well to travel through time and space. Therefore, the fragments I sense should not be the ones that were lost before. The main reason why she made this judgment was that she lost six fragments. And Li Xia carried seven. In addition, they also want to stabilize Inuyasha and let Inuyasha take her to Mayu's house first. The two of them must first find a way to help Mayu, who is about to fall into hell, ascend. As for the four soul fragments and whatnot. Anyway, it won't disappear for now, and you will encounter it again sooner or later. That's why he said these words with a white lie. Inuyasha's attention returned to Mayu after learning that it was not the four soul fragments he had lost. And moves two points faster. Originally, if Inuyasha pursued with all his strength, the two sides would definitely be able to face each other. But one is in the north, heading southeast, and the other is in the south, heading southwest. Among them, the four of them, Li Xia, are driving fast in a private car, and they are naturally getting farther and farther away from each other. Wait until Inuyasha and Ali arrive at Mayu's house. After discovering that the figures of Chongyao Tongling and Zhenyu had disappeared, trying to find Li Xia would undoubtedly be like looking for a needle in a haystack. By the way, Ali, how were you sure that the four soul fragments you suddenly sensed were not one of the few we lost? Inuyasha asked belatedly. Ali blinked and explained nonchalantly. Because we lost six tablets and the other party carried seven. After hearing this, Inuyasha almost exploded with anger. What's wrong with you silly woman? Did you do this on purpose? If he knew that the other party was carrying seven pieces of the four soul fragments, instead of just one as the first subjective thought. 
He would never come to Mayu's house and would definitely go straight to the person holding the four soul fragments. Inuyasha, do you think Mayu ascended to heaven or was taken to hell by the demon child spirit? How could I know? Arguzi said angrily. I don't want to deal with this silly woman at all. Over there at the hospital. Mayu's mother had already woken up and was always by her son Xiaowu's side. Just when Zhen Yu was sealed into the intermediate spirit sealing talisman, Xiaowu woke up leisurely. After losing the influence of the evil sister, he finally woke up after months of overdue awakening. However, Xiaowu's memory still remains at the time when he fell into a coma due to the fire. And the first words he said when he woke up were, Mom, go and save my sister. After the house caught fire, she was still in the closet in my room. When the mother and the nurse who rushed over heard this, the former felt a sore nose and held her son in her arms the latter felt deeply and didn't know what to say. Xiaowu. She has been in poor health since she was a child, always getting sick and having fevers, which forced her mother to take more care of her, which also made her sister jealous. After the conflict between mother and daughter, Xiaowu kindly reminded his sister not to put the scarf on the stove to dry, but she was scolded by her sister instead. The result was a fire, causing this tragedy. Later, because his sister always sabotaged him, such as removing his four tube, he remained in a coma for several months. After waking up, he never resented his sister, but hurriedly told her that her sister was still in the closet. Thinking of rescuing my sister quickly. Xiaowu, it's okay, everything is over. Auntie's shoulders trembled slightly. Mother? Xiao Wu blinked in confusion. Return to your residence. Li Xia brought three clan elders to a quiet room. The three old men worked in the quiet room for a long time, and finally built an altar and prepared two shrines. Following some complicated steps, the demon worshipping child spirit and the little evil spirit Genyu were baptized at the altar and invited into the shrine. Moreover, these two shrines were finally bound back into the exquisite talisman paper by the spirit sealing talisman. Unlike the previous situation. If the faces of the previous demon advocating child spirits and Mayu reflected on the cardboard of the soul sealing talisman were filled with hatred and resentment. The demon advocating child spirit with its eyes open had an even more ferocious expression. At this moment, the faces of both of them became extremely Buddhist, and the demon worshipping child spirit had closed its eyes again. In addition, there is an outline of a shrine around the edge of the sealing talisman. It makes the cardboard talismans a bit more mysterious. After finishing these tasks, it was bright outside and the night passed quietly. Little guy from the side branch, since you have made great contributions this time, these five intermediate spirit sealing talismans will be given to you as a reward in the future. Before, the leader of the clan happened to see Li Xia's strange look at the thick stack of spirit sealing talismans in his hand. In this case, Casually rewarding three or five intermediate spirit sealing talismans is not a bad treatment. By the way, I will also give you the OD of refining the spirit sealing talisman, as well as the altar of the contracted Shikigami and the Shikigami shrine in the room. However, this inheritance belongs to the family. Core secrets must not be taught to others. Not even your father, brothers, and sisters. Unless they have made great achievements like you. Do you understand? Thank you, Clan Elder. After a long night of tossing, the three elders were tired, so they went to their respective temporary rooms to rest. Li Xia, on the other hand, was so excited that he could not sleep peacefully. Chapter, 14 The matter with this little evil spirit really comes to an end. Moreover, Li Xia had no ability or position to ask three clan elders to help an unknown little evil spirit ascend to heaven. In this case, he can only grow silently. The three elders passed away, leaving behind him a precious inheritance. It was also those three who didn't know that there was an extremely dangerous world of monsters opposite the bone-eating well that contained great opportunities and great fortunes. Otherwise, they would not have given him this inheritance so easily. Fourth uncle, please help me collect some soul-nurturing trees that are at least a hundred years old. Soul-nurturing wood is the main material for building Shikigami shrines. Obviously, Li Xia had the idea of contracting a Shikigami to help him. And what he set his sights on was the human face in the flesh. The human face was originally a mask made from a large osmanthus tree attached to four soul fragments. Its main ability is to attach to the face of a creature, then eat the opponent's brain and soul. 
thereby controlling the opponent's body, and can split into multiple units such as two groups, three groups, and four groups. Only by destroying the mask itself can it be completely ed, otherwise the human face can come back again by devouring the flesh of living beings. Humans and most monsters with blood entities are undoubtedly living beings. However, the human body is not strong enough to withstand its power. The attached flesh and blood will soon rot and decay. Therefore, in the original plot, it wants to obtain more fragments of the four souls to create a perfect body that it can use freely. Li Xia thought of more. That is to control the human body and make it your own Shikigami. Just like the original black Miko Tsubaki, she trained a Shikigami white snake and a Shikigami giant fox. Then, eat some monsters through the human body. This will give this masked monster a powerful monster body. As a human, it is difficult for him to obtain the power of a big monster. But if you use the human face in the flesh, you have the opportunity to use the Shikigami system to cultivate a bodyguard at the level of a great monster. If while the dragonbone spirit is sleeping under the seal, a monster mask with a human face is put on the face of the super big demon dragonbone spirit. Presumably, the future must be exciting, right? After yesterday's transportation. From the Lee family, half a square of spiritual liquid was delivered first. With the spiritual liquid, Li Xia would naturally not sit still. Before resting, he divided the ectoplasm into three parts. Two small copies of them were placed in Mayu's home that had a fire and in the school's personal storage room. They are all stored in the form of several large bottles of spare mineral water. After putting things away, leave immediately. Most of the remaining spiritual liquid is strengthened with the help of the abilities of the seven four soul fragments. When he woke up and learned that the three clan elders had returned to the peninsula, he began to draw symbols in seclusion. As for studies and whatnot, he doesn't care at all. It's just a certificate. There are countless future undergraduate students. A degree certificate from an ordinary university is no better than toilet paper. Besides, he doesn't rely on that thing for a living. Therefore, I asked for leave, asked for leave, and asked for leave again. I even took two weeks of leave in one go. We will talk about the attendance regulations of Meta Sequoia Junior High School later. Now, drawing the symbols is important. He had to make more preparations to enter the monster world opposite the bone-eating well. In fact, until now, he has not been determined to go to that world. After all, with the big tree of the Lee family on the peninsula at his back, he lived a happy life. He could have no worries about food and clothing for the rest of his life, and he lived a very luxurious life. In addition, if he wants a beautiful girl to play happily with him, and if he wants a female star to be reduced to a plaything in his hands, it will only take one sentence when he grows up. If he wants to be hanged in the marriage hall, there will be a queue of several miles long outside his house for him to choose from. Whether he is a beautiful girl from a small family, a daughter of a wealthy family, or even a lonely and pretty widow, etc. This is the hidden benefit enjoyed by practitioners from big families. It's not bad to lie down and live your whole life peacefully like this, isn't it? On the other hand, look at the world of Inuyasha's Sengoku monsters opposite the well of bone eaters. A small monster hundred-footed which can fly into the sky and escape from the earth, causing a large number of casualties to a heavily armed village like Maple Village. For another example, the monster among the S and the juvenile corpse dancing crow can easily the bandit leader among ordinary humans, thereby controlling a group of bandits to wreak havoc on an area. This kind of miscellaneous monster, the mountain ghost enslaved by Sesomaru, Inuyasha's brother, slapped a mountain, causing a large area of them to come out. There are such hidden numbers in one mountain, and God knows how many little monsters there are in the inaccessible wilderness of the entire island country. By the way, what I have to say here is that before following Sesomaru, a little monster like Zajian was the little leader of a group of miscellaneous monsters. There are hundreds of little demons of the same race under his command. The above are just lower level monsters or miscellaneous monsters that are less dangerous. To say that the truly dangerous ones are those mid to high level monsters with two or even three stars of monster power. Even a big monster with four or five stars. For example, among them, the slightly stronger Fatian and Mantian, the two brothers of the Thunder Beast clan easily destroyed the two island armies with famous names in just three or two moves. The troops of these two daimyo were in the hundreds and nearly a thousand. Another example is Ganya, 
who was not a kind monster in the early stage. He directly ordered the wolves to massacre the village and took away the first blood of the little angel Shaoling. In addition, the iron chicken mother and daughter slaughtered villages and cities at every turn. The soul monster was greedy and devoured the island nation's human army of 500 cavalry in one bite. The two brothers, gold and silver, fought among themselves, and countless humans were affected by the aftermath. It is common for the Hayaki Bat clan to attack and even destroy surrounding villages. There are also female ghosts from Guetu City who are targeting the sorcerers and witches among the practitioners. In less than a month after Neraku disappeared, 99 wizards and witches had been ed by the time the protagonist group came looking for him. There are also monsters that disguise themselves as caves in the wild and attack mages and witches who are exorcising demons outside. Flower kings and their ilk love human sorrow most. Feeding on the sadness of others, and then ing them after eating. This does not include the super monsters that can easily destroy the country, such as the flying demon moth and the dragon bone spirit. The world of monsters opposite the bone-eating well is definitely not as safe as it appears from the perspective of the protagonist. The protagonist group can turn danger into disaster every time, but it doesn't mean that he can also learn to be as unscrupulous as the protagonist group. If it were anyone else going through the dungeon plots of the protagonist group, dying a hundred times would be considered conservative. Therefore, he has been hesitant to venture to the world over there. If you want to leave a comfortable and comfortable environment alone and face the horror of life and death, if you think about it, you will know how difficult it is. That's all, no matter whether you go there or not to pursue the path to immortality, you must first arm yourself. Li Xia thought so. After two days of retreat in drawing talismans, he added several more finished talismans. They are all high-quality talismans that are comparable to intermediate talismans after strengthening the raw materials with seven four-soul fragments. In the past few years, I could only produce one low-level talisman per month on average. Now, I can produce three to five finished products every day. The efficiency has increased by more than ten times. If he hadn't run out of raw materials, he felt he could have stayed in seclusion for ten days or even longer. The feeling that one's own foundation is getting stronger and stronger, and that one's strength is increasing visibly, is really addictive and addictive. After leaving seclusion, Li Xia found his fourth uncle. The elder told him good news and bad news. Xiao Xia, do we need to keep an appointment? The good news is that they found soul-nourishing wood, and it is a rare soul-nourishing wood material that is hundreds of years old. It can be said that if you miss this village, there is a high probability that this store will not be there. The bad news is that this precious piece of soul-nourishing wood that is hundreds of years old is in the hands of a North American practitioner. And this person happens to have contacts with the main members of the Lee family in their peninsula. It is said that this piece of soul-nurturing wood will be traded by the North American practitioner to the young heroes of his main lineage. If you don't handle it well on your side, you'll end up snatching food from the tiger's mouth. Therefore, as a middle-aged mortal on the periphery of the clan, he dare not make any independent decisions. Instead, he told Li Xia exactly what happened and let Li Xia make up his own mind. Fourth uncle, do you know why that person wants to see me? Li Xia fell on the middle-aged man with a scrutinizing gaze. The middle-aged man did not look directly at this look, but smiled, bowed and guessed. Maybe he is planning to buy a few talismans from the Li family relatively cheaply. The Li family on the peninsula specializes in talismans. This is not a secret in the mage circle, so naturally it is impossible to be completely independent. Occasionally selling some to others is a means of self-protection. Chapter, 15 The meeting with the practitioners from North America was scheduled for the afternoon of that day. The meeting place was a manor. It was one of the properties in Tokyo owned by the Smith family, a large family of North American practitioners. Deep in the manor, there is a water pavilion. At this time, on a tea table in the pavilion, three people from both sides were chatting and drinking tea. After chatting for a while and sipping some tea, the other party got straight to the point and directly proposed a deal. Xia, I know that in addition to the inheritance of Fu Dao, the Li family of your peninsula also has the inheritance of Shikigami with the help of Fu Dao contract. You asked your family to buy soul nurturing wood in Tokyo, probably to build a good shrine right? Just right, I have a very rare piece of precious soul-nourishing wood in my hand. 
Originally, I was going to use it to make a deal with another friend of yours who is the main lineage of the Lee family. But in my opinion, trading with the main line is actually the same as trading with side branches like you. So if you can be sincere and give me a suitable price, I naturally don't want to go all the way to the peninsula. Javi Smith, the young hero of the Smith family. This time I happened to visit the island nation of Tokyo. Next to him sat a young man from a branch of the Smith family, who was also the manager of this manor. Named Glenn Smith. The soul nurturing wood here is 400 years old. It is very rare on the market. It can be called the best of the best. It is no problem to use this soul nurturing wood as the main material to build two shrines. Sia, make a price. By the way, please be sincere. If the quotation you gave is too different from our expectations, we can only apologize. Although there is no blood in the game in the shopping mall, there is oppression everywhere. Hearing this, Li Xia fell into deep thought. He knew that these two members of the Smith family came here for the Li family's talisman. Although the Li family sells some talismans every year, most of those talismans are sold at high prices through auctions. In other words, not all practitioners can get the Lee family's talismans if you want to get extra. We can only start from the Lee family members. Regardless of the main line or the side branches, because of the strong oath, the talisman inheritance is unlikely to be lost. However, the finished talismans drawn by family members can be used in private transactions, so that each can get what they need by exchanging things. At present, the transaction between Lee Xia and the Smith family is the above situation. It is undeniable that the 400-year-old soul-nurturing wood is indeed relatively rare, but it does not mean that Li has no other ways to obtain it. If you give me time, I can also obtain the soul-nurturing wood with better quality than this piece of soul-nurturing wood through my family. Collected through some channels. Li Xia's words were purely an act of lowering prices. There was no way he would let the two guys on the other side ask for huge amounts of money. Really? Xia, as a side branch, you are actually purchasing soul nurturing wood. Isn't this an interesting thing? Glenn Smith smiled. Collecting high quality soul nourishing wood to build a shrine has changed the direction of many problems. First, the collector has either successfully captured a demon with extraordinary abilities or, he or she knows some information about the demon and is quite sure of capturing it. In other words, collecting soul nourishing trees is preparing in advance for the subsequent contract process. Secondly, as a side branch, Li Xia actually masters the means of contracting demons and ghosts as Shikigami that only those in the main line are qualified to master. A person from the side branch who is qualified to contact one of the core inheritance of the family must have made a great contribution. For the ancient mage family, what kind of contribution is considered a great achievement? On the contrary, it was confirmed that the young man in front of him probably had information about a demon, or he had a ready-made demon in his hands. You too, let's do business, it's not a good idea to get to the bottom of things. Li Xia said calmly. But I was extremely vigilant in my heart. He didn't expect that the members of the North American cultivator family would be so difficult to deal with. The two of them actually guessed his general situation through a few clues in a short period of time. In fact, the two of them gathered information for most of the day and discussed this for a long time before conjecturing it. It was not a conclusion drawn from a few words after meeting each other. Okay, Xia, let's just do business and not talk about anything else. Snort. In the end, Li Xia took out three self-made high-quality low-level talismans that were comparable to mid-level talismans and twenty-two inferior low-level talismans. And then exchanged them for the precious soul-nurturing wood. In the circle of practitioners, barter transactions are naturally impossible to use ordinary money as currency. Only finished talismans can be used as a kind of hard currency. Many other products similar to talismans, such as magic weapons, elixirs, spiritual fluids, etc. are also hard currencies. The transaction ended and the two parties reached a simple agreement. That is. Today's transaction needs to be kept secret by the three of them. Li Xia wanted to go back quickly to build a shrine and complete the Shikigami contract with the human body. I no longer have the heart to accompany these two romantic lovers from the beautiful country. Besides, the longer you stay and the more you talk, the easier it is to make mistakes. Now, he does not dare to look down upon any young man from the cultivator family. For example, 
the Smith family in this beautiful country seems to have a much more mature system for cultivating their tribesmen than the peninsularly family's cultivation system for their tribesmen. Teenagers who have just reached adulthood are actually able to take charge of their own business. What Li Xia didn't know was that just moments after he left, a motorcade came to the Smith family's estate from the other direction. A middle-aged man who came down from the motorcade looked deeply at the direction Li Xia left for a long time. What's wrong uncle? Javi Smith stepped forward and asked. The middle-aged man standing at the gate of the manor narrowed his eyes and wanted to say sewing but did not speak. After entering a room in the manor, he asked his nephew. Which family does the person who left before belong to? Does he have a strong background? The middle-aged man is Sean Smith, a master of the Mesozoic generation in the Smith family. Although he was born on the sidelines, he joined the main line because he helped the family find a treasure, and gained many ancient inheritances accolated by the family. That person is a member of the branch of the Lee family in the peninsula. He should have made contributions to the family before, and thus gained the appreciation of the senior leaders of the Lee family, and was given the inheritance of the Lee family's contract Shikigami. His father's moral conduct is average, and his strength is about that's it. What's wrong, uncle, why do you ask this? Uncle, do you have any thoughts about him? Jia Wei raised his eyebrows, his face full of surprise and confusion. Beside, Glenn was equally surprised. Are you a member of the side branch? Like me, you have made great contributions to the family, and only then have you come to the attention of the higher-ups. TSK TSK, then maybe the previous connection between me and my pet Hardy was right. The middle-aged man touched his chin and chuckled. The smile is full of a different flavor. Next to them, the two young men of the Smith family were even more confused. However, Sean, who had some other ideas, didn't say much. Instead, he found the landline in the room, made a call to beautiful country, and informed the leader of his own faction within the family about his previous special feelings and certain guesses. You mean, you and your contract spirit sensed the aura of that treasure? Sean, are you sure you sensed it correctly? On the other side of the phone, there came a question full of surprise. Here, the middle-aged man spoke with determination. Elder, you can't be wrong. It was because of handing over that thing that I became successful and famous today. Besides, it's better to someone wrong than let it go. Now in the age of ending Dharma, the path to immortality has long been cut off, and most of the divine objects have lost their magical power in ancient times. Only that kind of treasure still retains its magical power. Not only can it enhance individual strength, it can even help practitioners like us extend our lives and even achieve immortality. Hearing his protege's vow, and then thinking of the various mysterious powers of the treasures recorded in ancient books. The tone of the person on the other side of the phone immediately became more joyful and excited. Okay, you set your sights on the target. I'll arrange for someone to come over and help you right away. By the way, don't be greedy for success and rush in to alert the enemy. Let's wait until reinforcements arrive. Elder, I think it's best to say hello to the Lee family of Peninsula. For example, let their young man named Li Xia go to the Smith family in our beautiful country for academic exchanges. As long as people arrive in our territory, everything will be easy to handle. And the Li family would not refuse academic exchanges. The so-called academic exchange is actually to allow adolescent boys and girls to have more contact. As long as these young people with strong hormones look at each other, it is natural for them to get together. There is no reason for the Little Lee family to refuse the goodwill of this giant smith. If the Lee family on the peninsula refuses, it means they are ignorant. Chapter, 16 In the car driving on the viaduct, Li Xia was happily playing with the piece of soul nurturing what he had just received. Then I thought about the beauty of the future. Little does he know that he has been targeted by the Smith family of the beautiful country. Although the blood of this family is not native Indian blood, there is still some ancient blood flowing in the body. They are one of the seven largest rogues in the Mayan inheritance after the decline of the Dharma age. As one of the seven giants in the North American spiritual world. The Smith family is undoubtedly sowing that a reclusive family in a small place like the Lee family on the peninsula cannot afford to offend. After all, that is the incomplete inheritance of Maya. In the early days, this family mainly relied on plundering everywhere in order to repair their own inheritance. 
Later, a complete training system and group culture were tailor-made for the younger members of the clan, which is the top wolf pack culture. Therefore, the blood of the people in this family is full of the desire to plunder and conquer, and they are by no means good at heart. No, after smelling the fishy smell and locking the target, the wolves began to move out. After Li Xia arrived home, he immediately locked himself in the quiet room. Next, he directly started a series of complicated operations of the contract Shikigami. First of all, the five basic conditions need to be met an altar, a shrine, a soul sealing talisman, a demon ghost, and a contract magic formula. There must be no mistakes or omissions in the altar. In this regard, the altar left by the three clan elders that can be used twice definitely meets the requirements. As for the shrine, with the soul nurturing wood, he can carve and make it himself. Although the shrine may look plain and simple, there is nothing special about it in fact, it takes a lot of effort to make such a shrine. Because many places in the shrine need to outline and carve complex patterns. The better the quality of the shrine, and the higher the quality of the ceiling talisman, the greater the success rate of contracting a demon to be your shikigami. Of course, there must be no lack of contract partners. Li Xia's target is naturally the human face in suspended animation. Finally, there are the contract techniques, etc. Which he also learned from the clan elders before. In other words, he is now everything is ready, all he needs is the east wind. When the shrine was made by him, a whole day had passed. Immediately, Li Xia opened an alloy safe in the quiet room and took out a tin box. The high-quality evil proofing charm affixed to the iron sheet showed no signs of being scrapped the evil repelling charm affixed to the mask under the iron sheet also showed no signs of being out of place. In other words, the physical human face is still in a half-dead sealed state. As the two high-quality evil proof charms were taken off, a faint trace of evil spirit leaked out from the mask. This shows how weak the human body is at this time. Next moment. Li Xia recited some unfamiliar spells and invited the defenseless human face into the shrine. Then, he lightly cut his finger and poured a drop of his own blood into the large window inside the shrine. Between the brows of the laurel mask. In an instant, the shrine emitted a rich light. After that, various magic formulas were continuously output, until the entire shrine and the big Osmanthus mask inside were absorbed by the intermediate spirit sealing talisman given by the clan elder until this originally soft soul sealing talisman paper was formed. To a cardboard card. What is sealed in this card is the ferocious mask that represents the human face. The external display form is somewhat similar to the cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. That's it. The preliminary contract for the first Shikigami has been completed. When you need to use the power of this big Osmanthus mask, take out this card and activate it with a trace of mana. It is also very convenient to carry this thing. As for the subsequent cultivation of tacit understanding and bond between the two parties, it requires years of collaboration. If you want the Shikigami Daigwishu mask to grow further and become more powerful, you need to look at his subsequent ODs and opportunities. Come out, Big Laurel Mask. The body of the mask with a human face was born from a large Osmanthus tree. It is called the Large Osmanthus Tree Mask in order to prevent the ferocious appearance from arousing some of the inner shadows of childhood in the previous life. This mask now not only has its own demonic power, but can also carry Li Xia's magic power. His will will also be controlled by Li Xia. He's a scrappy thug. When Li Xia put this mask on himself, he immediately gained several abilities. The first ability is short-term manned flight. Originally, if it were just the mask itself, this mask could fly at will without any restrictions. But if Li Xia is flown together, not only will the speed be greatly slowed down, but the demonic power of the big Osmanthus mask will also be consumed. Therefore, it is said here that it is to obtain short-term manned flight capabilities. Another ability is Strength Enhancement. After putting on the big Osmanthus mask, Li Xia's power increased tenfold visible to the eye. It is almost as good as the blessing brought to him by the high-quality powerful talisman. It is worth mentioning that ordinary powerful talismans do not put much burden on the human body after they are blessed with the power of the human body however. High-quality powerful talismans that have improved their level of quality through four soul fragments have the same blessing effect on the human body as ordinary powerful talismans. The effect is more than ten times greater. 
but it is precisely because of this that it is difficult for the human body to withstand the force of the explosion. Using high-quality powerful talismans to strengthen oneself can easily cause physical collapse. At this moment, the increase in Li Xia's strength brought by the Great Osmanthus Mask is almost as good as the increase brought to him by the high-quality powerful talisman. However, the burden this increase in power places on his human body is not as heavy as the high-quality powerful talisman. At least within 10 minutes, his body will not be left with irreparable damage due to too much burden. Considering the humans in the original work who have gained increased demonic power. Whether it is the swordsmith Dao Chiyo or the black Miko Tsubaki, their physical strength has indeed undergone earth-shaking changes. Therefore, Li Xia boldly speculated. The reason for this situation should be that this large Osmanthus mask Shikigami has blessed his human body with its own demonic power, thereby strengthening his human body to a certain extent. The third ability is the inexplicable induction of the four soul fragments. This was originally a special ability possessed by Ali, Kikio, and Naraku. Other humans or monsters cannot see the specific location of the Four Souls Jade. But this big Osmanthus mask and the Four Soul Fragment in the modern world have been silent for hundreds of years, and they have already established a magical connection with each other. When Li Xia put on this mask, he also indirectly gained some mysterious connection with the Jade of Four Souls. And even if he puts the Four Soul Fragments into the alloy safe and locks it, he can still see the Jade Fragments behind the alloy steel plate through the alloy steel plate. The fourth ability is energy devouring. It can strengthen itself by swallowing alien energy. Commonly known as people eating abortion. To give a simple analogy, it is Li Jun and Li Xia, father and son. Both of them have magic power. Under normal circumstances, Li Jun cannot give his son Li Xia his magic power but if he uses the mouth of this mask to devour it. Then most of Li Jun's magic power can become Li Xia's heritage and growth resources. The fifth ability is the subtle control of the body. In the original work, the fleshly human face can control the human flesh that it has devoured in a relatively subtle way. Especially after those flesh and blood are transformed into a ball of paste, the fleshly human face can even pull the temporary fleshy body into noodles and perform various expansion and contraction. Although this is not a great combat ability, it is an auxiliary ability that Li Xia attaches great importance to. The human body is too fragile. Even someone as strong as Tsuezi Platykodon cannot withstand a close attack from a monster. Then, can't humans make up for their innate deficiencies by hardening bones, strengthening the density of muscle fibers, adjusting the toughness of the body, etc. And strengthen their bodies to a strength comparable to that of monsters or even surpassing that of giant monsters? Can't humans reach the level of tearing steel plates with their hands and blasting tanks with their fists? All right. Without the help of extraordinary means, I'm afraid it really can't be done. But now, Daegwishu Mask gave him an opportunity. An opportunity to strengthen and transform the physical body the day after tomorrow. Anyway, with four soul fragments hanging on to his life, he is not afraid of all kinds of troubles. At worst, after hitting the wall many times, he could transform himself into a monster. Even if he becomes a monster, he can still live a relaxed and nourishing life. Perhaps it's more accurate to say that it's not necessarily a more comfortable life. Chapter, 17 On Li Xia's side, the first thing he tried to change was the density of bones and muscle fibers. The magic power gained from the human body's hard training cannot do this, but with the help of the demonic power of the big Osmanthus mask, it can be improved to a certain extent. Of course, he would not try it himself before conducting detailed experiments with enough volunteers and obtaining relatively reliable data. He is not a monster after all. Most monsters can ignore physical pain pain and other things cannot cause monsters to slow down or weaken their will. But humans who have not experienced high-intensity special training cannot. Sometimes, a small pain is enough to someone. For example, a simple leg cramp will cause the person to lose the ability to move even if the person can hold back from screaming and pretend as if nothing has happened. Some kind of shackles on the person's own body will still restrict the person. It is impossible for this person to carry out normal activities like a normal person. This is the body's self-protection mechanism. If Li Xia wants to experimentally transform himself, he must pay attention to these detailed elements. It was not suitable for human body modification for the time being, so he continued to make talismans. 
no practitioner would have too many things like talismans. During the two days when he was in seclusion and drawing talismans, the Lee family on the peninsula had frequent contact with the core senior leaders of the Smith family in North America. The Smith family is not stupid, and they did not show any importance to Lee Xia at first. On the surface, there is nothing wrong with the proposed academic exchange. But by coincidence, the senior officials of the Lee family who came into contact with the Smith family were the three elders who had just returned from the peninsula. The three clan elders knew very well what was going on with Li Xia. At present, although the visitors from the Smith family have invited several young geniuses from the main line of the Li family and several members of the side clan under the guise of academic exchanges. They actually include Li Xia, which the three elders cannot help but think about. There are so many young people in the family, why did they choose Li Xia, who was unknown in the past? Is it a coincidence? Or is there some other reason? However, the Smith family is powerful. As one of the seven wealthy families in North America, the Lee family of Peninsula is a behemoth that cannot be messed with. Therefore, after high-level discussions, they decided to send several younger members of the family to North America as exchange students. On the island country, Li Xia, who had been drawing talisman for two consecutive days, received a call from his father Li Jun. For things like transferring schools, it is best for family members to do the ideological work. Hey, Dad, what's the matter? Pack it up. The family's top management has asked you to go to the beautiful country to further your studies. You will probably have to leave in the next two days. When Li Xia heard this, he was a little confused. Going to a beautiful country? Why? I have only taken classes in the island country for two weeks. Why are you planning to go to a beautiful country? If I don't go, I won't go. He doesn't want to go to any beautiful country. Now that he knows that the world after rebirth is the modern world involved in the Inuyasha anime. And that there is a world of monsters with many blessings opposite the bone-eating well of Higurashi shrine, his focus will naturally be on the island country. I'm not in a hurry to take the risk right now, I'm just making final mental and material preparations. Once these two preparations are made, he will set off. Xiao Xia, haven't you always wanted to get in touch with a more advanced cultivation system? The Smith family in the beautiful country has agreed to give all exchange students a chance to enter the Maya trial tower to obtain ancient inheritance. You exchange students if a good inheritance can be brought out from it, the family will also give you another reward. Li Xuan advised. He really hopes that his son can live a better life. The Mayan inheritance controlled by the seven major families in North America is a very high-end inheritance. One of the prophecies is the end of the world in 2012. The conclusion drawn by the major cultivating families is at the end of 2012, the world will usher in the revival of spiritual energy. All the immortals, Buddhas and monsters that have disappeared will be reborn. It will be an era of fighting between gods and gods. Humanity will once again become food and playthings in the hands of gods, gods and demons. Coincidentally, in recent years, there have been many signs of spiritual energy recovery around the world. If you don't want to go, don't go. Dad, help me push it. I'll stay here in the island country and won't go anywhere. Li Xia's attitude was very firm. If he had discovered that this world was Inuyasha's world before, he would certainly not have missed this trip to North America but with the knowledge of the monster world opposite the bone-eating well. What kind of inheritance did he want that he couldn't get by himself? Peach Immortal's Inheritance of Human Immortality Urkuxian's Human Immortal Inheritance Yao Lao Poison Fairy's Inheritance of the Demon Fairy The Top-Level Demon Saint Inheritance of the Demon Spirit Great Sage he would be stupid if he did not fight for these immortal inheritances that he could see, touch, and have a high chance of planning to acquire, but instead went to North America to take risks. Mayan inheritance and so on, whoever wants to get it can get it. What's more, to say the least, when he grows up with the help of the resources of the monster world and reaches the level of sweeping the map then. When he goes back to North America, the big families who have seen his power will have to obediently hand over their respective inheritances. The priorities must not be reversed. You really don't want to go? Cheap Daddy Li Xun asked. Li Xia responded firmly. I won't go, please clan elders and give this rare opportunity to other clansmen. I think those talented mainline disciples will definitely accept it happily. Okay. Your dad, 
I'll go talk to those people right now. By the way, son, I'm very happy that you can let go of your desire and obsession with extraordinary power it's just plain, but safe, which is actually quite good. It's a good thing that my son has put down the ambition he had long ago. However, when the news reached the Smith family, the senior officials sitting in a circle frowned. What's going on? You don't want to come to North America even with such good conditions. It seems like he really has a big secret. You can't let the Lee family know about this, otherwise the Lee family will definitely protect that kid. What should we do? Every family may not be the same. Maybe I have a way. Behind a certain senior member of the Smith family, a young man standing spoke. This person is Javi. At this time, the young man lost his previous gentlemanly temperament and was replaced by a cold one. One day later. Four uninvited guests still came to the Lee family Tokyo Industrial Zone where Lee Xia was located. Xiao Xia, someone from the family is here and wants to see you. Fourth uncle knocked on the quiet room door again. In the room, Lee Xia, who had just taken a small sip of the enhanced spirit liquid and was rapidly recovering his mana, frowned slightly after hearing the movement outside the room. Why has the trouble never ended in the past two days? After opening the door, in addition to the familiar fourth uncle, there were four other unfamiliar faces. Fourth uncle, why did you bring this person here? Didn't you say that if there are guests, it's best to lead them to the guest hall to entertain them first? Li Xia felt as if a thorn had been pierced in his heart when his fourth uncle took him directly out of his room. At the same time, I felt a little wary and vigilant in my heart. Xiao Xia, these two are outstanding figures from the other branches of the family. They insist on coming here, so I can only bring them here. Middle-aged people feel a bit bitter both physically and mentally. He wanted to arrange the four of them to wait in the reception hall according to the rules, but the two practitioners in the family ignored him at all. They came directly here. How dare he, a mortal who cannot practice, not cooperate? Dare you stop me? Okay, don't talk so much. Your name is Li Xia, right? The two members of the Li family's branch had some unkindness in their tone. Li Xia nodded. It's me. Humph, you are so brave, you actually cut Master Hu Zhongji's soul-nurturing tree. Do you still have the main bloodline in your eyes? One person flicked his sleeves and looked serious. He was given a big hat at the beginning, which was really intended to gain a head start. Jie Hu. Why did the deal between me and others end up being ended in Jie Hu? Even though Li Xia had a good temper, he couldn't help but be amused by their tone. At this point, he felt a little angry towards the Smith family. After all, this kind of guy who violates the trading rules is really annoying. What do you want me to do? You know, Master Zhongji has already chosen the soul-nurturing wood before you, but he just hasn't had time to trade with Master Jia Wei. The man wanted to say so in more. However, another person next to him tugged at him and immediately said. Li Xia, Master Zhongji can let go of the matter of you off the soul-nurturing wood but for this academic exchange. You must go and follow Master Zhongji's instructions and do your best to help him obtain the inheritance in the Maya Trial Tower. After that, Balabala spoke again. This means that you, Li Xia, have taken advantage of Master Li Zhongqi, the main lineage. You must then go to North America as an exchange student and provide help to the main lineage in the Mayan inheritance. Li Xia glanced at the two idiots from the Li family and didn't argue much. Instead, he looked at the two unfamiliar foreigners behind them. Who are you two? Chapter, 18 We are peripheral members of the Smith family. Master Jia Wei asked me to escort you, Master Li Xia, to North America. With the two of us escorting you all the way, we can avoid unnecessary troubles on the way, so as to avoid the misfortune of young people. You've made Master Li Xia unhappy. After all, North America is not very peaceful now. The two said respectfully. The attitude is very correct. It is in sharp contrast to the two of the Li family. Thank you very much. Li Xia smiled. At this moment, if a young man were to put himself in their shoes, he might have a good impression of these two guys from the Smith family. Even ignoring the previous displeasure with the Smith family. Only when there is comparison is there any harm. The Lee family members of the peninsula were aggressive towards each other, but the two outsiders were polite and courteous. 
no matter who you change, you will have a subjective preference in this comparison. However, he was too cautious after all. Putting aside the surface of the matter and looking at the inner things, it is easy to see that the Smith family is behind all this. Without a member of the family violating the transaction rules and informing the Lee family's main lineage of the transaction information, how could such a mess happen? And the young master Zhongji, who is the main lineage, has lost his mind and wants to deal with him to vent his anger or has he received generous rewards from the Smith family? So he chooses to help outsiders to embarrass a member of his clan? Or are you really planning to let him help obtain the Mayan inheritance, hoping to two birds with one stone? Furthermore, in close face-to-face -face conversation, he could clearly sense the dangerous aura from the two of them. Even though these two people most likely restrained their own aura and did not show strong energy to the outside world. He still sensed that these two people were far more dangerous than his cheap father, and far more advanced than his father's level of cultivation. The person is awesome. Like some small animals, he has a keen sense of danger. This is a natural ability that Li Xia had before he came into contact with cultivation. He never mentioned it to anyone either. Even his dad. He once guessed that he could have such a talent because he had lived in two lifetimes and his soul was stronger than most people. In the past, he felt that this talent was useless and would not be of any help to his family practice. But now it seems that any talent has its value, but the holder does not dig deeply. Do you need to arrange two powerful practitioners for a mere escort? I'm afraid it's not for protection, but because I'm worried that the prey I've targeted will escape. Why are you targeting me? Li Xia, who was secretly on guard and vigilant, calmly pondered. Could it be that it's because of the... In me? Guys, if you want to go to North America, you have to ask my father's opinion please wait a moment, I'll make a call. With that said, he closed the door and walked towards the hall. During this period, he noticed two foreigners peeking into his room. In this regard, he did not say a word, but became more certain that this was an evil person. He also strengthened his determination not to go to North America. Now he must contact his father, preferably the higher-ups of the family. And then either use the power of the family to persuade these two middle-aged men who always give him a sense of danger, or learn about the family's attitude and some information from there. Find out the specific purpose of the Smith family. After a little while, the call was connected. However, at home on the peninsula, the person who answered the phone was not his father, but an uncle from the branch. Eh. Uncle Yao, why are you? Where is my dad? Oh, it's Xiao Xiao. Your dad was too happy and drank too much last night. He's not awake yet. Drank too much? Yes, you don't know, right? I heard that the main line is planning to find him another female companion who has the talent for cultivation. Hearing this, Li Xia couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth. At the same time, a bad feeling emerged in my heart. What a coincidence. Yesterday, I just rejected the idea of studying in North America through my father. That night, my father got drunk. Yes, he was definitely drunk by others. Because if his cheap father wanted to renew his relationship, he would have taken action more than ten years ago. Why should he wait until now? I remember that at a family dinner, the three siblings mentioned this topic, indicating that they did not mind if their father found another stepmother however. His father clearly rejected the proposal at that time, so how could he possibly get married? Was he so excited when he learned that his family would arrange a female companion for him? Just a coincidence. But when several coincidences come together, it is definitely not a mere coincidence. At this moment, Li Xia felt as if a big hand was using the power of factions within the family to ambush him from all sides. To prove this, he called one of the three clan elders again. This was obtained after helping the clan elder successfully capture the demon-worshipping child spirit. But the person who answered the phone on the other side was a young man, claiming that his grandfather was discussing business with someone important, and it was a bit inconvenient at this time. Talk to people about things. Isn't the clan elder always very leisurely? There is no doubt that there is another excuse on the other side. How could even the clan elders intervene? Li Xia felt that things were getting more and more wrong. I felt increasingly uneasy. Once again, they met two people from the Li family branch and two hidden masters from the Smith family. His intuition told him that those two hidden masters were not sowing he could deal with. 
therefore, he asked tentatively. When shall we set off? The two Li family members hummed and curled their lips. Master Zhongji has already passed away. Do you still want him to wait for you over there for a while? For good reason. But it further demonstrates the tightness of the Smith family. It is simply unreasonable to let one or two outstanding disciples from the main line of the Li family go over first, and then ask the people from the side branches to rush over immediately. Okay, I'll go back to the room and clean up. By the way, have our flights been booked? Speaking of which, your family is so large that you shouldn't mind chartering a plane or using a private car, right? It will definitely be a great experience to book this flight to North America, or take the Smith family's special plane. I say this purely to stabilize the two masters of the Smith family. No, when the two middle-aged foreigners heard this, one of them immediately stood up and said with a smile. I'll make arrangements right away. I won't let Master Li Xia down. I quickly borrowed the phone here, suppressed the joy and excitement in my heart, and reported the situation to Javi Smith. Oh. Is he going to take a special plane? That's even better. I will arrange for him my Sky War Eagle, and let him experience the situation enjoyed by the main lineage of our beautiful country's big family. Javi looked playful. A sheep enters a tiger's mouth without even realizing it. The Lee family in this peninsula are really a bunch of idiots. No, you can't say that. After all, he is hiding, and everyone in the Lee family is hiding. Conspiracy against the entire Lee family is not sowing worthy of praise. Soon. Li Xia and others went to J.B. Smith's private airport in Tokyo and boarded a luxurious private jet equipped with fine wine and beautiful people. And after Li Xia looked at the three beautiful stewardesses who brought him wine, they had Oriental beauty, Western beauty, and African beauty, he sighed. Sorry. Afterwards, all the wrongdoers will have their own owners, so please go find the Smith family's misfortune. When the special plane took off and entered the sky above the Pacific Ocean, he picked up the wine glass, pretended to sip it, and observed the reactions of the people on the special plane from their demeanor and other details. Then, in the eyes of the two middle-aged men, he stopped pretending and asked straight to the point. You two, can you tell me where I offended someone from your family? Or is there sewing about me that piques the interest of the Smith family? Otherwise, why were you targeting Mr. Lee? Why did you have to go to all the trouble to trick me into going to North America? After exhaling a breath, Li Xia's face became extremely rosy. He wasn't good at drinking in his previous life, and he obviously wasn't that good at drinking in this life either, and he couldn't guarantee that the drinks would be okay. So of course he wouldn't actually drink it. What is Master Li Xia talking about? Why can't we understand it? The originally peaceful faces of the two middle-aged men immediately became extremely serious and cold. The whole body became even more tense ready. Like a cheetah ready to its prey. Having said that, if this wasn't on a plane or thousands of meters in the air, they would have definitely taken action. But the two of them do not have the ability to fly, or it can be said that practitioners from major contemporary families almost do not have the ability to fly. For example, among the seven or eight elders of the Lee family, only two of them could fly before they were contracted with the demon-worshipping child spirit as a shikigami. The same goes for the Smith family. Being able to fly freely in the sky is the dream of every practitioner. Since it is still just an idea in a dream, it naturally has not been realized yet. Ah! Seeing that the two masters were nervous and might take action at any time, Li Xia grinned. It was the subtle changes between the two that made him more certain of his speculations. If these two people really had no malicious intention to retaliate against him, their expressions should be puzzled. How could they be serious and cold as if they had been stepped on? The reaction of the two was a little too intense. It doesn't matter if you don't admit it. With two masters buried with me, my life will not be in vain. That's what he said, but he obviously didn't have the consciousness to go to hell. I saw that the powerful talisman attached to his arm was fully activated, the light body talisman attached to his legs was also activated and released and the quick agility talisman and the divine wind talisman were also activated. In addition, a ferocious mask with scars was put on his face. Immediately afterwards, the two men rushed towards them from a dozen meters away. Their eyes were about to burst, and they punched the glass on the side of the private plane. 
On the ground, there is a high probability that he will not be able to defeat these two people who always give him a sense of crisis. And he will probably be besieged by the secret masters of the Smith family. But in the sky, without many hidden threats of secret surveillance, who can have the last laugh may be. As for why he was targeted? Those are the two situations. Chapter, 19 As the glass shattered, he watched Li Xia jump out of the cabin in a flash. During this period, people in the cabin even saw the masked boy punching the side of the plane and bending it. The glass shattered, the air in the cabin began to drain rapidly, and the plane immediately began to rock left and right. No. He can actually fly. Damn it. Damn it. The strong external suction force seemed to clamp everyone's necks, leaving everyone in a panic. Some of their faces turned red, while others turned pale after losing their blood. However, the imbalance of the plane that followed was the most fatal. The moment the wings bent, this luxurious private jet was no longer under the control of the pilot. Before the people inside had time to save themselves, the special plane lost its center of gravity and began to spiral and bump, and was thrown around. For a while, there were constant curses and screams in the cabin. Watching the plane all the way down, spinning rapidly towards the sea, Li Xia, who relied on the flying ability of the light body charm and the big Osmanthus mask to float in the air, was expressionless for a moment. To be targeted by a North American behemoth like the Smith family either, they are eyeing my way of making high-quality talismans. After all, a mere low-level talisman can catch up with an intermediate-level talisman. How about changing to an intermediate talisman? If he continues to grow and grows to the point where he can make intermediate talismans, the intermediate talismans he produces will also be the best of the best. The kind of high-quality intermediate talismans that are comparable to regular high-level talismans. Then. The strategic value is really too great. This situation is worthy of any force taking action to snatch people away. In addition, it may be that they came directly for the four soul fragments. If the Smith family really came for the four soul fragments, it also shows that they hold some other fragments born in this world. But no matter which way it is, it is impossible for him to go to the beautiful country. It is impossible to put your life in the hands of others. When we go there, everyone is a swordsman and I am a fish and meat. People can do whatever they want to them. Furthermore, given that he was always surrounded by two hidden masters from the Smith family. Two practitioners who always gave him a sense of danger therefore, he could only hide his wariness and suyin while trying to find a way to save himself. Ali's father inherited the foundation and meager religious lineage of Higurashi Shrine, and he must have been a practitioner before. In the spiritual world, it is also known as Gong Si. That is, the person in charge of the shrine. But the girl's father still died in a car accident. It is clear at a glance which one has a higher survival rate between a car accident and an air crash. In other words, taking the initiative to fly was just a means of self-rescue for Li Xia. Unfortunately, although he made a request to take the Smith family's special plane to North America, which greatly avoided the possible casualties caused by flying on a civilian aircraft, he still implicated three flight attendants. Ha! Huh. Ever since I got the four soul fragments, I have become a little less careful. This lesson must be remembered at all times. Li Xia sighed. But then again, can he safely put the four soul fragments elsewhere? There is nothing you can do about carrying it with you. Where do I go from here? The Smith family is so powerful that it can even influence the main members of the Li family, and even reach out to the level of the clan elders. I definitely can't go back to the Li family. Otherwise, I might be sold out by the top management of the Li family, and even return to the family. Count the money for those guys. I can hide for a while if I go to China, but if the Smith family is crazy enough to arrange for someone to sneak in and me, I will still be in great danger, and may even involve my cheap dad, eldest sister, and second brother. Furthermore, since this family is so persistent, others will definitely guess that I have a big secret. So, I'd better fake death first. Then go to the monster world on the opposite side through the bone-eating well of Higurashi Shrine, and use the advantage of some foresight to compete for some opportunities. As long as we grow up quickly, by then, the Mir Smith family, I will definitely make this family pay the price. He faked his death for the sake of his family. To prevent dad and the others from being targeted and retaliated against. 
Forced by the situation, he had to leave for the Warring States period on the opposite side before the protagonist group could gather together. And before Inuyasha and others had grown up a little and gained considerable fighting power. Over there with the downed plane. Not surprisingly, there were no survivors. After all, it fell from an altitude of several thousand meters, and it was incapable of flying, and the people in the cabin were all mortal flesh and blood. In this case, if there are still people inside who can survive, they will definitely have saved the solar system in their previous life. After the plane dived, disintegrated, and exploded, Li Xia waited for a while before falling from the sky and arriving nearby. A few ordinary people, including pilots and stewardesses, didn't even have any bones left behind. But the bodies of the two middle-aged men who had once made him feel fearful and dangerous were still intact and had not been vaporized by the high temperature of the explosion. He probably tried his best to save himself, but in the end, although he failed to survive, a whole body was left behind. Seeing this, Li Xia breathed a sigh of relief. It seems that this air crash can come to a happy end. The scene of the plane crash is not too far from the coastline. Some fishermen not only saw the plane crash that day, but also saw a middle-aged figure in tattered clothes near the coastline who landed from the sea. The man's appearance was hurried, but he accidentally missed his face, and then disappeared. This middle-aged man was one of the two masters of the Smith family who was resurrected by the four soul fragments and controlled by the Daguishu mask. After controlling this guy's appearance at the beach, the body was destroyed and no traces were left. And it is erased together with the soul. From then on, he was able to disappear for a while. But before that, he had to get sewing. You can't go back home, otherwise it will be easy for someone to catch clues and the plan will fail. Li Xia felt heartbroken when he thought of the large half-square of high-quality spiritual liquid stored in the safe in the quiet room where the industrial area was located. In order to get rid of the entanglement of the Smith family, his subsequent silence was equivalent to off his supply line. I don't know which lucky person will end up with half a square meter of high-quality spiritual fluid. It's a good thing that I was cunning enough beforehand. The so-called cunning rabbit's three burrows naturally refer to Mayu's home and school. If he had put the things in the spare places related to the family before and went to pick them up now, he would probably alert the Li family and reveal that he was alive. Thinking of this, Li Xia secretly rejoiced. After gathering his emotions, he put on a disguise and a mask, and went to school in Mayu's house in the dead of night. See previous chapter 14. In today's era, the surveillance system has not been popularized, and it has not yet reached the scale of Skynet that can monitor mountainous areas in later generations. So he walked into the school's personal storage area with familiarity, without disturbing anyone, and was careful not to leave any traces. At the school, he took out four bottles of ordinary spiritual liquid, a talisman pen, several bottles of spiritual ink, and two telescopes that had been stored here in advance from his personal storage room. At Mayu's house, he also rummaged through the ruins in the corner of the burned wardrobe and found four bottles of ordinary spiritual liquid, a box of cinnabar, and two stacks of talisman papers. Looking at eight large bottles of twenty liters of spiritual liquid and some talisman-making materials in front of him, Li Xia breathed a sigh of relief. You are as witty as me. These twenty liters of spiritual liquid and talisman-making materials will be one of the things he relies on to gain a foothold in the world of Inuyasha opposite the bone-eating well. It's a pity that this preparation is nothing compared to his original real preparation. For example, the Bigfoot off-road vehicle is worth hundreds of millions of peninsula coins and can be disassembled and assembled. Others include off-road motorcycles and Merida sixth-generation bicycles and other transportation tools such as two pistols. A Barrett sniper rifle, an MP7 submachine gun and several boxes of bullets more medical first aid items. However, these things are stored in the warehouse in the industrial area. If he had known this, he should have transferred them all earlier. Now, I have a home that I can't go back to. On the outside, there are all kinds of schemes of the Smith family, and on the inside, there are greedy and greedy people at the top of the main line. He can only go to the monster world on the other side of the well. Whether it's the Smith family or those S from the Lee family who betrayed their people, just wait for me. I carried the package and went to the pharmacy. Bought some generic drugs with cash. Li Xia no longer hesitated and went straight to Higarashi Shrine. 
He didn't know if he could travel through the ancient well and go to the warring states period on the opposite side through the four soul fragments, but he had to give it a try. Higurashi's house. Ali, who was originally resting, suddenly sat up from the bed. What's going on? There are four soul fragments approaching here at this time. One, two, three. Seven in total. Is this the guy you sensed that night? Chapter, 20. After Li Xia arrived at Higurashi Shrine, he walked openly to the two-story building where Ali's family lived. At this time, the night was already very late. But Ali still went downstairs boldly. Hello, Higurashi-san. In the darkness of the courtyard, Li Xia's slightly hoarse voice sounded. After sensing the four soul fragments, the girl quickly dressed and went downstairs to investigate the situation. Who are you? My name is Li Xia. Not long ago, your house caught fire, and your grandfather was trapped at the fire scene. It was I who braved the fire to rescue the old man from the burning warehouse, and called the fire department and the hospital ambulance. I wonder if Higurashi-san can escape from the fire. Did your aunt hear about this? Li Xia said with a smile. As he spoke, he walked out of the darkness. At this moment, he had changed his clothes into a comfortable sweatshirt with a relatively lightweight bulletproof vest underneath, and a huge backpack on his back. In addition, his right hand is holding an ordinary brand of mobility bicycle. Ah, uh, is it you? Thank you for your help earlier. Ali saluted. He still has a good impression of the young man who his mother said rescued his grandfather from the fire. Wait, the opponent holds seven four-soul fragments in his hand, and six of them were stolen from his room at that time, right? Higurashi-san, actually, I'm still your classmate. I came to the shrine that day for another reason I just encountered a fire in your warehouse. What's even more troublesome is that an unsealed monster appeared in the fire. At this point, Li Xia paused, giving the girl enough time to digest the information. At the same time, it is also paving the way for subsequent rhetoric. Classmate? But why don't I have any impression? As she was speaking, the girl suddenly thought of sewing and her eyes widened in surprise. Wait a minute, are you the international student who took a few days of classes and then took a leave of absence? Hearing this, Li Xia admitted openly. It's me. Wait a minute, you just said that there are monsters in the fire. Isn't that right? How can there be monsters in this world? Ali started fighting Ha. Huh? Trying to hide this weird thing. Higurashi-san, I am actually just like you, a member of a family of practitioners similar to traditional shrines. Over there on the peninsula, my family also takes slaying demons as its own mission. So there is no need for you to deny it in front of me. When the monster said, Hey! Um, can you invite me in for a cup of hot water? This season is in the late spring cold phase. It's still quite cold outside at this late hour. Li Xia kept smiling politely. After all, it is inappropriate to not invite guests into your home for a cup of hot tea when guests arrive. What's more, he was his grandfather's savior, so it was even more inappropriate to keep people away. Ali was reminded and immediately realized this, and quickly apologized. I'm sorry, please come inside. The movement here finally disturbed Mr. Higurashi and the girl's mother, who were already sleeping lightly. As soon as the two sat down in the living room, and Li Xia took a cup of steaming tea from the girl opposite. A beautiful woman got dressed and came down from the second floor and entered the hall on the first floor. Auntie, we meet again. Seeing Ali's mother, Li Xia immediately stood up and said hello. It's you. It was only seven or eight days apart. Naturally, Ali's mother had not forgotten the face that saved their old man from the fire a few days ago. So when I saw the young man at that time, the surprise and gratitude in my eyes were undisguised. The girl on the side looked at this scene and was no longer as vigilant as before. After that, the atmosphere suddenly became very harmonious. And the time that was supposed to be spent alone between the two of them turned into a one-on-three meeting. Xia Jun, why are you here? Ali's mother was all smiles. Li Xia fell into deep thought while blowing on the steaming teacup. After a while, he asked. Higurashi-san, you must be Amiko, right? The three members of the Higurashi family looked at each other. As the successor of Higurashi Shrine. 
Grandpa is a palace minister, so she is indeed a witch. Yes, what's wrong? After Ali nodded, Li Xia took out an alloy box from his pocket and placed it on the table. He took off the soul sealing talisman on it and opened the lid of the box, revealing the seven four soul fragments inside that emitted a faint purple light. This object is called the Four Soul Fragments. It is a treasure that has been circulated in the spiritual world from a long time ago. It is recorded in my family's classics. I don't know where the Higurashi family got so many jade fragments, but this object is giving. While it brings power to the holder, it will also bring suffering and misfortune to the holder. As a practitioner, I rushed to Higur's house before because I heard that Higur san is not in good health. After all, it's either gout or a broken waist. I haven't been to school for a long time. I always ask for leave or sewing. These words made the girl have black lines all over her forehead. The eyes he looked at his grandfather were filled with sadness. And I happen to have mastered some magic techniques. So I was thinking if I could help out a little bit in this regard. In her words, there was concern for her classmates. In this way, I gained a lot of goodwill from the old, middle-aged and small family of three. While speaking, he also took out two low-level talismans and showed them in a small way before continuing. Originally, I thought it was just a simple meeting with classmates but when I arrived, I found that the warehouse was on fire. Just as I was thinking about saving the old man in the fire, I noticed a masked monster jumping out of the fire, clamoring to give it a body, give it a body. As soon as Li Xia said these words, Mr. Higurashi's face was full of solemnity. Then what? Some bad memories made him sweat faintly on his forehead. Li Xia took out the big Osmanthus mask and put it on his face. Give me a body, give me a body. The lifelike appearance did not make the girl and the beautiful woman feel the slightest discomfort. But the old man was shocked. He picked up a handful of talismans and threw them at this direction. Taking over the imperfectly drawn talisman papers, a strange color flashed in Li Xia's eyes. It turns out that the talisman paper at Ali's grandfather threw at him was a real talisman. However, because the makers were not set in cultivation and the materials used to draw the talismans were of the lowest quality. These talismans were only semi-finished products and of inferior quality. The power contained within it is pitiful, and its external performance is even more mediocre. If not, these talismans would have shined brightly. Thinking of the Higurashi family's hidden inheritance of talisman, can Li Xia feel at peace? Father, Mr. Xia is joking with you. The beautiful woman smiled slightly. It can be seen that this aunt, who has never experienced monster attacks and has lived in peace and stability her whole life, has no fear of monsters. Li Xia also stopped joking and became serious. He did this deliberately, not just for entertainment but to awaken the old man's powerlessness and fear when facing the monster, and in turn make Ali realize how difficult it was to save his life. Really? A girl who had experienced the warring states period opposite the bone-eating well. Caught in her grandfather's eyes the similar look in the eyes of ordinary villagers when they faced monsters during the warring states period, that was fear. Therefore, at this moment, the gratitude towards the young classmate in front of him for saving his grandfather quietly increased by three points. Li Xia, here, continues to talk. After I subdued the masked monster, I also found a few fragments of the legendary Four Souls on the mask itself. These are the pieces. Steel. Non-existent. We are the trophies obtained from the human face in the flesh. And this statement made Ali feel even more scared. And with the old man's emergency response as evidence, there is no doubt about the fact. How so? The girl was shocked inside. She brought the four soul fragments to the modern world and placed them at home, but she almost caused her grandfather to be Ed. If the young classmate in front of her hadn't taken action in time, her grandfather would have been Ed by her, and her mother and younger brother Suda would have been harmed as well. When she thought of this, her heart was filled with guilt for her family. Li Xia secretly observed the changes in Ali's expression, and when he saw the girl's complicated expression, he suddenly said to himself, Calm down. He seized the initiative. Not only did he not have to hand over the four soul fragments in his hand, but he also had another guarantee to go to the opposite side of the bone-eating well. Speaking of which, winning the favor of the honest people in this family and getting a good first impression on them was also a choice that I made after thinking for a long time. Firstly, 
he is now just a mage with average fighting ability. It is still too dangerous to wander alone in the world of monsters across the well. Both of them, he is not 100% sure that he can use the power of the four soul fragments to travel through the well on his own. He is not afraid of 10,000, just afraid of the worst. But if the little girl in front of you cooperates, you can definitely travel. Because Ali brought modern items there more than once. In the original work, he even returns to modern times with dry information that can be revived when exposed to water. In other words, as long as he holds the girl's little hand tightly when the girl is passing through the bone-eating well, he can theoretically follow her. The four soul fragments plus the girl in front of him are double insurance. If you can't travel through the bone-eating well, then it's really unreasonable. In return, he would, within a reasonable range, find ways to help Ali lift his Tuling seal in advance and improve the witch's strength. The other side. The Smith family. A bunch of senior executives are furious. What? The plane crashed. That special plane had an air crash. Who can tell me what's going on? The fragment of the Four Souls jewel just caught my eye and flew away like that. Chapter, 21. Elder, it's Chris Smith. He betrayed the family and absconded with the Four Soul fragment of the treasure. The reason why my special plane crashed on the way was probably related to him. Maybe he had premeditated it. Jia Wei said in a deep voice. It means to excuse yourself. Because the plane crash was the special plane he arranged. If he didn't excuse himself now, it would be easy for the family leaders to suspect that he was operating secretly to obtain the four soul fragments. Chris betrayed the family. Some elders frowned in disbelief and raised their voices by eight points. You know, that is the elite of the clan whom the older generation watched growing up, and one of the most outstanding people among the younger generation. How could they betray the family? Sooner or later, the Smith family will be handed over to them. Elder, after we fully mobilize the family's energy in the island nation of Tokyo, we have confirmed that Chris is still alive. He once appeared near the coastline and was spotted by local fishermen. Standing behind an old man, Javi Smith said with certainty. With the energy of the family, traces of this person's not dead were quickly investigated. In the plane crash, everyone on the plane died, except this guy. Moreover, the person refused to return to his family while he was still alive. Instead, he disappeared from the world. This Suyin should not be too glaring. How could it be? Impossible. He was trained by Elder Lawn and me. He should be very loyal to the family. Yes, our family has given him everything, how could he give up everything and betray the family? Furthermore, he knows very well that the strength of the family is, so how can he dare to go against the family? Aren't he afraid of the family's pursuit? The two old men who were holding cigars put out their cigarettes in the ashtrays. At this moment, someone whispered. Could it be the influence of the four soul fragment of the treasure? As soon as these words came out, the core family members gathered in the hall fell silent. Of course they knew the strangeness of the four soul fragments. Once the person who obtains the four soul fragments has any ambitions in his heart. After the fragments are embedded in his body, his own strength will skyrocket, and his ambitions will also expand sharply. In this way, it makes sense why Chris betrayed the family. It's very possible that Chris got the four soul fragments, but for unknown reasons, the plane crashed. He had to use the power of the treasure fragments to save himself. When he managed to survive, he found that he had suffered fatal trauma, if you want to maintain your life, you can only rely on the power of the jade fragments. Once you lose the fragments, you will die immediately. Therefore, I chose to defect. Elder Lawn thought a lot about his adopted son. They are all very reasonable. After hearing this, everyone fell silent. After a long time, an elder sitting on the sofa asked. Have you found the plane's black box? No. I arranged a large number of people to search everywhere within the two sea miles nearby, but nothing was found. I think it was either swallowed by the sea, or was taken away by Chris. Jia Wei responded respectfully. Under the downcast face, there is an unknown complex look hidden. Where is the young man named Li Xia from the Li family in Peninsula? The young man's cultivation level is not high, he is just an entry-level person. When faced with that kind of plane crash, it would be difficult for him to survive. 
according to the investigation of professionals on the scene, this boy should have been involved in the plane crash together with the rest of the people on the plane. He died, and his body was probably directly vaporized by the high temperature. A middle-aged man reported truthfully. Don't be careless. It's better to pay more attention to his property in Tokyo and his family on the peninsula and even in China in the dark. If there is anything strange, report it quickly. Just as Li Xia speculated. The Smith family won't let it go. However, as long as he doesn't show up for a day, the cheap daddy and his eldest sister and two brothers will be safe. Li Xia and Ali are here. Early in the morning, they both prepared supplies and immediately went to the bone eating well together. Mr. Xia, I trust my granddaughter's safety. Xia Jun, please take good care of my daughter. Brother Xia, please leave my sister to you. A family of four, the grandfather, the mother, and the younger brother, all sincerely entrusted themselves to the young man with certain extraordinary abilities. It turns out that although Ali never told his family about the dangers there every time he returned from the Warring States monster world across the well, the family was not fools. The monster at the family witnessed at first broke the seal at the mouth of the well. The centipede temptress, followed by the reverse-haired knot. Later, the old man encountered the human face in the flesh, and Suda witnessed the true cause of the little evil spirit. These are just the most common monsters mentioned by Inuyasha. The most common monsters are so troublesome and almost them, so how dangerous are the more terrifying monsters on the other side of the well? Why did the family not dissuade Ali? One is a sense of responsibility. After all, it was Ali who shot and shattered the four souls jade. If he doesn't fix it, his daughter-granddaughter will live with guilt for the rest of her life. The second is that he is protected by the half-demon Inuyasha. Inuyasha's ODs were quite shocking in the eyes of mortals. With Inuyasha protecting Ali, they were more or less relieved. Now, Li Xia, who had a life-saving relationship with his old man, not only knew about the existence of the well, but also expressed his willingness to go to the opposite world to slay demons in addition, he also showed that he was avoiding the pursuit of the evil cultivator family. Point. It turns out that the modern world they live in only looks peaceful on the surface, but is actually not peaceful under the water. Ali, you must get along well with Xia Jun. The beautiful woman encouraged. Considering Li Xia's situation, she naturally didn't mind having such a classmate as her daughter's companion. After understanding the young man's good intentions, he couldn't refuse the offer to travel through the ancient well together. They went there to slay demons and avoid being hunted by terrorists if their family refused, wouldn't they just watch the old man's savior being retaliated by bad guys? Watching the four soul fragments fall into the hands of those bad guys. By then, not only will kindness be repaid with hatred, but the modern world, which at least seems peaceful on the surface, will be disrupted. Very early in the morning. The family gathered next to a dry well in a wooden house. Exhorting and watching the boy and girl travel through time and space to the world on the other side of the well that they were very curious about but had no way to go to. Sister, now you not only have the protection of brother Inuyasha, but also the protection of brother Xiao. As a younger brother, I can finally rest assured. Little Shota Suda wished with an innocent look on his face. In a burst of faint blue light, the figures of the two people and the two large packages they were carrying behind them disappeared one after another. Opposite the well, there is still a dry well. However, the well here is different from the one in the Higarashi family in the modern world. First, the well of Higarashi's family is blocked by a small house and does not see sunlight all year round but in this well here, the dazzling light from above can be seen. Of the two, the Higarashi family's bone-eating well has only stones on the surface, with no moss. Vines or other vegetation while the well from the Warring States period has many drooping vines growing on the walls, giving it a different kind of vitality. The third one, the bone-eating well of the Higarashi family, is located on the hillside. This well in the Warring States period was located on a forested plain. Is this the world across the well? Taking a deep breath according to the exercises given by the Li family, Li Xia immediately noticed that the originally silent magic power in his body became more and more active. Like meeting mana after a long drought. It's like a pool of stagnant water has been re-energized. The half-dead body seemed to be rejuvenated at this moment. That feeling is great. And when he saw a sacred tree not far away with a large piece of baldness on its trunk, he became even more confident. 
What's wrong? The girl noticed sewing was wrong with the boy and asked with concern. Nothing. Li Xia shook his head first, and then showed his white teeth. I'm just better than I've ever been. Chapter, 22 Following a forest path, the two quickly walked out of the forest. At this moment, a young man with long silver hair and a pair of white dog ears appeared in front of the two of them. Ali, what's going on with you? Ha! Huh? Who is this human being? This boy with white dog ears is the male lead in the original work. He wears a string of purple-red spirit beads around his neck, his upper body is wearing a fiery red fire rat fur. With a white shirt attached tightly underneath, and his lower body is wearing a pair of fiery red belted bloomers, and his feet are bare. In addition, there is a knife with a broken and rotten handle on his waist, which must be the hidden real protagonist Tai Suya. When Inuyasha saw Li Xia accompanying the girl, he couldn't help but frown with a vigilant look on his face. Seeing this, Ali took two steps forward and explained. Inuyasha, this is my classmate, his name is Li Xia. He comes from a family of practitioners and is a good mage he has agreed to help us collect the four soul fragments, and from now on, we will be partners. By the way, before, there was a monster in my house that was sealed by our ancestors hundreds of years ago. It used the power of the four soul fragments to break out of the seal. After its escape, it directly caused a fire in the warehouse. My grandfather was trapped by a broken beam. If he loses his body, the fire will engulf him. Thanks to Xia Jun's timely appearance, he not only resealed the monster that had already obtained several four soul fragments, but also rescued my grandfather. The girl's words made the half demon Inuyasha look at her with admiration. After all, he can seal a monster that has obtained several four soul fragments, and he has some Taoism in him, so his strength should not be much worse. In addition, he saved the Li's grandfather, the old man who gave him good senses. Under the love of the house, he was no longer so hostile to Li Xia. Of course, seeing a Li and Li Xia together, he still felt a little uncomfortable. There is always a sense of absurdity that sewing of yours is about to be taken away. Li Xia, after hearing a Li's praise for him, hurriedly said humbly, and at the same time began to mix in private things. With my little SS as a three-legged cat, I was able to seal the monster, but only in the period of weakness when it had just unsealed its body without its own body. And before the opponent had time to absorb the monster power in the four soul fragments to strengthen itself. With my current strength, it's okay to attack first, but if I really want to charge forward, it's still too reluctant. Besides, I'm not the type who s every monster I see. As far as I know, there are still kind monsters and half-demon in this world. If I hadn't happened to bump into that flesh-faced human-faced person who wanted to do evil and hurt people, I would have thought if you want to attack the old man, I want to take action. While showing his level of strength, he also showed his attitude towards monsters and half-demon. This combination of punches made Inuyasha, who had rarely hurt anyone since he was born, even more favorable to him. Don't you have any prejudice against half-demon? Inuyasha murmured. At this moment, he seemed to be reminded of many bad memories of his childhood, and his eyes were full of complexity. No one knows that this half-demon who seems carefree and indifferent to others is actually very sensitive to colored eyes. Half-demon is the bloodline of humans and monsters. But in this world, he is not truly accepted by either humans or monsters. Half-demon cannot survive among monsters. Whenever he appears, if he does not have the strength to protect himself, he will be ed and eaten immediately. If he has the strength to protect himself, he will be despised and looked down upon by those monsters. Humans are afraid of monsters. In the eyes of most humans, monsters are man-eating demons. Under the house of hatred, there is naturally serious discrimination and prejudice against half-demon with monster blood flowing in their body. Inuyasha's scarred childhood was spent in the pursuit of many monsters and the curses of many humans. Now, another human being appeared who did not discriminate against him and even recognized him. He was happy from the bottom of his heart. Just don't say it. For Maple Village and several surrounding villages, Li Xia's arrival was far less sensational and exciting than the reincarnation of Ali. The witch, but it also greatly improved the living conditions of the villagers in this village. First of all, the two newly built water wheels in the village have been improved and perfected with the technology he brought from modern times. See the second episode of the original work. The island villages in that period were really backward. 
Secondly, the villagers who carried hoes to the fields learned to use oxen to help plow the field. Some villagers with horses were provided with three-piece sets such as saddles. Horse pedals and iron shoes and two experimental fields were opened by the river, allowing several villagers to a farmer woman help select, soak and germinate the seeds brought over. At the end of the month and the beginning of May, two fields were selected for sowing. Results will be visible next year. Originally, he could have done more, but Li Xia was not in a hurry to empty out his family fortune. Ali was limited by his experience in the third grade of junior high school and the innocence of a girl. So he never thought about or voluntarily gave up using the wisdom of the past accumulated by modern people to improve the progress of civilization in this era. But he is different from the girl. There are many things he wants to achieve. Right now, gaining the trust and help of the villagers in Maple Village is a top priority. After gaining trust, he was naturally able to establish a foothold in several nearby villages. He clearly remembered that Maple Village had rarely suffered extensive damage since the reverse Jolu incident. The big boss Neraku seems to be deliberately avoiding this place. Except for the time when I was targeting Inuyasha and wanted to collect the four soul jade in the hands of the protagonist group. I came here once after that, in the finale, it turned into a super flying giant spider coming to cause destruction. Yet even during those times, casualties among the village's mortals were pitifully few. There is no doubt that in this warring state's monster world, Maple Village and the five surrounding villages are relatively safe. As for him joining the protagonist group, integrating into the team in advance is the result of his careful consideration. It is undeniable that there are many dangers in joining a group in the early stage. For example, on the upcoming New Moon Night, Inuyasha has lost all his demon power. Faced with the hordes of miscellaneous monsters spider heads and the leaders of these spider heads, Inuyasha almost got into trouble. On the night of the new moon, as a half-demon, Inuyasha's demon blood will completely subside, and he will become the most ordinary mortal. By then, he will have the strongest combat effectiveness in the team. As for Ali, who is still just a half-baked witch, and the little fox demon Shibao. They are all unreliable. However, is this not an opportunity for him? An opportunity to build a bond of trust relatively easily. You must know that it won't be long before the second male lead, the mage Moroku, and the second female lead. The demon slayer Coral and the little cat Mika, will no longer have to face the half-demon Inuyasha alone as an ordinary human being. It's the night of the new moon. But here, if he wants to gain trust and establish a bond, it will not be that easy. Misfortune lies on the back of blessing, and blessing lies on misfortune. Isn't this an opportunity for me? Li Xia secretly said. Forming a group, or laying a good foundation for bonding in advance, has the advantage of staying together in the early stage to keep warm. Although Inuyasha is only a half-demon, in the half-demon state, the demon power value given in the formula book is only two stars but the two-star demon power is already a good level. Not to mention Inuyasha's two-star demon power belongs to the demon king level two stars of blood. Its true rank needs to be improved to a higher level. And with Inuyasha charging forward, he would undoubtedly be able to relax a lot. In the later stages, the value of this favor is truly priceless. Look at Coral, the demon slayer who joined the team near the midterm. How powerful has he become after receiving the hidden benefits of Inuyasha, the second generation demon, in the late phase? After the Coral's flying bones were strengthened by the poison of the monster fairy medicine Lao Poison. It was able to crush even the physical body of the big boss Neraku, and temporarily suppress Neraku's weak physique, making it impossible to recover for a long time. Kind. It's like being temporarily banned. He, Lee, does not ask for this kind of treatment, but to receive guidance from the great sage of demon spirits, is this not too much to ask for? Even in the early stage, if you can get the guidance of the master swordsmith Todosai, you can make great achievements, right? We have rested for two days, where should we go to find the four soul fragments next? Ali asked. Go to the east, that area has not been visited yet. Inuyasha suggested. Coincidentally, the east side is the area where the monster spider head is active. Chapter, 23. As in the original work. Inuyasha, Ali and others met the human girl Xiaoqiu on their water journey eastwards. At that time, the girl was attacked by a spider-headed monster and fell from a 10-meter-high cliff on the river bank. 
Thanks to Inuyasha's quick movements, he quickly caught the 13, or 14-year-old girl in a princess hug. Otherwise, this woman will be disabled even if she is not dead. This woman was very grateful to Inuyasha at first. However, when she looked up and saw Inuyasha's dog ears, her expression immediately changed. Thinking that Inuyasha is a monster, he directly acted out the misunderstanding of a good heart. After Ali and Lysia persuaded the girl to sit down and everyone talked, they realized that this girl was also a miserable person. It turns out that just half a month ago, several surrounding villages were attacked by groups of monster spider heads. This is a very obscene monster. They usually build their nests in human bodies and make a living by eating people. The human corpses they build their nests are usually manipulated by those s and become walking zombies. My parents made those s i n g. When the girl Xiaoqi said this, her face was full of hatred. When Ali heard this, he felt pity in his heart. So that's it. Um, Inuyasha, Natsukuan, let's help Kanzuya, shall we? In her opinion, with Inuyasha's strength, it's easy to deal with the monster spider head? ING demons and slaying demons easily is a good thing. What's more, half a month ago, the Spiderhead group went out and attacked many human villages because the news of the four soul fragments spread from this area. In other words, the death of Xiaoqi's parents and the villagers was to some extent caused by Chiyu, and she was more or less responsible for it. However, Inuyasha remained unmoved. He crossed his hands on his chest and asked. Did you find the aura of the four soul fragments? The purpose is clear. Very clear-headed. Ali, on the other hand, said softly and somewhat unconfidently the spider head just now didn't seem to have four soul fragments on his body. Then let's go. Before the sun goes down, we have to climb over this mountain and find a relatively safe place to camp. With that said, Inyasha stood up. At this time, he didn't want to cause trouble. Tonight is the night of the new moon. He, who had always been alone before, was already looking for a safe place to spend the night. Inuyasha, there are monsters here. How could you just leave like this? Ali felt guilty and didn't want to stand by and watch. In response, before Uguzi could speak, Li Xia coughed lightly. Ahem, Higurashi-san, Inuyasha may be right this time. Xia Jun. The girl looked a little surprised. She didn't like to see Inuyasha's face, the two of them seemed to be at odds with each other. But she still had to worry about the opinions of her grandfather's savior and the attitude of this classmate who also came from the modern world. Higurashi-san, have you ever truly understood the half-demon? Especially at this special time today. In addition, do you understand this little girl with unknown origins? Also, do you understand her master and the monk's influence on us? Inuyasha's attitude. Xia Jun, is there anything wrong? As a novice practitioner, Ali is quite humble in this regard. On the other side, the girl Xiaoqiu was not happy. Hey, what do you mean? Why am I unknown? Master is willing to take me in as a homeless person. He is the kindest and best person. How can he discriminate against others? Stop slandering my master. Really? Since the spider head was active in this area half a month ago, why have I never heard you mention that that group of s attacked the temple where your master and disciples lived? Don't you think it's a coincidence? Anyway, it can't be that the old monk is so powerful that all spider heads are afraid of him, right? If he was very powerful, why couldn't he detect the movement of the demonic energy, and ended up watching your village and the neighboring villages being slaughtered? Oh, how kind. Furthermore, spider heads all move in groups, but you just met one it appeared in front of us, and then disappeared immediately. What a coincidence. TSK TSK. Li Xia didn't say any more. But what I wanted to express has been expressed very clearly. Anyone who is not a fool can hear that he is reminding everyone that there is sowing wrong with this temple. You. Even if you don't want to help, you actually slander and slander my master. You. Xiaoqi stood up angrily. After Li Xia heard the little girl's angry words, he was not moved at all. Instead, he exchanged a look with Inuyasha, and they had a certain understanding of each other. Obviously, Inuyasha, who began his wandering journey more than 200 years ago, is extremely vigilant. Before, they also felt that the appearance of this human woman was too coincidental, as if she was specially lured to them. 
In addition, there is also a problem with that temple, because the village is attacked. And the monks in the nearby temple or the witches who are in charge of the village will definitely bear the brunt. As a result, several surrounding villages disappeared, but the old monk was still there. This doesn't look right. I just felt sewing was wrong just now, but I didn't think about these details at all. But this classmate of Ali not only pointed out what was wrong with the details, but also seemed to have guessed that I would lose my combat power on the night of the new moon. Wouldn't it be so powerful? Just as Inuyasha was thinking about it, he saw that Li Xia had already moved closer to Ali and whispered almost against his ear. Some half-demon, on the night of the new moon, the demon blood in the body will calm down and become ordinary humans some half-demon are humans during the day and monsters at night. Of course, there are other situations. Although I don't know about Inuyasha no matter what it is, I will never risk the safety of my companions. Although his voice was small, Inuyasha had not lost his demon power yet. So the general meaning has fallen into Urguzi's ears. This also made Inuyasha's eyes condensed, his expression extremely complex this guy is so amazing, he actually guessed my period of weakness. After Ali learned about the situation, his mouth opened slightly. I also understood why Inuyasha was acting out of character. After all, if it were in the past and she had said that, Inuyasha would definitely have agreed to investigate. A mere monster is naturally not looked down upon by this partner. But today, Inuyasha surprisingly didn't want to cause trouble. Combined with what Li Xia said. She immediately blamed herself. Inuyasha, are you really going to do that tonight? Urguzi humph. A cold snort is enough to explain many things. But Xiaoqiu was attacked by Spider Head just now. Would it be dangerous to go back like this? Ali never believed that there could be anything wrong with this innocent looking little girl. I'm going back. I don't want monsters to help me. I don't need your hypocritical concern. Xiao Qi turned around and left. Seeing this, the little fox demon Qibao on the side became a little unhappy. Woman, Ali wants to help you with good intentions, but you are too ignorant, right? Stop being so verbose. Result. The group of people still set foot on the road to the temple. Among them, Li Xia and Ali were carrying two small backpacks. Inuyasha reluctantly carried Kori on his back. There was no other way. When the girl left, she chose to climb the ten-meter-high cliff by the river, and fell from the top. But this time, Inuyasha was distracted and failed to hug the princess in time, causing the little girl to sprain her foot. If we don't send people back to the temple in the wilderness, sewing might really happen late at night. In this regard, Li Xia could only sigh secretly. He had already worked hard to help Ali avoid danger. However, things went counterproductive. It seems that Ali and Inuyasha are destined to have this difficulty. Chapter, 24 Since this woman did not please Li Xia, the matter of cheating was left to Inuyasha, who was half-demon and more agile. Here he is, carrying a small backpack. The sun sets. The sky is getting darker. Following the bluestone stairs, everyone climbed halfway up the mountain. Not far ahead, there is an ancient temple. Finally arrived before dark. Several people breathed a sigh of relief. Only Li Xia had quietly hidden several evil talismans in his sleeves that could dispel evil spirits. At this moment, a kind-hearted old man walked out of the temple. Xiao Qiu, who are these people? Seeing the old man, the girl on Inuyasha's back, the sprained ankle healed instantly. Immediately, he first gave an elbow to the side of Inuyasha's face, then jumped off Raguzi's back with quick hands and feet, and finally arrived in front of the old monk with swift steps. Master! This scene made Li Xia's mouth twitch. Inuyasha, who rubbed the side of his face, gritted his teeth in annoyance. What happened to this woman? Xiao Qiu, why are you looking so miserable? Were you attacked by a spider head? The old monk looked at the disgraced young disciple he had taken in not long ago, and stepped forward with concern. Under the reflection of the last rays of the setting sun, the scene looks so warm and heartwarming. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. The girl lowered her head and said aggrievedly. I originally wanted to pick some wild flowers when I went out this time to place them in front of the graves of the villagers who were Ed and my parents. As a result, I was caught by these evil monsters and brought back. Master, I'm sorry. These words immediately made Inuyasha and Shippo very unhappy. 
everyone feels that this little shepherd's purse is so annoying. Even the kind-hearted Ailey frowned slightly at this time she had some doubts about whether the kindness she gave to the other party was right or wrong. Just as several people were thinking about it, a joking voice sounded from behind them. What a deep relationship between master and disciple. As this sound came out, there was even more whooshing sound breaking through the air. Inuyasha, whose dynamic vision was still in the semi-demon state, immediately saw how many talismans they were. To be precise, they are three high-quality evil-proof charms. Li Xia didn't act according to common sense at all, and he used the evil-repelling talisman to mess up his face. And the shot is three. Not to mention that the old monk and his disciples didn't expect it, even Inuyasha and Ali didn't expect it. But sewing weird happened. When the three evil-proofing talismans were about to be posted on the defenseless old monk, the air in front of him became distorted, followed by a stream of tiny electric lights. That is what happens when the magic power of the mage and the evil spirit of the monster consume each other. Just for a moment. The scene changed from a warm and affectionate master-disciple relationship to a tense situation between both parties. An ordinary spider head has only half a star of demonic power. In addition to spinning silk to assist in combat, the rest is to manipulate human corpses and use swords in human weapons to fight. Therefore, compared to ordinary young humans, except for the fact that their SS are more flexible with the blessing of some demonic power. And they can fully obey the orders of the spider head leader and act without fear of casualties. They actually don't have much advantage in other aspects. On the other hand, the spider head commander has two stars of monster power and is an intermediate monster. And he is very good at disguise and scheming. The key is that he is extremely good at controlling his aura even if he is among humans, ordinary people cannot detect his abnormality. No, even Inuyasha, who has a very sensitive dog nose, can't smell the original monster scent of the spider-headed leader after he disguised himself as a human. This shows this guy's ability to disguise himself. It's a pity that the spider-head commander met Li Xia, the sixth man. Monster. Chibao's furry tail suddenly stood up. Xia Jun's guess is actually right. There is really sewing wrong with this old monk. He is a monster in disguise. Ali hurriedly retreated, and at the same time he bent his bow and drew an arrow. In the original timeline, Ali did not carry a bow and arrow on this trip, leaving the burden entirely to Inuyasha. As a result, Inuyasha almost got a GG after losing his demon power on the night of the new moon. If the old flea from Mingjia hadn't happened to appear, not only reminding the girl to delay time with the help of Tai Suya's barrier, but also helping his young master Inuyasha absorb most of the spider toxins from his body, Ali would have been responsible for his unreasonable behavior this time. Kindness pays the bill. Not only will Inuyasha and Shippo be ed, but he will also be ruined. The monks in this temple have probably been eaten long ago. Inuyasha stood in front of everyone without hesitation, and decisively pulled out the iron broken teeth from his waist. What was originally a rusty broken knife became a majestic machete with the blessing of demon power. Humph, show your true colors. By the way, why did Li Xia let everyone come despite knowing that this trip was dangerous? The purpose is self-evident. First, suppress Alice's kindness. Kindness is a noble virtue, but kindness without bottom line and wisdom is irresponsible to the people around you. Second, moisturizing things silently improves one's voice in the team. At the same time, it also made Inuyasha, Ali, and Chibao trust him more. When these two points are achieved, subsequent plans can be implemented more effectively. Finally, it was a matter of course to give it a try. Although his behavior is a bit lame, in this era of crisis, only Lao Lu can go further. Teacher, Master. Xiaoqi looked at the old monk in disbelief, who used to be kind and kind-hearted, but now had a gloomy face and a fierce light in his eyes. Silly woman, why are you still standing there? Run away. Inuyasha reminded somewhat anxiously. Just as he was about to step forward, he was surprised to find that Xiaoqi stood between the two parties with open arms. He is my master, not the monster you call him. You guys, let's go, let's go. There was a human girl blocking the front, and everyone suddenly became a little jealous. Hey, Xiaoqiu, you are indeed master's good boy. The old monk was surprised that he was exposed so easily but since his identity could no longer be hidden, there was no need to hide his identity anymore. 
As a result, he transformed into the ugly spider-headed leader, and then held him in his arms from behind the little girl as a hostage. Just a moment later, he could read from the body movements and eyes of Inuyasha and Ali that they did not want to affect innocent humans. Therefore, it is just a good idea to use this cheap apprentice as a human shield, or as a bargaining chip. Seeing the spider head commanding the main body, Li Xia snorted coldly. It's really you. You were the one who had that girl's parents, right? Keeping this girl by your side is basically using her as a cover. Make it easier for prey to take the bait. What a plan. The big spider transformed by the old monk smiled ferociously. Hee <laughs> hee. It's me. It was just a casual move to take in this wild girl, but I didn't expect that I would actually meet a half-demon and a human with four soul fragments. This girl is also cute. Not only does she regard her father ing enemy as a great benefactor, but she also you helped me bring you here, you helped me a lot. Okay, hand over the four soul fragments on your body immediately, otherwise I will this wild girl. You don't want this innocent person to die because of you, do you? Mean. Chibao said extremely angrily. No, no, master, you lied to them, right? This is just a cover-up, right? The girl couldn't accept this fact. What do you think? The old spider stretched its neck very long, at least two or three meters long. Looking at this scene, the girl's extravagant hopes and fantasies were completely shattered. No, 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 damn monster, give my parents back. It's a pity that no matter how hard she struggles, she can't break free from the shackles of a monster. By this time, most of the sun had already set over the mountain. The afterglow of the setting sun shining on the horizon is getting thinner and thinner. Li Xia, who had been observing and alerting his surroundings, noticed this and quickly reminded Inuyasha. Either act or withdraw. Through the mess with a quick knife is the best choice. It would be a good idea to retreat quickly. As long as you exit this place and wait for tonight, it won't be too late to come back during the day tomorrow. Anyway, at the moment, half of the four soul fragments carried by everyone have not been lost like in the original timeline. In this case, there is absolutely no need to fight to the death, and there is no need to use one's own shortcomings to attack the enemy's strengths. However, neither Inuyasha nor Ali had any intention of evacuating. It's very simple. In Ali's opinion, Xiaoqiu will die as soon as they leave. In Inuyasha's opinion, as long as he was given a chance, he could such rubbish as Spiderhead Commander with a single blow. Seeing this, Li Xia gritted his teeth and sighed secretly. Well. After just two minutes of confrontation, the sun went down. At this moment, Inuyasha's expression changed. Chapter, 25 Inuyasha Li Xia knew that this was the most important and final opportunity for them to take action. If you miss, you must retreat. Therefore, he threw several evil-proof charms towards the spider-head leader, or Xiaoqiu to be precise. The evil-repelling talismans would not harm ordinary humans, but they had a restraining effect on monsters that exuded evil spirits. He did not expect these evil-repelling talismans to directly suppress the spider-head commander. He only hoped that after the evil repelling talismans fell on Xiaoqiu, they could form a wave in an instant. Layer of protection for young girls. All he had to do was force the spiderhead commander to let go and subconsciously let go of the girl. As for Inuyasha, his fighting consciousness is quite good. In just a blink of an eye, he understood what Li Xia meant. So, when the evil proofing talisman turned into a flying blade and landed accurately on Xiaoqiu, who had a look of astonishment on his face, he walked out vigorously. The spider-headed leader transformed by the old monk was forced back two steps by the magical aura released by several evil-proof talismans. And instinctively released the two spider legs that were imprisoned on the girl's body. The sword suddenly appeared. Pfft. The sword flashed across and blood splattered. However, Li Xia and Inuyasha were not very happy. Trouble. It turned out that just when Inuyasha took action, the spider-headed commander also took action. Although this old spider doesn't know the specific power of Tai Suya, he still has good spider intuition. Therefore, while watching Tai Suya slash at him, he spit out a large amount of spider silk from his mouth like a water jet, which hindered Tai Suya's blade to a certain extent. On the other side, the spider-headed minions dormant in this temple were mobilized to help out. 
just when Inuyasha's iron teeth broke through the spider silk and would soon hit his body. His subordinates who had already arrived several spider-headed monsters jumped out and stood between the two as human shields. No, a few cannon fodders helped take the knife and shared the damage. The spider head just had two arms chopped off. Of course, there was another reason why Commander Spiderhead could not be ed with one blow, and that was the sun went down, the sky became dark, and the demon sword Tai Suya shrunk accordingly. Tai Suya, who was still majestic before, is shrinking every second now. What happened? Ali and Chibao were puzzled. Li Xia reminded aloud. Have you forgotten that Inuyasha is a half-demon? Tonight, the demon blood in his body will be silent. At this moment, his demon power is quickly disappearing. Tai Suya's increasingly miserable state is proof of this. It is precisely because of this that the spider-headed commander only managed to survive by breaking two of his spider legs. At this moment, the sharp dog claws on Inuyasha's fingertips disappeared. The silver hair on his head is losing its luster, and the pair of small dog ears in the hair are also shrinking. It won't be long before he becomes a completely human. How so? Ali was a little panicked at this time. Since embarking on the journey to collect the four soul fragments, her greatest reliance has been Inuyasha now, tonight. This reliance will temporarily disappear, and the group of them has to face a dangerous monster who controls many cannon fodder. In this way, the importance of Li Xia was reflected for the first time. Xia Jun, what should we do? Looking at the miscellaneous spider heads that surrounded them three times inside and three outside. And looking at the human swords and guns with shimmering blades and sharp tips waving in the hands of these monsters, Ali felt deeply remorseful. Because such a situation could not have happened without her repeated persuasion. Xia Jun had already raised doubts before and reminded her of Inuyasha's situation but she did not take it too seriously and fell into the trap set by the monster. Putting everyone in the current crisis. We didn't have to take this risk at all. Retreat. Leave here first. Let's fight back during the day tomorrow. Li Xia suggested. Of course A Li and Qi Bao had no objections. If you don't leave, you won't be able to leave even if you want to. Inuyasha, whose demonic blood quickly subsided, looked at the iron broken tooth in his hand that had shrunk by a large circle and was about to transform into an ordinary rusty knife. He felt unspeakably depressed. If tonight was not the night of the new moon that comes once a month, even if he didn't rely on Tai Suya's power, he could still rely on his own half demon strength to the Spiderhead Commander in three to five moves. Unfortunately, there are not so many ifs. Walk. Ali used the demon-breaking arrow to clear the way. There was no need to aim this arrow accurately, just shoot forward to clear the way. Within the area of influence of the demon-breaking arrow, the monster spider heads either turned into powder and dissipated, or retreated in fear. The group of people took the opportunity and quickly broke out of the siege of many monsters and spider heads. These spider-headed monsters that relied on human corpses to move and fight were only slightly stronger than ordinary humans. Li Xia and Inuyasha could deal with them easily. Chase. Get the four soul fragments. The spider head commander ordered. Once the gangsters got the order, they immediately gave chase. Everyone walked down the mountain road and was about to escape from here. But at this moment, Xiao Qiu, who was rescued by them, became a burden to everyone again. Without him, this girl's foot injury was actually not cured. Walking with light feet is fine, and it will heal in a day or two but if you are running like a hasty march, one misstep will be a classic fall. When Li Xia saw him, he didn't even know how to complain. Xiao Qiu's fall forced everyone to stop and give her a hand, but they were once again surrounded by the chasing spider-headed ass. Not to mention, the spider-head commander hidden among a bunch of spider-heads seized Inuyasha's first opportunity to turn back and pull Kazuto. He decisively stretched out his 10-meter-long neck and pressed it against Inuyasha's body. The magical power released by an evil-proof talisman opened its mouth and bit accurately on the shoulder of Inuyasha, who had turned into a black-haired human. Silver hair turned into black hair, and anyone who wasn't blind would know how fragile Inuyasha was at this moment. The timing and angle chosen by the spider-head leader are even more tricky. Even if Li Xia, who was opening the way ahead, noticed the danger that Inuyasha was facing, he was too late to rescue him. Inuyasha! Ali exclaimed. 
Inuyasha's pupils dilated sharply as the spider-head leader quickly injected poison into his body. His eyes gradually became dull. ZZ. Several evil proofing talismans shot towards this side, and the moment they came into contact with the spider-head leader, strong blue arcs of electricity burst out again. Whispering sound. The old spider was in pain, and subconsciously released his bite on Inuyasha's shoulder, and retracted his head. Although he failed to succeed with one blow, his goal of weakening the people in front of him was to achieve. He he he, I injected a little toxin into this kid's body. Although it's not much, it can't quickly corrode this kid's body from the inside out, but it can still make him incapacitated. Without him, just a little a mage and a lowly little Miko, why do you fight with me? Just hand over the four soul fragments obediently. The girl's Iokia's fall was like the first sign of dominoes falling. Inuyasha's half kneeling on the ground, shaking all over, is a reflection of this process. A lingering gloom gradually enveloped everyone's hearts. But it was just when the old spider had defeated everyone that Li Xia stood up and came to Inuyasha, who was half kneeling on the ground. Inuyasha, can you lend me the Tetsuya Fong? The request was abrupt. It attracted the attention of everyone in the team. Taisuya needs demon power to drive. Before he can transform into a majestic demon sword. You are only a human being. Inuyasha said with difficulty, breathing heavily and slurring his words. It's not that he doesn't want to borrow it, but it's useless for a human to hold an iron broken tooth in the form of a rusty knife. Hearing this, Li Xia gave an explanation with actions. Facing the confused looks from Er Guzi, Ali, and others, he took out a gold-edged card. The edge of the card was the outline of a shrine, and a slightly ferocious mask was printed in the middle of the card. It's the Big Osmanthus mask. With a flash of light, the Big Osmanthus mask emerged from the card as if it were a virtual reality. Then, he put it on Li Xia's face. In this way, to a certain extent, I also possess demonic power. Seeing this, everyone was stunned. His face was full of disbelief. Give. Inuyasha was also decisive and handed the iron broken sword to the companion in front of him he also wanted to confirm whether this companion could control his iron broken tooth. All demons can't even touch Taisuya, and will be hurt by the barrier on it. Humans, and because they have no demon power, cannot turn Taisuya into the demon sword's original form. At this time, Li Xia possesses two kinds of energy magic power and demon power. After receiving Tai Suiya, he even thought about protecting his companions, and at the same time injected the demonic power given to him by the great Osmanthus mask into Tai Suiya. The next moment, a miracle happened. Tai Suiya has really changed. The rusty knife turned into a small machete with a golden halo. Compared with the real demon sword Tai Suiya, it is half as slender and small. Really? When the friends saw this, their eyes widened. Why is it so small? On Li Xia's side, he was holding the demonized machete Tai Shaya. He couldn't say he was disgusted, but he felt an indescribable weirdness. He turned to look at the spider-headed commander and sneered. Chapter, 26 When the old spider saw this, he felt bad. He immediately ordered his spider-headed cannon fodder to swarm forward. In an attempt to massacre Li Xia and everyone else with the human sea tactic. However, Li Xia didn't panic. After blessing himself with additional talismans such as the powerful talisman, the quick agility talisman, and the light body talisman, he went straight to the old spider. Capture the thief first and capture the king. The rest of the spider heads are just puppets of the old spider, and there is no point in ing more of them. Only by ing this guy can we end this crisis. And with the blessing of multiple high-quality talismans, although his speed, reaction, strength, etc. are still far behind in Yasha, he is still catching up with most intermediate monsters. And this is thanks to the power of seven four-soul fragments. Die. It looks like a ghost and is as fast as thunder. Cut in two with one sword, Rui Divine Sword. Ah, no, the lines are wrong. However, the light of the sword flashed, the energy of the sword flew everywhere, and the spider-headed beasts blocking the front turned into powder. In the end, the old spider as the leader was not spared. Because the main battle took place on the mountain road outside the temple, this also meant that the temple halfway up the mountain was not directly destroyed by Inuyasha. 
who had regained his demon blood and regained his demon power early in the morning, to vent his anger like in the original timeline. Ever since. Although the girl Xiaoqi has lost her village, her parents, and her so-called master, she still has the familiar temple where she has lived for half a month. In this warring states period where monsters are rampant and ordinary humans are more often eaten by monsters, it is good to have a place to stay. It's daybreak. The few toxins in Inuyasha's body were also sucked away by the old flea Minka who suddenly appeared in the second half. Therefore, Inuyasha did not suffer the same sin as in the original work. In contrast, Ali and Er Guzi did not experience the life and death ordeal, and Inuyasha, who was in a coma due to poisoning, was unable to express his love on the girl's lap. It was the first time that Ali was so excited. And the impact behind this is too great. Talk about it. Isn't the last purpose of knowing that there are tigers in the mountains and preferring to travel to tiger mountains just to experience the feeling of wielding a broken iron tooth? An ordinary Shikigami would naturally not be able to control Taisuya. But the big laurel mask is an exception. After being blessed with this mask, it not only improved his all attribute strength, but also gave him a weak demonic power. This demon power happens to be one of the key factors for him to wield Taisuya. Okay, just send it here. You can go back quickly. By the river at the foot of the mountain, on a small boat, everyone bid farewell to the girl Xiaoqiu. This girl has also undergone some kind of transformation after this experience. When he looked at Inuyasha, there was a flicker of indescribable emotion in his eyes. Thank you all for helping me this time. Thank you very much. Also, please take care. Xiaoqiu bowed and bowed. Okay, go back and take care of yourself. Finally, when the white-haired, sunny and handsome Erguzi turned around, the girl lowered her head and whispered softly. Inuyasha, thank you. Thank you for telling me that there are good guys among you Kai. I will remember this. Hey, you'd better not remember that kind of thing. Inuyasha muttered, crossing his arms. The boat started moving and drifted away. After a long time, the girl who watched everyone go away by the river stepped towards the temple on the mountain. She decided to learn the Dharma from the handbooks left by her predecessors in the temple. To protect one side. Stop being a burden that only causes trouble for others. Just when Li Xia, Inuyasha, and Ali went out to look for the four soul fragments. Maple Village welcomed an uninvited guest. This is an old woman with protruding eyes, a pointed nose, an ugly appearance, and a slightly scary look. It is one of the important monsters of the original timeline Oni and Riteo. The ghost girl was holding a huge death scythe at the moment, and she cut off the arrows fired at her by the villagers with a single slash. After using the huge scythe to several people, he flew up out of thin air and headed straight for an ancestral hall. Chase The villagers didn't know what the monster was planning to do when they attacked the village, but they couldn't let it do whatever they wanted. Under the leadership of Granny Fong, they followed closely with weapons in hand. And the ghost girl Li Tao has found her purpose here. I saw this old demon grabbing a handful of soil from under a stone platform dedicated to flowers, fruits and vegetables, sniffing it, then squeezing it, and then his eyes lit up. It's right here. The humidity is just right and the soil quality is great. Immediately, after injuring Granny Fong and a group of villagers with a crushing gesture, he slashed out with a sickle, and the sword energy exploded into several meters of smoke. The soil was easily broken open, and a clay pot that had been buried for many years was taken out of the pit. Grandma Foam was shocked when she saw this. It's a little bit of my sister's ashes that I secretly left behind back then. How did she know where her sister's ashes were hidden? Okay, now that I have the things, it's time for me to get out of here. I don't want to stay in this kind of place for a moment anymore. Li Tao was happily playing with the urn, but showed no interest in the villagers. She is a ghost girl, so she naturally prefers places with plenty of death energy. This kind of place with a strong breath of living people made her very uncomfortable. Wait, don't leave once a monster like you gets your sister's ashes, I don't know what kind of big incident will happen. Grandma Fong said solemnly, covering her injured arm. But her words were no deterrent. Not only did it not arouse Li Tao's fighting spirit, but he was ridiculed with disdain. I am the ghost girl Li Tao. I accept the spirit bones of Platycodon without any courtesy. If you have the ability, come and grab it. 
A mere human Miko. In the moonlight, the old demon whipped up a gust of demon wind and flew away into the sky. If the human Miko in front of her could have 10% of Kikyo's level during her lifetime, she wouldn't dare to scream like this unfortunately. This human Miko who looks even older than her probably doesn't even have half of Kikyo's spiritual power, and how to speak cruelly to her. Li Tao left, leaving the scene in a mess. It also left a lingering shadow in the hearts of many villagers. Those are Miss Kikyo's ashes. The other side. Where Li Xia and his party are. Inuyasha, who was in charge of the night watch, had a nightmare and suddenly woke up from his drowsiness. For some reason, he just dreamed of a scene fifty years ago when he was attacked by Platycodon with a sealing arrow and finally sealed on the sacred tree outside the village. This really shocked him into a cold sweat. Jikyo, why did you betray me back then? Inuyasha touched the place where the sealed arrow had penetrated and groaned, feeling indescribable grievance and unwillingness. He turned to look at Ali, who was sleeping quietly next to Chibao in the sleeping bag next to the fire, and looked at the face that he missed day and night. They really do look alike. Ali and the dead Kikio are almost carved from the same mold. However, the next moment, the girl who had been sleeping woke up. Then he saw the blurry figure sizing her up in front of him, and instinctively slapped her in the face. The unsuspecting Inuyasha was immediately hit hard with a snap. On the other hand, Ali yawned a little sleepily. After rubbing his eyes and opening them again, he confirmed that it was Inuyasha and quickly waved his hand. Inuyasha. Don't be scary at night. I thought it was a scary monster. Hearing this, Inuyasha pointed to the left side of his face in grievance. The left side of his face was now marked with red fingerprints. Ah, uh, did I just hit you? I'm sorry. Ali narrowed his eyes and smiled reluctantly. There is no sincerity in this apology. Erguzi gritted his teeth angrily. Giggle. It doesn't look like it at all. What are you saying? Humph. No matter what I say, you guys look nothing alike. So what are you talking about? Chapter, 27. Beside the fire. Li Xia, who had laid out a sleeping bag against the trunk of a big tree and slept, quickly woke up looking at the noisy two people, he sighed softly. Seriously it's not that enemies don't get together. These two, who are naturally incompatible, seem to be destined for this marriage. It seems that they are not dealt with, but in fact it is in this daily interaction that they accumulate feelings that cannot be let go. Inuyasha is a half-demon. Born more than 200 years ago. In human terms, he is over 200 years old. Regardless of the 50 years he was sealed by Platycodon, he has been active in this land for the past 150 years. Comparing his longevity with that of humans, he is only 15 years old. He's a 15-year-old boy. Therefore, as a human being, if Ali is with him, how tortured will the future be? Ali, who is now 15 years old, will become Inuyasha's intimate sister in 10 years, comparable to a 16-year-old human boy. It will be enough to be Inuyasha's mother in 20 years. Because at that time, Inuyasha was just comparable to a 17-year-old human boy. But Ali has already embarked on the downhill road of old age and yellowing. Youth will soon be gone. Life will quickly enter a countdown that is no longer out of reach. And every day after that, looking at Inuyasha, who was always young and like the little boy next door. I thought again of the adventures we had experienced together, the morning sun and sunset we had seen together, etc. At that time, all the good things will become sharp arrows that pierce into Ali's heart. All the good memories in the past will lead to suffering. This is not alarmist. Because time is never on the side of humans. For example, if a person develops a sore or sewing, it is very likely to take away the life of a person or even a group of people in one go. However, these are not a problem at all for monsters or half-monsters with long lifespans and special physiques. Silently watching the couple who were appointed by teacher Takahashi deepen their bond, silently thinking about the future life and death. Li Xia, who is also a human being and is also likely to turn into a handful of lusts in a few decades. A kind of unwillingness suddenly arises. I don't want to come to this world and end up easily turning into the dust of history. I want to learn the magic of immortality, climb up step by step, and finally become an immortal with a mortal body. I want to live forever. Li Xia murmured in his heart. 
Although the four soul fragments he carried with him had not turned black or been contaminated, at this time, they seemed to have become conscious and actually moved in unison. At the same time, a faint purple halo flashed away. The jade of four souls is like a super solar battery. In addition to some kind of strange energy filled in the sky and earth that can be used as the sunshine needed for the solar battery. The power of human soul can also be used as the sunshine to charge this battery. However, positive energy will promote the birth of straight spirits, while negative energy will promote the birth of bent spirits. The straight spirit and the crooked spirit are like a person's good thoughts and evil thoughts. If good thoughts prevail, people will be kind to others. Evil thoughts dominate, that is, to achieve the goal by any means, holding a sharp knife and having a us intention. Right now, the four soul fragments that are growing stronger are the direct spirits within Baoyu. Of course, if one day, Li Xia's heart changes and becomes radical and extreme, then the fragments he holds may turn black. This will strengthen the Chu Ling within it. At this time, the night wind rustled the leaves in the forest. Ali and Inyasha felt sewing at the same time, stopped arguing, and subconsciously looked at the sky to one side. There, a tiny crescent moon hung high on the branches. One day ago, it was a new moon night when the moon was between the sun and the earth. They and their group had just experienced the incident led by the spider head. Naturally, the moonlight on the second day of the lunar month could not be said to be as beautiful as the full moon in the sky. Unlike the full moon in the TV series, the details here have been slightly adjusted. New moon the first day of each month in the lunar calendar. When the moon follows its orbit between the sun and the earth, and the dark hemisphere of the moon faces the earth, it is called new moon. It is the first day of each month in the lunar calendar. At this time, we cannot see the moon, so it is called a new moon. It is different from the imagination of a solar eclipse in which the moon completely blocks the sun. What is that? Inuyasha, who had good eyesight, stood up with a surprised look on his face. Ali only has human eyesight, so naturally he cannot see the fleeting figure under the moonlight. What's wrong? Is it a monster? Inuyasha did not answer directly, but raised his eyebrows and locked eyes with the ghost girl Rateo who was flying away quickly. In addition to the strong smell of tomb soil, that which also smells of fresh blood. And the taste of blood is so familiar. Wait, is it? Suddenly he thought of someone specific, and his expression changed. On Li Xia's side, with the help of the big Osmanthus mask, he immediately made a guess after seeing Li Tao's figure. He also realized that Ah Li's chance to unlock the first seal of the Four Souls Jade was close at hand. Kick you. The Witch Platycodon is the white moonlight of countless gay childhoods in previous lives. Although the anime version has adapted some parts. Bai Yueguang has lost the sanctity of the comic version and has a few more flaws but it is this adaptation that makes the blemishes of Platycodon more flesh and blood and more touchable. And based on what happens next, we can determine whether this world is the Inuyasha monster world in the anime or the Inuyasha monster world in the manga. Or maybe it's the original manga that's been fused with the original anime to create a more complex world of monsters. Early in the morning, Inuyasha called a few people and embarked on a quick journey back to Maple Village. What's wrong Inuyasha? Why are you rushing back to the village all of a sudden? Ali, who was riding a bicycle, was puzzled. Her bicycle and Li Xia's were previously locked in a cottage not too far from Maple Village. Because people of this era didn't understand how to use this thing, and the people's customs were relatively simple. After giving the family a certain reward for eating, they helped to take care of it. Only then did a few people rent a small wooden boat and go down the river to meet Xiaoqiu, and then Ed the spider-headed leader and a group of miscellaneous people to slay demons and demons. Facing the girls questioning, Inuyasha, who was worried, just moved forward quickly among the branches beside the road. Li Xia, who was also riding a bicycle, was also thoughtful and worried. He is currently planning for the rest of his life, making some plans for the near or far future, more or less. As for the chibao in the front basket of the bicycle where items are placed. He is still half asleep and half awake. More than an hour later. Maple Village is in sight. When everyone returned to the village, they were all very surprised when they saw Granny Fong with her hands wrapped in bandages. Grandma Fong, what are you doing? Ollie asked concernedly as he approached on a bicycle. 
Only Inuyasha was obviously relieved in his heart, but in action he turned his head and curled his lips. What, it turns out you are still alive. You are really a stubborn old woman. Later, after Air Guzi's explanation, Ali and Chibao finally understood why Inuyasha had to rush back in a hurry. Immediately, he looked at his partner carefully. Did you smell my blood from the monster last night? That's how it turns out. Granny Foam was supported by a woman among the villagers. Although her injured right arm was in pain, her heart felt warm. Inuyasha was indeed the Inuyasha brother he was familiar with. Seeing this, Inuyasha retracted his hands into his sleeves and began to advise angrily. Huh, you're quite old now, so you'd better be more settled. Seeing the indescribable familiarity between Granny Fong and Air Guzi, Ali got to know his little friend again in Yasha, sometimes he is quite cute and reliable. Not long after, everyone was brought to a large messy pit by Granny Fong. Here it is. Inuyasha asked. Looking at the shrine behind the pit where the Four Souls Jade was once stored, there was a complex and unexplainable color in his eyes. This big pit was created by the ghost girl Li Tao, and the pit was originally my sister's grave. Back then, my sister asked me and the villagers to burn her body together with the Four Souls Jade. To be precise, it was Kikyo who traveled to other worlds with the Shurkan Jade at the cost of her own life and the spiritual power of all the shrine maidens. Perhaps, he wanted to travel to the underworld and seal the jade in the cemetery of the deceased forever. It's a pity that she underestimated Bao Yu's ability. I underestimated Bao Yu's obsession not to disappear. So I happened to travel to the modern world on the other side of the well. Grandma Fong continued to talk. Sister Platy Kodan asked me to destroy her ashes before she died but I didn't listen to her and kept some of the ashes. And I built this tomb for the villagers to commemorate. Alas, it's just my lack of strength that prevented me from resisting that old witch in Li Tao. And my sister's spiritual power is one of the best among all shrine maidens. If her remains fall into the hands of a monster and are put to good use, I don't know what terrible things will happen. Inuyasha As a result, before Granny Maple could make a request, Inuyasha turned around and snorted on the spot. I reject. Chapter 28 Fifty years ago, she shot an arrow into my chest. How could I forget such a thing? In addition, since I knew that leaving Platycodon Grandiflorum's ashes would give the monsters an opportunity and cause trouble to the villagers. I should have thrown them into the river and let the water wash away. It's because you are always reluctant to leave, that's why we cause such trouble. Do you think it's appropriate to cause such trouble and want to use my power? As soon as these words came out, Granny Foam was speechless. Finally, she sighed softly and revealed some of human fragility. Inuyasha, do you think there is any point in building a tomb? Graves are not just places where people's bodies or bones are buried those who really need graves are the living people. Are graves built for the living? What is this statement? When everyone was confused, Granny Foam revealed her sadness after seeing all kinds of things in the world for more than sixty years. Sister Kikio was born as a shrine maiden. She has been using her spiritual power for the villagers of Maple Village and many surrounding villages to prevent monsters from coming here. She also works with the villagers to resist disease and famine, and encourages everyone to be brave live. You have also seen that after my sister died, the villagers did not lose confidence because of this. Everyone is still strong and alive. But, people's hearts are fragile after all. When encountering difficulties, people who are full of anxiety are easily defeated therefore, everyone will miss the strength of the elder sister. Miss the past when the elder sister protected them. At this time, the grave is the sustenance of the soul of the living. These words are thought-provoking. It makes people feel a bit respectful. During her lifetime, Kikio was almost flawless, with no flaws at all until the appearance of Inuyasha, her overall strength seemed to have been enhanced, but in fact she also had obvious weaknesses. Spiritual sustenance. Inuyasha murmured, his eyes a little wandering. Yes, as Kikio's younger sister, I have also chosen my sister's path to protect one side. But as you have also seen, my strength is low and I cannot be as outstanding as my sister but even so, my existence, it also has a calming effect. Grandma Foam said. Witches, mages, priests, etc. Isn't the purpose of their existence just to protect one side of humanity? 
At this moment, Li Xia interrupted. In Yuyasha, as partners now, we have some things that we can't express. As for me, I've never figured it out. You always said that Miss Kikio attacked you and broke the agreement. But why is it that what I heard is different from what you said? What's different? Inuyasha frowned. The reason is simple. Because if Miss Kikio wants to you, wouldn't it be more direct if she directly shoots the demon-destroying arrow instead of the sealing arrow? You should know very well that although Higurashi-san's demon-breaking arrow is not accurate, its lethality to monsters is still obvious. However, Higurashi-san's spiritual power level and Miko cultivation, at least for now, are far inferior to Miss Kikio. Do you think Miss Kikio at that time was capable of ing you with one arrow? Everyone was stunned when they heard this. Yes. Ali's demon-breaking arrows can shatter the Four Souls Jade, and can defeat the Red Skull at the core of the four-star demon-powerful Reverse Hair Jolio. Kikio's demon-breaking arrows are only more powerful and accurate. After all, the monsters who came to Maple Village to snatch the Four Souls Jade fifty years ago but were ed by Platycodon arrows numbered not one thousand but eight hundred. This does not include the experience that Kikio went out to slay demons many times before taking over the purification of the Four Souls Jade. Among them, there are many high-level monsters with three-star or even four-star demon power that are causing trouble for one party. Xia Jun, do you mean that Miss Kikio was merciful back then? Ali asked hurriedly. Li Xia shrugged. In my opinion, that's the case. At that time, Miss Kikio was seriously injured and returned, so there were many doubts. First, who can harm that shrine maiden with keen spiritual sense and powerful strength? Secondly, the Four Souls Jade that Inuyasha obtained was obtained from the shrine, right? But Miss Kikio would carry this precious treasure with her every time she went out. So why didn't she take it with her that time? I took it with me, but left it in the shrine for you, Inuyasha, to snatch. In addition, what is even more serious is that Inuyasha, you once mentioned that Miss Kikio attacked you on your way to the agreed place to meet. The question is, who really wanted to attack you, and she was secretly doing it and you were doing it openly. Excuse me, do you have a chance to escape? Why did mess? Kikio, who is an expert in archery, miss her shot. Well. There are so many doubts. If you put down your hatred and inherent paranoia and calm down and think about it carefully, you will definitely be able to figure it out. Li Xia did not forget to lift everyone up in the end. After mentioning the points, he said no more. Instead, turn your head and prepare for a new journey that may begin at any time. He planned to keep all the master's cultivation ODs he had learned from the temple in the house where Granny Foam lived. I remember that the night before yesterday, Ailey and him copied for several hours under the candlelight of the temple, and then they copied the classics on the martial arts that they needed. Took away the original. On the morning of the next day, I even used my camera to take all the photos and keep them just in case. Looking at Li Xia's back, Ali and Chibao were surprised by what their new partner said. Yeah, a lot of doubts. Xia Jun is so awesome. And what a kind man. Here, Granny Foam watched Li Xia leave with a solemn expression. What Mr. Xia said is true. This world of monsters is full of wonders, and there are quite a few monsters that can disguise themselves as others. Inuyasha, you know this better than me. Therefore, there is probably some misunderstanding between you and your sister I have always wondered why my sister returned to the village with near-death injuries. Why do I have to seal you before I die? If both of you were framed by a monster, then it would make sense. Hearing this, Inuyasha finally came to his senses. And I smelled an extremely strong smell of conspiracy. Bringing the blame. A monster disguised as Kikio attacked me. Similarly, a monster disguised as me attacked Kikio. He's not stupid, he's just too obsessed with Kikio sneaking up on him and sealing him. He was so deep that he didn't have much time to think about it. Place the blame. Put the blame on. For a moment, he showed a miserable smile. He remembered. At that time, he went to meet at the agreed place, but was attacked by Kikio halfway. At that time, he did smell a faint demonic aura from the other party. However, because of Platycodon's sneak attack and Platycodon's indifferent ridicule, he completely lost his mind. He turned around and returned to the village to steal the Four Souls Jade placed in the Ancestral Hall. Only then did Kikio, 
who was seriously injured and returned, be sealed with a sealing arrow. Here comes the question. How could Platycodon be seriously injured in this short period of time? Injured by whom? You know, the Kikio who attacked him before was quite good. What happened in between? And if you get into a fight with someone and are seriously injured, how can you return to the village before you get the Shurkan Tama and leave the shrine? Kikio is just a human, she can't be that fast. So, is this a trap set by a certain monster for me? I didn't notice it. It turns out that Platycodon Grandiflorum only sealed me, but didn't use the last of its strength to me with the demon-breaking arrow. The reason for this is that in addition to being somewhat suyous, is there also a sense of reluctance for me? Kikyu. At this moment, Inuyasha's heart was filled with hatred. The explosion of mentality is difficult to describe in words. He just wanted to find out who was behind it and cut him into pieces. Jikyo, I will find your bones. Time is running out. Everyone soon embarked on a journey to find the ashes of Platycodon Grandiflorum. But this time, in order to rush for time, several people all chose to travel lightly. The group pursued all the way to the northeast. After spending a night in the wild, at noon the next day, they finally set foot in a mountain forest area. There are clay stone cocoons everywhere. Obviously, we are heading in the right direction. This place is probably very close to the area where the ghost girl Li Tao is active. The other end. The ghost girl Li Tao Jing mixed the spirit bones of the shrine maiden Kikio with the tomb soil and fired them to create a finished clay figure. Looking at Kikio who slowly opened his eyes, Li Tao was filled with joy. Jikio, when you were a shrine maiden in the world, didn't you eliminate all the monsters who coveted the Four Souls Jade? You even disappeared with the Four Souls Jade later. Now the jade reappears and is broken into pieces. Countless fragments. And I've heard that monsters that only get a small piece of it can increase their monster power several times. I want. Want all the four soul fragments. Go ahead and then burn all the monsters holding the four soul fragments. Since I, Li Tao, went through so much trouble to resurrect you, you will be my servant from now on. Ghost magic is performed. Trying to summon Platycodon's soul to return to this body. As a result, the summoning failed. But the reincarnation of Ali packed up and came to the door. After all, the protagonist is still too weak now. If he dares to act alone, he will definitely be chased by Neraku and the monsters who get wind of it. That's the real wisdom. I hope you all understand. Thank you. Chapter 29 Soul, the soul didn't come back. How can I, Li Tao, not be able to recall her soul with my ghost SS? Unless her soul has been reincarnated into another body. Damn it, this so-called Platycodon is just a doll that looks like Platycodon. Damn it, I spent so much thought and effort in vain. This kind of mistake actually happened. I'm so mad, so mad. The ghost girl Li Tao gritted her teeth in a bad mood. Outside the cave dwelling. Li Xia and his party have already fought against the army of clay puppets created by Li Tao using a ghost technique similar to reincarnation of dirty soil. These clay figures made from human bones and tomb soil look like terracotta warriors and horses. After integrating into the soul of the dead, he has the ability to move. However, because the souls of the deceased used are not strong enough, these clay puppets move stiffly and slowly in addition. Their bodies are as fragile as those made of ceramics and can be broken with a little force, so they are not a big threat to everyone. The only two troublesome things are the huge number. There are at least thousands of clay warriors here. And if a thousand pigs are squatting there to be chopped, it will take a long time. Another trouble is the death energy that pours out of these clay figures after their bodies are broken. Creatures must not inhale too much death energy, otherwise it will be harmful rather than beneficial. Why is it so noisy outside? Li Tao, who was in a bad mood, raised his eyebrows. As he spoke, he wanted to take the strange spiritual object needed to perform advanced ghost arts from the clay body of Platycodon Grandiflorum a branch of the soul-calling wood. This is a prop that can assist in summoning spirits. Even after the branch is separated from the tree, it will never wither and rot, and will always remain green. Letting Platycodon's clay figures hold this object, Li Tao originally wanted to enhance the soul-calling effect of his own ghost SS. 
Unexpectedly, Platycodon's soul has been reincarnated. In this way, the ghost magic blessed by the soul-calling tree branches is naturally ineffective. Give it to me quickly, this is mine. Li Tao grabbed one end of the tree branch and tried to pull it away from Platycodon Grandiflorum's clay figure. However, what made her frown and wonder was that the half-finished Platycodon clay figurine, which originally had no sparkle in its eyes, seemed to have a will of its own at this time. Although her eyes were still hollow and numb, she could actually move a little by instinct. The most important thing was that Platycodon was clinging to the branches of the soul-calling tree. Seeing this, Li Tao subconsciously looked down the mountain along the entrance of the cave where the Platycodon clay body was made. And towards the figure of a young girl on the wooden bridge in the mountain stream who was protected by everyone in the center. That girl is none other than Ali. Is that human girl? Picture. So similar. If she were to put on a Miko costume, the two would be cut from the same mold. So, when everyone was dealing with the army of clay terracotta warriors, Li Tao took action. Swinging the scythe, the wooden bridge over the mountain stream was destroyed with one blow, causing everyone to fall into the valley below. The old witch even took this opportunity to kidnap Ali, who was now not even a fighting spag. No, Higurashi-san. Ali. Down the valley. Li Xia and his party, who had safely resolved the danger of falling. After dealing with the fallen soldiers, they suddenly realized during the conversation that they might have to face the clay body of Platycodon Grandiflorum next, and they suddenly felt heavy. Especially Granny Keed and Inuyasha. As the elder sister of the former, Platycodon is closely related to each other. As the latter's ex-girlfriend, it is a couple relationship. Family affection and love are the two most difficult emotions to let go of. This side of the cave. Li Tao had tied Ali's hands and feet and soaked him in a pool of medicinal liquid. These herbs, combined with the leaves of the soul-calling wood in the pool, can effectively draw out the souls of the creatures soaked in them. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you soaking me in these herbs? It's so disgusting. Ali wanted to break away. But he found that his strength was gradually draining away. The struggle became less and less intense. What a noisy girl. The old witch was very impatient. But when I think about my next achievements, I feel full of excitement and pride. The body made of spiritual bones and tomb soil is ready. Now you just need to put your soul in it. He he he, after the herbal treatment, your soul will leave the body immediately. As he spoke, he deliberately leaned in front of Ali and smiled strangely. You, you'd better be obedient and return Kikio's soul. What she wants is to awaken the reincarnated souls of Platycodon in Ali's body, so that these souls can leave Ali's body and enter Platycodon's clay body. In this way, even if Platycodon is resurrected, he will get a super fighter. Over time, things went smoothly. On Ali's side, his mind gradually became a little flustered. My body feels so uncomfortable. And I can't move even half a minute. What should I do? Inuyasha. Natsukuin. Where are you guys? On the side, Li Tao, who witnessed the scene where the girl in the potion always adhered to her original intention and remained calm. Trying her best to avoid the soul leaving the body, could not help but frown. What a stubborn little girl. An ordinary person would have lost consciousness immediately after the herbal medicine took effect. How could she persist for so long? Just then. On Ali's chest, purple light flickered and surged, reflecting half of the mountain. Seeing this, Li Tao's pupils shrank. First surprised, then ecstatic. This light is. A four-soul fragment? You actually carry a four-soul fragment? This, this, I am so lucky. Give it to me, give it to me. Driven by greed, she pounced forward, trying to take away the purple glow on Ali's chest. But this dazzling light seemed to have vitality. Feeling the threat, it suddenly expanded and flicked away Li Tao's hand extremely powerfully, knocking him back several steps. This, is this the power of the Four Souls Jade? The old witch exclaimed, her eyes narrowing slightly. Then he was frightened back several steps by the further expanding light group. When the dazzling light emitted by the light group subsided slightly. What appeared in front of her was a light mask that seemed weak but was actually extremely strong, and a powerful soul that was constantly moving in the light mask. 
Seeing these constantly moving souls, even with Li Tao's eyesight, he was shocked and his eyes widened in disbelief. I have never seen such a powerful soul. It is indeed one of the best witch souls in history. But why are these souls angry? Why do they all carry strong resentment? Could it be that Kikyo died full of resentment in her previous life? The clay body of Platycodon Grandiflorum, whose eyes always seemed empty and blank next to the cave dwelling, seemed to be inexplicably attracted at this time. She actually turned her head and stared blankly at the ball of light in front of her. He looked at the angry soul of his past life inside. At the same time, Li Xia, Inuyasha, Granny Fong, and Chibao, who had dealt with all the miscellaneous soldiers and figurines, also rushed here quickly. Everyone had different expressions when they saw the ball of light and the clay body of Platycodon sat dumbly outside the ball of light. I don't know if it was Li Xia's illusion, but he caught a glimpse of Kikyo's clay body and Inuyasha, who was wearing a fire wrap fur, looked at each other. There was a different flavor in his originally dull eyes. Who are you? Inuyasha's mind wavered and his nose felt a little sore. Regarding the fact that Platycodon had sealed him, he had no complaints at all what was left was a longing buried deep in his heart. Don't call my name. In the ball of light, the angry spirit of Platycodon emitted faint fluctuations. Next to him, Li Xia also reminded him. Inuyasha, this is Li Tao's soul drawing technique. Don't call that person's name. Let's first destroy the pool where Higurashi-san is imprisoned and rescue Higurashi-san. It is true that he wants to resurrect Platycodon, but it would also be good to take the opportunity to strengthen his knowledgeable and care for his companion's persona. Anyway, Platycodon is destined to be resurrected, and Ali is bound to take back those souls. As Li Xia expected, how could Inuyasha listen to other people's words at this time? Seeing my former lover standing blankly not far away, I subconsciously called out the name that I had been dreaming about and missed for countless nights and dreams. Gigi. Jikio. As his voice fell, Ali, who was still struggling in the medicine pool, immediately lost color in his eyes. Immediately afterwards, he saw the light shield that was not only protecting Ali, but actually also some kind of seal of the Four Souls Jade, shattered and disintegrated in an instant. It was broken through by Kikyo's angry soul. Exclusive BGM sounds. Detached. Li Tao was overjoyed. Inuyasha, Granny Keed and others were shocked. Ha ha ha, half demon, this pretty stubborn girl was in a state of confusion the moment you called out that name. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Kikyo's soul was able to leave her body. You were a big help. The old witch laughed and explained. So, Li Xia, who was very angry, went up and punched the distracted Inuyasha in the side of the face. You spag. Of course, as the sixth child, he is even more cheating. Looking at the souls that had left Ali's body, they all turned into balls of light and penetrated into the clay body of Platycodon Platycodon slowly floating nearby. Platycodon's clay body immediately emitted a sacred and peaceful white brilliance. Its whole body is surrounded by milky white light, which is beautiful. Higurashi-san. Li Xia rushed towards the pool. He took Ali out of the liquid, his face full of concern. Inuyasha was still staring blankly at Kikyo. Chapter, 30. Platycodon. It's actually Platycodon. Is it really resurrected? Inuyasha completely lost his soul. His eyes were full of Platycodon, and there was no place for Ali at all. When Li Xia saw this, he couldn't help but sighed secretly. Inuyasha's feelings for Kikyo are indeed wholehearted. At least for now. On the contrary, the appearance of Ali seemed a bit like a third party. But how innocent is Ali? As an independent personality, doesn't she have the right to pursue her own happiness? In the original timeline, the relationship between Inuyasha and her was the flower of love forged from the friendship that they shared through thick and thin over time. And during this process, she just envied Kikyo and never destroyed any of the beauty between Inuyasha and Kikyo. On the contrary, she silently tolerated everything about Inuyasha. A fifteen-year-old girl is only envious, never jealous. How open-minded is this? If Inuyasha doesn't know how to cherish such a strong and considerate girl and hurts her again and again, then he, Li, will be rude. Moreover, everyone has the right to pursue beautiful things, why can't I? 
Li Xia squinted, his eyes flickering. In his future, if he wants to have a child with a human woman, then this human must be a Li, who has great potential as a witch. This is a responsibility that a father has towards his children. It is he, the father, who is responsible for his future children. Just imagine, Ali's talent as a Miko is destined to be inherited by his daughter if he trains his daughter seriously, the little girl will be another Miko with great potential. Whether in this world of monsters or in the modern world opposite, one's own strength is the foundation of everything. Without power, even the pursuit of happiness depends on the eyes of others. As someone who lives in a branch of a cultivating family, he understands this very well. And if you want to combine with a non-human creature to give birth to a child, then the target will most likely be a clone of Penglai Island after the spirit of Platycodon settled in. The clones created by the Big Turtle, the youngest of the four fighters, were cultivated for decades with the blood of Platycodon. They are no longer pure humans. Otherwise, they would not have been ed by the real Platycodon with the devil-breaking arrow in the original timeline. Break the demon, destroy the demon, the meaning is already obvious. But even if you are not human, you still have unlimited possibilities. Once integrated into Platycodon's soul, it can be said that it is a brand new Platycodon. Combined with Give birth to an heir. The potential is not too small either. Okay, let's not talk about it from afar, just talk about the present moment. In this ancient world where people eat people without spitting out their bones and are unfamiliar with the place where they live, Li Xia needs the favor and trust of others. Regardless of gaining recognition and trust from Ali or Kikyo, it is equivalent to receiving a huge helping hand. Whether looking at the present or the future, whether from the perspective of feelings or interests, winning the favor of the two women will have more advantages than disadvantages. Especially right now. Li Xia seemed to be showing goodwill to Ali, but in fact he was also showing goodwill to Platycodon. He has not forgotten that during the plot of the movie version of Flying Demon Moth. Platycodon Grandiflorum asked Ali to return to his own world in front of him and not to interfere with the monster world of the Warring States period. This is not only a small test of his current life, but also a clear indication that he knows that Ali comes from the world opposite the bone-eating well. I clearly know some information about the opposite world. Here comes the problem. How did Platycodon know about the modern world across the well? Based on this situation, one explanation is that a small part of Ali's soul that left the body this time still remains in the body of Platycodon's clay body. And Platycodon has learned a lot about Ali by digesting the memory of this part of the soul. Things and a lot of information about the world on the other side. In this way, it not only fully explains why Kikyo knows that Ali comes from the modern world, but also explains why she has different attitudes toward Ali at different times. It explains why he initially denied Ali and gradually affirmed his existence. In the middle and later stages, Platycodon is completely paving the way for Ali. The flying demon moth incident tests Ali. The accident in the monster cave reminds Ali. The Panglai Island incident left behind her own Miko Longbo. When Ali was purifying the wounds on his clay body, he told Ali his thoughts on Inuyasha and Neriku and his subsequent plans. There are all kinds of things connected in a line, which is paving the way. I'm just a stranger. If I want to win the favor of the more mature and stable Platycodon Grandiflorum, I might be able to two birds with one stone by first gaining the favor of the relatively simple Ailey. In other words, is it wrong to pursue beauty? What's more, he, Mr. Lee, just wants to live and live a better life. Higarashi Kuen. Li Xia hugged Ali, her eyes full of anxiety. After checking the girl's pulse, she was even more shocked to find that her heartbeat had almost stopped beating. So he quickly performed chest heart compressions for his classmates. Bounce, jump again. Jump up quickly. Chest compression is a first aid measure for patients with cardiac and respiratory arrest. He had shared this first aid measure with Inuyasha and the little monster Chibao a few days ago therefore, they were not surprised when they saw Li Xia's operation. Thinking about artificial respiration is a bit excessive, ahem. On the contrary, it was Li Tao who smiled arrogantly after seeing this. It's useless, that girl has become a soulless shell. She will never wake up again. After a while, I will mix the herbs and seasoning and eat her. After all, she was once the reincarnation of Kikyo, so the power contained in her body will definitely be delicious. If the ghost girl Li Tao really did this and successfully ate Ali's body. 
then it is really possible for Platycodon's clay body to be completely controlled by it. Those angry souls who had no choice were forced to reside in Platycodon's clay body. Old witch, you are looking for death. Leaving Ali in the care of the little fox demon Chibao with wet eyes, Li Xia quickly put on the big Osmanthus mask and blessed several talismans on his body. The mask of the big Osmanthus tree blesses oneself, and the demonic power flows through all the limbs and bones. The strength has entered one star. When high-quality talismans are added to increase strength, speed, reaction and other attributes, his strength, speed and other aspects will increase exponentially. The strength has stepped from one star to two star level in one fell swoop. And the reason why he acted so bravely was because he knew very well Ali was actually not dead at this time. Even the consciousness is awake. It's just that the eyes are dull, and the soul belonging to Platycodon's reincarnation has left the body and cannot express or convey information to the outside world. Everything in the outside world is actually heard by the girl. As for why? Because Ali's soul was never just the angry resentful soul provided by Platycodon when he was reincarnated. There is another pure true spirit that does not belong to Platycodon, but belongs only to Ali. This true spirit is Allah's true soul power. It is the power that the four souls jade is afraid of. But it was precisely because of the fear of the jade of the four souls that it was sealed. Only when Ali's mood changes drastically and her true spirit is stimulated, will the seal be loosened, and some of her truly hidden power will be guided to release. In the original work, Ali's every outburst may be related to this. At the same time, Granny Foam also bent her bow and set up an arrow, assisting from the side. Granny Li Tao, you actually used Sister Kikyo's remains to do such a thing. Her heart is extremely complicated. Although she hoped to see her sister again, if the price was to sacrifice Ali, then she would never accept it. It's okay to not see this side. He he he, you are right, I used the best ghost SS to resurrect the witch Kikyo. In other words, I, Li Tao, are Kikyo's reborn parents. Kikyo will also act according to my wishes. Come on, Kikyo, use your power to get rid of all these troublesome guys. As the old witch spoke, she dodged the attacks of Li Xia and Granny Fong and came to Kikyo's side. At this time, Grandma Fong didn't know how to deal with it. Li Xia gritted his teeth. Give Higurashi-san her soul back. With an explosive roar, Inuyasha woke up from his daze, and then he was about to go forward to him, but was held back by Erguzi. What, Inuyasha? Wouldn't you rather sacrifice Higurashi-san to protect this Kikyo fake? What does Higurashi-san mean to you? Humph, don't stop me, let me smash that clay fake and release Higurashi-san's soul. He said this with his mouth, but he was praying in his heart. Stop me, stop me, stop me. I really don't want to face a Li Tao and a Platycodon. It will people. Li Tao's demon power is conservatively two stars, or even three stars. He may not be that strong, but he is definitely much more dangerous than him. Beside him, Kikyo, whose remaining blood was flowing everywhere, was able to break through the purple high-level barrier of Naraku. The six-star complete boss behind Bailing Mountain, with the demon-breaking arrow. She is undoubtedly the top Miko in the world. At present, he is only under Tsuezi, the founder of the Four Souls Jade. So, Inuyasha, you must hold me back. Li Xia's heart was beating. Originally, Inuyasha relaxed a little after hearing a few sarcastic words. This also made Li Xia secretly nervous. It can be seen that when Platycodon slowly opened her eyes, revealing a pair of clear eyes, she immediately felt unbearable and held Li Xia's hand tightly again. Xia Jun, no. That's Kikyo. Chapter, 31. So, where does Ali stand in Inuyasha's heart at this time? Was there ever any heartbeat between the two of them? Before Li Xia could figure out what was going on here, on the other side, Kikyo, who was swaying and looking a little uncomfortable with her current clay body, had already walked up to the ghost girl Li Tao and put her hands on her. On the shoulder of the chattering old witch. What's wrong? Kikyo. With people so close to him, Li Tao, who has been deceitful and deceitful in the world of monsters for many years, felt a warning sign in his heart. But she didn't care at all. In her opinion, Platycodon is the loyal thug she worked so hard to resurrect. She is very stable now. 
Because of this, even if Kikio put his hands on his shoulders, he didn't realize the seriousness of the problem. The next moment, she paid for her own pride. No, what responded to this old witch was the terrifying spiritual power burst out by Platycodon Grandiflorum, a thunderous strike. ZZ. With just one blow, Li Tao's body suddenly burned with strange flames, wrapping his shoulders and the ugly head on his shoulders. Ah! The flame only burned for a moment, and then the old witch performed a round of circles of love, followed by screams of shock, anger and regret, and fell down. Then nothing happened. The azure blue spiritual flames, like gangrene attached to the bones, quickly spread to Li Tao's whole body, burning from the outside in. Everyone was shocked when they saw this. Also stunned. What happened? It should be that Sister Platycodon's power was too strong. Li Tao couldn't enslave the powerful Sister Platycodon, so she was counterattacked. Granny Fong said in a deep voice. His face was serious and solemn. Immediately, as expected, Kikio slowly raised his head, and the brilliance in his eyes showed that his personality already existed in that clay body. However, the color revealed in those beautiful eyes is full of hatred and unwillingness. Inuyasha, why are you still alive and kicking? You should be sealed by me. Although I have been sealed for fifty years, my partners finally broke the seal. Inuyasha said very troubled. Because he had been reminded by Li Xia in advance and guessed that someone was probably plotting against them behind the scenes. So his words and deeds at the moment were not as lively and talkative as in the original timeline. Unfortunately, the Platycodon now is no longer the innocent and kind-hearted Platycodon she once was. Nor is it the Platycodon who had a broad mind for self-salvation in the later period. At this moment, Kikio is at the moment when she hates Inuyasha the most in the entire timeline. It is a dangerous existence completely combined with resentment. It's so hateful. It's so hateful. Kikio's eyes were misty, and tears welled up in her eyes. Why do I have to break your seal? Why can you still live well? The Miko took two steps closer to Inuyasha. However, at this moment, blood suddenly flashed on her right shoulder, and a hideous wound opened. Blood kept coming out of it. The girl was bleeding profusely. Perhaps it was caused by the heat damaging the body, or perhaps the clay body could not accommodate the part of the soul that Ali released, causing the soul to be overloaded. After all, Clay figures made from mixed bones and grave soil are not as tolerant as flesh and blood. As long as the soul contained in it is not overloaded, it will not show anything wrong but once the soul is overloaded, isn't it natural for this wound to burst open? As for why it is overloaded? Or The soul in Platycodon Grandiflorum has undergone some kind of qualitative change and is stronger than fifty years ago the clay body made from the bones of the past cannot carry the powerful soul of today. Or, the decayed old body gave birth to the new fetus, and Kikio's soul actually contains the soul of Ali that does not belong to her. After all, how can a mere clay body with a fixed upper limit contain the complete soul of Platycodon plus a portion of the soul of Ali? What is the specific situation? It is currently unknown. What's wrong with Kikio? What's your injury? Inuyasha said concerned. Inuyasha, that was the fatal injury my sister suffered back then. After checking up on a Li situation, Granny Fong stood up and explained. And this further proves that Li Xia's previous analysis may be correct. Is there really a monster plotting against me in Kikio? Damn it! An unspeakable anger rose in Inuyasha's heart. Seeing the miserable appearance of his former first love, even though he was prepared, he still felt uncomfortable. Kikio opposite had no intention of paying attention to Inuyasha's hypocrisy, and would not give Inuyasha too much time to think. At this time, he was already covering the wound where blood was constantly leaking out, and asked sternly. Why did you betray me? Inuyasha. Why did you betray me? The voice was miserable and hoarse, like a cuckoo crying blood. Jikio, it's not me. It wasn't me who attacked you back then. We have all been plotted by some monster. On the way to the agreed place, I was also attacked by the other party pretending to be you. The other party used this to provoke me, who was blinded by anger at the time, and lead me to the village to snatch the jade of the four souls. I have never hurt you. Inuyasha defended vigorously. Kikio heard this, but was unmoved. 
at this time, she couldn't listen to anything. Oh, I never expected that you would actually say such quibbling words. Inuyasha. I really misjudged this heartless man. I really shouldn't believe in monsters. Even if he is a half-demon, he should not be trusted at all. Before that incident, I felt soft-hearted and didn't put the word spirit rosary on Inuyasha. What a mistake. I'm not making excuses. Inuyasha was so heartbroken that he wanted to cry without tears. There is obviously a lot that I want to say in my heart, but when the words come to my mouth, I feel speechless. Li Xia, who was on the side, had already started to enjoy the show silently. He knew very well that Erguzi's explanation to Kikio at this time would undoubtedly be in vain. Because girls generally don't like to hear that when they are the most angry. If Inuyasha wants to break the situation, the simplest and crudest way is to rush forward and give Kikio a hug and a long kiss. Bring back the beauty of the past. By the way, let go of the memory, let Kikio read it by himself, and experience the beginning and end of the events from a different perspective. In this way, all conflicts are easily resolved. But it's a pity that Inuyasha has always been extremely vigilant about Kikio. That's right, this guy was always on guard against Kikio. Probably because of the ups and downs I experienced when I was a child and the previous hundred years or so. Inuyasha has never had absolute trust in anyone except his mother Izaoi since he was a child. Although he was already attracted to Platycodon at that time, he still maintained a sense of caution. This is why, after he was sneak attacked with arrows and verbally taunted by Neraku's disguised Kikio, he immediately became angry, fell into the trap, and ran to the village to steal the Four Souls Jade. It is obviously impossible to say that Inuyasha didn't notice anything unusual about Neraku's disguised Kikio at that time. With Inuyasha's dog nose, how could he not smell the demonic energy on Neraku's body? Kikio, on the other hand, suffered a sharp decline in spiritual power due to the curse of the black Miko Tsubaki. In addition, Inuyasha was a half-demon, and he did exude a demonic aura, so Kikio, who was across the house, was unable to notice the abnormality and retaliate in a very short time. Excusable. Of course, Kikio also thought about putting a dog leash like a spirit rosary on Inuyasha, which shows that the previous Miko also did not completely trust Inuyasha. Take a look like this. The trust that had just been established between each other was as brittle as a piece of paper. If given time to settle, this trust may become quite solid. Naiha bumped into Nailuo when he was at his most vulnerable, and he was broken with just one stab. In this regard, Li Xia, who had a fairly clear understanding of all the links, watched with disbelief. At this moment, he even thought of a classic movie scene in his previous life about making things bigger and stronger and creating greater glory. This pot is love. I love you, Mama Walking. Ahem. Damn Neraku, you actually made me doubt love. Inuyasha, didn't you say that you wanted to become a human and be with me? I believed your lies, so on the agreed day, I took the Shur Khan Tama to the agreed place early in the morning. I saw you, but you attacked me from behind. Kikio said bitterly. What she hated this time was her obsessed self at that time. The cold girl approached step by step. Inuyasha remained motionless on the spot, while Li Xia quietly moved some distance away. When gods fight, mortals suffer. However, he did not forget about Ali. Miss Kikio, as a kind-hearted Miko who cared about the villagers and your sister during your lifetime, you wouldn't have persecuted innocent people, right? In this case, can you return part of Higyur-san's soul to her and let her wake up? She is innocent. Xia Jun. Chapter, 32. A light seemed to light up in Ali's dark heart. That light reflected sewing like Li Xia's figure. Yes, Kikio, let your soul return to Ali's body. Inuyasha on the side only listened to half of what he said. Before Li Xia could say anything else, he hurriedly opened his mouth and blurted out the truth that he was thinking. He didn't realize how damaging his words were to Platycodon. Anyway, Li Xia was quite frightened. After a shiver, he hurriedly moved forward again, several steps away from the brave little friend in front of him then he promptly added to the resurrected witch to express his position. Miss Kikio, I think Inuyasha is outspoken and stupid for a moment. He doesn't want you to give up all your soul. 
What I personally mean is that you can return the part of your soul that prefers Higurashi-san, and the other part of your soul that prefers Ms. Kikyo, who has a clay body, can stay in your body to maintain yourself and ability to move. With that part of your soul there, it should be enough for you, Ms. Kikyo, to maintain your daily activities. In this way, if you still have any unfulfilled wishes or any great ambitions that you didn't have time to realize back then, you can use this body of clay to complete them. This can be considered a more compromise approach to get the best of both worlds. Li Xia was sincerely thinking about Ali and this person. Taking the initiative to return the souls of my classmates now can avoid causing resonance and losing more. And his thoughts can be heard by both Ali in suspended animation and Kikyo now. Because of this, the latter's look at Inuyasha became even more wrong. Inuyasha, you actually want me to go back into that girl's body? Don't you know that if all my soul goes back, it means I will no longer be me? Looking with some disbelief at the man who once made her passionate, the gentleness that originally appeared on Miko Kikyo's face disappeared, and her whole person became gloomy and painful. The tears in his eyes became more moist and rich. Immediately, all the softness was restrained and a touch of frost and sharpness suddenly appeared on the pretty face. Inuyasha, do you really want me to disappear completely? How could I be willing to die so easily? I want to ask whether Kikyo feels any pain in her heart at this moment. There is no doubt about that. Inuyasha's words were like a sharp knife piercing her heart, piercing and piercing her heart. Pain. It hurts so much. My former lover was far worse than a stranger. The young man who seems innocent and innocent due to lack of strength in his own eyes is actually a self-righteous child who will never grow up. Monsters and half-demon, even if they live for a hundred or two hundred years, they are still just children. Kikyo thought of this and smiled miserably. Inuyasha, on the other hand, was confused by his former lover. I was speechless for a moment. He couldn't refute because he did, as Kikyo thought, want Kikyo to hand over all his souls to resurrect Ali. On the other hand, Li Xia had the advantage of foresight and knew that Ali only needed part of his soul to wake up and be alive and kicking. This point has been confirmed many times in the original timeline. For example, when Ali faced Kanna, it was clear that the little lowly Kanna had used the Kanna mirror to remove most of the souls from his body, and he was weak as a result. But the stubborn girl can still hold on and shoot demon-breaking arrows to deal with the enemy. Therefore, it would be a win-win situation for both parties to peacefully share the soul they share with Kikyo. The residual blood of Platycodon can preserve more souls from past lives, making this clay body with possible time limit stronger than the original work at the same time. In this case, Kikyo will be more confident when facing the big boss Naraku. Ali here. First, as long as you develop your own hidden potential that even the Four Souls Jade is afraid of, the upper limit is already beyond imagination. The lost soul power is just drizzle, not worth mentioning. Secondly, Ali has never experienced many training courses of the witch, and cannot use much soul power at all. In the original work, the little girl's soul clearly accounts for the majority of the total, but she cannot break through the purple barrier of Naraku in Bailing Mountain. Kikyo, who only had a small number of souls, broke through Baiduji's purple barrier with one arrow. And chased Naraku who fled from the monster cemetery across an incalculable distance to the real world with one arrow. Thirdly, if Ali gives up a part of his soul, it will be equal to releasing goodwill. Logically speaking, there is no reason for Kikyo to make things difficult for her in the future. After all, your reincarnated body was so good to your past life. Is it difficult for you to give up your past body? Kikyo is not an ignorant lunatic. And the various doors and gates here are naturally not enough for outsiders to understand. But Li Xia's kindness caused the four soul fragments in his pocket to emit a faint purple light. No one noticed that these fragments that were not placed on Ali were breeding Ji Ling, and Ji Ling was quietly growing. Back to the scene of the Shura field belonging to Inuyasha. The staggering Kikyo finally walked to her former first love, and also put her hands on the shoulders of Inuyasha, who was wearing fire rat fur. Just a moment ago, the scene of the ghost girl Li Tao being instantly beaten was still vivid in my mind. However, Inuyasha's mysterious confidence came from nowhere, and he was undefended. All right. Probably Inuyasha felt guilty after understanding what Kikyo did for him back then, 
so he no longer wanted to have any defense against this half-step lover in his heart. Back then, wasn't it because of this vigilance, this precaution, and this suyin that I was plotted against and missed the beauty? No matter who you doubt, you can no longer doubt Platykodon. Inuyasha, we should have never met again. Kikio said with misty eyes. Looking at the pitiful and exquisite face so close at hand, and the one that haunted him the most, Inuyasha's nose felt sour, and his heart was extremely complicated. It's time to hold the beautiful woman in your arms. Use your warm chest to suit the beautiful woman's angry soul. However, in an instant, the situation suddenly changed. Violent spiritual power and lightning suddenly appeared. An unusually ferocious impact hit Inuyasha's shoulder. Ah! Screams echoed throughout the mountain. At the same time, the sudden impact caused Inuyasha to fly several meters away. If it weren't for the quasi-divine outfit fire rat fur that was invulnerable and had full fire resistance, it could offset most of the spiritual damage. And if it weren't for the iron broken tooth scabbard hanging on her waist, which more or less absorbed part of the Miko. Thunder and lightning transformed by spiritual power. Under this blow, the half-demon Inuyasha would most likely be caught in the footsteps of the ghost girl Rido and turned into a coke. However, even if the scabbard with the iron broken teeth absorbed part of the lightning damage in time. And even if the fire rat fur offset most of the spiritual damage, Inuyasha was still seriously injured. Two large holes were opened on the shoulders of the fire rat fur, one on the left and one on the right, exposing the burnt flesh and blood inside. It can be seen that Platykodon is very serious. Li Xia, who was silent behind him, saw his eyelids twitching wildly and was speechless. As expected of Platykodon. The fire rat fur is worthy of the title of quasi artifact coat. Hiss. Platykodon. You. Inuyasha was sore all over and his shoulders were in excruciating pain. He couldn't get up for a long time. The bitterness in his heart was so oppressive that he almost suffocated. He could feel the us intention and disgust that Kikio had just unleashed on him. It reminded him of the countless days and nights in his early years when he was chased by various monsters and driven away by many humans. Why? Why? I told you it's not him, it's not him. Sister Kikio, please stop. Granny Fong, who was injured, anxiously stepped forward to stop her. Li Xia, who was murmuring in his heart, also stood between Inuyasha and Kikio. How could this woman be so cruel? The deviation from the one on the original timeline is a bit too big. You are. Kikio frowned. After Grandma Fong saw that her sister had calmed down a little, she immediately said. Sister, it's me, I'm your sister Fong. It's been fifty years, I didn't expect to see my sister again. After learning the true identity of the old man in front of him who had lost one eye, Platykodon was stunned for a moment, and then his resentment quickly dissipated a little. The eyes are also much gentler. I don't know if it was Li Xia's misunderstanding, but he seemed to read a hint of guilt in Kikio's eyes. Especially when I saw the other half of Granny Fang's face wearing an eye patch. Chapter 33 She actually had a certain responsibility for the reason why her sister Fong lost her right eye. It turns out that during a Miko retreat course where she traveled around the world to slay demons, she was cursed by the black Miko Tsubaki who was traveling with her. That is to say in this life, you cannot be tempted by men like ordinary women, otherwise you will lose your strength and die. At that time, she did not take the curse of the black witch seriously. But later, when she met Inuyasha, they unknowingly went from a chance encounter to a gradual acquaintance to a silent acquaintance from the beginning of sympathy for each other. It evolved into mutual help, until the ordinary heart sprouted. Truly emotional. But it was at this time that the curse planted by the Black Witch took effect. The deeper she falls in love, the more her Miko spiritual power will be lost until she turns into an ordinary human woman. At this moment, a group of monsters plotting to acquire the Four Souls Jade appeared and attacked in large numbers as a shrine maiden who protects the village, she should be the first to fight. However, because of her emotions, her strength dropped drastically. Not only has the overwhelmingly powerful spiritual power of the past been lost, but all six dimensions including spiritual awareness and reaction ability have plummeted. In addition, fighting on the front line, it is natural to bear the brunt of being targeted by monsters. During the battle, she was distracted and almost succeeded in a sneak attack by a monster. 
Fortunately, her younger sister Fong boldly shot a childish demon-breaking arrow at the monster that sneaked up on her, attracting the monster's attention and helping her with a backhand arrow. However, her spiritual power had declined too much, and the power of the demon-breaking arrow she shot was greatly reduced. It failed to completely purify the monster, causing the monster's broken corpse to turn into a sharp blade and pierce her sister Feng's right eye. This is arguably one of her biggest regrets. It was another thorn in her heart. It was then that she realized the viciousness of the Black Witch's curse. He gets emotional rashly and ends up harming others and himself. A Feng, since you are my sister, why do you side with Inuyasha? Kikyo hugged her sister painfully. Immediately, when Grandma Feng's heart was filled with mixed emotions, she snatched the long bow from the old man's hand and the arrow from his back. Immediately after, Inuyasha, who was aiming directly at Inuyasha, who finally stood up after taking a breath, bent his bow and pulled the string, loosened his fingers, and fired the arrow, completing the demon-breaking arrow in one go. This is the demon-destroying arrow. Instead of sealed arrow, the Kikyo in front of her is almost at a level of complete spiritual power, and is not in a dying state after being attacked by Neriku fifty years ago. Whoosh! This arrow flew past the side of Li Xia's face. This arrow made the hair on his body stand on end from someone who originally looked quite tough. It is true that demon-breaking arrows pose the greatest threat to monsters, but that does not mean that sharp iron arrows cannot people. If Kikyo's demon-busting arrow was deflected even a little, he would have to eat the next day. Gulu. These days, it's hard to be a good person. However, knowing that Kikyo was a dangerous character at this moment, Li Xia still rushed forward without hesitation. Behind him, Inuyasha had to pull out his iron teeth to block the sudden arrow. The demonized Tai Suya flashed with golden light and looked majestic but after encountering Kikyo's demon-breaking arrow. His demonized form was eliminated in just a moment, and he returned to the rusty knife state. Seeing this scene, Granny Feng's heart suddenly thumped in Yasha, run away. Turn around and never forget to dissuade Platycodon Platycodon. Sister, Inuyasha is not our enemy. Inuyasha was naturally shocked, his pupils contracted sharply. What I have in my hand is the broken tooth left by my father. Not far away, Grandpa Mingjia, who was hiding in the dark, couldn't believe what he saw how is it possible. The master's broken teeth were easily deformed by the arrow of the human witch. Inuyasha, it's dangerous, get out of the way. Everyone was exclaiming in their hearts at this moment. Neither Li Xia nor Granny Foam wanted anything to happen to Inuyasha. Only Platycodon is boiling and determined with us intent. Jikyo, do you hate me so much? What did I do wrong? Inuyasha muttered. An unspeakable anger surged in my heart. Without any time to think, he instinctively dropped Tai Suya and used the impact force from the handle of the knife to jump diagonally backward. Fortunately, before that, the demonized Tai Suya bought him a lot of time and made him ready to accumulate power. After that, he helped him resist the demon breaking arrow head on, allowing him to borrow a little bit of strength. This evasion should work, right? In front of Inuyasha. Li Xia, who jumped out from the flash of lightning, had already met the witch's cold eyes. His whole person seemed happy and fearless. Which was strange. Li Xia, who was approaching vigorously, was extremely frightened. But he still bravely faced the Ur. The harsh accusation that followed shocked everyone present. That's enough, Kikyo. What kind of guardian witch are you? The situation is all clear. There is clearly a monster plotting against the Shir Khan Tama that you are guarding, and instead they are using a mere trick to drive a wedge between you and Inuyasha. And since you have chosen to take over the important task of purifying the Four Souls Jade, and have chosen to protect the Jade that will bring misfortune to the people around you, you should understand the risks you will take. You should be prepared to be plotted. What's there to complain about when you die? Isn't this your own choice from the beginning? Humph. To say the least, there is a blame and a debtor. Even if your resentment persists, you should go find trouble with the culprit. Here, you are helplessly and furiously looking for Inuyasha, who is also a victim, to vent his anger. This is just an escape. The effect of this mouth-opening cannon was surprisingly good, and Kikyo's eyes froze. Seeing this, Li Xia took a deep breath and decided to keep up the good work and create another miracle. So while continuing to talk, 
he got closer and prepared to cooperate with Granny Fong. Jikyo, don't you think your love is too heavy? Inuyasha's original dream was to become a great demon of one party, so that he could be recognized and no longer be ostracized by all parties. But for you, he has made huge changes and is willing to become a human being. But what about you? But I thought about adding a dog leash to him. Shouldn't love be about mutual recognition, mutual understanding, and mutual fulfillment to the end? Why did it become a bondage and shackles when I came to you? Could that string of words and spirit's rosary beads that look like a dog's leash be the crystallization of your love for him? What kind of love is this? The soul torture made the originally furious soul in Kikyo's body become inexplicably quieter. Talking can sometimes be a salvation. At this time, Platycodon was not as perfect as it was in the later period. Miss Kikyo, since Inuyasha is not your er, he naturally doesn't owe you anything on the contrary, you are full of resentment, so what right do you have to hate him? Are you worthy of it now? Is it worthy? At least until the boat Inuyasha stepped on cracked, Inuyasha was not evil at all. On the contrary, he was very cute, okay. At least the current Kikyo, who is full of resentment and has no mercy at all, is not worthy of hatred. At this time, Li Xia and Granny Fong took advantage of the moment when the powerful witch was slightly shaken by her previous words. And they cooperated very tacitly to take back the long bow and take away the arrow. But before the two of them could relax, they heard a tearing sound behind them. Inuyasha's scream of pain was heard. Li Xia heard the sound and suddenly turned around, his expression suddenly changed. I saw more than thirty meters away, the demon-breaking arrow that Kikyo had shot earlier. Although the attack was cut in half by Tetsuya, it still had enough power left to pursue the fleeing Inuyasha. The impact hit this little friend's chest. And this demon-breaking arrow actually has tracking properties and can turn in midair. Hunting arrows without stopping after locking the target? Li Xia took a breath. This is a plot that didn't happen at all in the original timeline. It was only when dealing with the super boss Neriku in the middle and later stages that the magic breaking arrow specially designed for Platycodon shot by Ali from the monster cemetery had this powerful characteristic. Unexpectedly, Kikyo now hated Inuyasha to the core for saying sewing random, and even pulled out his ultimate ING move. Inuyasha's crisis has not been resolved. Look at Inuyasha again. If not for the fact that he had received several blessing talismans from Li Xia during the spider head incident, he had gained mana that did not conflict with spiritual power. If it weren't for a life or death situation, with his more agile SS and quick eyesight, he would have grabbed the shaft of the demon breaking arrow with both hands. If not for this, Air Guzzi would have been shot through the chest by an arrow and become a dead dog. But despite this, Inuyasha's condition was also quite bad. Chapter 34 Aha! The fire rat fur on Inuyasha's chest was torn apart in an instant by the powerful spiritual power emitted by the demon breaking arrow. The arrow almost touched the skin in front of the heart. His arms were torn to pieces by the white electric arc formed by the violent spiritual power of the Miko. In severe cases, the bones were even visible. Both palms were even more burnt. But Inuyasha was still struggling to hold on, still trying his best to grab the arrow shaft with both hands to prevent the bad luck from coming. He doesn't want to die. Li Xia's scalp felt numb when he saw it. There is no doubt that if Kikyo's attack continues, if it is implemented, Inuyasha will definitely hit GG directly. Hey, hey, what's going on with you, Ali? Why don't you wake up? Li Xia swallowed. He didn't know whether Inuyasha was panicked or not but he was definitely panicked here. He never expected that his previous casual guidance would drastically change the trend of the plot, creating a situation that would most likely trap Inuyasha to death. But he never thought of ING his companion Inuyasha. What to do? By the way. Kikyo. However, what responded to him was a pair of beautiful cold eyes. The white moonlight at this time is not white moonlight at all. The look he looked at was so fierce. This obviously means that Kikyo doesn't want to give Inuyasha a way to survive. Maybe he just wants to go to hell with Inuyasha like he did in the early stages of the original work. If this road doesn't work, then we can only rely on Ali. Higurashi-san, wake up. Isn't this the time when you burst out with a strong desire to save Inuyasha, 
triggering soul resonance and forcefully taking back most of the souls in Kikyo's body. If you don't wake up and get those souls back, how will Platycodon lose its power? How to indirectly protect Inuyasha? Higurashi-san. Seeing that there was no movement from the sleeping Aoli, Li Xia was so anxious that he was sweating profusely. While his brain was working rapidly, wisps of smoke appeared above his head. But just at this moment, a flash of inspiration suddenly appeared in my mind. Then he blurted out in the direction of the girl. Higurashi-kun, the old man was attacked by monsters again, and your warehouse caught fire again. Go and save your grandpa. Result, invalid. Another. Higurashi-kun, your brother Suda fell in love before you did. This time, it works. Ali's eyelids inadvertently touched a few times, but unfortunately he still didn't open his eyes. It must be that the heat is a bit off. Higurashi-kun, aunt has found an uncle for you. As soon as these words came out, the corners of Ali's mouth twitched visibly, and his fingertips moved. His brows seemed to have a few well characters. You can see the excitement inside. Ali, the math test is coming soon. Get up and prepare for the test. You don't want to get the lowest score in the math test, right? As soon as the topics of mathematics, examination and preparation for exams came up, the girl's biggest fear was immediately aroused in her heart. Immediately, his eyes opened suddenly, startling Chi Bao who was standing beside him. Immediately afterwards, sewing strange happened to the clay body of Platycodon Platycodon a large number of soul light balls broke away from his body. And then poured into Ali's body like a hundred swallows returning to their nest. It looks so spectacular. The soul is back. Everyone was extremely shocked. He didn't understand what kind of magical spell Li Xia had just used to forcefully extract many souls from Platycodon Tautu's body. This is a good thing, at least for everyone. But for Platycodon Grandiflorum, it was terrible news. Don't want. Come back quickly. Do not leave me. Kikio, who was fierce just a moment ago, is now extremely panicked. She kept reaching out to grab those soul light balls, trying to catch those souls back a little bit but no matter how hard she tried. No matter how she called, those souls all abandoned the cold her without hesitation, and chose not to the warm Ollie in the distance. Most of the four souls that represent love, family, courage and wisdom are actively avoiding Platycodon, which is dominated by resentment and death at this time. But the negative part of the soul prefers this clay body. Leave, leave here, you must stay away from that girl, otherwise you will lose all the remaining souls in your body. In panic, Kikio limped away into the distance. This is the time when her current body resonates with her past soul, and it is also the most dangerous moment for her. As most of the souls returned to Ali's body, Kikio's power quickly passed away, and the demon-breaking arrow she shot earlier seemed to have its power drained out of thin air. The demon-destroying arrow is essentially the arrow of the soul. Without a soul, it is equivalent to being drained from the bottom of the cauldron. Inuyasha, are you okay? Li Xia hurriedly stepped forward to help Inuyasha and check on his little friend. Inuyasha at this time, let alone how miserable he was. This is also the price of saying the wrong thing. Ha, ha. It's okay. Thank you, Mr. Xia. Inuyasha showed off his strength. But he didn't forget to express his gratitude. Just now, he really thought he was going to die. Fortunately, this companion woke up Ali in time and forcibly took away Platycodon's soul, thus saving him. By the way, Mr. Xia, is it true love between me and Kikio, or is it an impulse of sympathy? Inuyasha, who was injured and embarrassed, raised this question with some embarrassment. The experience between life and death, coupled with Li Xia's previous objective evaluation of Platycodon, made him more or less serious of his so-called love with Platycodon. When Li Xia heard this, he was stunned for a moment, then thoughtfully. It seems that I have caused a deviation in the plot to some extent. However, as a companion, I still have to remind this guy. Catch up. She is the weakest at this time, and she should listen to your words the most. If the resentful spirit in her body can be calmed down, she will no longer embarrass you and Ali, and will turn around to deal with those who plotted against you. Maybe the man behind the scenes. Is it the mastermind behind this? Inuyasha gritted his teeth, feeling extremely angry. His burnt hands were squeezed tightly, 
and he didn't care at all as blood dripped out again. However, those four soul fragments on Li Xia's body did not turn black because of this. There are two situations when the jade of four souls turns black. One is the pollution of the external environment. For example, Neraku used his own miasma to envelop evil thoughts to contaminate the jade. Or let the four soul jade be contaminated with dirty blood, or the environment full of resentment in the belly of the rock ghost. Once the four soul fragments are separated from Ali, who can purify jade, they will naturally be contaminated by the environment. The other one is embedded in the body of a living being. In this case, once a creature develops evil thoughts, the four souls jade will be contaminated and turn black. But it's not absolute. Ganya did a lot of bad things in the early stage, such as ordering the wolves to massacre Xiaoling's village and even taking away Xiaoling's first blood. No matter how cruel you look, you are not a kind person. But the two four soul fragments on his legs were not contaminated. Therefore, we can boldly speculate that good and evil are relative and dialectical. The wolves of the demon wolf clan hunt prey and slaughter humans. This is the natural law of survival of the weak and the strong, and it is not considered evil. We can't let the wolves starve to death, right? Or, at least in Ganya's view, he had a clear conscience. At least Shere Khan no Tama recognizes that this is not evil. Therefore, Li Xia's thoughts here are a little more complicated and he has made a little calculation. If this is considered evil and strengthens the tsuling of the Four Souls Jade, then what does it count if Inuyasha, Ali and other protagonists go around ing animals and eliminating demons? Aren't monsters native to this world? It is natural for monsters to eat people. It is also natural for humans to monsters. It all depends on your heart. See if it violates your own conception of good and evil. Back to business. After Inuyasha was reminded here, he really chased after him. Chasing after Kikyo's back. Li Xia picked up the tree branch that the ghost girl Li Tao had dropped on the ground. At the same time, he glanced lightly at the other side of the cave. Just now, there was a petite figure sneaking around there. So, this is roughly the world of Inuyasha that is mainly based on anime. After muttering this. He turned around and told Granny Fong and Chibao. Inuyasha's injuries are not serious either. I'll go over and keep an eye on him to avoid any accidents. You guys should take care of Ali here and check to see if there are any other hidden dangers left by the old witch. Just wait until he and I come back. Um. The old man and the young man nodded. Li Xia breathed a sigh of relief. After thinking for a moment, he quickly entered the cave and took Li Tao's sickle with him. Without a weapon to defend himself, he always felt uneasy. Chapter, 35 Back Mountain On the steep cliff road The distraught Kikyo looked like a drunken man, walking unsteadily. Just when she was in a trance, her foot suddenly slipped and she was about to lose her footing and fall off the cliff. At this moment, a very powerful hand reached down from above and grabbed Kikyo's cold left wrist with great precision. Who are you? Looking at the handsome and angular face above, the girl's eyes showed surprise. The one who grabbed Platycodon Grandiflorum's wrist was Li Xia, who was not injured and moved faster. Beside him, Inuyasha also stretched out his burnt left hand it was just that it was half a beat slower. Come up. Li Xia exerted a little force, and the platycodon hanging below returned to the top from the bottom of the cliff. Speaking of which, the other clay figures created by Li Tao are basically terracotta warriors and horses. Their faces are not only expressionless, but also hard. Kikyo's clay body is quite different. Although it still feels cold to the touch, it has flesh and blood. The wrist he holds is even softer, giving people an extremely clear sense of limb elasticity. In addition, the expressions are quite rich, even in details, they are no different from normal people. This figure is so fake that it looks real. Should it be said that it is a high-level ghost technique? No wonder that in the original timeline, Kikyo held the hands of many little girls, and none of those children noticed anything unusual about Kikyo. What good will saving me do to you? The person I am today is born of resentment. If you don't let go of your resentment, you will continue to hate Inuyasha. Once you let go of your resentment, it will disappear again. Saving me is simply unnecessary. Kikyo sneered. 
Inuyasha on the side was heartbroken to see his former lover in this state. He secretly hated the monster behind the scenes even more. After Li Xia pondered for a moment, he asked two questions. Miss Kikyo, are you still responsible for guarding the Four Souls Jade? In addition, what is your attitude towards the mastermind who coveted the Four Souls fragments and plotted against you and Inuyasha? As long as Kikyo picks up his responsibilities again, that's a good start. Without waiting for this strange woman to respond, Li Xia smiled and nodded, then turned around and left quite neatly. Leave all the time and space to the two of you. Xia Jun, thank you. Inuyasha spoke up. I don't know how many times he has thanked me. In response, Li Xia just waved his hand behind his back and walked away casually. The subsequent results were no longer important. He had done everything he had to do and no longer forced the rest. He has other things to deal with now. On the mountainside. A 13 or 14 year old girl with long brown hair and fair skin was walking quickly through the mountain forest trails. This woman has orange eyes and a high ponytail. Although she is a girl, she has a tired and dead air everywhere. There is no doubt that this girl, like Kikio, is a clay figure resurrected by advanced ghost arts. Just as she was walking through the small woods in the mountains and arriving at a clearing, a faint voice sounded behind her. After being resurrected by Li Tao, you have been controlled by that old witch, right? You even recognize the old monster as your adoptive mother, and during this period, you helped create a large number of pottery soldiers. Now that Li Tao has been robbed, you have also got rid of that old witch. The control of the old witch changed its direction and gained freedom. Speaking of which, we are still your benefactors. Isn't it a bit unethical for you to want to leave your benefactor without even saying a word of thanks? The one who made the noise was Li Xia, who was speeding up and chasing after him. When the girl heard this, her step stopped and her expression changed drastically. When he looked back, he looked wary. What do you want? Li Xia raised the corners of his mouth slightly. Give me the old witch's advanced ghost SS, and we won't owe each other anything. What do you think? But the girl shook her head straightforwardly. When Li Xia saw this, he couldn't help but frown. What? You don't want to. The ghost girl Li Tao died and turned into ashes in the wind. Even the fragments of her four souls could not be saved. But her ghost technique, which is similar to the reincarnation of dirty soil, has not been lost. The girl in front of him is a complete successor. This woman's name was Yan Zhu, and she was a well-known ceramist during her lifetime. It was precisely because of this that Li Tao resurrected her and adopted her as his adopted daughter, and by the way taught her the craft of making pottery figurines. Before Li Tao died, he had been obeying the old witch and made many pottery soldiers. Not long ago, I witnessed with my own eyes the instant of Kikyo after her adoptive mother Li Tao was resurrected. Without Li Tao's restraint, Yan Zhu immediately regained his freedom. According to the original plot development, she will be placed under house arrest by another masterpiece of Li Tao. Wawan before the Bailing Mountain incident, and will continue to help make pottery soldiers. Wawan provides Yan Zhu with the dead souls needed to survive, as well as various materials needed for firing pottery figurines. Until he bumped into the protagonist group, was saved by Kikyo, had his soul recast by Ali, and was redeemed by Inuyasha. In the early days, on the mortal battlefield, this woman alone could defeat a thousand armies. The reason for this? It is precisely because of the ghost SS taught by Li Tao. Advanced ghost arts, when used well, are magical SS. Li Xia came here for the sake of inheritance. But right now, the little girl Yan Zhu is a bit uncooperative. Thank you for bringing me freedom. But you are a human being, and a living person, so it is impossible for you to master ghost arts or the OD of making pottery soldiers. The girl said apologetically. If she just handed over the inheritance she had mastered, there would be no psychological burden on her. But whether it is ghost magic or the OD of making pottery soldiers, they are not areas that living people can touch. She couldn't satisfy the demands of the person in front of her. Li Xia, on the other hand, breathed a sigh of relief after hearing Yan Zhu's explanation. It's okay, you just need to hand over Li Tao's inheritance to me. As for whether I can learn it in the end? That's my own business. Even if I can't learn it, I won't offend anyone. Demon power? 
He possesses a large Osmanthus mask and multiple for soul fragments, so he has no shortage of them. At this point, the girl had no reason to refuse. If you refuse out loud, it will be a betrayal. The ghost arts I learned are divided into three major chapters. The first chapter is the basic ghost technique, which can make ordinary pottery figurine soldiers. This kind of pottery figurine does not have any memory of life and can only follow orders in a confused manner. The second chapter is about intermediate ghost arts, which can create pottery figurines with their own independent consciousness and individual emotions. As well as some of the memories and specialties of their lifetime. I am the product of intermediate ghost arts. As for the advanced ghost arts in the third chapter. That requires the caster to have considerable demonic power and use special magic weapons. Not long ago, the Miko who ed her mother was a masterpiece of advanced ghost arts. And those resurrected by advanced ghost arts are usually those who had special powers during their lifetime. After they were resurrected, they not only had independent consciousness and all the memories of their lives, but also retained all their specialties and abilities. And their clay bodies are closer to humans. Except for the fact that he has no internal organs, no breathing pulse, no body temperature, etc. He can almost be regarded as a real person in many other aspects. For example, the Miko who ed her mother, after being summoned and resurrected, has the power of the Miko in her lifetime. When she thought of Platycodon Grandiflorum, she felt a little afraid. The voice had a slight vibrato. Anything else? Li Xia listened carefully, recorded the whole thing, and asked for advice humbly. Don't miss any punctuation mark. In this way, the two of them returned to the mountain hand in hand. Well, there are indeed some things to note. Determining whether a ghost spell can be successfully performed depends not only on whether the clay body contains enough ashes of the deceased. But also on whether the other party's soul is alive and reincarnated. If it has been reincarnated, usually it is impossible to succeed. Furthermore, the integrity of the clay body is also very important. Yen Zhu told me all the details, no matter how big or small. This certainly made Li Xia very satisfied. Finally, the little girl became a little coy again. Li Xia asked. Yen Zhu lowered his head and pursed his lips, then finally raised his head and looked directly at him. Can I know the reason why you learn ghost arts? Li Xia smiled heartily. First, protect yourself. Because I have some ideas of my own and have to do a lot of things. In this process, I will encounter many vicious monsters. It can be said that my life is under strong threat at all times. Ghost magic can give me an extra layer of protection. Second, expand productivity. Yen Zhu, have you ever thought about it? Help people in poor villages and resurrect their deceased relatives, so that the resurrected people can help their families farm and open up wasteland, greatly reducing the family's labor costs. In this world where monsters are rampant, the resurrected can also give their families and even their villages a little protection. Don't neglect a good deed because it's too small. Anyway, without the dead souls being replenished in time, the pottery figurines will be offline soon. This also means that the world of the living will not be overwhelmed by the dead. I see. Yen Zhu, whose future was originally hazy, seemed to have caught a ray of light. There was a different look in his eyes. The whole person seemed to feel a lot more relaxed. Then I'll leave it to you, Anju Sensei. Li Xia smiled and bowed. The girl was a little at a loss and looked very cute. He bid farewell to Inuyasha and the others, and told Erguzi to return to the village and recuperate. Li Xia stayed with the two daughters, Platycodon Grandiflorum and Yen Zhu. There is no room for error in every detail including selecting materials, needing people, calcining, summoning souls, etc. Chapter 36 In the Cave Dwelling The girl Yen Zhu was very patient in explaining and operating at the same time. Li Xia on the side watched and listened tirelessly. As for Platycodon not far away who is homeless and has no place to stay. After thinking for a while, I decided to stay here temporarily to recover. The flame beads could just help repair the wounds on her clay body's shoulders. Furthermore, the previously lost soul also needs to be replenished in order to maintain the clay body's ability to move. Coincidentally, the ghost girl Li Tao had collected and stored many souls of recently deceased girls for her adopted daughter Yen Zhu. 
these girls were all pure girls during their lifetimes. Their dead souls were not only suitable for Yen Zhu to use, but also very suitable for Platycodon. This way. Now. Yen Zhu followed Li Xia's suggestion and released the dead souls of these girls as an investment to the residual blood Platycodon Grandiflorum. Future. After the residual blood Platycodon subdues a group of die-hard death soul insects with his advanced cultivation, he will surely be rewarded several times over. As long as Platycodon doesn't die, the dead soul insects will continuously bring the dead souls of Yenju's pure girls and serve as a protective umbrella. And even if Platycodon dies, the dead soul insect can still be left to Yenju as a legacy. Dusk is approaching and the sun is setting. The afterglow shines on the profile of the beauty, making her extremely beautiful. Miss Kikio, are you still reminiscing about the past? After finishing his homework for the day, Li Xia came to the mountain ridge and sat on the edge of the cliff with the calmed down Kikio to watch the evening skyline. During the two days that this woman was temporarily staying to repair her wounds, she always stared in the direction of Maple Village in a daze. I just don't know how much love he still has for Inuyasha in his heart. If I remember correctly, Kikio in this time period of the original book planned to drag Inuyasha to hell together. Hoping to calm down the resentment in his soul and achieve liberation by ending this life together. If Ali hadn't been there at the time, woke up the sleeping Inuyasha in time, and prevented the forced love farce, this one would have succeeded. Seeing that Platycodon didn't seem to like the topic of the past, Li Xia's eyes flickered. Miss Kikio, you are thinking about how to get along with Higurashi san in the future. But you are thinking about who Inuyasha will choose in the end? This is a sensitive topic in itself but the strange woman next to him still didn't hear anything. Well. That's all. Li Xia sighed secretly, sat here for a while and then left quietly. There is no doubt that he wants to know the current state of mind of this future white moonlight. Want to get into the other person's heart. Everyone has a good impression of beautiful things. What's more, the Miko Kikio can be used as a virtuous wife, a protector in the early stages, and an excellent right-hand girl in the later stages. It's so rare. Such as the powerful strength of wandering around with remaining blood, the top potential of the four souls at full value. The kindness of redeeming by Shinran, Amber and others, the decisive ING of enemies, etc. Li Xia couldn't help but be tempted by all these shining points. And here, he happened to have a way to resurrect this woman from the dual levels of soul and body. No matter what. The current peerless Miko has no interest in him. No, his chatting didn't get any response. Although keep away from strangers was not clearly written on his face, there was an unspeakable coldness all over his body. Realizing that the way he opened it might not be right, Li Xia left decisively without saying anything more. But the next two days. After finishing his homework, he would patiently stay with the beautiful woman and watch the sunset quietly together. He probably guessed the reason why Kikio opened her heart to Inuyasha before she was alive. That is Inuyasha says whatever he wants, he can't hide his thoughts, everything is written on his face. Happy is happy, angry is angry, there are not so many twists and turns. To put it nicely, it's called sincerity and simplicity. To put it bluntly, it's called simple-minded. But precisely because of this simplicity, it is easier to break into the heart of a beautiful woman. On the other hand, he had too many thoughts. Even if he didn't have any bad intentions, it was impossible for Kikio to accept him now that he had closed himself off like a hedgehog. This is exactly the opposite of what happened in the modern world in previous generations. In the past life, boys who were too simple-minded were always disliked by many girls. Boys can't please those girls if they don't have a few good intentions. Don't you see, can a thoughtful boy win the favor of countless girls with just a few tricks? Of course, if boys who are more thoughtful try to pursue girls of this era, their success rate is also very high. The second female lead, Coral, is tightly controlled by the flirty male lead, Master Mithraya. But Platycodon is different here. Completely different. During her lifetime, the beautiful woman had already armed herself to make it difficult to approach her after experiencing the incident fifty years ago, she must have become more cautious and vigilant. If you want to impress this guy, you can only be simple like in Yasha. And the simpler it is, the higher the success rate. After initial contact, the results were not very good. 
it seems that I have been rejected by the other side thousands of miles away. But this was just a simple attempt on his part, not worth mentioning. Besides, the one who can be by his side in the end may not necessarily be Kikio. After parting ways with Inuyasha and others, for days passed quietly. During this period, the wound on Platykodon's shoulder was repaired by Yenju, and the injury is now healed. In addition, the two women, who had no distinction between day and night, tamed more than a dozen dead soul insects late at night under Li Xia's suggestion. Dead soul insect. All white. It is a monster that specializes in collecting the souls of dead girls. They can collect dead souls for the owner of the clay body, thereby providing the clay body with the power to move physically. It has the ability to carry cargo and fly, so if multiple of them are used together, they can carry their owners for short distance flights. You can also deliver messages, guide people, etc. Like Neriku's strongest opponent, he is one of the most loyal tool demons in the Inuyasha world. In the original timeline, when Platykodon went to Bailing Mountain, the powerful holy power emanating from Bailing Mountain caused many dead soul insects to be crushed and annihilated. But despite this, they still closely follow their owner, Platycodon Grandiflorum, and never leave. Afterwards, Platycodon was knocked out of the miasma rift by the great monster level Neraku. The dead soul insects that captured their master's aura did not hesitate to pick up a piece of Platycodon's left clothing and plunged into the billowing miasma without hesitation. Feared. Finally, when the burnt out Platycodon was lying in Inuyasha's arms and dissipating, the dead soul insects surrounded her soul and flew into the sky, filled with grief. It's a very cute tool demon. Originally, only Kikio could control it. Now, with the help of Platycodon Grandiflorum perhaps out of gratitude and repayment, Yenju has also been recognized as the owner of five dead soul insects. It was in the afternoon of the fourth day. Kikio said goodbye. Li Xia and Yen Zhu watched each other's figure disappear into the depths of the woods, and watched the woman embark on her own journey again. There is indeed a good side among those resentments. Someone whispered softly. Yen Zhu beside him turned his head and blinked when he heard the words. Xia Jun, what were you talking about just now? Nothing. Li Xia smiled faintly and then touched the little girl's head. You have taught me almost everything that needs to be taught I have almost learned everything that needs to be learned. Maybe in less than two days, I may have to leave here. These days, Yen Zhu taught him step by step a hundred times. Very attentive every time. In addition, the various materials used for on-site teaching are all ready-made items that the ghost girl Li Tao has collected before thus saving them a lot of trouble and a lot of time. As for Li Xia, in addition to listening carefully and studying carefully, he also did not forget to record the teaching process from the sidelines. In this way, after returning home, you can deepen your grasp of each step and link by repeatedly watching dozens of recorded videos. Are you leaving too? Yen Zhu was stunned. These days of getting along with each other made her very uncomfortable at first but as time went by, it made her feel very at ease and made her feel very at ease. It's like he really has a brother. Well, let's go. But don't worry. I will come back to see you when I have time. Let's live in seclusion here. This place has beautiful scenery and an excellent environment. You don't have to worry about being disturbed by outsiders. It's pretty good, isn't it? You know, in this world where monsters are rampant and wars are constant, there is such a peaceful and peaceful paradise, but countless people want it but can't get it. Two more days. Inuyasha is here again. Not only to meet Li Xia, but also to take a look at Platycodon Grandiflorum. She has left, you are late. Chapter, 37 Have you left already? Alas! After Inuyasha learned that Kikio had left for two days, his original expectations and anxiety all turned into a sigh. Don't worry, the injuries on her clay body have been repaired by Yen Zhu, and her mood has stabilized a lot. Although she is still full of resentment towards you, it is no longer as heavy as it was at the beginning. Give it to her she will definitely be able to figure it out in some time. Li Xia stepped forward and patted Inuyasha on the shoulder. This little friend felt at ease a lot. Xia Jun, thank you. I really can't repay you for what you have done for me. Inuyasha was extremely moved. I guess that in the past few days, my companion might have done a lot of ideological work for Platycodon otherwise. 
Platycodon would have hated him so much when he was first resurrected, and would have probably returned to the village by this time. It's so difficult for Mr. Xiao. Stop talking nonsense between us. Li Xia grinned. Then he looked in Yasha up and down for a while. We haven't seen each other for a few days, but the serious injury you suffered earlier has basically healed. This physical fitness is really enviable. The tattered fire rat fur has actually recovered. How did you do it? I'm a half demon, so it's normal for me to recover faster. Inuyasha, who had always been rejected by humans and was rarely praised in person, now showed a hearty smile. He could tell that the admiration and envy of the little friend in front of him was genuine. Therefore, he had no reservations. As for this fire rat fur, my mother said that it was left to me by my father when I was just born. It can not only help me withstand ordinary swords, guns and various flames, but also has the ability to repair itself. And it can be customized according to my body shape. Make big or small changes, I have been wearing them since I was very young until now. What an amazing outfit. Well enough. Although I have never met your father, judging from the fact that he handed over iron broken tooth and this fire rat fur to you, he loves you mother and son very much. Maybe he has great expectations for you. It's a pity that he died too early in the battle, otherwise you would definitely have had a good childhood. Li Xia did not hesitate to praise the dog general. This also further won the favor of Inuyasha, and indirectly won the favor of the old flea on Inuyasha's shoulder. Those things have long passed. Thinking of the many bad memories of his childhood, Inuyasha became a little disappointed. Seeing this, Li Xia decisively changed the subject your injury and my absence didn't delay our collection of four soul fragments, right? Of course that little injury won't delay the main business. It took me three days to initially recover from the injury. After it was almost healed, I went out twice. Two outings. The purpose of the first time was to recover a weapon. As a result, I met a mage halfway, who was the second male lead in the original work Fengxian Mithraeo. Another time, I bumped into a human painter who could use the power of the four soul fragments to summon the evil ghost in the painting. This person is known as the magic pen Maoyang in Inuyasha's world. He only used the power of a four soul fragment to draw thousands of evil ghosts that can walk out of the painting. And this is not the upper limit of the evil ghosts that an artist can draw. As long as the ink endowed with magical power by the four soul fragments does not run out, the ordinary human painter can paint infinitely. According to Inuyasha's description, the evil spirits in those paintings are far better than ordinary humans, and any one of them can easily several human soldiers. Among them, the most powerful one can even breathe out fire and thunder, causing a large-scale ing effect on humans. A painter with thousands of such demons in his hand can basically walk sideways in the human world in the world of monsters. As long as he does not run into powerful three, or four-star superior monsters or monsters with special abilities, he can also be at ease. In Yasha, since the evil ghosts in the paintings will turn into puddles of pungent ink after you them. Causing your nose to become allergic and causing you to faint, then how did you deal with the evil ghosts in the paintings and win the four souls? Fragments? Li Xia asked knowingly. When Inuyasha heard this, he immediately introduced Mithraeo. Xia Jun, our team has grown and we have a new partner. His name is Mithraeo, he is a young human mage with quite good strength. The reason why Ali and I were able to easily deal with the huge evil ghost army painted by that hateful painter was thanks to Mithraeo's help. You don't know how dangerous his wind cave is. Wind cave? Li Xia fell into deep thought. He naturally knows a thing or two about what the wind cave is. Whether in the early or late stages, this thing is a very unreasonable bug level ability. It is not difficult to imagine the spectacular scene of the wind cave opens wide and sucks all the evil spirits into it. By the way, I also found the lightning blades dropped by the Thunder Beast brothers who were defeated by me. 4. As Inuyasha spoke, he took out a package from his back and handed it over. Li Xia took it, opened it, and his eyes lit up. He was prepared for this weapon to be picked up by other monsters. Unexpectedly, Inuyasha helped him find it from the ruins of the battlefield. The Thunder Blade is a long-handled weapon shaped like lightning. The wielder can use this weapon to continuously release thunderbolts to attack the opponent. Not only can it be used in close combat, 
casting electric waves from the tip of the blade it can also be used as a throwing weapon, penetrating the enemy, and the thrown lightning blade can automatically return to the hand after completing the attack in addition. It can also be used by throwing this weapon the spear tip of the blade is directly thrust into the ground, detonating a lightning beam from the ground to attack the enemy. It can be used for both close combat and long range attack. It is a demon blade passed down from generation to generation in the Thunder Beast clan. It was previously held by Fatian, the older brother among the Thunder Beast brothers. In the early stages of the original timeline, Fatian, who was blessed by this weapon, once put Inuyasha into a bitter battle. If the VIP had not arrived in time and obtained the ability of the scabbard can summon Tetsuya, Inuyasha, Ali, and Chibao at that time would most likely have died miserably. More than a week ago, in order to avoid everyone Suyin, Li Xia chose to start with Chibao while getting along with the little fox demon. Through intentional or unintentional guidance, and through the little guy's mouth, he asked about the deeds of the two Fatian Mantian brothers. Thus, it was logical to learn about the existence of the Thunderstrike blade. So, just before parting a few days ago, he struck while the iron was hot, and while Inuyasha's favorability towards him was skyrocketing. He solemnly asked Inuyasha to help him find the lightning blade that had been ignored by the protagonist group earlier. If it had been the time when they first met, Inuyasha probably wouldn't have made this trip. Wouldn't even pay attention to him. But after experiencing two incidents together, they have established a basic bond with each other in addition. Inuyasha accepted his favor in both incidents besides, it's not like letting people go to the sword or into the sea of fire, it's just a small favor. In this case, there were no surprises, and Inuyasha agreed immediately. As for why Li Xia went out of his way to collect weapons that could only be used by monsters. First, with the great Osmanthus mask, the Shikigami, and the four soul fragments in hand, he has no shortage of demonic power. Secondly, with the spiritual liquid in hand, he has no shortage of recovery ODs. Thirdly, although this weapon is Tai Suya's defeated general, it does not prevent it from being a rare high-quality weapon. And even if only the main upper half is damaged, it can still be recycled. Li Xia played with the weapon with only the upper body left, and said with regret. It would be great if we could find a powerful swordsmith and let him help forge this weapon. He does not mean that. On Inuyasha's shoulder, an easily ignored old flea rolled his eyes, thoughtfully, and then gradually developed an idea to plan sewing for his young master Inuyasha. The old flea is called Minga. As a retainer, he is still very loyal. Yenju, let's go. When leaving, Li Xia touched the little girl's head. At the same time, he also noticed Yen Zhu biting his lips, with a complicated color flashing in his eyes. But he didn't think much about it, and happily set foot on the road back to the village with Inuyasha. Previously, because he had to rush to chase down the old witch Li Tao, the ghost girl, he had to travel lightly. So he placed many items at Grandma Feng's house, such as spiritual liquid that can be used to quickly restore mana. The more prepared you are for the next action, the better. And the direction of exploration is not this way. Therefore, I had to return to the village first. Along the way, Li Xia rode his bicycle at full speed in Yuyasha jumped quickly among the trees and mountain roads to check for danger. When night came, the two found a place to camp with a wide view. Xia Jun, do you have any plans for the next step? After dinner, Inuyasha asked seriously. Unlike Ali who was unreliable, Li Xia was very reliable in Inuyasha's heart. A single map of this era was a convenience that Ali had never imagined. Inuyasha, as far as you know, apart from shrine maidens and mages who can fight monsters, who else in this world makes a living by hunting monsters? Um. Humans who make a living by hunting monsters. Apart from witches and mages, it seems like there are only those powerful guys. What Mr. Xia wants to ask is, is he an exorcist? The person who answered the question was not Inuyasha by the fire, but a flea on Inuyasha's shoulder that had lived for more than two thousand years. It was Mr. Mingjia. Grandpa Mingjia knows where the Demon Slayer village is? Li Xia was slightly surprised. Yes, I know, and I have some contact with them. Old Flea crossed his arms on his chest and nodded firmly. Okay, let's get rid of the Demon Master's village from now on. Chapter, 38 Xia Jun, why are we getting rid of the Demon Master's village? Inuyasha was a little puzzled by this. 
Li Xia explained a little bit. Since the demon slayers in the demon slayer village make a living by ing demons and evil spirits, after the jade of four souls is broken. They will most likely encounter monsters who hold the fragments of the four souls and do evil everywhere. Those demon slayers there must be many masters among them, and it's only natural to a few monsters holding four soul fragments. Let's go there and let Higurashi-san collect and purify those four soul fragments that may be contaminated. When Inuyasha heard this, his eyes lit up and he felt energetic. Yes, exorcists make a living by hunting monsters that cause trouble everywhere, and they move more frequently than witches and monks who stay in one place to protect them. It is absolutely normal for the demon slayers in the demon slayer village to collect just a few four soul fragments from many monsters. Xia Jun, you even thought of this, it's amazing. Before that, he and Ali were fans of the authorities. Li Xia waved his hand modestly. Things are not that simple. If the demon slayers in that village are willing to hand over the four soul fragments to Higurashi-san for safekeeping, they will not only save us a lot of trouble, but also free their village from the evil monsters. Come out after all, more and more monsters know that the four souls jade has returned to this world. The faster and wider the news is spread, the greater the chaos that will follow. The demon slayer who hides the fragments of the four souls the possibility of the division village being attacked is naturally higher. It doesn't matter if they don't want to leave it to us for safekeeping. While we help them purify the jade fragments, we can also remind them to be more vigilant. Although I don't want that village to be attacked by monsters because of the four soul fragments, I don't want to see them completely destroyed because of their carelessness. Li Xia's words touched the hearts of Inuyasha and Mingjia. Okay, let's get rid of the demon master village from now on. Grandpa Mingjia, the old flea, has become a lot more serious. Inuyasha nodded as well. It was about four soul fragments, and probably more than one, which interested him very much. What's more, this was proposed by my friend Li Xia. In the previous two incidents, he had seen the excellent performance of his companion he had already recognized the other party, and his words and deeds were worthy of his trust. Besides, it's just a walk, not a dragon's pond or a tiger's den. With all these factors in place, there was no reason for him to go against the grain. What Inuyasha didn't notice was that Li Xia's voice in the team had unknowingly increased a lot. Before, he had strongly requested to explore the eastern area, and then he ran into those spider heads. Now, he is the one taking the initiative to ask others. Although this is just a small and incongruous thing, the impact inside is huge. At this moment, Li Xia played with the head of the lightning blade gun in his hand and cast his gaze on Mr. Mingjia Grandpa Mingjia, you are well informed, do you know any powerful forging seniors? A powerful blacksmith? When the old flea heard this, he understood the young man's plan. Do you want to repair this weapon inherited by the Thunder Beast clan? Yes. Li Xia didn't hide it, he said it bluntly. My strength is too weak. I can deal with some miscellaneous monsters and even low-level monsters, but I am unable to deal with the middle and upper-level monsters. Let alone those big monsters that dominate the territory. Fragments of the four souls are scattered everywhere, and they are destined to alarm those big monsters. Why haven't we attracted any big monsters yet? Mainly because Musashi country has a large human population, but there are fewer monsters in the wild, so the transmission of information from the monster circle will be relatively closed. In addition, the reason why the Shurkan Tama reappeared after 50 years and the time it took for it to break into many pieces was short. This can be confirmed from the fact that the monsters such as Iron Chicken Mother and Daughter, Ogamaru, Raito, and Numawatari do not know about the Shurkan Tama. Otherwise, those monster groups or Ruoi's big monsters would have been dispatched long ago. Once the news spreads completely, powerful monsters will surely follow. With my current strength, not only will I not be able to help, but I will become a burden to the team. Therefore, whether it is for myself or for my partners, I must become stronger. Repairing the Thunderbolt Blade, reforging this monster weapon, and obtaining an excellent weapon is a way to quickly improve individual strength and team strength. And my Shikigami is a bit special, it can just give me demonic powers. This will help me control the demon sword and demon spear that only monsters can use. Every word Li Xia said was well-founded and sonorous. He is not only doing it for himself, but also for the team. As expected of Mr. Xia. 
Inuyasha and Minka both nodded their heads. But after realizing that everyone's future enemies would change from those miscellaneous fish monsters into big monsters, they inevitably became a little nervous. Xia Jun, will the four soul fragments alert those big monsters? Wasn't his dream back then just to become a big monster? He still had some idea of how powerful the big monster was. Inuyasha, do you think the reverse haired Yura who first found you is great? Tell the truth. Reverse hair not. It was a very difficult and dangerous monster, and its power was quite impressive. If it weren't for Ali's help, which pointed directly at the opponent's vital points, I would have had no chance of winning. There is no denying that your SS are inferior to those of others. Of course, that was before I got Tai Suya now that I have Tai Suya, that Banshee is definitely no match for me. Inuyasha added confidently. What about Brother Thunder Beast? It's also very difficult. Not only was he difficult to deal with, he and Ali almost fell out. This one still has iron teeth in hand. Then the question is, why after the reverse Euro and the Thunder Beast brothers? All the monsters we encountered were middle and lower level monsters, and we basically never encountered any powerful superior monsters. This. Inuyasha was asked. What they encountered later were just weaklings such as the spider-headed leader, the ghost girl Li Tao, and the weasel demon. They didn't encounter any decent superior monsters, let alone a five-star big monster. Could it be that this situation happened because the more powerful ones were defeated by him and Ali from the beginning? Wrong. Not completely. There should be more than just a few powerful ones in this area, including Yiro and the Thunder Beast brothers. There must be some powerful monsters. But what about the traces of those monsters? Suddenly thinking of sewing, Inuyasha's expression suddenly changed. Lysia saw this and smiled slightly it seems that you have realized it. Inuyasha asked with a solemn expression are there any troublesome monsters collecting the four soul fragments like us? Lysia nodded. Good. And the other party is definitely a very difficult guy. As he spoke, he unfolded the map and outlined each piece. This circle is the area where you and Higurashi-san first appeared. The area next to it is the activity area during these times. However, in more peripheral places, there has never been any news about the four soul fragments. This is very abnormal. So I make a bold guess that outside the scope of our search, especially in the mountains and forests of northern Musashi country, there is probably an extremely dangerous guy. He hunted down most of the monsters holding four soul fragments over there. I don't know if it was Ming Jia's illusion, but he always felt that the human boy in front of him meant sewing. The dangerous guy who hunted the other yukai. The old flea murmured. Speaking of which, this is probably the main reason why Inuyasha's early battles were quite difficult, but he spent a long time cleaning up some minions afterwards. The two powerful ones were eliminated early due to their great strength and well-informed information. The rest of the mid-level and upper-level monsters are probably targeted by Neraku and are ready to be used in future poison techniques or the unlucky ones have been absorbed by Neraku. And because Neraku wanted to eat alone, the news that four soul fragments appeared in a large area was blocked to a large extent. And Neraku, who has many miscellaneous people under his command and has the ability to be a puppet, is indeed capable of doing this. Ever since. There is a strange phenomenon in the original work where many big monsters show disdain and snatch the four soul fragments. It's not that the great demons and ethnic groups are not interested in the four soul fragments. It's that during the Warring States period, news from various places was already blocked, and it was very troublesome to transmit it. In addition, Neraku, as a local snake, secretly blocked it deliberately. The separatist factions those big monsters didn't move at all. Xia Jun, I understand. Now, Mingxia, you should know the famous monster swordsmith, right? Inuyasha was very polite to Li Xia. But for Mr. Minka, Inuyasha had no intention of respecting the elderly and caring for the young. Well. Mr. Xia's situation is indeed very special. In this case, I will take you to find Todosai. He should be able to repair this lightning blade and even make it into an even better weapon. Grandpa Maiga, who was pinched between the thumb and index finger of his right hand by Inuyasha, was very aware of current affairs. Chapter, 39 With Mr. Mingjia leading the way, everyone quickly found a volcano crater that was completely uninhabited. 
This is the residence of the famous swordsmith Totosai in the world of monsters. Totosai, a subordinate of General Inu, the father of the two brothers Inuyasha and Seshomaru, is also the caster of Tetsuya and Tensno. He is a monster who likes to act stupid but is very principled, and his strength is not bad either he can spit super high temperature flames from his mouth. And he can also hit the ground with his weapon, a big hammer, to create a large area. Magma Zone This time, Li Xia and his party were lucky enough to catch up with the knife maker at the same time at home, so they were able to see him as they wished. As for whether we can get the other party to help build a useful weapon as we wish. It depends on whether Inuyasha's favor is of any use, and whether Mr. Minka is willing to put in a good word for him. Todosai only forges knives for people he recognizes or even likes. For those guys he doesn't like and can't deal with, he hides whenever he can. Minga, long time no see but you actually came to my place with Tetsuya. Are you here to test Tetsuya? Oh, by the way, could this little boy be Inuyasha? When they met for the first time, the old man recognized Inuyasha before everyone introduced themselves. To be precise, he recognized the iron broken teeth in Inuyasha's hand at a glance, and then recognized Inuyasha based on this. Long time no see, Lord Todosai. On Inuyasha's shoulder, Grandpa Minka greeted him politely. After some pleasantries. Finally, the topic finally got down to business. Grandpa Todosai, I heard that you are a powerful swordsman who made the Tetsuya, and your forging SS are superb. So we are here. One of the things we are asking you to do is help Inuyasha resharpen the Tetsuya. After all, there are already two Tetsuya. It hasn't been maintained for over a hundred years. Another thing is that I hope you can always help me use this material to create a handy weapon. Inuyasha and I have teamed up to collect the fragments of the four souls scattered all over the place. We will definitely encounter a troublesome big monster later boy, I don't want to be a burden to the team, and I need a weapon by my side. As Li Xia spoke, he took out the lightning blade left by the Thunder Beast brothers. The main body of the lightning strike blade is intact. After being activated by demonic power, it can still display powerful lightning SS. But only the main part of the lightning blade is left, which is very uncomfortable to use. Therefore, he came here specifically to look for Todosai. As for Tadujai, they did not rush to give an answer to Li Xia's request. Instead, they took the things and looked at them for a while. This should be a spear made of high-quality lightning iron and thunder bricks. Why does it look like the lightning blade, the inherited weapon of the Thunder Beast clan? It's the Thunder Strike Blade. Li Xia nodded in response. It's a pretty good weapon, but how did the gun barrel get cut off? Such a smooth cut requires a very sharp blade. Wait a minute, was this lightning blade cut off by iron breaking fawn? Todosai asked seriously while touching the smooth incision and staring at the broken teeth on Inuyasha's waist. Yes, I used the iron fawn to cut it off. Inuyasha crossed his arms and looked unconcerned. However, the straight upright dog ears betrayed his mentality. You can cut off the barrel of a gun polished by the psychic monster Mule with just half a bucket of water. Todosai tilted his head to express his disbelief. No matter how he looked at it, he didn't think the VIP temporarily in arrears in Yasha was that powerful. At this time, Ming Jia stood up for his young master Your Majesty Todosai, although Master Inuyasha still lacks a lot of strength, he occasionally has sewing remarkable. So that's it, you are indeed my iron broken tooth. The old knife maker nodded, indicating that he understood. When Inuyasha saw this, he felt a burning fire in his chest and was panicking. He wanted to hit someone. However, considering that it was the first time they met and that he was asking for help, and considering that his friend Xia Jun was in urgent need of a handy weapon. He finally suppressed his dissatisfaction and pressed his right hand with his left hand. He remembered this severe beating and would definitely make up for it next time. Old man, since you are so powerful, is it okay to help my partner build a weapon? When Todosai heard this, he breathed flames at the remaining spearhead of the lightning strike blade and struck it with a hammer. He didn't know what he was thinking. During this period, he raised his head several times and looked at Li Xia with eyes as big as two light bulbs, full of scrutiny. As for whether you want to help with this specifically? It's really a bit undecided. Seeing his old friend hesitate, Grandpa Mingjia quickly jumped over and onto Todasai's shoulder. 
Then, in the year of the old colleague in front of him, Li Xia recounted the many times he had cared about their young master in Yuyasha. With the addition of this crucial bargaining chip, the old swordsmith looked over again, and his eyes suddenly became much friendlier. The tone of voice also became loose. Human brat, I can help you forge a superior weapon but the question is, how do you control it? Are you just an ordinary human being? How can you control a magical weapon that can only be used by monsters if you have no demonic power? It is true that ordinary humans do not have demonic power, but I am different. As Li Xia spoke, he took out the big Osmanthus mask and put it on his face. Although I don't have demon power myself, I can temporarily possess it through Shikigami. A mask like Shikigami? It's a good idea. Okay, Inuyasha, give me the Tetsuyasha, and let me see how my Tetsuya has been ruined by you. What is waste? Inuyasha was so angry that his teeth started to itch. After some testing, we found a lot of problems. There are so many scratches on the blade, my poor Tetsuya. Inuyasha, don't you pay attention to the maintenance of your knife when you use it? Are there scratches? Isn't that normal? This is the top-notch sword among the demon knives. How can it leave scratches so easily? Do you know how to use the Taisuya? When you fight against the enemy, don't you just swing the Tai Suya randomly to chop and smash it? By the way, can you boys see the power of wind contained in this knife? Wind power? What is that? General, what kind of unreliable master did you choose for Tai Suya? Toto Sai was filled with sorrow. He turned to look at Inuyasha with a look of disgust on his face. Inuyasha, you've had Tetsuya for a while, right? Don't tell me, you can't even use the wind wound. What is wind damage? What is wind damage? Of course it's Tai Suya's basic S. As the top demon sword known for its destructive power, it naturally has its pride. A slight wave of wind damage can destroy hundreds of demons in one blow. With a little bit of force, you can even chip away at the mountain. And wind injury is just Tai Suya's primary S. Dig deeper, and there are even bigger surprises. Inuyasha, make good use of Tetsuya and treat it as a part of your body. I don't want my lovely Tetsuya to be covered in bruises the next time I see it. There seems to be another deeper meaning in Todasai's words. Inuyasha didn't really listen to this, and responded very perfunctorily. I know, I know. Humph. If you have nothing else to do, you can leave human boy, it will take three days for me to build a weapon for you, so you can come back and pick it up after three days. Mr. Todosai handed the repolished Tetsuya to Inuyasha and immediately issued an order to expel him. Then thank you Grandpa Todosai. Li Xia was overjoyed and thanked him loudly. On the other side, Inuyasha took out a small iron wheel. Old man, do you think you can make another Hot Wheels exactly like this one? This small iron wheel is one of the relics of the Thunder Beast Brothers. The effect is similar to that of Neza's pair of fire wheels in myths and legends. It's a pity that the other one was destroyed by Ali's demon-breaking arrow. Of course, thanks to Ali's possession of Platycodon at the time, he accurately destroyed one of the hot wheels, otherwise he would have been miserable. Hey, it's a rare flying auxiliary magic weapon. But unfortunately, I am a swordsmith, and I can make swords. If you want to make other objects, you have to find another S. Todosai shook his head. Not even you. Inuyasha frowned slightly. Old man, you should know that as a half-demon, I do not have the ability to fly. This also prevents me from fighting with people in the sky. But if I can have a pair of hot wheels to help me, it will make up for this shortcoming. Bored. Can you think of a way? Yes, Lord Todosai, Master Inuyasha's shortcomings are too obvious. Mr. Mingjia also tried his best to help. Li Xia on the side took everything in his eyes and secretly praised Inuyasha and Mingjia. There is no doubt that this was his prior proposal. All this time, Inuyasha didn't know that there was a mine behind him, so he didn't deliberately collect trophies such as lightning blades and hot wheels. But Li Xia knows. At this time, it was natural to strengthen Inuyasha as much as possible, while he took a sip of soup. Chapter, 40 After leaving the volcanic area, Li Xia and Inuyasha returned directly to Maple Village. After returning to the village, he carefully looked at his new partner Mithraya. His profession is mage. 
Although she is usually lustful and doesn't look very serious, she is very reliable at critical moments. There is a curse on this right hand from the big boss Nariku, and the curse formed a strange ability called Wind Cave. After opening the Wind Cave, this thing will be like a black hole, sucking everything in. However, once highly toxic things are inhaled, the body will be harmed. In addition, the wind point on the right hand will gradually expand as time goes by and the number of uses increases, and eventually even Mithraya himself will be swallowed up. However, the curse does not disappear. This curse will react on the heirs born before Mithraya's death after his death. And it is passed down from generation to generation until Nariku, the source of the curse, dies completely. The curse started from Mithraya's grandfather Mibal, and Mithraya witnessed his father being swallowed by the wind cave therefore, there is a lot of childhood shadow in my heart. In order to end the curse of the wind cave, for himself and for his descendants. He joined this team that specialized in collecting four soul fragments, and indirectly embarked on a journey against the big boss Nariku. June Mithraya, this is the first time we meet. My name is Li Xia, and I come from the same place as Ali. It's an honor to be your partner. Please take good care of me in the future, June Mithraya. Li Xia said very politely. He was sizing up young Mithraya, and Mithraya was also sizing him up. Hello. In his initial interactions with several members of the team, Miss Ali, as Amiko, gave him a sense of kindness and purity. The half demon Inuyasha gave him a brave and straightforward first impression, and the little fox demon Shippo was a rare monster close to humans. He could see through the three people in front of him at a glance, and he was very sure that they were all simple people. But facing the Xia Jun in front of him, he felt like he was seeing flowers in a fog, and he couldn't always see clearly. Probably similar to myself, they are the kind of people who care a lot about things. Xia Jun, please take good care of me in the future. Well, let's help each other and encourage each other. Li Xia is full of good intentions. It is also a kindness that comes from the heart. Because of this, Master Mithraya felt the enthusiasm of his new partner, and the stone hanging in his heart finally fell to the ground. Xia Jun, you have been traveling all the way. Do you need to rest in the village for a day? Ali asked aloud. After learning that the two had traveled a long distance to visit the crater where Totosai was located. She did not want to go out so soon to find the whereabouts of the Shir Khan fragments out of concern for her companions. You shouldn't need to rest, right? Xia Jun is not as delicate as you. Inuyasha muttered. Of course, this is not because Inuyasha wants to cause trouble, but simply says what comes to mind. In his opinion, Li Xia's physical fitness is considered to be very good among human beings after putting on that mask, it is even more extraordinary. I had just traveled for two days before, so my body was not exhausted. But Inuyasha's tone made the girl unhappy, and she said angrily. Xia Jun is just a mortal body of an ordinary human being, not your ironclad half-demon body. Li Xia naturally understood that this was a Li's concern. Therefore, after thanking the girl for her kindness, he directly stated the importance of the next action. We must move quickly, otherwise an accident may happen. Needless to say the value of the four soul fragments, the vast majority of monsters cannot resist the huge temptation brought by the four soul fragments. Even the big monsters will find it difficult not to be tempted by Baoyu. And I have already analyzed it with you before. Outside the area where we were previously active, there is very likely to be a very troublesome monster. Like us, he is quickly collecting the four soul fragments. If the exorcists in the exorcist village get one or two fragments in the daily process of exterminating monsters, it is a common crime. Conflict between the two sides is inevitable. In the same way, we will run into that monster sooner or later. After saying this, Li Xia paused and then said. If we continue to search for the whereabouts of the four soul fragments step by step, it means that I am in the open and the enemy is in the dark. This is a very bad situation, because we may be led by the opponent at any time. A slight oversight just lose everything. As the old saying goes, it takes a thousand days to commit a thief, but a thousand days to guard against a thief. Since there is a demon slayer village on the surface, we can take this as an opportunity to have a mantis stalk the cicada and the oriole behind. Reverse the forces of light and darkness. At the worst, we can also know who our opponent is through this battle. 
These words convinced Inuyasha and Shippo, and made Miroku extremely surprised and in agreement. However, Ali is still a little worried about his situation. Xia Jun, are you in such a hurry? After all, he traveled around for two days as a mortal, and spent most of the time on the road. Otherwise, it would have been impossible to return to the village from Totozai so quickly. Go there early and prepare early. According to the original timeline, after the ghost girl Li Tao, they are at least one day for the return journey. At least two days before and after meeting Master Mithreyo. The two or three days when the painter made trouble. Two days after encountering Sesomaru. Three or four days before the wild wolf incident. Two days have passed since Platykodon and Ali collided for the second time. After the Demon Slayer Coral hunted a monster, she received a four-soul fragment and returned to the Demon Slayer village for two days. After this, he was plotted by Neraku. It was Inuyasha and his entourage who were led to the Demon Slayer village and framed. And met the second female lead Coral for the first time. In other words, regardless of all external factors, in the original plot. The Demon Slayer village was attacked by a large number of demons instigated by Neraku, which happened at least half a month after the Li Tao incident. But now, only eight days have passed since Li Tao died. They still have at least six or seven days to travel and prepare. Therefore, as long as Li Xia moves quickly enough, he can arrive before the monster group attacks the Demon Slayer village. Thus destroying Neraku's conspiracy. Although the Demon Slayer Coral's strength is one of the best in the entire village, the others, including Coral's father and two uncles, are not easy either. As long as one of these people is on guard against Kahaku, who is controlled by Neraku in the younger generation, or on this eleven-year-old brat, tragedy will hardly happen. Unfortunately, there are not so many ifs in the world. Team here. With Grandpa Mingjia leading the way, and after an afternoon of rushing, everyone was still at most half a day away from the Demon Slayer village. It's a coincidence. Just after everyone left Maple Village for a while, a young nobleman with long silver white hair shawl and a moon mark on his forehead approached Granny Fong. And bluntly said that he came to find Inuyasha. On Grandma Feng's side, Li Xia had given her a clever plan in advance, so she decisively transferred the conflict. You mean, they went to find the guy who secretly collected the four soul fragments. In addition, if I can collect thirty-four soul fragments and get a gem from the treasure fairy ghost that leads to the monster cemetery. Inuyasha so you voluntarily handed over Tai Suya to my brother to study for half a year, right? Good. Granny Fong said very definitely. Although she didn't know why Li Xia asked her to say this when she met this noble young master, but since even Inuyasha agreed, she had no reason not to cooperate. What else did Inuyasha say? The young nobleman with two red demonic lines on his left and right cheeks asked curiously after receiving a positive answer, stroking his long silver hair from the side of his face. Inuyasha has always been proud of the monster blood in his body. He wants to become a perfect full monster, but the half-demon body is not so easy to transform. And since he was a child, no one has been helping him, and he doesn't know himself. What kind of brother is there? Therefore, he can only rely on himself, he can only rely on himself. This is an emotional card. I don't know if it's useful. Anyway, let's call it out first. Fifty years ago, after learning about the existence of the Four Souls Jade, Inuyasha wanted to use the power of the Four Souls Jade guarded by his sister to realize his wish and become the perfect great monster. Trying to reach the height of his father. Unfortunately, he was some in the dark did it. By the way, Inuyasha also asked me to tell you, if you want to surpass your father on your own, you can never completely rely on the iron teeth left by your father. You must find your own way. His goal is to use his own teeth to create a weapon comparable to broken teeth. He asked me to ask you, as an elder brother, how generous are you? As soon as Granny Maple said these words, Sesomaru, whose golden eyes were bright and noble, suddenly narrowed his eyes. Want to measure my measurements? Want to surpass your father? Snort. I don't know how high the sky is and how high it is. But even Granny Fong could see the inner unrest of the noble young master in front of her. Chapter, 41 the night is hazy and the stars are bright. Around a fire, everyone gathered in a circle. 
Mithraya and his little follower, Ba leaned against a big stone with their backs on a big rock. And a soft cushion sat under their buttocks A Li was reminded by Li Xia and went back to modern times to bring these items to share with his friends. Li Xia leaned against a big tree and huddled in a sleeping bag. Then there are Inuyasha and Minga, one is sitting quietly on the top of the big tree holding Tai Suya, and the other is lying quietly on his young master's shoulder. As for the only girl in the team, Ali. He was lying comfortably in his sleeping bag. Finally, there is the little fox demon Chibao, leaning on the edge of the sleeping bag and looking up at the stars there are so many stars in the sky. Which one is more, the number of stars or the number of four soul fragments? While his eyes were wandering, he let out a gentle breath. We have only collected ten pieces of the four soul fragments here. It seems that there is a long road ahead. That's not necessarily the case. On the treetop, Inuyasha chirped. Little Chibao blinked. If you can find another guy who is also collecting the four soul fragments, gathering all the fragments is not as troublesome as you think. Look, when he collects more, we can just run and grab them. It's very simple. Bar. Inuyasha's response was always crude and simple. Hearing this, Chibao sighed. Inuyasha, don't forget, the more four soul fragments a monster gets, the greater its strength will increase. And the increases that monsters of different levels can get from the four soul fragments are also different. The more powerful the monster, the more powerful the four soul fragments will be. The development is becoming more and more efficient. If the monster behind collecting the four soul fragments is a big monster, and he has been strengthened by a large number of four soul jade, can we really deal with it? Alas, by then, it might be too late. Don't forget Fatian among the Thunder Beast brothers, he once put you in a tough fight. As for Fatian, he is at most a high level monster. A flying monster is so troublesome, but how terrifying must it be for a big monster that has obtained many four soul fragments? So we still have to collect more fragments first. Chibao pretended to be old fashioned and said, Inuyasha, a kid like me knows sewing, why don't you understand it? Really? You little devil. Inuyasha gritted his teeth in anger. The taunts from the little kid made him feel like his forehead was cracking, his knuckles cracked, and he grinned so hard that he didn't know how to refute. Did I said wrong thing? Humph, you deserve a beating, don't you? The red figure jumped down from the tree, about to give the little fox an iron fist of love. At this time, Miroku spoke in Yasha, if you successfully collect all the four soul fragments, what are your plans after that? As the voice fell, Inuyasha stopped playing with Shippo. After collecting all the jade of four souls. While pondering, he found a place beside the fire and sat down. If you collect all the four soul jade for me, I will make a wish and become a real great monster. Are you giving up your half-demon body? Miroku looked up. Lysia Ali also cast a searching look. Inuyasha crossed his arms on his chest and calmly faced the attention of everyone. My dream from the beginning was to become a big monster like my father who can stand on his own. After all, if you're not strong enough, you can't do anything. Even if you meet someone you don't like, if you're not as strong as the other person, there's nothing to say. Things are different when you become powerful enough to become a great monster. You can do whatever you want. Whichever one you don't like, beat them until they like it. At that time, you will be free to do whatever you want. Li Xia recognized Inuyasha's words. What he will pursue in the future is this simple power. But Inuyasha, after you turn into a complete monster with the help of the Shurkan Tama, can you still maintain your current state? Mithraya asked seriously. Inuyasha raised his eyebrows. Mirokakuan, what do you mean? Inuyasha, you should have noticed it too. The Jade of Four Souls has been transferred to various monsters and humans many times over hundreds of years, and there must be many people who make wishes to it. But have you heard of anyone who ended up having a good end? Mithraya let out a soft breath. On the side, Li Xia also added a few words in a deep voice. Inuyasha, after my research on the Four Soul Fragments, I also have an immature idea. Even those who have obtained the Jade of the Four Souls may lose their minds as a price when making wishes. And the Jade of Four Souls may not have been as powerful as it is now at the beginning. It's just that for hundreds of years, it has been nourished by the emotions and desires of various living beings, so that just one fragment can produce incredible miraculous effects. 
Are you worried that when I turn into a monster, it will bite me back? Good. Humph, so what? I didn't say I wanted to become a good monster. When Inuyasha said this, he lowered his head slightly. Li Xia, who was opposite, took a deep look at Erguzi. Mithraya beside him added a log of firewood to the fire and immediately asked. Inuyasha, if you become a complete monster, the first thing you will do is to be controlled by the Shir Khan Jade and the people around you. For example, Ali Chibao, Grandpa Minka and Xia Jun, and even Miss Kikio and the village Granny Fong and others inside. Are you sure that you are the dream you are pursuing? Us? Chibao slowly sat up straight, looking a little nervous and scared. Then sewing suddenly occurred to him and he quickly raised his doubts. Inuyasha will attack us when he turns into a monster. What about you, Mirokukuin? Why doesn't he attack you? In response, flower monk Mithraya smiled gently. Of course I would have run away early in the morning. How could I be with Inuyasha who was about to make a wish? When everyone heard this, the corners of their mouths couldn't help but twitch. As expected of you, Mithraya Kuin. On the other side, Inuyasha clenched his teeth and frowned. Nonsense. How could I possibly do sewing like that? Besides, the reason why the rumors about the Shir Khan Tama have always been bad is because the monsters or humans that have been associated with the Shir Khan Tama so far are not good things. And with my nature of mind, it is impossible to be bewitched by Baoyu. I'm different from those guys. I hope so. After that, there was no talking all night. Everyone went to sleep with their own thoughts. Mithraya's little follower, Ba was riding along. He travels on a loaf-shaped flying vehicle transformed by the civet cat demon Hachi. Noon the next day. Everyone rushed to the demon slayer village. Compared to climbing over mountains and ridges step by step, although Abba's flying speed is not fast, it is definitely not slow either. It is no problem to fly two to three hundred kilometers in a straight line every day. When they arrived at the demon slayer village, with Grandpa Mingjia as their guide, everyone was the first to get acquainted with one of the village's greatest assets Micah. Micah, hundreds of years ago, was the fighting partner of the creator of the Shirkan Tama, Miko Suko. He is a two-tailed cat who has learned spirituality. The whole body is furry and has a very keen sense of smell and perception. The size can be large or small. Little Micah is its pet form, and Big Micah is its mount state. The large Micah looks very fierce after transformation, the monster's power is at the level of a two-star medium monster at this time, it has fangs and claws. Its strength will be greatly increased, and it has the ability to fly very quickly when flying in the air, it has the special effect of being wrapped in fire. In addition, this little guy has good defense and a long lifespan. Micah is very loyal to her master, whether it is the deceased Suezi or the current master Coral. In the original timeline, the little guy had always followed Inuyasha and his party silently even though he was always ignored and always hurt, he never complained. After Li Xia and his party arrived, they asked to meet the village chief. That is Coral's father. We are here on important matters, please make it a convenience. Want to see the village chief? Guys, you are here by accident. The village chief and Coral have gone to the castle more than a hundred miles away to eliminate demons. If you are not in a hurry, you can wait in the village for the village chief and his companions to return. Going out? When? Yesterday morning. According to their foot power, this time must have arrived. After receiving a positive reply, Li Xia and others looked at each other. Especially Li Xia, his face was uncertain for a while. How so? The time doesn't match up. Moreover, all the elite forces have gone out and only Micah is left to guard the village as the base camp. This is very wrong. It is true that the job of the exorcist is to hunt evil monsters everywhere. But this side of the village is seriously lacking the support of one or two elites, so this seems inappropriate. It seemed like it was deliberately set aside. No, that guy probably took action in advance. Realizing that he might have underestimated the big boss Neraku, Li Xia felt a thump in his heart and suddenly had a very bad premonition. Chapter, 42. What's wrong, Mr. Xia? Mithraya was the first to notice the change in Li Xia's expression, so he asked aloud. With everyone watching, Li Xia was ready to tell him that the castle was a trap for the big boss Neraku. 
But the problem is. How did he know about Neraku's existence? How did you guess that it was a trap for Neraku? And if he takes the initiative this time, will Nai back focus on taking care of him when dealing with the protagonist group? As for the protagonist group, no matter in Yuyasha, Ali, Miroku, or Coral, they are all inextricably linked to Neraku in the original timeline. Inuyasha was tricked to death by Neraku fifty years ago, and the only relationship between them was life and death. Ali is the reincarnation of Platycodon Grandiflorum, and his but determines his position. Miroku's grandfather and father died due to the wind cave created by Neraku's curse. And they are mortal enemies of each other because if Miroku didn't Neraku, he would have followed his father's footsteps in a few years. Here in Coral, the hatred is even deeper. Neraku controlled Kahaku with his own spider silk, secretly attacked and ate his father and uncle, and seriously injured her. The entire village of demon slayers was also destroyed by a group of monsters arranged by Neraku. And the hatred between the two could not be eliminated even if all the water in the five lakes was poured out. Originally, with these main combat forces standing in front of the stage to attract most of the attention of the big boss Neraku. He only needed to learn from Chibao, Grandpa Mingjiao. Ah Ba, Yun Yu, etc. To be a little transparent, and he could lie down until the later stage. But if he stands out here and acts too smart, Neraku will most likely look for an opportunity to plot against him and him. Just like tricking the Miko Hitomi to death. The current Neraku is not the pull-up pants who wanted to die in the later stage. Therefore, he'd better keep a low profile as much as possible. To avoid being targeted by Neraku, even focus on taking care of him. At least until you have the ability to escape and save your life, don't deliberately try to show off or pretend to be cool. After all, people really will die. So how to resolve the crisis among the demon slayers who went to Neraku city and the demon slayer village? Suddenly, Li Xia's brain was running wildly. Afterwards, while thinking about it, he responded to his friends. Mithraya, I'm a little worried about the situation of the village chief and the elites in the village. It is certainly not easy to have all the experts in the exorcist village, including the village chief, dispatched to deal with a monster. Although many experts have been dispatched to the village, and they are very confident that the monsters will be eliminated in one fell swoop, don't be afraid of 10,000 just in case. Pay attention to the team of demon slayers. This shouldn't be an outstanding performance, right? Well, Xia Jun, what you said makes sense. Mathreya nodded and then changed the subject. And I heard that the village chief's daughter, 16-year-old Miss Coral, is beautiful, gentle and heroic. She has quite good SS at a young age and is one of the most powerful figures in the entire village of exorcists. Such a good girl, I can't wait to see her right away. Li Xia smiled happily when he heard this. Sure enough, the only people who can impress Mathreya are girls. When Mithraya saw this, he gave an expression that only a man would understand. Coral. Please don't let me down. Since the two of them decided to take such a trip, the others naturally had no objections. At most, they just complained in their hearts. Mister with the many casualties, the losses are quite large. Why don't we stay and wait for the village chief and others to come back? Ali suggested. And he was really thinking about the people in the village, not those four soul fragments. But Li Xia waved his hand decisively. Higurashi-san, your suggestion was originally a good idea, but it's not suitable right now. Ali said puzzled. Li Xia pursed his lips at Inuyasha, who was very unhappy next to him. It turns out that most of the people in the Demon Slayer village accepted the little fox demons Shippo and Inuyasha because of Yunmei and Grandpa Minka. However, not everyone in this village is a moderate. Therefore, as a half-demon, Inuyasha is more or less viewed with a colored eye by some villagers. That repulsive look of caution and disgust hurt Inuyasha deeply. This is also sowing that can't be helped. Higurashi-san, Inuyasha is our partner if you wrong anyone outside, don't wrong your own friends. At least I can't just watch my friends being wronged here. Li Xia said solemnly and seriously. The look in his eyes at this moment doesn't lie. Inuyasha took a deep breath and said nothing more. The others were thoughtful. Of course, Li Xia still had two considerations that he didn't say. One is to rush to Neraku's castle now, maybe there's still time to save one or two of the master demon slayers. 
If the corpses of several Master Demon Slayer Masters are all intact, it is not impossible to use the power of the four soul fragments to save them all. Wait until a united front with Sesomaru is reached later, and then remove the four soul fragments and use the natural teeth to save them. It will be just right. Can be seamlessly connected. Another consideration is that if Naraku determines that he cannot sow discord between Coral and Inuyasha and others through the destruction of the Demon Slayer village. There is a high probability that Coral will be Ed directly. Yes, Corals are in dangerous condition right now. Since Naraku cannot use Coral to plot against the protagonist, it means that Coral has no use value for him. For garbage, normal people throw it away instead of keeping it. Coral died because of this, which was not what Li Xia wanted. After all, to deal with the super weak Naraku, it is better to have as many masters as possible. Do I need to remind them? The four soul fragments may attract monsters. The kind-hearted Ailey still fought for it. For Inuyasha, she no longer planned to stay. But she also couldn't bear to see the innocent villagers suffer because of the four soul fragments. You must be reminded. Li Xia nodded. While talking, he touched the cute little Micah's little head. Micah, Coral and the others have gone to the city, and the village is unprecedentedly empty at this time if the surrounding monsters receive the news and gather for revenge. You will not be able to protect them, nor can you protect the few four soul fragments in the village. What do you think of this? It's up to you and Grandpa Mingjia to take out the fragments of the four souls in the village and give them to Ali as a witch, and she will keep the fragments temporarily. When your master Coral and the village chief come back, let's discuss how to deal with the four soul fragments. You should know very well that leaving those four soul fragments in the village is not a good thing. That's a good idea. Inuyasha nodded vigorously. Grandpa Mingjia thought for a while and agreed. Although the others feel that doing so is suspected of stealing, it is a special time and special treatment. The people in the exorcist's village cannot protect these four soul fragments. These fragments will only bring disaster to the villagers. Therefore, there was no objection. The last one was Micah. After shaking his little head, he took Grandpa Mingjia to the depths of the village, and soon brought out four more fragments. Seeing that all the fragments were in Ali's hands, Li Xia also made a decision. Higarashi Kuen, I'll give you these two. In order not to be targeted by Naraku, he had to be careful. At worst, when you need it, just ask Ali to use it. Xia Jun, is it okay? You take it with you, I'm relieved. Then there's the village side. Grandpa Mingjia, Yun Yu, there may be caves or the like around here. If there are caves, I can temporarily set up a simple barrier. If the village is really attacked by monsters, we may be able to hide in it to avoid a catastrophe. A cave? Yun Mu and Grandpa Mingjia thought of a place at the same time. And this is exactly what Li Xia wants. It was not convenient for him to tell directly about Tsuezi Cave. But as Grandpa Mingjia and Yun Kue pointed out, the nature is different. Chapter, 43 There is a cave in the back mountain of the Demon Slayer village. At the entrance of the cave, there is a powerful alive barrier. Is this here? How to get in? Li Xia looked at Xiao Yunyu who was leading the way. But I saw the little guy jumping on his four calves and entering through the barrier without any hindrance. When everyone saw this, their eyes lit up. Didn't you get stopped? Perhaps even those who are simple and kind-hearted will not be rejected by this barrier. The only ones it excludes are those with ulterior motives. While talking, Inuyasha, Moroku and others followed Karara and entered it. After walking more than ten meters, Ali turned back inadvertently and saw Li Xia, who was walking at the end, still looking thoughtful at the entrance of the cave. Xia Jun, why are you still outside? Are you thinking about sewing important? The girl expressed concern. Well, I was just trying to see if this barrier can stop those monsters attacking the village. Li Xia smiled back. Then he put aside some of the distracting thoughts in his heart, and tentatively took a step forward again with a little nervousness this time. He was no longer blocked by the barrier and successfully crossed the transparent barrier. This made him breathe a sigh of relief, not bad. Otherwise it will damage the image. It seems that the idea of collecting materials from Tsuezi's mummy body and making clay figures is really bad. Xia Jun, what was the result of your attempt? 
If there is a monster attack, can the villagers hide in this cave? No problem. People with evil thoughts will not be put in by this barrier even if they are lucky enough to get in, if they have bad thoughts, they will be forcibly kicked out by this almost alive barrier. That's right. The cave is very long, three to four hundred meters long. What's interesting is that even without torches, everyone can see clearly what's going on inside. Things inside seem to have their own luster. The group quickly walked deeper until they reached a huge space with a diameter of at least 300 meters. Here, there are an astonishing number of monster corpses piled up. So many monsters. There are dragons, earth spiders, all kinds of powerful ghosts. Hiss. None of them are simple characters. Mithraya and Grandpa Mingjia's eyes widened, and their hearts were shocked beyond words. Shippo hid behind Inuyasha, only leaning out half of his body to look carefully and after looking around, not only did he not calm down, but he was trembling a little. Does anyone feel any discomfort? What's wrong Shippo? I feel very uncomfortable staying here. Even though they were separated by hundreds of years, even though these monsters had been dead for hundreds of years, some of their corpses still gave him an inexplicable sense of oppression. Especially the petrified skeleton of the fused monster in the center. Just one look at it made his hair stand on end. There seems to be someone on the head of the fused monster. Everyone heard the sound and went away, took a closer look, and soon found a human female warrior whose body was half devoured by monsters. Is that the legendary Miss Tsuezi, the strongest Miko? Is she the one who single-handedly destroyed the most powerful and evil monster army in history? It's really amazing. Her lower body has merged with the monsters. Look at her chest, there seems to be a big hole. The Miko Tsuezi is the creator of the Shurkan Jade. The invisible barrier at the entrance of the cave originated from this witch. Tsuezi was a human witch from hundreds of years ago. During the era in which she lived, the land of the island country was controlled by many princes and nobles. In order to compete for power and gain, wars broke out from time to time. And war means casualties, which means a lot of corpses. As a result, the number of monsters that feed on human corpses increases dramatically. As the number of monsters increases, powerful characters will always appear. Originally this was nothing because monsters and humans have been hunting each other for a long time, and the two sides have always maintained a balanced range. But the problem is, Tsuezi is so special that she can defeat all monsters. This includes great demons and even super great demons. Tsuezi has the ability to arbitrarily extract the soul of any monster from the opponent's monster body, and then purify and eliminate it. This is quite an explosive S. Generally, after a monster dies, its soul goes to the monster cemetery and then enters the depths of the underworld. Tsuezi's side is better, he can directly eliminate the root cause once and for all. This also made the entire demon world at that time fearful. After all, no one can guarantee that Tsuezi will not come to seek their bad luck. What to do? How to face Tsuezi's ability? After thinking about it, none of the elites in the demon world could think of a way to solve this big trouble by themselves. If there is really no way to solve the big trouble, then we can only do everything we can to get rid of the person who caused the trouble. As a result, the monster elites from the evil camp who did not want to sit still and be defeated one by one, stood up one after another. They decided to join forces to form a super army to deal with Tsuezi, who had become a thorn in their side, and eradicate this huge threat to the demon world. Soon. A war broke out that lasted for seven days and seven nights. The location of the outbreak was exactly at the back of the Demon Slayer village. Tsuezi is powerful, but sometimes her manpower is exhausted. In the end, because he was outnumbered, before he was exhausted and about to be swallowed by the super fusion formed by countless monsters. He used the remaining power to extract the souls of the monsters, and combined his four souls to form a gem in his heart. That is the Jade of the Four Souls. After Bao Yu popped out of the chest, it traveled around the outside world for hundreds of years and experienced dozens, hundreds, or thousands of owners. Until Platycodon was robbed, Bao Yu was reincarnated with him, and finally Ali took him back to this era of this world. It's hard to imagine what kind of tragic war Miss Tsuezi went through back then. Damn it, is it possible that Miss Tsuezi has been fighting alone for seven days and seven nights, and no one can help her? Ali was a little unhappy about this. Higurashi-san, 
take a closer look at this cave is there anything wrong? What's the meaning? Everyone, take a closer look. Are there any traces of monster bones in the stone walls around the cave? A few people investigated for a while, and then looked at each other yes, and there are quite a few. After Li Xia received a positive reply from Inuyasha and others, he shrugged. Then the answer is clear. This cave, and even this mountain, are most likely to be the fused body parts of those monsters back then. At that time, Miss Tsuezi was probably dragged into the body of the fusion body by the monsters and fought fiercely. The wizards and witches outside could not help her at all. Miss Tsuezi was eaten alive. As soon as Li Xia said this, Inuyasha, Miroku and others suddenly changed their expressions. Everyone has a numb scalp feeling. The entire cave of hundreds of meters and even the entire mountain of thousands of meters are transformed into the bodies of monsters. How could such a thing happen? Are you kidding me? Nothing is impossible. The power of the Four Souls Jade is no accident. Li Xia let out a breath, and the shock in his heart also made his scalp numb. In the original work, similar situations occur whether it is Neraku in Bailing Mountain or the Super Flying Spider in the later stage. The reason why everyone can't understand it right now is just because they haven't been exposed to it yet. Okay, you can feel free to leave the village and go to the city to find the village chief and them. Kikio died, but her sadness and resentment still remained in her ashes and reincarnated soul it was precisely because of this that Kikio was resurrected as a pottery figurine. Here at Tsuezi, when she was about to die, she was very sad and unwilling to think about it. The sadness and unwillingness remained in this cave, and it suddenly materialized and evolved into the psychic barrier at the entrance of the cave. Humans without bad intentions can pass through the barrier freely. In other words, the villagers in the exorcist village can regard it as a safe zone. The escape route Li Xia chose for the demon exterminator village was this huge cave space. There is ample space for activities here, and the entrance and exit of the cave are surrounded by a barrier set by Miss Tsuezi that is to say. The villagers only need to stock up on some food, fresh water, and firewood in advance to survive for a few days or even dozens of days. The necessities of life are no problem. This is the principle of the three cunning rabbits. When everyone heard this, their eyes brightened. Yes, if people in the village are attacked by a group of monsters, they can just move here in time to avoid the attack of the group of monsters and then come out. This way, unnecessary casualties can be avoided. Good idea. Mr. Mathreya praised sincerely. Yes. A strange color flashed in the girl's eyes. If you taste the color carefully, it will be somewhat intriguing. Li Xia naturally caught it, but he didn't think much about it and just regarded it as a temporary interest of a fifteen-year-old girl. In this era where monsters are rampant, we'd better be careful. Moreover, this is not my credit, but a gift from Miss Tsuezi. After confirming that there was such a cave, Li Xia felt relieved. Then he went straight back the way he came. Just when he passed through the barrier at the entrance of the cave, he felt the sadness and unwillingness of the person again. Wait for me. It won't be long. Chapter, 44 After making suggestions to the villagers. Everyone got on the long bread bus transformed into a flying boat by Aba, and then headed straight to the distant city. As for Micah. He stayed in the village. Xiao Micah has a keen sense of the large-scale gathering of demonic energy. With it here, if a group of monsters really gathers in the village and launches an attack, then the villagers can be warned immediately. In this case, the villagers will also have more time to transfer people. This is the best solution that Li Xia can think of at present. Neraku City is located. A team of five demon slayers was currently in contact with the castle's guards. Later, under the leadership of the city guard, the five people met the city lord. Exorcist, you are just in time. That big spider comes to attack this castle every night. Dozens of people in the city have been eaten by it one after another. Now it is causing panic. Are you sure there is a way to deal with it? It? Don't worry, if I can solve it, I won't treat you badly. Wealth and food have already been prepared. The city lord drew the pie as soon as he arrived, which made the village chief's father and two uncles look happy. Don't worry, lord city lord, please leave that spider monster to us. I was invited and selected several experts from the village to come with me this time. 
I will definitely satisfy you. Coral's father knelt on one knee and said respectfully. The rest of the people even knelt down respectfully to show their respect for the power. Experts. Are you sure the ones you brought are all experts? The city lord looked down from above. In his eyes, one is just a woman and the other is just a kid. Can he be called a master? When the middle-aged village chief heard this, he raised his lowered head. Please don't be surprised, city lord, these two are my eldest daughter and youngest son respectively. Although they are not very old, their SS are extremely extraordinary. Among them, the eldest daughter Coral is already one of the strongest in the village. Tonight, please see their SS. The village chief's words were full of pride and confidence. Okay, then let me learn a lot. The city lord raised his glass and smiled. What no one noticed was that his shadow had just shaken, and the back of a spider with several legs grew out of the humanoid outline. At this moment, the sky suddenly turned dark. Lord, that spider monster is coming. Exorcist, this is it, destroy it. The city guards rushed to guard the city lord. Coral and others nodded. Leave it to us. Then they divided into three groups and ambushed around the compound, just waiting for the monsters to arrive. Demonic clouds gathered in the sky, and the demonic aura became more and more intense. A pair of big scarlet lantern eyes were the first to light up among the spiraling demonic aura Ulu's clouds. However, looking at the menacing monster, it actually couldn't withstand a round of cooperation from the four masters. Before the eleven-year-old Amber could make a move, the big spider monster was quickly knocked to the ground. The big spider that we had a hard time dealing with before was Ed in one fell swoop. These demon slayers are so useful in cooperating. That woman is so amazing. The city guards on the side all exclaimed in surprise. Of course, I don't know if it was a special arrangement by the middle-aged village chief the one who performed most brilliantly in this battle was not him. The strongest in the village, but his daughter Coral. Okay, let's give this monster the final blow. The village chief and his two uncles started the last-ditch attack very swoolly. This is a very good habit. Okay, I'll come too. The young man Amber behind him couldn't help much just now, and he felt a little regretful. At this time, seeing that the uncles had ed the big spider, I was eager to go up and lend a hand and help collect relatively valuable materials from the monsters. But he didn't notice at all that a harmless spider thread falling from the sky happened to land on the back of his neck. On the big spider's side, Coral frowned slightly. It's so simple. Apart from being slightly larger in size, this spider is not good at all in other aspects, especially the demonic energy it exudes, which looks like a monster that can overwhelm a city. While the girl was thinking, sewing unexpected happened. For some unknown reason, his father and two uncles were suddenly attacked by his younger brother Amber. The three of them were either stabbed through the neck by a sickle made of monster bones, or stabbed to the core by a sharp bone knife. Because no one would be able to guard against their companions, not to mention that Amber was the son of the village chief and their relative. It is even less possible for everyone to go out of their way to guard against it. They were fatally attacked without any precautions, and the three died on the spot in confusion and shock. Amber, what are you doing? Coral wanted to rescue him, but it was too late. She stared blankly at the corpses of her father and uncles with a look of disbelief on her face. Why do you do this? She didn't expect this at all. Amber never said a word to this, but just rushed forward to attack her sister with blind eyes. Every move is a ing move. Amber. Don't you even recognize me? Coral was heartbroken with grief. The hundred or so people in the escort team felt puzzled. How could there be internal strife? The city lord, who was protected by layers of soldiers, was happily enjoying the fine wine while appreciating this wonderful show of kinship -ings. And stopped other people from stepping forward to interfere. In the field. A close fight ensued. Coral only defended but did not attack, keeping her hands open at all times. Seeing that she was gradually falling into a disadvantage, and at some critical moment, she was highly concentrated and noticed the spider thread on the neck of her little brother Amber. This is a spider thread invisible to ordinary people. The spider thread dropped from the sky and penetrated into the clouds above, and there was another similar thread at the same time. Who else could the object of that connection be but the city lord who looked at it with amusement? 
the city lord here is actually transformed into a monster. It's you. It's your fault. As Coral roared, he kicked his little brother away with all his strength, then picked up the flying bones on the ground, and then attacked the city lord with all his strength. She wants to him. She wants to avenge her father and uncles. However, what greeted her was a sneak attack from her brother Amber's flying blade after landing, and dozens of arrows from the escort team. Facing a hail of arrows, she used her flying bones to block them head-on but she was unable to block the sneak attacks from her relatives with flying blades. In other words, I habitually did not take precautions. As a result, her vest was easily pierced by the bone knife polished from the monster's bones. Following in the footsteps of his father and uncles. Blood flowed down the wound, staining his underwear red in the blink of an eye. Amber. On her deathbed, she saw her brother suddenly regaining consciousness and running toward her in tears. Then, he was pricked into a hedgehog by numerous arrows. Are you still late? Hurry and save people. Vaguely, the girl heard the sound of nature falling from the sky. It came so quickly. Deep in the castle, the young city lord Ren Jian In Dao squinted his eyes and looked at the direction where Li Xia and his party left, thoughtfully. Before that, he had arranged for a group of pets to be the most powerful and stop everyone halfway. As expected, the accident happened. Methreya didn't know which one was the most powerful, so he directly opened the wind acupuncture point and had a one pot. Not a single one was left behind. Well, the key reason why Methreya is so cruel is that everyone is hundreds of meters in the air. And Xiao Yunmu, a sky fighter, has not yet joined the team, and Ah Ba is a little monster with low combat effectiveness, and it is impossible to deal with the strongest of the group. If they didn't deal with this group of fiercest opponents, everyone would have to consider the danger of free falling from hundreds of meters in the air. Methreya has no choice but to fight for everyone as well as for himself. Later, he was poisoned. His face was dark and purple. Fortunately, Li Xia always had several antidote potions that were specialties of the Li family. This thing has a good suppressing effect and dissolving effect on many poisons. If it weren't for these potions, Master Mithraya would have to register directly to receive lunch this time. This delay in the middle of the journey resulted in a delay of several quarters of an hour. Chapter, 45 How are these people doing? The long bread transformed by Ah Ba flew into the air on the vehicle, and Ali asked aloud. At present, it seems that although this girl's injury is serious, it is not fatal. If she can be nursed back to health and recovered, she will be fine in a few months. As for the other three, one's neck was pierced, and one's neck was pierced. The heart was punctured only this uncle has the possibility of being rescued. Methreya examined the current situation of the four people and came to this conclusion. Li Xia, who was on the side, nodded and agreed with this statement two can be saved, two can't be saved. Coral was seriously injured due to Amber's sneak attack. However, the armor on Coral's body is made of the more precious materials on the monster's body that have significant defensive properties, comparable to body armor. Even if the sharp spear breaks through the hard shield, its subsequent strength will be greatly reduced. This is the main reason why the Coral was not penetrated through the chest and thus saved its life. The other demon slayer who was able to be revived was a middle-aged man. Although he was disemboweled by a sharp blade and almost cut in half, his spine and major organs were not damaged. Stuff the miscellaneous things back, then sew up the wound, and use hemostatic medicine, healing medicine. And antibiotics to treat the wound wait until the wound is bandaged, and finally insert a four-soul fragment into it. Four soul fragments are equal to one life at this time. Because the four soul fragments can not only hang lives, but also speed up the recovery of the injured. This is also confirmed in the original timeline. Coral was not only seriously injured by Amber's backstab, but was also injured by the city guard's random arrows and fire. However, Nariku embedded a four soul fragment into the girl's back, which not only relieved the pain, but also accelerated the recovery of the injury. Because of this, it would have taken more than a month to recover from the near death injuries. After leaving the four soul fragment, after the fragments were broken, it still only took ten days. This was all thanks to the two or three days of inlaying the four soul fragments. Those two or three days were equivalent to more than twenty days of recuperation. At the same time, it also explained sewing. That is, 
before the soul of the dying person dies completely, before his living soul becomes a dead soul. The four soul fragments can be used in time to stabilize the soul and speed up the recovery of physical injuries until the physical the injury will not directly lead to the death of the living soul. At that time, even if the four soul fragment embedded in the person's body is removed, the person will not be able to fight as the fragment is separated from the body. The situation with corals is exactly the same. The situation with amber is different. Amber is the resurrection of the dead. Because the eleven-year-old child had been dead for too long, his soul had changed from a living soul to a dead soul. Dead souls like to stay in bodies, which are clay bodies like Platycodon grandiflorum, not living bodies. Therefore, even if Amber's body is revived, once the four soul fragments are separated, Amber's dead soul will still leave the body and dissipate quickly. In the finale of the original work, Kikyo uses his own light to turn decay into magic, resurrecting the dead soul in Amber's body into a living soul. This is also the reason why Kahaku still survived even though the four soul fragments were taken away by Shinshimaru. A powerful witch can create miracles like this. It would be nice if I could be more optimistic, if we could arrive earlier. Ali whispered softly. This girl actually placed the responsibility on herself. Hearing this, Li Xia rubbed the little fox demon Chibao's little head. Higurashi-san, we have done enough. Everyone encountered quite a troublesome situation along the way. If Lord Mithraya had not stepped forward, the people in the Demon Slayer village would not have been the only ones who would have been unlucky. What's more, several Demon Slayers who originally had to die, now we have rescued two of them, we are very worthy of them. Li Xia said earnestly. Speaking of which, the swarm of poisonous bees on the way the fiercest one, from my point of view are probably a backup plan arranged by the monsters who secretly plan to eliminate the monster village. The purpose is to attack other people who are in the way of the city. Attack if you don't succeed, you will delay. And that guy should have been in the castle at that time, and he was carrying more than twenty-four soul fragments. This is sowing you clearly sensed, Higurashi-san. The opponent was able to collect more than twenty-four soul fragments in a short period of time, which shows how powerful he is. By the way, it is not difficult to see that that guy also has extremely efficient intelligence gathering capabilities and extremely high mobility. However, despite this, he still chose to carefully hide behind the scenes to avoid a head-on collision with us who have unknown details. Speaking of this, Li Xia sighed lightly. To be able to reach this level, the opponent is not easy. He is probably a ruthless character who only knows himself and his enemy before striking out. Next, let's make more preparations to deal with that guy's temptation. These words spoke highly of Naraku, and even contained a sense of recognition for his opponent. Everyone in the team looked solemn. Xia Jun, am I too useless? Apart from being able to sense where the four soul fragments are, I can't help at all. The girl still felt a little guilty. Li Xia did not refute this time, but nodded with certainty. Higurashi-san, you really need to improve yourself. You have a lot of powerful spiritual power, but you don't know how to use it actively. You can only activate it passively. This is not good. Next, let me arrange special training in archery for you. It just so happens that these two demon slayers need a while to recuperate after waking up. During this period of recuperation, they will give you special training, and at the same time, let everyone improve a little bit, which is a reasonable use of precious time. If you can maintain your own training for a long time and achieve some results in archery, it will definitely help you a lot sooner or later. The original work took three days ten days to recuperate the coral. This time, even if there are four soul fragments to help recover, seven or eight days is not too much, right? Wait until they recover. Will this delay our collection of the four soul fragments? On the side, Inuyasha, who was crossing his arms and crossing his chest, frowned and asked. Li Xia thought for a while and gave the arrogant plan that Erguzi announced a day ago. It's okay, just let those monsters toss around for a while let the people behind the scenes collect a few more fragments, and we will snatch them all back then. Seeing Inuyasha's mouth twitching, Li Xia pointed at Mithraya. We can't leave the heavily poisoned Mithraya to the care of the demon slayers in the demon slayer village, right? Those people can't even figure out a simple trick to lure a tiger away from the mountain. Can you trust Mithraya to them? 
it was naturally impossible for Inuyasha to leave his companions to the care of others. Everyone quickly rushed to the Demon Slayer village. But when the outline of the village could be vaguely seen, there was smoke. There were fires and rising black smoke everywhere. No, it's really a plan to divert the tiger away from the mountain. The village currently lacks experts to take charge, so most monsters will take advantage of the situation and attack there. Li Xia said with a solemn expression. He was right. When Neraku recruited the Coral father and daughter and two other village masters into the city. He sent a message to the surrounding monsters who had been targeted by the village of demon slayers all year round. The monsters in the mountains and fields were informed of the true and false information about the existence of four soul fragments in the demon slayer village and the lack of masters. Then, revenge came. The two sides, who had a mortal hatred for each other, were fighting until the end of time. The demon slayers fought hard, but the monsters took advantage of your illness to you. When the demon slayers in the demon slayer village fought a life and death battle with the monsters, and one party completely destroyed the other, Neraku's clone came out to clean up the mess. According to the plot development in the original timeline, this time, he can not only obtain at least five four soul fragments, but also eat many surviving monsters. You know, these monsters who are still alive are not too weak individually. Most of them are intermediate monsters with two-star monster power. At worst, it's on the same level as the Spider-Head Commander. After devouring this wave of monsters, I can't say that I am fat, but I am still a little full. However, Neraku's two-pronged approach was just a sideshow for this super half-demon long demon student. It's just a hobby for a boring demon student. Late again. There were corpses all around. There are many demon exterminators in the village, as well as various monsters. Chapter, 46 Li Xia and his party flew to the village, but they were not attacked in any way. Apart from the crackling fire, there were no living monsters or humans. In response, Li Xia secretly breathed a sigh of relief and said. It seems that the group of monsters that attacked the village has retreated. On the side, Inuyasha, who wiggled his nose and ears a few times, nodded. He also made no additional unusual findings. On the only mountain path that leads to the platform halfway up the mountain. You can see some unlucky monsters impaled by long and thick crossbow arrows in many places inside the wall surrounded by giant trees, there are many hangings that have been pierced by arrows. A transparent bird monster. Hundreds of houses either collapsed or were engulfed in flames. Corpses were scattered all over the village. There are humans, but most of them are monsters who attack the village but are trapped and ed by various clever traps and weapons. Being prepared, the villagers' counterattack seemed to be quite effective. It's so tragic. Ali looked at the bright red scene and felt a deep chill in his heart. For the girl, although she has been in this era on and off for a month. She has seen many bloody battlefields after small-scale collisions but compared with this battle in this village, it is not worth mentioning. Of. At this moment, it was the tragic scene here that made her, who had always been a little love-minded. See clearly the cruelty of the monster world in the warring states period it turned out that human life was so worthless in this era. Those evil guys really dare to come and massacre the village. Shippo followed closely behind Inuyasha. He is still young and relatively timid, plus he is a kind monster, and he has been practicing in the mountains with his father. So he has never seen such a sure a scene where hundreds of lives are fighting to death. Having already experienced the pain of losing his father, he, like Li Xia, understood the importance of strength. Let's go and have a look at the cave in the back mountain. I hope the demon slayers in the village will listen to our words and move the non-combatants as soon as they discover the demon swarm is coming, thereby preserving some blood. Otherwise. Alas, this village has been passed down for hundreds of years. On Inuyasha's shoulder, Grandpa Minka sighed while sniffing the burnt smell around him. The number of dead villagers at the scene was estimated to be more than 200. Dozens of them were wearing combat uniforms of demon slayers, and most of the other victims were young and strong. There are few women and children. In other words, most of the women and children in the village were relocated in a timely manner. This is barely a consolation. Everyone followed a forest path outside the village and went straight to the cave where Tsuezi created the Jade of Four Souls. Along the way, 
they found several more corpses of exorcists, more than a dozen corpses of miscellaneous monsters, and dozens of broken and fallen trees. The scene was a mess. Why are these monsters considered trash? One reason is because they were aired by ordinary demon slayers who stayed in the village, and the other reason is that Naraku despises them and is unwilling to absorb them. When we arrived at the cave, there were indeed corpses of monsters here. At the entrance of the cave, Xiao Yunmu stared at the outside world tiredly but extremely vigilantly until she saw Li Xia and his party. Especially the seriously injured and unconscious Coral and the middle-aged man. The little guy screamed excitedly, then dropped all his guard and rushed forward. It remembers the smell of everyone it is even more impossible to forget the smell of its little master Coral. But at this time, no matter how tired it was, it started to move and wanted to get into the arms of its little master. With a small leap, he drew a graceful arc and wanted to plunge into the embrace of the coral. Unfortunately, Inuyasha grabbed him with quick eyes and quick hands. She was seriously injured and needs to retreat, but she can't stand your troubles. Xiao Yunyu has long been psychic, so she can naturally understand the meaning of these words. He chirped twice more, and then gently jumped on the back of Ah Ba, who was in the shape of a long loaf of bread. Then he got close to the coral, stretched out his little tongue and licked the back of the little master's hand. Who is outside? Although there was little movement outside the cave, in this sensitive period, it still alarmed the survivors hiding in the cave. They found that the mica guarding the entrance of the cave was missing, and realized that sewing abnormal had happened. So they hurriedly packed the cave entrance with their men and their injuries, both serious and minor, just in case. However, after seeing Li Xia and his party, they all breathed a sigh of relief. When he saw Coral and another master in the village slowly awakening with the power of the four soul fragments, but not yet understanding the current situation, he cried for joy. Of course, I was also deeply saddened by the sacrifices of the village chief, Kahaku, and another master. If there were one or two experts in charge of the village this time, it would definitely not be so tragic. At the same time, he also thought that if he had not listened to the instructions of the distinguished guests in advance and strengthened his defense a little and if he had quickly moved the old, weak, women and children in the village when they were attacked by the monster group, the whole village would have been completely destroyed this time. Accounted for. Guys, I can't thank you enough this time. From now on, wherever you need it, just give us your orders. We will not refuse and will do our best. At the temporary residence in the cave, several old men in the village said sincerely. The few remaining demon slayers who survived also made assurances with firm eyes. The women and children around also cast grateful glances. For Inuyasha, a half-demon with an awkward identity, he no longer looked at him with the same colored eyes as when he first came into contact with him. It's just a little effort. You can rest and recover here, and everyone will have to contribute to rebuild the village in the future. Li Xia smiled back. Both sides enjoyed themselves happily. Rebuild the village. Is it appropriate to rebuild the village here? The older generation has raised very debatable questions. If we continue to build the village here, will the monsters come back and attack again? This time, the village's vitality has been cut in half. It can be said that the losses are heavy. The only experts left are Coral and Lao Air. The rest are ordinary demon slayers with less than two hands. There is no way they belong to those monsters. Opponent. The most important thing is that the mastermind behind deceiving the village masters to go to the city more than a hundred miles away has not officially ended yet. If that guy goes out in person, what will the village do with only three or two big and small kittens left? But if we don't rebuild the village here, we will violate the ancestral precepts of our ancestors to protect this cave. It's really a dilemma. Li Xia naturally understood the concerns of these people, so he put forward a reference suggestion. Everyone, it's best to think long term. The guy who is plotting against everyone is not simple, he is probably a powerful and well thought out monster. We felt the aura of more than 24 soul fragments from him. I don't need to say more about what this means, right? So I have two proposals. First, everyone uses this cave protected by the sage's barrier as the basis for settling down and establishing a comfortable living area. Everyone knows the pros and cons of doing so, so I won't go into details here. The second is a large force migrating to the southwest, 
taking the tribe away from this land and temporarily avoiding the enemy's edge. If you are capable, you will definitely have no problem supporting yourself if you are really short of daily necessities, we can help you find some solutions. If you keep the green hills, you won't have to worry about running out of firewood. As long as we accumulate enough manpower, it won't be too late to back. At the same time, you can also leave one or two said demon slayers to continue to be active in this area in order to collect intelligence on the opponent. Only when you know yourself and the enemy can you win every battle. It just so happens that the purpose of our team is to collect the four soul fragments to prevent evil monsters from using the power of those fragments to do evil. Therefore, he will definitely face off against the monster behind the plot against the village. If a master demon slayer joins the team, everyone will cooperate sincerely and help each other. Speaking of this, Li Xia took another thoughtful look at the coral and Mika. None of the old people in the village were stupid, and they all understood what the young man in front of them meant. One side collects jade fragments, and the other side avenges relatives and tribesmen. There will not be the slightest conflict of interest between the two parties. This is indeed a good proposal. Coral, what do you two think? The elder of the clan asked. Second uncle, my tribe is counting on you. You want to stay? Yes. I want to the monster behind us who plotted against us, and avenge my father, third uncle, and Amber. There seemed to be flames dancing in the coral eyes. Of course, there was another reason she didn't say, and that was that it was impossible for these saviors to let her and her second uncle take away the two four soul fragments. The fragments are now in their bodies to help them speed up their recovery. On the side, Micah, who felt the anger of her little master, also waved her little paws, looking angry. Chapter, 47 Coral, the exorcist, is tall and has a slender figure her eyes are dark brown, and she wears pink eyeshadow most of the time if it were normal times. Her black and shiny hair would be hanging behind her back, but at this moment, her long hair was tied into a refreshing ponytail. Paired with a combat uniform, he looks heroic. Many people may not believe it. Whether it was Li Xia or Mithraya, the two grown men were far inferior to this 16-year-old girl in terms of strength. Unless Li Xia is blessed with a high-quality powerful talisman. Coral Sauce, Micah, you are welcome to join us. Everyone smiled at the two new friends. Micah chirped, and Coral responded very politely. Please take good care of me in the future. By the way, where is my brother Amber? Why can't I see his body? Amber? When we arrived, we didn't see him. Didn't you see it? How come? A look of astonishment appeared on Coral's face. Indeed I didn't see it. Li Xia nodded with certainty. After a few of us had a group of flying poisonous insects blocking the road, we headed to the city as quickly as possible when we arrived. We happened to see the city guards carrying your bodies to the backyard where the young city lord was. A few of us immediately felt that there was sewing wrong with the young city lord, because if he wanted to bury you, he shouldn't have buried the bodies in the backyard where he lived. Throwing it outside the city or finding a corner and directly cremating it is the normal way to deal with it. He buried these experts in his backyard either because he had other plans, or because he wanted to dig the graves and eat them in the dead of night. Li Xia put eye drops on Neraku without any psychological burden. However, one thing is clear his speculation is completely consistent with the original work. It's just that Neraku didn't want to eat these master demon slayers, but wanted to plot against the Coral and Kahaku siblings. Unfortunately, Coral was too young, and due to injuries and scattered energy, he failed to notice these subtle flaws in the young city lord Neraku transformed into in the original timeline. As a young city lord, you buried us in your own backyard. This is indeed very serious. Coral nodded, becoming a little more cautious and wary of Ian Dao, who was the young city lord. After the matter was revealed, her eyes were still bright. Li Xia on the side simply told everything that happened next. Inuyasha and I both realized this, so we boldly guessed that the young castle lord was probably the true form of the monster. Combined with Higurashi-san's induction of more than 24 soul fragments, we were even more convinced of this. Of course, we first considered that you and your second uncle, Coral, can be saved even though their lives are in danger, and we also considered that we don't know the details of the other party. And the war is likely to affect thousands of ordinary people in that city therefore, no rash actions, no hasty actions to alert others. 
Instead, he fought off the guards first and took you back to the village. I plan to wait until you recover from your injuries before coming to find out the whole story. The words are well-founded, fairly coherent, and convincing. Thanks. In just a few words, the girl's affection for Li Xia and others doubled. With the addition of Coral and Micah. The team's current comprehensive combat capability has been greatly improved, and its shortcomings in flexible air combat and underwater combat have been greatly made up for. If you are hit by a group of fiercest attacks in mid-air, Coral and Micah will be perfectly fine. And it is different from the simple team formation of the original everyone just makes do. This time, Coral not only joined the team with a strong personal will, but also joined the team with the will of all the remaining clan members. She is here to repay the favor. Therefore, it is absolutely impossible to happen in the original timeline. When Coral first joined the team, for the sake of his younger brother Kahaku. He chose to betray his companions and stole Inuyasha's iron broken teeth to meet Neriku for the sake of his brother Kahaku, even though he felt guilty in his heart. If Inuyasha hadn't been generous enough, no one would have said anything even if the coral was chopped alive. Furthermore, Li Shebu took a precaution in advance he hinted to coral that her brother Amber might have been eaten by the monster behind the scenes. If another Amber appears later, be careful that it is a monster in disguise. If Neriku still wants to make a fuss about Kahaku, he should first be prepared to serve as the captain of the transportation team. He disagreed with Kikyo's idea. The original Kikyo originally wanted to use Neriku's hands to quickly collect the fragments of the four souls scattered everywhere, and then purify Neriku together with the complete four souls jade. There is no denying that this is the most efficient and fastest way. None of them. Comparing the protagonist group will make it clear. The protagonist group took advantage of the opportunity and ran around exhaustingly to get eight fragments Neriku, who was belatedly aware of it, collected as many as two fragments in less time. 34 Soul Fragments The gap in between seems quite intuitive, right? It is true that if Kikyo was in full form during his lifetime, he would still be worthy even if he faced Neriku, the six-star great monster after Bailing Mountain. One arrow can instantly break through the purple barrier that even red iron and broken teeth can't do anything about, which is proof of strength. But in the end she miscalculated on two points. One is overestimating the upper limit of his clay body. The other is to underestimate Neriku's growth rate. If Neriku hadn't absorbed Shinshimaru and Akaduji, and hadn't further sublimated his demonic power, Kikyo would have had a chance to win in a head-on confrontation. It's a pity, who would have thought that Neriku would create an Akaduji and allow Akaduji to create a Hashimaru puppet comparable to the level of a six-star great monster. After absorbing both of them, Neriku's demonic power and strength skyrocketed. Platycodon with residual blood is forced to come, which is equivalent to giving away food. Typical fall in love with full health, and the remaining health will be soaring. If Neriku hadn't seen Kikyo die in the later period, there would no longer be Kikyo in the world, the woman he had always wanted but never been able to get. He doesn't want to live anymore. I chose to face the protagonist group almost for free. If not, what can even the grown-up Guzi brothers do to Neriku? The big boss has the final say whether he wants to run away or wants to play dirty. Higurashi-san, in the next half month, I will train you in archery with this demon slayer master who is good at archery. You must study and practice seriously and don't slack off. You are the one who has never exerted your strength in our team. Ace. Li Xia encouraged. Xia Jun, please. Ali's eyes were like stars, shining brightly at this moment. After this. The wounded who survived in the village quickly controlled their injuries with the help of modern medicines brought by Li Xia and Ali. And because these ancient people didn't take any antibiotics, this makes modern medicine surprisingly effective. Furthermore, everyone also used the power of the four soul fragments to improve and strengthen many herbs that strengthen the foundation and strengthen the body. And strengthened many different types of healing medicines in terms of materials. This in turn speeds up the recovery of each wounded person. Coral, her second uncle and Mithraya also just need to take care of themselves. Inuyasha started a demonic collision training with Karara Karara released his own demonic energy to collide with Inuyasha's demonic energy, thus forming a rift in the demonic energy. The principle of demon sword Tai Suya's S wind wound is to use the collision of two demonic winds to create wind cracks. And then use Tai Suya to chop at this crack, 
forming an extremely strong hurricane to tear apart the opponent. This is wind injury. In order to prevent Karara from being bald by Inuyasha's careless mistake, Li Xia especially asked someone to put on a helmet of suitable size and excellent hardness for the little guy. What Ali didn't say was to practice archery. The little girl has a lot of natural strength. She can draw an arrow and shoot an arrow 60 or 70 steps, but she is not very accurate. On the morning of the first day, there was 15 meter target practice 100 arrows were initially set. And if 90 of them hit the target, they were considered qualified and could enter the next stage of 20 meter target. Everything is difficult at the beginning, and it is impossible to become a big fat man in one bite. The main purpose of the first day is to gain confidence and feel. Especially self-confidence is very important. Therefore, it is not easy to climb up to the high difficulty level of 60 to 70 meters. That will only hurt the girl's self-confidence. Results 15 meter target 99 shots hit the target, and they were basically in the high scoring ring 20 meter target also had 97 shots hit the target. And the proportion of high scoring rings was also quite high. Keep up the good work 25 meter target, 92 shots hit the target. Well done, Higurashi-san, you are very talented in this area. Li Xia did not hesitate to praise him. Ah. Uh, is there any? Ali was a little embarrassed to be praised. Yes, it's really amazing. After all, it was only a month ago that you came into contact with bows and arrows. The key is just Yi Luzi's contact. Moreover, no one taught Ali all aspects of experience, and at the same time, there was not much training to calm down. To be able to achieve this result under such circumstances, it is not difficult to see that the little girl is very talented in archery. So on the first day, Ali practiced very happily. Unknowingly, the look he looked at Li Xia became more intriguing. It's a pity that Li Xia didn't notice at all. Everyone has their own practice direction, and there is no reason why Li Xia would be too relaxed here. During this period, he, Inuyasha and Mr. Minka took the time to go to the Tatsai in Karara. Later, under the guidance of Mr. Mingjia, he went to a hermitage of demons and immortals. This is the mind behind Inuyasha. Is it okay for him to drink the soup along with it? Chapter, 48 Yao Lao Poison Immortal has boundless magical power, can attack any enemy, and is invincible in every battle. Yao Lao Poison Immortal, his dharma controls the heavens, he will enjoy immortal blessings forever, and his lifespan will be as long as the heavens. The Yao Lao Poison Immortal has vast supernatural powers, is powerful throughout the world, and is invincible in ancient and modern times. Yao Lao Po Immortal, with wonderful hands and benevolent heart, creates subtle virtues, and saves the suffering. That's right, what Li Xia and Inuyasha are about to visit is the Poison Sage, the monster who helped the protagonists cheat in the original work. The four words of praise above are flattering words that Li Xia has been brewing in his heart for a long time. However, considering that I have the relationship between Inuyasha and Grandpa Minka. Flattery or sewing. It's okay not to take pictures. Yao Lao Po Immortal, as a monster immortal who is in charge of poisons and medicines, his ability to use poisons and medicines is naturally at its peak. In the original work, Coral's flying bones were strengthened by the monster and immortal and turned into a poisonous weapon. Any monster Xiaoqiang who is famous for his resilience, once his body is shattered by the flying bones infected with the poison fairy's poison. The damaged body parts will not be able to recover for a long time. Even Neraku, who had six-star demon power after the Bailing Mountain incident, was no exception. I heard from the old man from the underworld that there happens to be a high-quality spiritual spring where Yao Lao poison immortal lives in seclusion. So, they came. My primary purpose here is to buy some spiritual spring water for free and use it to prepare high-quality spiritual liquid. This is the guaranteed goal. When I achieve this goal, I may be able to obtain more benefits, such as Tempering the lightning blade with immortal poison and elixir. After all, even the flying bones from the original timeline can do it, so why can't my thunder blade work? Even if the lightning strike blade cannot extract fairy poison due to its material, Inuyasha's iron broken teeth should be fine, right? Li Xia thought so. Feilai bone is made by mixing and refining the bones of more than a dozen kinds of intermediate and upper level monsters. The main material of the lightning strike blade is lightning strike iron. The iron broken tooth is made from the teeth of the dog general. 
The important materials for making phalai bone and iron broken tooth are all related to bones. However, a mere flying bone can carry the power of Yao Lao poison immortals immortal poison. Doesn't it make sense that Tai Xiaoyang, which is comparable to a divine weapon, can't bear it? What's more, Tai Suya also has the ability to absorb various powerful demonic powers to obtain corresponding magical SS. Such as red form, diamond form, dragon scale form, etc. If Tai Suya is given a form of fairy poison, and Naraku is attacked without checking, will it be very unpleasant? Is it possible that Inuyasha's defense was broken with just one blow, the first blow in a head-to-head -head confrontation? If Ali follows up with a precise arrow. On Micah's furry back, Li Xia fell into deep thought. In this island country in this era, who is he most afraid of? There is no doubt that he is crazy about Naraku. As the only guy with four full souls, coupled with the special characteristics of the fusion of 10,000 demons, the upper limit in all aspects is really high. The key is, that guy is a brainiac, and he can do whatever it takes to achieve his goals. He can do whatever it takes to achieve his goals unlike the dog brothers, who are both brainless and reckless, but also have some self-restraint. Naraku, Dwedwa's upper limit of strength is extremely high, but his lower limit of morality is extremely low. In addition, more than half of the four soul fragments have already reached the opponent's hands after this, more fragments will be collected by him. To deal with this kind of enemy, Li Xia just wanted to send him to the pure land of the underworld as soon as possible. If Tai Suya can have the power of fairy poison, it can greatly limit Naraku's physical abilities A Li will seize the opportunity to use the demon-breaking arrow to make up for the damage while the guy is weak. Maybe he will really have a chance to the guy who has not yet grown up when Naraku got up, his account was blocked and sent offline on the spot. The more he deduced tactics, the brighter his eyes became. This is thanks to the current timeline. Because at this time, Naraku has not yet cultivated the poisonous technique, and has not yet absorbed the big monster cultivated by the poisonous technique. It has not been strengthened by more than half of the four souls jade. At this period, Naraku was only rated at four and a half stars in terms of demon power. That guy reached the level of five star demonic power in one fell swoop. This was because he later absorbed the poisonous technique and cultivated the tens meter long fusion monster. And at the same time received the first wave of welfare enhancement from more than half of the four soul jade. After that, in order to go further in a short period of time, he even released his inner human ghost spider heart and transformed into a clone. Wu Shuang, waiting for Wu Shuang to deepen his obsession with Platycodon. He absorbed the obsessed Wu Shuang again. Strengthens the connections throughout the body. And took this as an opportunity to develop the huge potential of his own four souls, directly reaching the level of five and a half stars of demon power. The blue barrier transformed into a pink barrier in one fell swoop. The current Naraku is still far behind. There is a chance. There is every chance to take advantage of his weakness, him, and that guy directly. Li Xia murmured in a low voice. It seems to be cheering myself up. As long as they can Naraku early, the risk factor of this world will immediately drop by a large level. He can also make the most of his foresight for his own benefit. Although many monsters will cause trouble and cause chaos everywhere because they have been strengthened by the four soul fragments but compared to Naraku. Who goes everywhere, s wherever he goes, and eats wherever he goes, those monsters are really insignificant. There is so much to be gentle and kind about. It will also be much easier to deal with. Instead of letting him face a Naraku, let him face Oyakata, a flying monster moth, a dragon bone spirit, a Shinigami ghost and other top monsters. Xia Jun, what chance? Beside him, Inuyasha turned his head and asked, his ears perked up. Li Xia blinked and smiled naturally. Grandpa Minka, I heard you say before that Tetsuya's ability is much more than what he is showing at the moment. When Inuyasha's father, General Inutai, held it, it was powerful in all directions. Inuyasha's eldest brother, Sesomaru, was obsessed with this demonic sword, and even more it's an indication of a change of direction. Li Xia's words changed the topic. Let Mingjia nodded slightly, and Inuyasha was secretly fascinated. Yes, Tai Suya was the most convenient partner that I used back then. At his peak, he could even cut down the stars in the sky. That star is the demon spirit star that is said to appear once every 500 years. 
Master Inuyasha has to work harder if he wants to be close to the master's level. Minka stood on Inuyasha's shoulder, looked at his young master, and spoke seriously. Is such a powerful demon sword deliberately weakened removing various abilities at once acquired to make it easier for Inuyasha to master it? Li Xia continued to ask. Hearing this, Ming Jia immediately looked over in surprise. Have you guessed all this? That's right, Tai Suya is the top-level demon sword with an extremely high upper limit. But Master Inuyasha, who is only half-demon, cannot control the full form of Tetsuyasha when he first gets started. There is not only a lack of demon power, but also a lack of will and belief. If Master Inuyasha in the early stage tried to control the complete Iron Fong, he would be like a three-year-old child wielding a 100-pound sledgehammer. Before the enemy was smashed to death, he would be dead first. Therefore, his master stripped away the various abilities of Tetsuyasha and set several tests for Master Inuyasha. Inuyasha, look, it's become obvious. On the flying mica's back, Li Xia played with the lightning blade in his hand that had been repaired but had a greatly changed appearance, and smiled at Inuyasha. Although we are only in the exploratory stage of Tai Suya now, it does not prevent you from boldly speculating on the aspects that can be improved. We can add the ability to break barriers to it. You can give it physical attack SS. You can also add a poison that even your elder brother has to avoid, or temper it with attribute abilities such as fire and thunder. All kinds of descriptions made Inuyasha feel very turbulent. It made him feel more deeply that his little friend was not simple. He actually understood his beloved sword far better than he, the holder of the demon sword. As expected of Mr. Xiao. The above hints also made Ming Jia thoughtful. Let Tai Suya be equipped with Lao Xian's fairy poison. Why didn't I think of it before? The old immortal's immortal power is righteous and peaceful, which just lays a good foundation for his young master in Yasha. Soon, we arrived at the great waterfall valley where Yao Lao poison lived in seclusion. Under the waterfall, a large wine vat is soaked in the water. Ordinary people cannot feel the majestic natural energy filled in the valley, but as a practitioner, he feels it extremely clearly. At this moment, every pore in his body was touching and cheering. The spiritual spring water has been found, and most of it is spiritual spring water of quite high quality. Chapter, 49 Hey, old man Mingjia, are you sure this is this place? This place smells so heavy of alcohol. In the valley, there is a spectacular waterfall more than 200 meters high. Below the waterfall, there are large water tanks next to each other, which makes it even more spectacular. That's right. The reason why it smells like wine is because the water tanks are filled with fine wine. Mr. Minga explained while jumping on Inuyasha's shoulder. Yao Lao poison is actually a lustful drunkard. Master Inuyasha, please bring up a wine jar from the pool under the waterfall. Hearing this, Inuyasha easily took out a large wine vat that was nearly the height of a person and filled with wine with his right hand and landed. Then what? Pour out the wine inside. Grandpa Mingjia reminded. Inuyasha did as he was told, holding the large wine vat and then tipping it downwards. The whole process was stress-free, as the large wine vat seemed to have no weight. However, in fact, any wine vat is very heavy. At least a thousand pounds. No, Li Xia also tried to fish out an identical wine vat from the pool below the waterfall. Although he succeeded, he had to work hard with both hands, and it took a lot of effort to move it up with great reluctance. Of. It's incomparable to Inuyasha holding it with one hand as a small toy. It is not difficult to see from here that Inuyasha's strength attribute is very high. Wrist strength, speed, explosive power, vitality, defense power, reaction power, demon power, and four soul potential, these are the eight basic attributes of Inuyasha's world summarized by Li Xiao. From the worst half-star to the top seven-star, according to the formula book, Inuyasha, a half-demon, has four-star wrist strength. This gift of strength is no joke. The four-star wrist strength shows that Inuyasha has reached the elite level among superior monsters in terms of strength. As a human being who has been well-trained since childhood, and with the continuous training during this period, Li Xia's overall level has definitely improved by leaps and bounds but even so, limited to the characteristics of the human body, he estimates that his wrist strength can only be touched. Just one and a half stars. 
If it is blessed with a high-quality powerful talisman, it should be able to reach a level of two and a half stars close to three stars. Stronger than Mithraya, but not as good as Coral. Previously, Inuyasha, who in his half-demon form had only two and a half stars of demon power, was able to fight against many monsters with three or four stars of demon power without relying on Tetsuya's wind damage and other SS, and the weak defeated the strong. It seems. Not unreasonable. Li Xia secretly said. He intuitively realized the gap between himself and the second generation Yao from the small details. In terms of wrist strength, the gap is huge once the other seven dimensions are added, the gap in strength between them will only become even greater. If you want to bridge this gap, you can only rely on external forces. That's a weapon. Currently, the fastest and most effective way is to learn from the demon slayers in the demon slayer village and use weapons to achieve level leaps. The most representative one is undoubtedly Phylegu. It would be better to learn from the Inuyasha brothers, or learn from the swordsmith Daochio, and hold a demon sword with its own SS. Inuyasha and Sesomaru, after possessing Tetsuya and Dukajin respectively, their improvement in strength is obvious to all, especially Sesomaru. Before this noble master got the fighting ghosts and gods, his combat prowess seemed to be just like that but after he got the more convenient demon sword. His demon power was brought into full play, and his combat prowess increased exponentially. After awakening, Bakuyaya, who was the most suitable one, was promoted to the front of the first echelon in one fell swoop. A proper shotgun for cannon. Unfortunately, I don't have a reliable father, so I have to rely on myself for everything. Lightning Strike Blade. No, it should be said to be Fire Point Spear. This original long blade has been transformed by Toto Sai into a spear with dual attributes of thunder and fire. The thunder attribute still comes from the power of thunder contained in the Lightning Strike Iron, which is a specialty of the Thunder Beast clan. The fire attribute is due to Toto Sai inserting some scraps of flame meteorite into it, giving the weapon the power of fire. I don't know how powerful it is exactly, but I guess it won't be too bad. Obtaining this fire-pointed spear means that Li Xia has officially embarked on the road to reach the top with the help of weapons. The way forward is unknown, and he needs to explore it slowly by himself. Crash. As a large vat of wine was poured out by Inuyasha, an old man in a white shirt with long hair and a long beard fell out of it. Is this Yao Lao poison immortal? If he is really addicted to alcohol, he shouldn't spend most of his time lying in the wine vat, right? Li Xia cast a curious look. Inuyasha didn't care so much. He was a gentle man. He went up and grabbed the old man's long beard and pulled it. Hey, old man, wake up. Master Inuyasha, stop quickly, that's Yao Lao Sen Nin. Mingjia said anxiously. Jumping anxiously. When Yao Lao Poison Fairy woke up and turned around, Grandpa Mingjia spoke up and explained the purpose of their visit for the two of them. After understanding the general situation, Lao Xian yawned and looked at Li Xia. Human boy, do you want to collect some spiritual spring water? Yes, Grandpa Yao Xian. Li Xia's mouth is very sweet. The old man is over a thousand years old, so it is not embarrassing for him to call the other person Grandpa to get close to him. What's more, this one is alone and helpless. If the other party is really willing to accept him as his godson, he actually doesn't have to accept it. Your request is quite simple. Well, since my spiritual spring has an endless supply, it doesn't hurt to give you some spring water. Hey, do you want to try the wine I brew? It's all brewed from the spiritual spring water combined with the old medicine. Oh, after one bite, Bao Yu feels free to let go of all worries and burdens today. The old immortal took another wine jar from the pool, filled a bowl with it and placed it on the grass in front of Li Xia. I don't know if it was Li Xia's misunderstanding, but he always felt that what the old immortal said meant sowing. Looking at the bowl full of clear wine in front of him, he just hesitated for a moment, and then took a sip. He was brought here by Mr. Mingjia, and this person was Mingjia's old friend and one of General Inu's former friends. It was unlikely that he would attack him in the wine just to target a little human ant like him. As the drink went down, at that moment, he not only tasted the taste of normal spirits what was even more amazing was that after the taste of normal spirits. Various flavors of life emerged, such as sweet, sour, bitter, why, etc. It actually gave him the illusion that he was experienced a life again, 
and he couldn't help but be intoxicated by it. Good wine. This is his heartfelt admiration. The old immortal just nodded and smiled, and then turned to look at Inuyasha do you want the iron broken tooth that your father left for you to be blessed with the power of my poison immortal? Is that okay, old man? Inuyasha's eyes were filled with anticipation. And Yao Lao Poison's response did not disappoint Inuyasha. It's okay, but are you sure you can control that power? It seems like you can't even master Tai Suya's most basic wind power. Yes, Master Inuyasha, the old immortal is a very powerful sage among monsters. His power is not so easy to control. At this time, Mr. Mingjia also began to remind people from the side. Although he knew very well that the strength of his old acquaintance was moderate and peaceful. And was very suitable for laying the foundation for young people but the favor left by the master was only enough to invite the other party to take action once. If his young master did not seize that precious opportunity this time, he would be in trouble in the future. It's not as easy to talk as today. Let me try it with Tai Suya. I have an intuition that this power is very important. Inuyasha looked at the two elders sincerely. At this moment, Li Xia touched the back of his head, took out a four-soul fragment from his pocket, and then handed it to the old immortal harmlessly. Grandpa Yao Xian, do you think I can exchange this four-soul fragment with you for a chance to strengthen my weapon? I like this fire-tip spear very much, and Grandpa Yao Xian, you are very powerful. If you can give me this the weapon is blessed with your old strength, I think it can better protect me and the people around me. Strengthening weapons is not to enemies, but to protect them. This is the art of speaking. Although Li Xia had never specialized in speaking SS in his previous life, he still had some idea of what kind of people he would face and what kind of words would be most effective. For soul fragments. The old immortal's eyes suddenly narrowed. However, seeing that the fragments the young man took out were not contaminated in any way, his eyes towards Li Xia. Immediately brought a touch of appreciation. This kid is great. Thanks to Ali for helping him purify the jade fragments on his body before this, so he understands everything. How about it, Grandpa Medicine Fairy? The four soul fragments are very useful. They can be used to strengthen medicinal herbs and spiritual spring water, and can also improve the taste of fine wine. Li Xia's smile was very sincere. Chapter, 50 He talked a lot about the wonderful uses of the four soul fragments in one breath. It makes people feel that if he really exchanged a jade fragment for a mere chance to quench the poison, it would be like he suffered a big loss and the old immortal took a big advantage. But is it really so? Ah. If you consider that the big monster Ho Sin Gui in the original timeline had a head-on collision with Neraku because of a fragment then it is not difficult to deduce that in order to make the four souls jade complete again. Neraku will definitely come to snatch it in the end. Four soul fragments. And after the Bailing Mountain incident, what does the six-star Neraku look like in the eyes of the demon spirit Great Sage, Yao Lao Poison and other veteran demon immortals? To put it bluntly, it's just a little stuck jumping up and down. It cannot be ruled out that as both full demons and high-level demon immortals, they have their own contempt for the hybrid half-demon. But even if he underestimates the enemy, he should look at it from the perspective of a high-level demon immortal. Take Yao Lao Du Xian as an example. The old immortal possesses powerful high-level immortal power, which can overcome demonic power. The power of Lao Xian Si's immortal poison was able to restrain Neraku's evil spirit. Moreover, the cane in this hand is the same as the cane left by the Peach Man Master. They are both fairy weapons. Although it is unknown what kind of magical ability it has, it is certainly not simple. Furthermore, home field advantage. The old immortal will receive additional blessings from fighting evil spirits in this valley with abundant natural energy and wine vats everywhere. While Neraku, on the other hand, will be weakened to a certain extent. Once Neraku is dragged into the water world inside the wine vat, he may not even be able to get in or out. From this, it is not difficult to see what a powerful person this person is. When Neraku meets this old immortal, if he doesn't pay attention, he will suffer big losses. Therefore, he used a four-soul fragment as a bargaining chip to invite this person into the trap with an upright plot, which was a late move. On the one hand, if their subsequent actions fail to Neraku with a stick, they will still allow Neraku to grow this old immortal can be used as foreign aid, so that Neraku will suffer a huge loss when he comes to the door. 
On the other hand, it is to ensure that oneself has a guaranteed for soul fragment to prevent losing all the fragments and causing Naraku to become completely bigger. Once Naraku masters the complete four souls jade, once that guy can't think about it anymore and doesn't want to die for love. What the? By then, even if the two grown-up brothers Inuyasha and Sesomaru, plus a few old immortals and immortals join forces, they may not be able to him. After all, we can't beat him, so we can hide in the main office, right? He is different from Kikyo's disdain and contempt for Naraku. He regards Naraku with 10,000 respects. Of course, there is another reason for dragging the old fairy into the water, and that is that these old guys who have always stayed out of the matter are living too easy and comfortable. In the original work, Inuyasha and others were fighting life and death in the front, but the old guys were singing and dancing in the back, eating melons and watching the show. When he discovered that Naraku's potential was a bit high and that he was too strong in a short period of time, he immediately acted as an outsider and tricked the protagonist group after the trick was completed. He continued to let the protagonist group charge into battle and fight to the death, while they continued to sing and dance in the background. Eat melon and watch a show. After all, they knew Naraku's real-time situation. This shows that they have been silently paying attention to the protagonist Tuan and Naraku. You old people, you are obviously extremely powerful, but you are unwilling to take action against Naraku, and you are unwilling to strangle it in the cradle. You always sit back and watch the clouds rolling and rolling in the sky with a confident and leisurely attitude. In this case, I will think of some ways to help you have fun. Your life is too peaceful and comfortable. This is not good. Li Xia thought inwardly. It's a pity that his idea is beautiful, but he has no intention of jumping into the pit. The spear you own must have been improved by Totosai, right? Yes. The quality is very good. It's just a newly forged weapon. Naturally, it has not yet formed a heart-to-heart -heart bond with you. When it recognizes you and you recognize it, come back to me. The old immortal stroked his beard and said. He is a demon fairy with noble moral character. He is a transcendent being who looks down upon the four souls jade. He is also a kind elder who treats his juniors according to his mood. Now, he was quite pleased with the little human guy in front of him therefore, he didn't mind doing a small favor. And it's the kind that can be taken at any time. As for this four soul fragment. Take it back yourself, I don't need it. As an old man, I am already a demon fairy in charge of medicines and poisons, and the demonic power in my body has long since transformed into pure fairy power. What the four souls jade can enhance is just a little bit of demonic power, which is useless to me. Not only will it not bring any benefit to me, but it will also leave huge hidden dangers. Speaking of this, he took a deep look at Li Xia. This thing is not a good thing. You should be more careful when using it on daily basis. Well, I'll use it with caution. Li Xia thanked him. At the same time, he recovered the four soul fragment that was not in the eyes of the old immortal. Okay Inuyasha, put the Tetsuya into the poisonous wine vat over here, and jump into the poisonous wine vat over there. By the way, a difficult character should appear in the wine vat, and you should try your best to defeat him. Yao Lao Poison stretched out his arms, selected two drinks from the many wine tanks under the waterfall, and then greeted Inuyasha. Is that guy very powerful? Inuyasha asked. It's definitely not weak. The old man gave the young man in front of him an encouraging look that was half a smile. When Inuyasha heard this, he didn't say anything more and chose to do it. He threw Tai Suya into a wine vat full of poisonous smell, and then jumped into another large wine vat full of medicinal smell. When he jumped into the medicinal wine vat designated by the old immortal, his body continued to sink at this moment. He felt as if he had fallen into the deep sea, and there was never any depth under his feet is this the strange space world opened up by the immortal. Looking at the water tank that is only over one meter high, the inner space is actually an endless water world. The perfect mustard seed Nexumi. Where's the so-called difficult guy? Just when Inuyasha was wondering why his opponent had been missing for so long, a dazzling light suddenly lit up in front of his eyes. When the light subsided, a handsome, tall, elegant middle-aged man with long silver hair and a white little Shiba Inu appeared in front of him at the same time. Middle age brings with it a strong sense of oppression, like a naturally strong person. If you meet him face to face, you will feel ashamed for no reason. 
I don't know if it's an illusion, but at this moment, there seems to be a specially designed BGM playing. The first time he saw the middle-aged figure, Inuyasha couldn't help but shrink his pupils, and then slowly widened his eyes. You. You are. I didn't expect that we would meet in this way, Inuyasha. The silver-haired middle-aged man looked up and down carefully at the young man in red in front of him. Looking at the pair of small dog ears on the young man's head, he couldn't help but smile with relief. This little son has grown so big. Following this happy smile, a touch of melancholy and sadness arose in middle age after all, human life is too short. Her son has grown so big. Is AOI, who raised the little boy single-handedly, is okay. Father. Father. How can this be? The shock in Inuyasha's heart was beyond words. Also shocked was Grandpa Mingjia, who was drunk with the poison immortal wine. Poison immortals' wines are connected to each other. The water world of any wine tank under the waterfall is connected to each other, and you can travel back and forth through other wine tanks. And not only are every water world connected to each other, even every drop of wine is a bridge. After drinking the old poison immortals' fairy wine, you can see Inuyasha's current situation. Why did the master appear in front of Master Inuyasha? Is it because my eyes are dim? Mingjia, that's not a dazzle for you. Don't forget what Tai Suya is made of. Yao Lao Poison said with a smile. What are the iron broken teeth made of? Of course they are the master's own teeth. Wait, could it be? Ming Jia thought of a possibility, and he suddenly woke up from the drunkenness that had just arisen. On his side, the old immortal touched his chin thoughtfully. For monsters with a little bit of strength, after their death, there will be more or less a soul imprint left in their bones. If a monster at the level of a general made arrangements on Tai Suya before his death, then this soul projection is likely to this as one of his arrangements. As for when it will be activated? Or is it necessary to activate it? It all depends on what happens to Inuyasha after he gets the Tetsuyasha. And you brought Inuyasha to me this time, and I used my own abilities, and the result happened to meet the conditions for activating this arrangement. The old immortal statement made Li Xia, who also drank the immortal wine but only tasted it out of politeness, feel his heart beat wildly. He actually saw Inu Admiral at this time. He actually accidentally activated a backup move left by the super demon king on Taisuya. This butterfly effect is extraordinary. Inuyasha, since you have awakened some of my remaining souls sealed in Tetsuya and Tetsuya spirit, you must have obtained the sword I left for you. How is it, do you use it smoothly? The middle-aged man has a smile on his face and an easygoing tone, which makes people feel like spring breeze. Opposite him, Inuyasha's hands were trembling, his lips were trembling, and he didn't know what to say. At this moment, he thought a lot. He thought of the scenes when his mother was still alive, silently enduring all kinds of criticism from the princes and nobles around her. And recalled the scene of his mother being lonely and helpless but always protecting him. I thought of my miserable childhood when my mother died, being abandoned by humans and being hunted by monsters. He thought of the so-called cheap brother he met not long ago, but as soon as he got up, he yelled and at him and plotted against him. Don't you know that Inuyasha is a soft-hearted person or not? Can't we sit down and have a good chat? All the above sufferings are due to this cheating dad in front of me. So, Inuyasha, who was so excited, went up and gave him an uppercut. And General Inu thought his son was swimming over to give him a hug, so he opened his arms and greeted Inuyasha's filial piety with a handsome face. Bang! Chapter, 51 This unusually heavy punch made the audience watching the show outside the venue. Their eyes widened. The old poison immortal even clucked his tongue could it be that he wanted to stage a famous scene of a loving father and a filial son? Li Xia's thoughts wandered far away how could General Dog's remnant soul be in Taisuya? In addition, who is the little white dog next to the remnant soul of the dog general? What kind of arrangements did this super demon king make when he was on the verge of death? In the water world inside the wine tank. Inuyasha, you. General Inu, whose chin was punched hard, was trembling at first he was puzzled by the unexpected fact that his youngest son greeted him with a fist. However, through his son's fist, he could not feel any malice instead, with the help of this special drinking environment he could very clearly capture the little guy's deep sadness. After a quick thought, I understood what was going on with this son. 
you and your mother must have suffered a lot in these years, right? Where is your mother, is she still alive? It was gone more than a hundred years ago. It turns out that so much time has passed. The dog general nodded. Everything is clear. As a half-demon, my youngest son must not be welcomed by humans nor recognized by monsters in this world. If his AOI is still here, with her care, Inuyasha will still have a warm haven but if his AOI, a human, dies, then Inuyasha is destined to be alone and helpless. Human beings will resist him and expel him, and monsters will laugh at him and hunt him down. As for the eldest wife Ling Yushenji and the eldest son Sesomaru, it's good that the two girls didn't specifically target Inuyasha. Don't expect them to accept or even help Inuyasha. All in all, my little son must have lived a very unsatisfactory life for more than a hundred years since he grew up. Sorry, I was in such a hurry that I didn't have time to make more arrangements. Instead of blaming Inuyasha for his rudeness, General Inu admitted his mistake very frankly and hugged his son who probably had a lot of grievances in his heart. This made Inuyasha stiffen, and his desire to punch the biological father in front of him for the first time faded away. After breaking free from his father's arms, he quickly retreated further. He had never felt his father's love and did not dare to ask for such a thing. When General Inu saw this, his heart was stung a little, and he became even more guilty but he knew that he had to say sewing at this time, and it was best to explain the bad situation clearly. Otherwise, the younger son Inuyasha will always have a thorn in his heart. Your mother and I met and fell in love, and we were only waiting for your birth. Before you were born, I specially found a fire rat fur for you, and prepared the cleanest iron broken teeth, so that it could be yours. Partner. As he spoke, he picked up the little white dog at his feet that was chasing his tail in circles. This little white dog is none other than Tai Suya. But it is precisely because I weakened Tai Suya that many of my powerful ODs were temporarily unavailable, which gave my old enemy Dragon Bone Demon a loophole to exploit and seize the opportunity. He and I met in a valley, and we fought each other. Although I severely injured him during the war, and even had the chance to him in one fell swoop, I also suffered the heaviest blow in history in counting the time. You will be born on that windy and snowy night, and your mother is controlled by human subordinates again. The life and death of your mother and son is uncertain, so I naturally have no intention of continuing to toss with that guy Long Gu Jing. So, I sealed him with my remaining demonic power and the claw, and rushed to the human trap where you, mother and son were, dragging my seriously injured body. Although you and your mother and son were rescued without any danger, they were bitten by Tsong Yanya and were exhausted. Speaking of this, General Inu also sighed for a while. In the little time left, I only had time to make the simplest arrangements, and I didn't have time to explain many details clearly. It's all my fault. I became a little careless after becoming famous otherwise, our family of three will definitely be able to spend a precious time with Himimi. Your childhood memories will also be filled with more beautiful things. General Inu roughly told what happened that year. By the way, I also imagined a happy family of three. However, reality is never so beautiful. Dragon Bone Spirit. Who is that? Inuyasha, who was somewhat relieved about his father, in turn hated his father's old enemy. I wish I could chop it into pieces. Inuyasha, I have received your intention to deal with the Dragon Bone Demon and avenge your father. But I must remind you that you are still far from that guy's opponent. Tai Suya just told me that you can't even you can't even see the most basic wind wound, right? You haven't even used the wind wound once, right? Revenge for you. You think too much. I just want to vent my anger for myself. Don't get me wrong. Humph, I can already smell the breath of wind wrapped around Tai Suya's blade. I believe I will soon be able to understand the wound of wind. Inuyasha hummed. It's not enough, even if you master the wind wound, it's not enough. Inuyasha, only if you understand the more advanced secret Bakuryu burst can you have some confidence in ING the dragon bone spirit to avenge your father's death. General Dog said seriously, his voice low. In that battle, even though dragon bone spirit was stabbed in the heart and severely injured, and was sealed for more than 200 years. He is now mostly weak but Inuyasha, who is not even half a bucket of water, can't touch porcelain. Unless you master the explosive flow, you will have a chance if you reach the level of half a bucket of water. Thinking of the scene when he used explosive style to deal with the dragon bone spirit. 
but was carried away by the dragon bone spirit with its monster body and huge monster power, he was a little worried about his little son who didn't look very reliable. Is there a secret that is more powerful than the wind injury? How can I learn that move? In line with his desire for strength and his open-minded and studious attitude, Inuyasha cooperated and asked. Blast Burst is the sublimation of wind damage, and it is also another test prepared for you. If you want to truly gain Tai Suya's recognition, these two steps must be taken. General Inu's voice became more and more solemn. Before his death, he left behind four tests. The preliminary test is that Inuyasha can see the power of wind wrapped around the blade, thereby mastering Tetsuya's most basic S wind wound. The upgraded version of the test is that Inuyasha can master the secret of Tetsuya Blast. The third test is to hunt enough powerful monsters and fill Taisuya's blade with the monster power of those big monsters. That's right, today's Taisuya has not only been stripped of all kinds of abilities, but also had most of his demonic power taken away. Inuyasha needs to keep hunting and filling this vacancy. Until Taisuya was refilled with demon power. When the demon power has accumulated in the demon sword for a long time, the mark of the original owner has been basically washed away at that time. These ownerless pure demon powers will be poured back into the sword wielding Inuyasha, helping him to complete a rebirth. Then the final test will come, and that is. Cut off the natural teeth with iron broken teeth. Acquire the ability of the underworld Zangatsusha. Of course, General Inu did not clearly inform the retainers such as Minka and Toto Sai about the following two tests, nor did he reveal it to Inuyasha at this time. He believed that Toto Sai would arrange all the details when the time came. Sesomaru could also understand his good intentions. Well, I really feel sorry for the eldest son by doing this. But in order to prevent Sesomaru from being too obsessed with the Tetsuyasha and ING Inuyasha before Inuyasha grew up, he had to temporarily seal the Tetsuyasha. And in order for Inuyasha to successfully capture the ultimate S of the underworld Zangatsusha, Toto Sai was asked to teach Sesomaru later. After all, if Sesomaru is too strong, he will definitely take Tetsuya, and Inuyasha can't stop him at all. At the moment, it seems that he, as a father, has underestimated the size of his eldest son, Sesomaru. These two boys may really be able to tolerate each other and support each other in the end. After completing these four steps of the test, Inuyasha will have the strength to stand alone. Sesomaru will also awaken his own explosive fong, and he will also be on his own. A double demon king, this is all he expected. All right Inuyasha, next, I will teach you how to use a sword, how to fight, how to feel the wound of the wind, how to master blast Ryu. At this point, he paused. It won't take long for me to dissipate when I come out this time, so you have to be more careful. As for how much you can learn in the end. It all depends on you. Inuyasha, you still have a long way to go in the future. Find the person you want to protect, and then use Tetsuya to do your best to protect her. Don't leave any regrets. The words of this great demon king gradually became a bit sensational. However, Inuyasha gritted his teeth and looked at his father with a resentful look. The person I want to protect died fifty years ago. You came out late. Well. Chapter, 52. Will General Inutai personally give Inuyasha a small start? It is impossible to say that Lysia is not envious. As expected of the destined protagonist. It's so comforting to have a super reliable dad. At least it can save you dozens, hundreds or even a lifetime of detours. Li Xia sighed secretly. Although his father Li Zhun is not bad and treats him well, he is also very grateful to his father. But sometimes, I am really afraid of comparison. He couldn't deny that he really, really wanted a good father who could make him sleep peacefully. In his previous life, he just wanted to lie down, he didn't want to be busy all his life. He didn't want his children to take over his class, and he didn't want his descendants to be busy like endless reincarnations. As a result, he naturally could not lie down, and ended up lying in an urn at a young age. This life. That's all, dad has given me a very high starting point, I should be very contented. After this, the baton of blood inheritance has fallen into my hands. So, it's time for me to put my best foot forward. I have to improve myself as much as possible, and strive to let my blood descendants be protected by me, so that they can enjoy a successful life. 
so that the starting point when they are born is the end point that countless creatures cannot reach in their lifetime. Li Xia murmured. His eyes gradually became firmer and clearer. At the same time, several of the four soul fragments in his arms seemed to resonate with him, and they all moved slightly in unison. In the water world deep in the wine tank. Idiot, before you know the strength of your opponent or enemy, you must learn to reserve three points of force when wielding a sword. If you don't leave any force behind, you can only pray that your blow will definitely suppress your opponent otherwise. If the opponent blocks your strength and launches a strong counterattack, you will not even have the chance to retreat and parry in a hurry. It's different to have three points of strength left. This three points of strength is enough for you to take other countermeasures in time. You won't fall into a completely passive situation after one move. In the water world, the Inu admiral is teaching Inuyasha, and the scene is very warm. Both father and son were holding a machete condensed from water, and the collision caused light ripples in the scene. Which also reminded Li Xia of a certain battle between Sesomaru and Inuyasha in the original timeline. At that time, Sesomaru used the fighting ghost to knock against the iron broken teeth used by Inuyasha. The two sides seemed to be in a stalemate for several rounds, but Sesomaru suddenly exerted his strength after a few times. Inuyasha, who had no remaining strength on the opposite side, could not even hold the iron broken teeth. The demonic sword was released immediately and was sent flying far away. Inuyasha, using a sword is not just about brute force. You also have to pay attention to adjusting your own rhythm and observing the opponent's rhythm at all times. If you can seize the gap in the opponent's rhythm and disrupt the opponent's rhythm, you can often get twice the result with half the effort. Even winning in one fell swoop. The S-Wind wound possessed by Tai Suya is only used to select prey only the evil monsters that can block the wind wound are considered to be of a slightly higher level. And can only enjoy being ed by Tai Suya or bathing in their blood to seize them. Qualifications for Demon Power Those S who can't even bear the wind injury. Remember to find a mage to save them. General Inu first gave a rough explanation of sword techniques and related tactics and precautions. After that, he taught Inuyasha how to use his fists and kicks. The soul-removing iron claw you made yourself still has a lot of room for improvement, and the flying blade blood claw is just okay, making up for the lack of long-range means and range-based moves. Before I could build iron broken tooth, I had also relied on sharp teeth and claws to get through this way. But don't always use your own blood. Prepare one or two clean blood bags with you in case of emergency. Blood bag? That's right. The first choice is the blood of monsters that contains demonic power. Use it as a raw material to refine it into an alternative weapon. In this way, when you use it later and add your own demonic power to it, the power of the flying blade blood claw will be can be guaranteed. If you store up some of your own blood in advance and handle it properly, and then calmly give it a demonic power with all your strength when using it later. The power of this move will definitely be much greater than a hasty blow if you hurt yourself on the spot. Why is this kid so mentally ill? By the way, as a half-demon bloodline, you don't have the innate ability to control flight. You need to learn certain cloud control SS. It's okay to deal with those ordinary things, but you won't be able to deal with the real strong ones. If you're flying, you'll have to be beaten passively. The Inu general pointed out this and frowned slightly. Before Inuyasha was born, he had specially collected relevant techniques for this half-demon son, but they were all stored in the heavenly palace. At that time, I felt that the things should be placed in the heavenly palace anyway, and those volumes of magic would not escape by themselves. So I did not take the OD of riding on the clouds too seriously at first, so I never carried one or two volumes with me. But he didn't expect to be ambushed by the dragon bone spirit on the way. When he was about to die, he had no time to go to the heavenly palace to get it for Inuyasha and his wife. Now, the heavenly palace must be managed by that person, and he has no face to face his real wife. Thinking of this, General Inu felt a little guilty and asked about his young son who had a very hard life. Inuyasha, have you ever collected one or two cloud riding techniques to practice? Have you made up for your shortcomings of not being able to fly? Hearing this, Inuyasha shook his head honestly. He had been wandering around for more than a hundred years. He could only retreat when he encountered powerful monsters, and he could only run away if he got into trouble with local snakes. 
where can I find a way to obtain the cloud riding OD that a half demon specializes in? Lao Xian, can I ask you a favor? General Inu Tai spoke towards the full moon above the water world. The so called full moon is the exit of this water world. Outside, old poisonous immortal, who had just filled a bowl of medicine for himself, suddenly slightly opened his sleepy eyes. Immediately afterwards, the old man raised his cane and used the tip of the cane to dip a little into the wine bowl in front of him. As ripples spread on the water, Inu Admiral's face quickly emerged under the water. Old friend, just tell me what you have to say with the friendship between us, it's okay to help with a little help. Old immortal, you also know the limitations of my son's half-demon bloodline. He currently lacks a flying technique to make up for his biggest flaw. I hope you can do me a favor, old immortal, and help him get a half-demon one. The OD of riding on the clouds can be practiced with blood. The dog general said earnestly. Old friend, you are really embarrassed for your little son. The old immortal sighed with emotion. What kind of existence is the dog admiral? The great demon king who was famous during the Warring States period. When he was alive, he was one of the best beings in the demon world in this land. But now, he actually sacrificed his face for his youngest son and made a request to him. I can't help the two of them. Next, Inuyasha stayed in the wine vat for more than ten days. During this period, the second new moon night also passed peacefully. The night of the second new moon is not the night when Doguation was born in the original work. Doguation was born in the third month of Ali's exploration of the Warring States period, and it was the time when Inuyasha transformed into a human for the third time. There is a bug in the animation. I will point it out to him first and correct it. On this new moon night, it is worth mentioning. Inuyasha, who turned into a human, was taught the self-defense and various combat SS of top human generals by Inu General. During the hundreds and almost thousands of years that this great demon king was active, he met all kinds of human beings, including many outstanding human warriors or demon exterminators. It is not difficult to get more outstanding human body exercise ODs from these people. He had already tailored an exercise OD for Inuyasha that was suitable for the half-demon form, and also arranged an exercise OD for the human form. As long as you exercise properly and adjust your state and mentality in a timely manner, even if Inuyasha is only a human being, he can still have a reasonable ability to protect himself. After all, Inuyasha in human form has a wrist strength as high as three stars. It is on the same level as coral, which uses flying bones weighing 100 kilograms as a boomerang. Half-demon actually also has many possibilities. It's a pity that the dog general never meant to love the house and the bird and teach Li Xiai through words and deeds. Even though Inuyasha had told the great demon king that Li Xia was his partner. He had already rescued him twice the time with the spider head, and the time when Platykodon's clay body was resurrected. Both times were enough for Inuyasha, who was in danger, to hit GG. And this does not include Li Xia's hidden assist in quietly improving Sesomaru's mentality towards his little brother. This also shows that the words and deeds given to Inuyasha by General Inu Tai at this time are very core and precious things. But it was also this night. Yao Lao Poison saw the unwillingness in Li Xia's heart and opened the door for him. Human brat, you also want to become stronger, right? Become stronger? Of course I did. Even in my wildest dreams. Yes, Grandpa Yao Xian. I want to become stronger. I want to support you in your old age, and I want to make progress so much. Li Xia looked at the old immortal with white beard and white hair, and there seemed to be a ray of light in his originally calm and dark eyes. If he hadn't been worried about being too impatient and offending the old man, he would have bowed down as soon as he wanted. And the old immortal did not disappoint him. He pointed at a wine vat under the waterfall, narrowed his eyes and said leisurely. Would you like to jump into this wine vat and try it? When Li Xia heard this, he stood up from the ground like a carp, and the drunkenness after drinking quickly dissipated while putting on the Shikigami Asmanthus mask on his face. He walked straight to the wine jar that the old immortal pointed to earlier. Hesitating for half a second at this time is disrespectful to Yao Lao Poison Fairy. There was a pop and water splashed. After a few bubbles emerged from the water, there was no movement. Seeing this, the old immortal's little eyes narrowed into slits. Good boy. 
And just when Li Xia jumped into the wine vat that mainly contained medicine, the old immortal rummaged through his little treasure house and found a broken spear head, and then threw it in. He took another mouthful of wine from a large wine vat containing mainly poison. Ha, huh, I'm getting more and more curious. How far can you, a mere human mage, go in the end? With his eyesight and experience, how could he not see that Li Xia's friendship with Inuyasha was not so pure? But how could a mere 15 or 16 year old human boy, who had known Inuyasha for less than a month, know the potential and value of Inuyasha? Stop making trouble. Therefore, the only possibility is that this kid is extremely insightful and wise. When dealing with this little guy who is not evil but very smart, he is different from his sensitive old friend and the old flea in Mingjia. He never hesitates in his kindness. Little devil, little devil, don't let me down. As the poisonous wine vat boiled with a large number of bubbles, a burst of smoke appeared in front of Li Xia in the water world where he was. When the smoke dissipated, a middle-aged figure holding a steel gun appeared. The middle-aged man opened his eyes, and his eyes were like lightning piercing the night sky. Chapter, 53 Poison immortal poison wine can make the spirit contained in anything manifest. Even if it is a stone, as long as it is psychic, it can be embodied in the water world by the poison of the fairy wine. This is the magic of the immortal Ode mastered by the old immortal. The broken spear that the old man threw into the poisoned wine vat must be a psychic treasure, or perhaps a weapon made from his own bones by the middle-aged man who appeared in the water world. As for how it fell into the hands of Yao Lao poison fairy, Li Xia no longer had the energy to distract him. Because the middle-aged man in front of him has already attacked. A flash of cold light suddenly appeared, and the tip of the spear struck out with a meteor strike. Danger. Li Xia didn't know if he would be injured if he fought with people in the world of wine and water, or if he would die directly. But he wouldn't risk it at this time. He must seize the opportunity and act as a sponge as much as possible to absorb the moisture and nutrients that the other party can provide him. Because it is very likely after passing this village, there will no longer be this store. The middle-aged marksmanship is all hidden in the fighting. Li Xia, who had practiced the Li family's spear SS for several years, was overwhelmed with all kinds of ING moves. Before he even made a few moves, he failed. However, the amazing thing is that although he felt the pain when he was injured, when he looked down, there was no blood at all, as if the injury a second ago was just an illusion. Until he was covered with bruises and until he passed out due to lack of energy. I don't know how much time passed, but when the aroma of wine reached the tip of his pen, Li Xia stood up in excitement and glanced around him warily. Don't get excited, you just ran out of soul power and fell asleep for a while. Beside, the old immortal said drunkenly while sipping the fine wine. Exhausted soul power. Falling into coma. Li Xia tried to think back for a while, and combined with some guesses, he roughly understood what he had experienced. Before, I fought with the senior in the water, and the injuries I suffered were actually real. But it was not the body that was injured, but the soul. This is why, I obviously felt that I was injured, but there was no trace left on my body. The main reason for the injury? Is it also the reason why I suddenly fainted? In other words, was I fighting against that senior in my soul state just now? Not bad. Your reaction is very quick, your brain is much better than that little puppy's. But, you only guessed part of it right. The old immortal yawned, and then he gave himself another bowl of fairy wine. First of all, it's not because your soul was hurt when you fell asleep on the contrary, not only was your soul not hurt, it actually benefited greatly. In my fairy wine world, whether the soul will be harmed or not depends only on me, not anyone else. Therefore, every time Tainyuan's soul-suppressing gun hits you, not only does it fail to hurt you, but I mix it with the power of the elixir to temper your soul. Let your fragile human soul become more refined and stronger. After hearing this, Li Xia took a closer look at his own situation and found that he was indeed a little different from before. At this moment, the whole person felt refreshed and refreshed as never before. This made him overjoyed. Lao Xian is indeed one of the most mysterious bosses in the island country during this period. Before he became a demon immortal and quietly secluded himself from the world, the old man might have also been a famous overlord level top demon. In addition, you were defeated by Tenzuki Maru and have been sleeping for a little while, but it wasn't just. Okay little guy, 
Do you want to continue going in to fight Tenzuki Maru, or do you want to stop when you're done? Yao Lao Poison Immortal smiled meaningfully. Thank you, Grandpa Yao Xian, for helping me. I'm very grateful. After Li Xia bowed solemnly, he decisively jumped into the large wine vat which was mainly medicinal. How could he muddle through such an incredible opportunity? After seeing the middle-aged man holding a gun, he rushed forward without fear. War. In the first three days, he fought with the opponent for more than ten rounds. As expected, the middle-aged guy got it easily every time. After falling down, he had to sleep for five or six hours. But every time he wakes up, he is resurrected with full health and his condition is getting better and better. Furthermore, because each sleepout has replaced daily sleep, he can enjoy at least four rounds of feeding moves every day. This made him more and more familiar with the various tricks and routines of the middle-aged man, and he was able to hold on under the opponent's gun for longer and longer. Three days later, he had another duel with various intermediate and advanced monsters. Putting on the mask and going all out, he was a little confused at first, but soon, he turned from bad to good. He became increasingly familiar with various ODs of dealing with various monsters. It is possible to move a thousand pounds with four ounces and even predict the enemy's advance. It can only be said that the attack mode of untransformed monsters who are not too intelligent is still a bit single, and they basically rely on the physical talents. Once you figure out the routine, you can find the flaws at a glance. After picking off all kinds of monsters with his gun for three days, he returned to the rhythm of middle-aged people holding guns against each other. This time, he felt that he could deal with the opponent more easily. It's no longer just about parrying and getting beaten. During this period, what he completely failed to notice was that his first Shikigami, the Osmanthus tree mask, had also undergone subtle transformations due to being soaked in the energetic ambrosia for a long time. Unknowingly, the demonic power that this masked Shikigami lost due to being sealed for hundreds of years and the end of the Dharma era has been made up for in the moistening sound. In addition, every time this mask is worn by Li Xia in the water world, it will absorb a little bit of the unusual and strange energy contained in the fairy wine without any trace. It was a power that was a little more advanced, pure, and clean than demonic power. However, because I was so full from eating, I didn't have time to digest it, so I couldn't show it to the outside world. Wait a few days, and when Li Xia puts on the big Osmanthus mask again, you should notice the changes. The Demon Slayer Village The victims have all been laid to rest. Recently, no accidents have occurred in the ruins of the village, and there has been no incident of the monster group launching a second revenge. Even the surrounding air seemed quiet and peaceful. On this day, Ali ended his practice for the day. Under the afterglow of the setting sun, the girl looking dazedly at the horizon looked even more delicate and lovely. I wonder how long it will take for Natsukun and Inuyasha to come back. Although Grandpa Mingjia brought back the news that the two of them were safe and sound a few days ago. But after not seeing him for a while, she always felt a little empty. Humph, you clearly promised to teach me archery in person, but instead you went to help Inuyasha practice. Sitting on the lawn on the hillside, the little girl picked up a small white flower on the ground. And then plucked off the innocent white flower one petal after another how can Mr. Xia not keep his words. When I think of Li Xia being more mature and wiser than Inuyasha, he knows how to care about the people around him. For example, he takes great care of her. Thinking of all the happy journeys she had experienced before, the little girl's lips couldn't help but curl up in a very warm and playful arc. Call. The mountain wind blew halfway up the mountain, rustling the leaves not far away, and also blew her hair. As the hair strands danced in the wind, each strand was dyed with a touch of flowing gold by the afterglow of the setting sun. Looking from a distance, it looked particularly beautiful. The place where Yao Lao Poison Fairy lives in seclusion. Inuyasha accepts the inheritance of Inu Shogun. Li Xia accepted the training of the old Poison Fairy. Both parties do not interfere with each other. Until the fourteenth day after arriving here, the figure condensed from the remnant soul of General Inu became more and more blurred and dimmed, and finally he could no longer hold on. Inuyasha, I am very happy to see you again. I am even more content to be with you these days and witness your growth. Inuyasha, I believe you can find your own happiness and find your own path. Therefore, you must live well. Live with human blood. Survive as a half-demon. 
he gave Sesomaru more confidence hoping that his eldest son could find his own way. He left more doting to Inuyasha I just hope that the little kid can inherit the path he once followed smoothly, and I just hope that the little kid can reach a certain height. Big and small, everyone has their own expectations. Children, I believe you will become my pride, right? The murmur fell, the soul light dissipated, and only a whimpering white Shiba Inu was left. The little white dog suddenly pounced on the shadow of the silver-haired middle-aged man who was still there, trying to grab the hem of his old master's trousers. Unfortunately, it came to nothing. Oh ah! Uh. Chapter, 54 After a brief meeting, we finally parted ways. Recalling the encouraging smile his father left for him when he disappeared, Inuyasha's eyes flashed with sadness and reluctance. Finally, he picked up the little white dog that was looking at him eagerly in front of him and stroked it affectionately. Tai Suya, please take good care of me in the future. The little white dog came forward, licked the side of the little master's face, and then expanded into a large dog several meters long with black and purple flames burning all over its body. With a long roar, the big dog turned into a dazzling starlight, and finally condensed into a majestic machete in front of Inuyasha the two. Zero upgraded version of the immortal poison iron fong is officially launched. Li Xia, who was adjusting his condition outside, witnessed all this. Quietly watching the remnant soul of the Inu shogun dissipate, he was also happy that his little friend Inuyasha had obtained the inheritance of the Inu shogun. And Tai Suya had obtained the power of the immortal poison from the old immortal. Compared with the Inuyasha in the original timeline, the Inuyasha in front of him has improved by more than a star and a half. When you apply what you have learned in the subsequent actual combat and integrate everything you have learned in the past two weeks, it will definitely be more than enough to deal with Sesomaru without fighting ghosts and gods. When dealing with Neraku, the certainty of ing him in one fell swoop can also be greatly increased. Wow! Inuyasha broke through the water. The alcohol on his body quickly evaporated and disappeared. The red demon power flows on the surface of the body, almost condensing into substance. There is no doubt that a lot of its potential has been developed after Inu Admiral's guidance. Li Xia smiled and stepped forward and gave his partner a hug. Back then, we brothers will go look for the dragon bone spirit's misfortune. Twitched his muscles and peeled off his skin. Cut off his head and kick it as a ball. This is his position. Hearing this, Inuyasha restrained his demonic energy, and then shook his head. I want to meet that guy on my own. There is a day to meet, and there is a time to say goodbye. When bidding farewell to the old immortal, the old man threw two gourds. Li Xia took the gourd and asked in surprise. This is. One is filled with spiritual spring water, and the other is filled with Lao Chan's poisonous wine. When you were drunk before, you asked Lao Chan for a fairy medicine because of a fellow mage, trying to improve his resistance to miasma, poisonous insects and other toxins. This gourd poison wine is it. The poison of aging is medicine, and medicine is also poison. Let him drink a bowl every day for ten days in a row, and his resistance to various toxins will increase a lot. This poison was exactly a request Li Xia made while drunk. You can only speak if you are drunk. Although he is thick-skinned, he is also thick-skinned. Grandpa Yao Xian, I will definitely bring you a different kind of wine to enjoy with you in the future. Then we will fight him at the wine table for three days and three nights. When Li Xia solemnly made the agreement with the old man, he inspected the two gourds respectively. After this inspection, I was immediately overjoyed. Because these two gourds are similar to the fairy gourd of Taogua Man, with the universe inside. Even though they look like they are just two small gourds about the size of a palm, in fact, each of them has at least two or three square meters of internal space. This is a very useful mustard seed treasure. Unexpectedly, at this time of parting, there would be such an unexpected joy. After pondering for a moment, he took out the four soul fragment again. Seeing the four soul fragments, the old immortal immediately frowned and said displeasedly. Kid, I told you. This thing is useless to me if you give me this thing, it will only get me into unnecessary trouble. In response, Li Xia quickly responded respectfully. Grandpa Yao Xian, I know you always look down on the four soul fragments. As an immortal, if you rashly use the power of Baoyu, there is even a hidden danger of falling into the realm of evil. He has not forgotten that the Urkuxian in the original work was poisoned by Neraku with a four soul fragment. 
As a result, the foundation of the immortal path was contaminated, and he directly fell from a lower level human immortal to a monster. Not only that, the four soul fragments can also affect the treasure fairy ghosts at the level of big monsters, and silently control the minds of treasure fairy ghosts. And these two major cases are just fragments of records. It is really unimaginable that if the complete jade is completely defiled, what kind of evil nature will it become? How terrifying would a guy who has been strengthened by a complete jade be? Humph, since you know some of the secrets, why did you throw this hot potato to me? The old immortal's eyes were somewhat scrutinizing. Grandpa Yao Xian, as long as you don't put the four souls jade into your body and don't directly borrow its power, then it's just an incomplete fragment and can't interfere with everything around you. Let alone it affects you, a high-level immortal with strong will, profound cultivation, profound knowledge of immortality, and powerful strength. Stop flattering and get to the point. That's the point. Li Xia whispered softly. Seeing that the old man's eyes were wrong, he immediately coughed lightly and openly expressed his initial thoughts. Not many monsters may have known about the news that the Four Souls Jade has returned to this world earlier. But as it broke into dozens or hundreds of pieces, there were definitely a lot of disputes in various places because of one or two fragments. Logically speaking, this news should have been known to all the big monsters long ago. However, according to the statistics reported by Grandpa Mingjia these days, within 200 miles, the monsters basically knew about the four soul fragments. Within a radius of 500 miles, only a small number of monsters who like to move around know Baoyu's information. Seven or eight hundred miles away, there are very few monsters who know that the Four Souls Jade has reappeared in the world. I seem to see a pair of big hands that covered the sky and the sun. Li Xia's sigh made the old immortal become a little more serious. Do you suspect that there is someone behind the scenes who is collecting the fragments of the Shurkan Tama while blocking the information? The four Ocelot Cat Kings came very late to snatch a few of the four soul fragments in Ali's hands, trying to use the power of the fragments to resurrect the Ocelot Oyakata. If they received the news at this time, there was no reason to wait until more than three months before taking action. By the way, the big monster that Neriku raised through the poisoning technique was probably the result of harvesting all kinds of monsters within two to three hundred miles during this period. And then tinkering with it, right? Grandpa Yao Xian, if you always hold a fragment, it will be difficult for other ambitious people to collect it. If the other party wants to complete the Four Souls Jade and have the ultimate function of making wishes, at least it must first I have passed this test for you. Off, I don't want it. Yao Lao Du Xian, who was playing with the Four Soul Fragments, seemed to have been burned by a soldering iron on his left hand. With a sigh, he threw the fragment back to Li Xiao. Then he looked sullen. I'm kindly cultivating you, but you want to harm me and drag me into trouble. You white-eyed wolf. No, Grandpa Yao Xian, I don't want to harm you, I'm giving you a sharp knife. If you have an enemy that you can't stand, then find a way to let this fragment go with you. Send it to the other party naturally, and wish him all the best and keep up the good work. Li Xia didn't say much else. In a few blinks, he had already left with Inuyasha in the clouds. All that was left was a wooden box containing four soul fragments and several soul sealing talismans affixed to it. The four soul fragments can sometimes be used as a weapon. If used well, even a small piece can be enough to a monster as big as a treasure fairy ghost. Therefore, for Li Xia, he gave away his feelings of filial piety to the elderly. As for whether Yao Lao Poison Fairy will accept this four soul fragment in the end, then it depends on the judgment of this old man who treats him fairly well. This human brat. In the valley, a faint mist suddenly rose, and soon it enveloped the surrounding area. Seen from a distance, this place has been outlined into a quiet and peaceful paradise. The journey back is very long, several hundred miles. Fortunately, Inuyasha, who was still able to maintain his half-demon form and remain sober and rational even after his demonic power increased greatly had successfully learned the cloud riding OD exclusively for half demon. At this time, Li Xia was lying on the soft and elastic clouds. Moreover, the moving speed of clouds is about 20 to 30 meters per second. It is actually very good for a novice to reach this level on the road. Xia Jun, is it really okay for you to hand over a four soul fragment to the old man? Inuyasha seems to be very concerned about this. 
Li Xia responded without thinking too much. With the old immortal watching over us, most big monsters will come back in vain. In this way, even if we encounter any trouble or an accident, we will have to give up all the four soul fragments in our hands for a chance to escape unscathed. Anyway, we already have a fragment to hide the truth. There is no doubt that Li Xia can greatly improve the team's fault tolerance rate by doing this. Even a big mistake can be saved. Of course, the premise is that the old man did not hand over the fragment casually. Moreover, he also had another purpose in doing this to cast stones and ask for directions. To test the attitude of the demon spirit Great Sage and other real bigwigs in the demon world towards the four soul fragments. But there was no way he could tell Inyasha this. But Mr. Xia, that old man seems a bit unreliable. Inyasha still frowned slightly. Hearing this, Li Xia turned over and sat up, then stared at his partner seriously and reminded him kindly. Inuyasha, when you meet the older generation in the future, you should respect them as much as possible. The favor your father left you will one day be squandered. When the time comes, you will still go to pull their beards, touch their bald heads, etc. Yes, that would be very taboo. In the original work, this guy is not only very casual with Yao Lao Poison Immortal, but he is also quite rude to the demon spirit Great Sage. It seems that those high-level immortals like your true nature of Inuyasha and don't care about you. In fact, if they don't look at Inu Shogun's face, you Inuyasha is just a half-demon. Forget it. Which onion? You also pulled their white beards, stepped on their faces, and slapped their bald heads. Only you, Inuyasha, dare to be so brave. Inuyasha blinked, a little innocently. Although he had pulled Yao Lao Poison Fairy's long beard before, he was not curious enough to touch his shiny bald head. Crack. The sky dozens of miles away looked very hazy, and from time to time there were bursts of thunder. It was raining heavily in that area at the moment. Let's go around in a circle. Um. Chapter, 55. Poison Dragon Pond. A body of water that is several miles wide. Rumor has it that there is a powerful dragon dormant inside. Therefore, this place is inaccessible all year round, and even traces of monsters are rarely seen. When Inuyasha and Li Xia were passing by in the clouds, an accident happened they happened to bump into a dragon that was out hunting. Roar. This dragon has a body length of 20 to 30 meters, its main body is green, and it can swallow clouds and spit out mist. It has sharp teeth and claws, and its eyes are like rubies. All four legs are covered with cloud-like manes, with long eyebrows and long beards, and the dragon scales are shining with a cold metallic color. It can soar in the sky for nine days, and a dragon can swim on the shallow bottom below. It is worth mentioning that this dragon is exuding green miasma. The water surface where its body is located also shows an unnatural green color. This is a dragon. We seem to be being targeted. Li Xia smiled. Hearing this, Inuyasha blinked. So Mr. Xia, do you go up or do I go up? From his personal point of view in the previous ten days of special training, his own improvement was huge but he knew very little about his companion. Therefore, he deliberately raided the formation for this friend and took this opportunity to learn about his current situation. Furthermore, his father reminded him you need to know more about your partners, so that you can go further together. You must have an idea of your companion's abilities, specialties, character, temperament, etc. In your mind. That's why he asked. Otherwise, if it had been in the past, he would have rushed towards the poisonous dragon with his broken teeth. Leave this poisonous dragon to me. I think it has some objections to me. Li Xia narrowed his eyes slightly. Could it be that this mixed blood poisonous dragon, like the legendary western dragon, has a habit of collecting shiny things as treasures? He always felt that the poisonous dragon's gaze did not fall on him, but on the fire-tipped spear in his hand. The other party is afraid that he wants to summon and seize the treasure. This fire-tipped spear of ours was made very exquisite and noble by Mr. Totosai. The upper half is the golden red color of flames, and the lower half is embellished with the beauty of thunder blue. The beautiful interlacing patterns of gold, red and blue on the gun body make this long gun very looking. Compared to the scrap metal that was just a broken piece of metal before it was transformed into a demon, the fire-pointed spear is undoubtedly more arrogant and attractive. 
This also made him very satisfied with this fire-pointed gun. Appearance is justice. It's naturally the same when used on weapons. But just when he was about to take action, he suddenly thought of sewing and his body suddenly stopped. When Inuyasha saw this, his eyes showed surprise. What's wrong, Mr. Xia? Li Xia turned her head and looked at Inuyasha deeply. I felt a little confused. Before, my strength was only average, far inferior to Inuyasha. Logically speaking, no matter how much Todosai admired me, considering that my actual combat power was quite limited, he should not have built such a gorgeous weapon for me. Bar. So, what did the person who deliberately created this gorgeous fire-pointed gun mean for him? At first, he just wanted to repair the Thunderstrike blade. As a result, Totusai further incorporated the power of fire attributes. Transforming this demonic spear with a single thunder attribute into a powerful weapon with dual attributes of thunder and fire, and at the same time, it became more exquisite in appearance. Isn't Totosai a little too nice to him? The next moment, he took out the Shikigami card, summoned the big Osmanthus mask and put it on his face then. He attached several blessing talismans to his body, and then stepped on a hot wheel and rushed out. Why do you think so much? After thinking about it, shouldn't he use this demonic gun that can greatly increase his strength? Inuyasha, help me sweep the formation. This dragon is just for me to practice. Monsters with dragon bloodline certainly have great potential. If roughly divided according to different age stages, they can be divided into young dragons, young dragons, juvenile dragons, young dragons, adult dragons. Generally speaking, the longer you live, the stronger your demon power becomes and the more terrifying your strength becomes. Newborn baby dragons, as long as they are pure blood, have nearly two stars of demon power talent even mixed blood baby dragons generally have one star of demon power. Such a starting point is already a level that countless monsters cannot reach in their lifetime. Once they reach adulthood, almost all of them can reach the level of five-star great monsters. But the poisonous dragon in front of them jumped out of the water and flew up into the air to attack them. It was a young dragon that reached the sky for Li Xia now, that's all. In Yao Lao Poison's Wine Vat Water World, he had seen similar young dragons and even fought against more powerful young dragons. So there was no reason to be afraid of a young hybrid dragon that was one level weaker. Well, Mr. Xia, I will raid the formation for you, but you must also be careful. Inuyasha nodded, and at the same time cheered up, ready to help his friends at any time. The battle is about to break out. After further preliminary testing, Li Xia was even more certain that the poisonous dragon in front of him was indeed just a mixed blood young dragon. The demon power is about three and a half stars. The body strength is very high, the claws are quite sharp and hard, and the resistance to lightning and fire is also very good. Whether it is the flames triggered by the fire-tip gun or the thunderstorm one or two meters thick, the opponent can only be slightly injured in a short period of time. However, poisonous dragons' ODs are also very limited. The iconic thing is poison. However, ordinary poison cannot hurt him now. Because he drank Yao Lao Duxian's elixir poison wine one after another, it gave his body a really high level of poison resistance. The key is that in Lao Xian's wine that world, he has had several experiences against dragon-type monsters. In actual combat now, you just need to apply what you have learned before. During this period, as long as he doesn't make any big mistakes, he is destined to win in the end. It's just a Hot Wheels auxiliary flight, which is still not enough. In actual combat, Li Xia discovered some of his own shortcomings. It turned out that after Inuyasha obtained the Half Demon's exclusive cloud riding technique, he no longer valued the Hot Wheel, so he threw the Hot Wheel to him. He had played with this Hot Wheel for several days before and was able to use it fully. But with only one Hot Wheel to help him in mid-air, it was very difficult for him to just maintain his balance during fast flight. It's a bit like performing various difficult moves on the balance beam. Because of this, he was always a little sluggish when making many moves. At the beginning, there were even flaws revealed several times in a row. It seems that I have to find a way to fill in another wheel. He already looks like a certain naughty kid in the legend when the hot wheels pair up, he will probably look even more like that. After a cup of tea. The young poisonous dragon in the poison dragon pond was knocked off the cloud by the sharp fire-tipped spear with an indistinct scream. 
Just now, the poisonous dragon was about to spit out the dragon clan's signature S dragon's breath. However, Li Xia caught the opponent's dragon's mouth wide open in the electric light and flint, gathering and brewing demonic power, and threw the fire-tipped spear in his hand. The flame exploded as a boost, and the thunder exploded into a sharp knife. With an instant burst of speed, it penetrated into the poisonous dragon's mouth, and then penetrated the poisonous dragon's head with a pop. Fast, accurate and ruthless. Poisonous dragon didn't even have time to react, and fell into the clouds in extreme reluctance. It hit the water and splashed tens of meters of water. After ING the poisonous dragon, Li Xia landed quickly, and immediately punched several evil proof charms on the dragon's forehead. After the pop of fire, only five of the evil proofing talismans were burned, leaving two without any movement. Seeing this, he breathed a sigh of relief. Because this also means. The poisonous dragon's demon soul has been enchanted by the evil apotropaic talisman chemical transcendence. The remains of the poisonous dragon in front of him were just an empty shell. Even if there is still some residual soul left in its torso, it is nothing to worry about. And it's not over yet. Under Inuyasha's surprised eyes, Li Xia took off the big Osmanthus mask on his face, and then pressed it on the back of the poisonous dragon's head. Eat its head. Possess its demonic body. Li Xia ordered the masked god of the big Osmanthus tree. Not only that, after the Daiguishu mask was replaced, he took out a four-soul fragment and embedded it near the wound of the dragon head not on the mask. Using the power of the four-soul fragment to help his first move god repair the dragon monster body that he had obtained. Xia Jun, what is this? Inuyasha also jumped down from the cloud at this time. Li Xia tilted his head and grinned. This is the innate ability of my Shikigami. As if in response to his words, the poisonous dragon that was already dead suddenly started to move at this time its body of twenty or thirty meters staggered up again. And then looked up to the sky and let out a long roar. Roar. Is it easier to directly contract a dragon monster as a Shikigami? Or is it easier to use the masked Shikigami as a bridge to fuse dragon monsters? The success stories in front of us are enough to illustrate this.